Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 179 Appa, are you outside right now? Li Sangha asked. Her voice was warm and soft like a just steamed potato. It was gentle and slightly out of breath. I'm on the fourth floor after my workout, but you're not here. Oh, I'm at sun. Both my shoulders were gripped tightly. I was pushed against the wall. The moment my back slammed against the wall, I groaned out of reflex. Appa? She sounded surprised. At the same time, Sun Chai Young, who held my shoulders, came up close. She seemed to be on the tips of her toes as her crafty lips came up to my chin. I could see her teeth between her opened lips. I could hear her exhale. Hey! Sun Chai Young talked into my phone with a cunning smile. Li Song has breath halted like a bird shot by an arrow before fluttering. What the hell was she? I grabbed Sun Chai Young's shoulders and pushed her away. What what are you doing? I wonder if your quadruplets did something like that. Sun Chai Young stumbled before quickly regaining her balance and replying. Li Songa must have heard as her breaths became even more ragged. Damn it. Sun Chai Young's eyes curved into crescent moons. She was a notoriously crazy bitch. Audacious, acting however she pleases and bringing out the bad in people. Uncontrollable. I wiped my ear and cheek, which her breath touched, with the back of my hand and turned my attention to my phone. It was quiet. To the point where I thought she might have fainted. Sangha. Yes. She replied immediately. She was calmer than I thought. I'm currently at MS. Sun Chai Young's house. I'm working. Ah that. To persuade her. Yeah, that. I'm not going to talk with her for long, so I'll call you back once we're done. I said as gently as possible. Her being so calm worried me more. I hung up and turned around to find Sun Chai Young sitting on her sofa. Her crossed legs looked like snakes. Her pleased smirk was gone from her face as though something bothered her. Expressionless, she stared at me. I turned my gaze first. I think we're done talking. I'll be on my way now. Do whatever you want. I'm not going to stop you. I heard her snort then her phone ring behind me. Sun Chai Young answered her phone. What? Did you find it? Not frozen ripe persimmons, fresh ones. Her voice seemed beyond irritated, sounding like an axe hacking into a tree. I frowned, imagining how it would feel if I was the caller. As expected, it was useless. I didn't want to talk to or get involved with Sun Chai Young. I should give up. Determined, I walked towards her door when my vision turned dark. She was great at acting, having started as a child actress. God damn it. This was my first time hating hearing director Park's voice. It was also the first time I didn't perk my ears at what was being said in a future vision. If I wasn't stuck like a puppet, I would be screaming right now. Why was this happening? Why did it have to be Sun Chai Young of all people? It could have been Neptune, Nam Joyun, Song Yinho, or Pretty Girls. Why? Why Sun Chai Young? Words surged up my throat, but all I could do was watch and listen. Director Park was looking at me. I could now recite the words that were about to come out of her mouth. I wonder what she's doing now. I know, right? Huh. I wonder where she is. I would like to see her again. My future self continued the conversation. The topic of the conversation was terrible, but it felt like I had finally found the exit to a repeating nightmare. Reporter Song asked with shining eyes. You must have been her fan. She was good at acting. There was a movie where she appeared as a college student. I saw that three times in the theaters. I remember seeing it in the morning and immediately buying the ticket for the next screening and going back in. That was my memory. A distant memory, back when I didn't know what Sun Chai Young did to Lee Sangha. Reporter Song continued to ask. MS. Lee Sangha became an actress after you left WU, so the timing wasn't good. However, I heard that MS. Sun Chai Young was a top star when you were still there. 
the manager of an actress you were interested in. I bet that position was enticing. It was. Chief Joe Byungwan was her manager at the time. I was so jealous of him. Jealous my ass. However, I remembered this as well. When I first saw Chief Joe, I thought that he must have saved a country in his past life. That was before Sun Chai Young told me to screw off when I tried to help her pick her next project. My future self smiled bitterly. Though I wanted to, there was no opportunity to get close to her. MS. Sun Chai Young was a top star, and I had nothing to show for myself while I was at WU. I never had the chance to properly talk with her. Ah, you must really regret it. Yes, I asked around once I established after leaving WU, but I couldn't find her. I eventually gave up. In this fixed future, did Sun Chai Young already retire by the time my future self established himself? However, I couldn't estimate when that was with this. I set this crumb of information to the side. My future self spoke. She was an actress I really wanted to work with. It's a shame. Truly. It was nonsense. I got goosebumps on my entire body. It made me recall the future where Sun Chai Young called me her manager. It was a vision I wanted to rip from my memory. Director Park, who had been listening to our conversation, asked. CEO Young, do you not know anything about it? The reason why Sun Chai Young retired. He flinched. I definitely felt the corner of my lips flinch. Did my future self know something about it? I held my breath for his reply, but the words that came out were vague. I don't know. What I know isn't 100% certain either. It's no different from a rumor. Then, the rumor you know, is it among the reasons I mentioned before? Hmm, is this off the record? Of course, as a reporter, this is only to sate my curiosity. Director Park licked her black lips. Soon, my future self nodded. It was. Amongst the ones Director Park mentioned. Marriage with a Chinese conglomerate, became pregnant, receiving mental treatment, or in plays overseas. One of these might not be just a rumor but could be close to the true reason. Director Park said with a meaningful expression. Now that I think about it, I heard Sun Chai Young wasn't easy to work with. Apparently, she was particularly hard to control, even amongst celebrities. There are rumors that her personality played a role in her early retirement. Although I didn't experience it personally, I heard that she wasn't easy to deal with. Easy to deal with? Why couldn't you just say that she was the crazy bitch of the area? My future self slackly propped his chin up. His finger tapped his jaw. I thought this for a long time. Perhaps she might have not left the entertainment world if I was her manager. Maybe her life would have changed a little as well. He said with regret. My future self continued with a gentle but clear voice. People can always change depending on their environment. Hmm, I don't know about that. There was a time when I did think this. Before the traitor, Choi Gun Young, stuck a nail in my heart. The moment I snorted inwardly, my future self calmly added. Like I did. I quickly strengthened my knees. If I didn't, I might have fallen over in an unsightly fashion. My limbs ached like they were cramping. The Sun Chai Young I know, Choi Gun Young, and my future self. They mixed into a sludge in my mind. Damn it. I turned around again. Then I walked over to the sofa. WH what are you doing? I thought you were leaving. Give me a second. I didn't care if Sun Chai Young was taken aback or not, I sat in the empty spot and slowly organized my thoughts. First, the future vision. This was already the third time it repeated the conversation about Sun Chai Young. Thinking back at the conversation, one thing was clear. My future self had some regret toward Sun Chai Young. Whether that was as a CEO to a great actress or if it had something to do with her retirement, I didn't know. Was that why I was repeatedly seeing the future about Sun Chai Young? Because I, the present self, was ignoring the thing my future self regretted? Because he wanted me to change Sun Chai Young's future no matter what. If I kept ignoring this, would I repeatedly see this vision? I raised my head while rubbing my temples. Sun Chai Young looked at me with an unpleasant gaze. 
When our eyes met, I unknowingly groaned. Sun Cheung's expression became even weirder. What? Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? Do you want me to call 1191? What 119? Just give me a second. I said in loud voice before getting lost in my thoughts again. While working with Choi Gun Young, he nailed a thought in my heart. When he joyfully explained his plan to screw me over, that thought dug even deeper. No matter how one's environment changed. No matter how the present changed. Those who were going to betray me would inevitably betray me. People didn't change. I thought the same thing when seeing Sun Chai Young. Since she entered this industry as a child actress, she must have lived a far from normal life, so her environment made her like that? Perhaps. However, it wasn't like all child actors turned out like her. So I thought Sun Chai Young was someone like that from the beginning. That was why I didn't want to involve myself with her more. However, if that's true, then what about me? What about me, who said that Choi Gun Young and the Team 2 leader were my team members in the future and thought that threatening people was easier than persuading them? I told myself to stay alert so that I didn't become a bad person after seeing that future. If people couldn't change, then neither could I. On the other hand, if I could change, then other people, even Sun Chai Young, could Chang. Sun Chai Young suddenly spoke. Are you acting like this because I said that to Lee Sangha? Because I shouted? Moaned. Causing a stir over a word. I told you that I did it because I was curious if your nephews and nieces did something like that. I let out a stuffy sigh. I wiped away my mess of a mind and replied. My nephews and nieces don't do that. They're old enough to know that they'll be scolded. Then why don't you scold me? Sun Chai Young snorted and crossed her legs. She even crossed her arms this time. As though daring me to try. Looking at her, I took my phone out again. What you said that rainy day in my car. What about it? You didn't even listen when I went out of my way to tell you. Why did you tell me not to tell CEO Baek Hansung? Sun Chai Young stopped. She frowned. I showed her my phone and looked through my contacts. I know CEO Beck's phone number. You. Her sofa scratched the floor. Sun Chai Young shot up from her seat. Face red, she was clearly fuming. Even if I try to soften my heart, she makes me shake my head whenever she acts like that. How could she seem even more irredeemable the more I met her? That's, I. You. Ah, this is pissing me off. Sun Chai Young huffed as she kicked the floor. What a temper. Didn't you hear me? I won't do another project. I don't want to do another project in this company. Don't you know that the Team 2 leader suffered in a fight between me and the CEO? I finally got him out. Got him out. Chapter, 180. Took him out from suffering from their fight? Why? I asked, staring at her. Sun Chai Young looked back at me with an uneasy expression. She opened and closed her mouth as though words were caught in her throat before shouting abruptly. Why do you keep trying to know? Stop being so interested in me. It's my job. And I'm not interested. The fuming Sun Chai Young quickly relaxed. She raised her chin as she looked down at me. Then she suddenly smirked. This is that. I've helped you. I helped you. I helped you, get it? Her repeated phrase shot into my mind like arrows. Helped. Me. Sun Chai Young did. I wiped away the thought that was about to take form in my mind and asked again. I said I helped you, why are you asking for a reason now? The team leader is already suffering from stress-induced gastritis, do you think a tiny shrimp like you is going to last? So why are you, M.S. Sun Chai Young, concerned about me? I just am. Sun Chai Young stared at me with sharp eyes as she said. You're going to blame me if you suffer. You already don't want to talk to me because of Lee Sangha. Aren't you going to treat me like some once in a lifetime rude bitch? I was concerned because it would piss me off even more if I see you like that. Why? I opened my mouth halfway before closing it. If I asked again, I felt like a boulder would roll into my stomach. 
It already felt like my throat was clogged with dirt and rocks. I let out a long sigh and changed the subject. Let's stop here for today. I already told you that I wasn't going to stop you from leave. Sun Chai Young, veins bulging, stopped. Today. Didn't I tell you? That I need to act like I'm trying to persuade you. While I thank you for helping me, it'll be fine. I'm not your manager and didn't boast that I could persuade you like someone else. Well. Also, this won't be bad for you either. It'll be less clingy than the Team 2 leader, who pestered you day in and day out. I said slowly before ruminating over something. Although my future self might have regrets, I would not become Sun Chai Young's manager. The past is already stuck like the filth on the bottom of my shoes. If Sun Chai Young sincerely apologizes to Lee Sangha. Though I couldn't imagine that happening as of now, it could happen. If I denied that possibility, then I was also denying my potential for change as well. If a day like that arrived, then the filth on the bottom of my shoes would be washed away. However, some of it will still remain, and I wouldn't be able to treat Sun Chai Young like I do other members of my team. Above all, I couldn't imagine Lee Sangha, Sun Chai Young, and me holding hands and laughing. Maybe if we were at each other's throats. That's why it was better if something like a boulder rolling down into my stomach didn't happen at all. From now on, what I am doing is just temporarily sharing a bed with the enemy. No, not sharing a bed, living together, no, sharing a car. Yeah, let's go with that. Sharing a car with the enemy. Until my future self's wish is somewhat relieved and the repeated future vision is settled or gives up. If I could gain a hint into this foresight ability I obtained all of a sudden, that would be best. When I composed myself, Sun Chai Young coughed and said. Anyways, that's fine. Don't act friendly with me at work. Why would I act friendly with you? I wanted to pull over as soon as I decided to share a car with her. I clicked my tongue before suddenly remembering something. But are you pregnant? What? Her crossed leg slid down. Her eyelashes rose. Soon, Sun Chai Young stood up. She grabbed her loose shirt and raised it up below her chest. She revealed her slim waist and stomach. Now really, do I look like I'm pregnant? Are you really not? Am I Virgin Mary? There needs to be something for me to be pregnant. How could she make that shameless comparison? I laughed and asked. Then are you hurt anywhere? Maybe your brain. How are you going to be a manager with a mouth like that? Are you sure you're fine? I have a lot of issues. Distrust in people and cynicism. Sun Chai Young shrugged. Do you think there are any celebrities with 10 years of experience without a mental illness? So there is something. Well, just seeing her temper showed she was walking psychiatric ward. If I ever brought her to a hospital, they would have an endless list of illnesses. From personality disorder to perhaps antisocial personality disorder. Why are you asking? You said you had no interest in me. Well, I was wondering if you weren't working because of something like that. I answered while looking at one side of the table. There were a few scripts and scenarios lying here and there. The scenario closest to me was one I recently read. They were in the middle of casting their leads. Seeing as she had these in her house, it seemed she did want to work on another project. Sun Chai Young clicked her tongue. It's none of your business. I'm going to work after getting out of this exclusive contract. Do you really plan on leaving WU? Why? Did CEO Beck say that it would never happen? CEO Beck Hansung said it was like a yearly event and regarded it like a child's tantrum. I don't know. Sun Chai Young's reaction was too sharp for it to be considered a child's tantrum. I want to ask you something as well. Sun Chai Young said, narrowing her eyes. Lee Sangha before. Seeing her reaction, it seemed she knew that you are working on this. Did she just quietly let you do it? When it's concerning me? I didn't hear about a commotion at the company. Why would there be a commotion at the company? Sangha isn't someone like you. Did she meet with CEO Beck? I stopped speaking. Sun Chai Young smirked at my expression. What did they talk about? Why are you curious? You don't have to say it if you don't want to. 
It's obvious. The smile on Sun Chaeyoung grew. An unpleasant feeling slowly made its way up when I recalled CEO Baek Hansung and Lee Song his private meeting. I asked her multiple times during our drive, but her answer was always the same. That CEO Baek Hansung leisurely brought it up while they were settling finances. Was that true? I could always tell when she was lying to me, but I couldn't be sure this time. To be honest, one thing weighed on my mind. The photo. The photo where Lee Songa touched me while I was sleeping. The one CEO Baek Hansung personally met with the Daily Fact reporter to bury the scandal. The photo that must be in his hands right now. That troubled me. Should I give you some advice? Sun Chaeyoung didn't wait for my reply and continued. Once someone gets a hold of your weakness, it lasts a long time in this industry. A disgustingly long time. It felt like various colors of paint was splattered on my vision it was like my current mental state. I entered the basement practice room. The project team members and making film crew greeted me. The cameraman in charge of filming me quickly came over and started filming. Am I smiling well right now? Appa. My body lurched forward. Someone smacked my back with both hands. When I turned around, Im Seo Young stuck to me with a flushed face. Her large eyes glanced and calculated the distance between her and the cameraman. Still smiling brightly, she secretly whispered to me like some ventriloquist. Why are you acting like an amateur? Aren't you more nervous than back with us? I am. You seem menacing yesterday and today. It's like your head's going to fly off if Pretty Girl's song doesn't go to the top of the charts. The girls are acting really cautious right now. Yandu's face is pale from indigestion after eating next to you. I look menacing. I paid close attention to my expression even if my thoughts were a mess. I rubbed my face with my hands. It did seem a little stiff. I pushed the corners of my lips up and looked around. I saw Lee Sangha who was doing an interview in front of the full wall mirror. Although she prepped for this interview ahead of time, she looked experienced as she faced the cameraman. To the point where it almost felt unfamiliar. Damn it. No, not her. I turned around. In the middle of the practice room full of cameras and lights, in the same place Neptune was huddled around the laptop last spring, were pretty girls. They all had smiles on their lips but their eyes shifted side to side. They glanced at me before visibly flinching and turning their gaze. So there was a problem with me. On a day as important as today, while they have it tough with all the pressure they are under, I couldn't help them relieve any of that pressure and only added to it. I let out a sigh and cleared my complicated mind. Then I went over to the pretty girls and asked. How are you all? Are you nervous? Pardon? Oh Yandu replied in surprise. I asked if you were nervous. Never mind. Her eyes had lost focus. It was the same for Yoon Sol and Lee Wayne. They were completely out of it, just breathing in and out. They acted all brave during the last performance despite their trembling arms and legs, yet it looked like they didn't have the composure to act brave today. I looked at Young Jae, the eldest. She at least looked composed enough to answer. Though her face was paler than the laptop screen, she was still trying to meet my gaze. Where did Chief Lee Taishin go? Ah, he went upstairs to look for a phone charger. The battery was almost drained. Come to think of it, they were all clenching on their phones. What the heck? Were they talismans? Why are you holding your phone so tightly? We're on the phone with our parents. Right now. You're on the phone right now. Their phone screens definitely indicated they were calling someone. Young Jae replied with a nervous look. We couldn't calm down by ourselves. We felt like we would be less nervous if we did this, so we decided to do this until the album releases. If we aren't allowed. It's not like you're not allowed, but are you that nervous? As soon as I asked, Yoon Sol, completely red in the face, hastily put her phone against her ear. Mom. Mom. I can't breathe. You can hear my voice, right? You can't hang up. So they are that nervous. With Yoon Sol's actions, the other two quickly reacted the same way. 
they held their phones and called out to their parents. Young Jay's hand holding her phone trembled as she looked up at me with an anxious expression. Like she was waiting for my approval. As soon as I nodded, she put her phone against her ear. Dad, are you still there? Someone might think they were passengers on a falling plane. I was so dumbfounded that I laughed. When I looked around, producer Yu Suyoung had a motherly smile. The cameraman and project team members, everyone who was looking this way had happy smiles on their faces. Breathing easy again, the girls dropped their phones. Im Seo Young, who had been waiting around them, came over. She was particularly noisy amongst the Neptune members, but she tried hard to act like a sunbay in front of the goldfish. Should I say she looked like a firstborn trying to act like the adult in front of her younger siblings? Girls, calm down. You need to be calmer at times like this. I could hear LJ snort all the way over here. The mood was completely celebratory when our double title tracks on our last album hit 11th and 14th place. I bet you'll do even better. Sunbeam. One what if it's not there when we refresh the chart once it's released? Hey! Did you not see the internet? There are so many people waiting for your song to drop. You should be worried, instead, you should be excited. Im Seo Young shouted, but the goldfish's faces had no signs of calming down. Yoon Sol said in a quiet voice. Our luck has been too good for the past few months. That's why I think we're more nervous. Bad things always happen in the end. Driving away bad luck. We should have done that. Someone hit me. Oh Yandu spoke nonsense. The others joined in. To drive away bad luck before their song releases, they began to pinch and slap each other's arms. Some of the spectators burst out laughing. During this time, the minute hand continued to tick. The noisy commotion soon died down. The people spread around soon gathered. Pretty girls held their breaths as they looked at the laptop. I also observed the music charts on the laptop. Just then. It's been released. Chapter, 181. Their album cover appeared on the site's main page. The people in the practice room stirred. Oh, their firepower is amazing. The comments on the albums are increasing at an incredible rate. People's reaction online are it's finally here. Things are getting heated. I don't think you need to worry about entry rank. It looks like ITLL definitely be in the top three. Wait, the tracks at the top are as steady as concrete, so it won't be easy to break past them. People chatted noisily as they observed the music chart site and online reactions. They all began to predict Pretty Girl's entry rank. The practice room was soaked in excitement. Should we bet? I bet 10,001 that ITLL reach second place. I bet 10,001 that ITLL initially start below the top three and make its way up to first. Chief Young. No, team leader, what about you? A stylist asked. Sitting on the floor with a laptop, I replied. First. Dozens of pairs of eyes gathered on me. Even pretty girls, who were cautiously reading the mood, turned to look at me. I moved the mouse and clicked on their album. The size of their album cover increased. It was a picture of pretty girls running around barefoot in a dense forest. Artist, Pretty Girls. Management Agency, WU. Digital Single Album, Neverland. I clicked the play button. Let's listen to the song first and check its rank after. Neverland's instrumentals began to play from my laptop speakers. I had listened to this endlessly while filming and progressing with the project. Since it was the case for me, it must be even more so for Pretty Girls, who personally recorded and practiced it. However, they gathered around the laptop like it was their first time listening to it with dazed faces like they were dreaming. It's out. Our album. I opened the comments section and handed Young Jay the mouse. The girls hastily looked through the comments. The comments were from viewers who watched Pretty Girls prepare their album through making film and those who supported Pretty Girls. Even the comments that were endlessly being uploaded were similar. That they waited tirelessly for their song to be released. That the song was as good as they expected. That they had worked hard all this time. To continue to work hard in the future. 
You worked hard. You can take a breath and relax now. The pretty girl's members paused at my words. Oh Yandu fiddled with her small fingers and asked. But the rank isn't up yet. The album's been released and there are many people who are complimenting how good your song is and are cheering you on. In the end, Pretty Girls was able to overcome their crisis. I think that this project is an overwhelming success with this. The rank is just the cherry on top. Re really? It's a success. To be honest, to be honest, we thought it would be great if our song reached the top 100. But we thought that there would be trouble if we didn't reach the top ranks. Why would there be any trouble? Although ITLL definitely be great if the song does well, it's not like you failed because it's a little low. Though I was saying this because I was certain their song's rank wouldn't be low. I barely managed to contain this and added. You worked hard. Good job. It seemed like their anxiety was loosening as smiles began to bloom from their stiff faces. Young Jay, who was completely tense inwardly, was the quickest to relax. Tears began to pool in her eyes. The tears in her eyes trembled like they would fall at any moment. A teardrop slowly formed on the corner of her eye. Eventually, it fell. Thank you. It's all good. With that as the start, the girls bowed, almost like they were kowtowing. Thank you, Chief. Team Leader. President. I'm not the president though. Well definitely live kindly. Uh, okay. That wasn't enough as they approached me while fiddling with their fingers. Hmm, you can carry on the rest with Chief Li Taishin. I handed them over to him, got up and brushed myself off. Then I took a step back and went over Neptune. It seemed they were remembering last year's events as they were moved. Go congratulate them. When I urged them, Im Seo Young quickly dragged the other members over to Pretty Girls. Neptune joined Pretty Girls and Chief Li Taishin's emotional and excited atmosphere. Warm reactions erupted around them. Pretty Girls were always bright during the filming of Making Film. If we excluded the part where they relaxed and bawled their eyes out in front of him Seo Young, they barely showed any tears. To the point where the viewers remarked how they didn't try to sell you on emotions but was rather a joyful show. However, it seemed they couldn't hold it in any longer as tears eventually made their way out. As expected of the goldfish, their eyes instantly grew red. After talking with their parents, who had still been on the phone, they began to sob even louder. Neptune received their phones, greeted their parents, and explained the situation to them. Everything was filmed by the making film crew. I shook my head at the cameraman following me and went over to producer Yu Suyang. Producer Yu Suyang flipped the last page of the making film proposal. Her subtle gaze turned to me. The ending is done. Please take care of us until the end. This is a shame. I think you have a talent for TV. That's not very welcome. Since we've finished talking about the broadcast, how about we talk about something else? Producer Yu Suyang smiled and said. Bonuses are best when they are big. I'll bet 10,000 won that their entry rank is first. I think ITLL hit the ceiling. I answered with a light shrug. The other team members who overheard our conversation waved his hand. The chart. Check the five-minute chart. People quickly gathered. A few moved their fingers at the same time. This was a chart that allowed one to glance at the real-time charts for the next time period every five minutes. We checked this back when Neptune's mini-album was released, but Neptune's name didn't appear on it since only the top three would show up on this predictive graph. However, this time. Uh, uh, it's there. It's on the charts. The employee with the quickest fingers shouted, voice cracking. What place? What place is it? F first. And. The practice room shook. The cheer was so loud that the crying pretty girls and film crew all turned around to see. Lee Kuan Wu quickly handed me the laptop. It was the percentage graph. It started from the bottom and continued to shoot up. To the ceiling. Cleanly. An hour after the album was released, Pretty Girl's new song entered the charts in first place. The ranking aggregate chart hit the ceiling. The aggregated data was so large that it couldn't be contained in the graph. 
It was a graph anyone in the music industry would dream of. Articles were released like a flood as though a press release was already sent out. Our phones rang loudly instead of fireworks. We and countless entertainment reporters and anonymous netizens were all up night. Although there were many comments congratulating us, there were plenty of malicious ones that attempted to cut down the hype. That we needed to wait a few hours since this was all due to the broadcast. That their ranking would drop in the morning. These bastards. However, Pretty Girl's 5-minute predictive chart didn't falter once and continued to climb on the ceiling. 2 hours, 3. Even when morning arrived. Even after the sun went down. It continued. What the heck is going on? On the stairs going down to the second floor, a Team 2 chief said while looking up at the stairs. There were sounds of laughter, chatter, and clinking glasses. Another chief, who wore glasses, sighed as he said. Young Sun Woo rented out the fourth and fifth floors to have a party for pretty girls. We always rented out a restaurant or hall to host parties. Why does Young Sun Woo get to rent out the company? Making others feel inferior. Is that okay? Of course, it is. It's a huge success. Also, WU was able to seem like a family-oriented, warm company because of making film. There are cameras up there right now. They are going to use it as an epilogue or something. Damn it. Some guys succeed no matter what they do. They said that employees could come and eat and drink. Should we go take a look? Stop. Another Team 2 chief joined their conversation. I bet you'll be on the team leader's bad side if you get caught attending. Though they say it's for pretty girls, apparently, it's really for young Sun Woo. He licked his lips and added. A party celebrating the success of Young Sun Woo's project. Mr. Sun Woo. Congratulations. Here, have a drink. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. I nodded and emptied a glass of champagne. Then I ate a canopy, which was in arm's reach. I couldn't tell what it tasted like. It seemed I was really out of it right now. Although there were many things to celebrate until now, it was the first time it was celebrated so extravagantly. It's because we've pretty much celebrated at Neptune's residence, eating fried chicken and drinking beer and ginseng wine. More legit celebrations were held at restaurants or pubs. There were so many people that it seemed like there were around a hundred in the fourth and fifth floors. The supple champagne flute felt awkward in my hand. I was so busy being congratulated by countless people that I didn't have time to properly talk to Neptune or pretty girls. I didn't even know where Kim Hyunjo, the Team 3 leader, and Lee Kwan Woo were. I talked with visibly tipsy people as I looked around. I tried to find Neptune or pretty girls, but I discovered an unwelcome beard. The Team 2 leader came over while twirling his champagne flute. Congrats! Though his face indicated otherwise. He wasn't the type to come and say well-wishing remarks to me either. I calmly smiled and replied. Ah, thank you. How's persuading Chai Young going? It seems you went to see her the first day and haven't been after that. If you've started, you should at least act like you're trying. Aren't you dawdling too much just because it doesn't directly concern you? As expected, he came to kick dirt in our party. I didn't think I needed to hurry too much. It's not like I was given a time limit. If you don't think you can do it, then give up early. Don't get sick trying. I smiled even brighter and replied. Understood. Ah, and bananas are good for gastritis. What? I heard that you had stress-induced gastritis. Taking care of your health is the most important. The Team 2 leader's expression immediately distorted. I leisurely assumed that he wouldn't throw his glass because of the many watching eyes and cameras. Just then, a loud commotion erupted on the fourth floor. I turned around, thinking perhaps someone overheard the Team 2 leader and my childish quarrel. The next moment, I almost shattered the innocent champagne flute in my hand. Seo Jijun was coming up the stairs. He held a bouquet of roses. They were completely red. A bouquet of red roses. Oh, my God. He seemed to have just come from a shoot as he was wearing a stylish suit. Wearing a suit and holding a bouquet of roses, 
he came over like he was walking down the red carpet without hesitation. He even waved at people following him. Chief Li Banjun, who was following Seo Jijun with a bright smile, stopped. His trembling eyes alternated between the team two leader and me. He quickly waved his hand at Seo Jijun, but Seo Jijun had already arrived in front of us. Chief Yong, congratulations. I came over after hearing you were holding a project success party. That's nice, but what's with the bouquet? Is it weird? Doesn't it work as long as they aren't lilies? 1. Seo Jijun tilted his head and looked at the Team 2 leader this time. The Team 2 leader was already staring at him with a gaze that seemed like he wanted to rip him apart. His face was so cold that it seemed like it would crack if you touched it. Jijun, you. As soon as the Team 2 leader opened his mouth, a commotion erupted above the stairs this time. It was as loud as when Seo Jijun arrived. Did another celebrity arrive? Was there someone else who was coming? Soon, a group of people came down the stairs. I saw the Team 3 leader, Kim Hyunjo, and a few familiar team members. Neptune and Pretty Girls, who I had been looking around for, were present as well. There was no reason they would cause a commotion since they were here from the start. Don't tell me they came as a group to see Seo Jijun. Just as I thought this, I saw Lee Sangha slowly walking down the stairs with someone. It was CEO Beck Hansung. Chapter, 182 The marble stairs I went up and down multiple times a day looked unfamiliar. CEO Beck Hansung and Lee Sangha felt unfamiliar as well. They looked the same as normal, but I felt a strange sense of incompatibility between CEO Beck Hansung, who had the same leisurely expression and wore his normal clothes, and the cool Lee Sangha. I stood rigidly as I looked up at them. It wasn't just me. All the gazes that had gathered on Seo Jijun looked over at them. The company employees, people from broadcast and production companies, and even the cameras from the making film crew. There were a few people walking down the stairs, but they simply looked like the two's followers. The two looked like. This looks just. Seo Jijun rested his bouquet against his shoulder and said. Like the appearance of the main characters. CEO Beck Hansung walked over to us while lightly greeting a few people. Although he looked easygoing, this presence was heavy and deeply rooted like a large tree. People continuously gathered by his side. Lee Sangha remained by his side. He soon stopped in front of me. I gulped down my unpleasant saliva and greeted him. Hello. Hmm, I was hoping to have champagne with team leader Jung as well. CEO Beck Hansung lightly tapped my arm. When I handed him a champagne flute, the Team 2 leader took a step forward with a mocking smile. Then give me a glass, Chief Young. We need to toast now that the CEO is here. The Team 2 leader stretched his empty flute out before frowning. He said to CEO Beck Hansung. Ah, he's a team leader right now. I keep getting confused whenever people call team leader Young Sun Wu. Since his project team is done, we should settle his position so there is no more confusion. Then just call him team leader from now on. CEO Beck Hansung replied as lightly as a tossing a pebble in a lake. However, the ripples were large. WU employees were a given, everyone who understood the meaning of his words began to buzz. The team 2 leader looked like he was about to faint. What you just said, so, team leader. It's something I promised. CEO Beck Hansung replied while turning to me. That I would officially promote him if this project was a success. CEO. He succeeded, so I need to keep my promise. He raised his champagne flute and smiled. While it wasn't technically wrong, it felt like the spotlight had suddenly turned to me. I felt like I was being buried by their gazes. I had thought that he would quietly mention it once the Sun Chai Young matter was settled. I didn't expect him to announce like a morning greeting at a place like this. I wet my dry lips with my tongue and raised my flute. Thank you. I'm the one who should thank you. You have never disappointed me in the past two years. Even if this project didn't succeed, you're the one who made Neptune succeed, discovered new talent, and made Lee Sangha our poster star. I glanced at Lee Sangha. She was smiling while looking at me like she was congratulating me. 
poster star. CEO Jijun suddenly joined in our conversation. He bowed respectfully to CEO Baek Hansung before taking a single rose out of his bouquet. Chief Lee Bung Jun poked CEO Jijun's side, but it was no use. With a crafty smile, CEO Jijun handed the rose to CEO Baek Hansung. Please say that I am a poster star too, CEO. There are a lot of people watching. Of course, Jijun, you are also our poster star. CEO Baek Hansung laughed. Then he readily received the rose and waved it. People gathered around us laughed. His gaze alternated between CEO Jijun, the Team 2 leader, and me and made a meaningful remark. There's no wall even though you're in different teams. That's good to see. When the Team 2 leader was about to speak, the CEO added. Neptune is our poster group, and so are they, our new family members, pretty girls. Tht th thank you. The goldfish replied with a strange pronunciation in shock. Laughs grew louder. The awkward mood, which was akin to a party where the music suddenly cut off, quickly softened. The only one still standing stiffly was the Team 2 leader. CEO Beck Hansung smiled brightly. All the celebrities at WU are our poster stars. Me too. A refreshing voice sounded out. A woman wearing sunglasses and a hat stood crookedly amidst the crowd. It was Sun Chai Young. Even if I was flipped upside down, I could tell that she was Sun Chai Young. Walking over here, she took off her sunglasses. The people sneaking glances gasped. The crowd created a path for her like the Red Sea. Why did Sun Chai Young suddenly appear here? Since she said she didn't even want me to act close at work, she clearly didn't come to congratulate me as Seo Jijun did. Probably not. Don't tell me I suddenly recalled the conversation we had at her house. The Team 2 leader gritted his teeth and said. Chai Young, what brings you here? What do you mean? I came to see the team leader. Which team leader? Is there another person I could call team leader? The team 2 leader raised his brow when she said that while looking directly at him. I covered my awkward mouth with my champagne flute. I had something to discuss regarding my commercial schedule. I wanted to go up quietly, but the CEO mentioned poster stars. I unconsciously butted in. Now a little relaxed, the team 2 leader said. You're not a poster star, you're our pillar. WU's pillar. Pillar. Sun Chai Young smirked and looked around. Her gaze glanced off me and landed on CEO Baek Hansung. A rare trace of predicament flashed across his face. Predicament? Was he worried that Sun Chai Young was going to cause trouble in front of all these people? Sun Chai Young's gaze landed on Lee Song next. It lingered on her the longest. The smile on Lee Song his face was gone. I became nervous this time, but it was for naught. Hello, Sun Bei. Yeah, hi. They acted extremely naturally. They seemed like normal celebrities who work for the same company. Sun Chai Young greeted the dumbfounded CEO Jijun and Neptune as well as the pretty girl's members, who looked at her like she was a protagonist of an animation. Then she asked. Is today some special day? It's a party celebrating the success of Chief Young, no, Team Leader Young's project team. CEO Jijun replied. Sun Chai Young voiced her admiration. Congratulations. Thank you. Glancing at me, Sun Chai Young whispered. You should have told me if something like this was going on today. Why would we tell you? CEO Jijun asked back. She immediately replied. To avoid it. All the eyesores are gathered together. Ha! Huh. Did you throw away acting mysterious? There are a lot of people from broadcasting companies here. That's why I'm whispering. You're annoying, so don't talk to me. Sun Chai Young cut him off. Just then, producer Yu Su Young emerged from the crowd, who seemed dying to know what we were talking about. She was accompanied by a cameraman. CEO, could we film a scene of this? The full shot looks great. You, the team leaders, and celebrities seem like a family. CEO Jijun went into a coughing fit. Producer Yu Su Young spoke. If we can film this sort of mood from the company pretty girls will be working under, 
I think we'll be able to end the epilogue was a happy ending. I looked back at pretty girls. They looked like Cinderella seeing the pumpkin carriage for the first time. Neptune, who knew that the situation wasn't pretty if they stripped away the ornaments, simply clicked their tongues, but the goldfish were already absorbed in it. Even young Jay's cheeks were flushed. CEO Beck Hansung soon smiled gently. Okay. The cameraman set his camera on his shoulder. Neptune dragged the goldfish, who were red to the tips of their fins, into the center. I heard someone laugh. Sun Chai Young and Seo Jijun were laughing. So was Lee Songa. Everyone was laughing. I also raised my champagne flute and laughed. Hmm, we really did look like a family. Sorry I'm late. I was busy signing autographs to the staff after my interview. Nan Joyun said with a slight frown. Good job. Your schedule and fans are important. So are you. Stop with that. He said those things without batting an eye. I examined Nam Joyun while laughing. I checked to see if he was alright. Just then, Kim Hyun Sup, who was looking around, asked. Excuse me, Joyun's mother, I heard Sun Chai Young came. I'm a huge fan. She left. A long time ago. Sun Chai Young disappeared with the Team 2 leader after filming. CEO Beck Hansung left then too. It wouldn't be weird if they had already arrived home by now. Seo Jijun was the only one who was still entertaining guests. I ignored the despairing Kim Hyun Sup and asked Nam Joyun. But, Hyung, what's all that in your hands? Both his hands were full of canapes. It seemed he didn't have enough space to put them all as there were some on top of his wrist. He wasn't the type to hoard food. Rather, he was so used to skipping meals that he had to skip a couple to realize he was hungry. Are you hungry? When did you last eat? I did eat. People kept giving me these eat from below. It's because Joyun's a rising Mook Sip Nam. 1. Kim Hyun Sup added. Mook Sip what? There was no way I wouldn't know about a new nickname. Mook Sip Nam, a man who we want to feed. It's something I came up with. Ah. Reactions to that Kakao 2 photo was so good, so I plan on pushing this. Photo. Kim Hyunsup took out his phone and showed me a photo attached to an article. Ah, this. This was one of the photos Team Leader Park sent out as part of a press release when there were rumors that Nam Joyun persuaded me to help him by paying me money. Hyung, eat. Ill eat. Food. People seem to really like this. Does it trigger their motherly instincts? It was simply a short exchange that occurred multiple times a day. Anyways, it was good that people liked it. I smiled in satisfaction when the one who truly triggered one's motherly instincts appeared. A delicate face, it was Im Ju Won. Next to him were Seo Ji Jun, Chief Lee Bang Jun, and Chief Sung Yumin. Im Jo Yun clicked his tongue and grumbled. I wanted to be the center of attention at Chief Young's celebratory party since it's been a while, but I'm late to the party. Mr. Seo Jijun, I've seen articles that you've been receiving casting calls from China. Are you not busy these days? Don't you have stuff to do? Seo Jijun leisurely laughed. Nope. I'm free these days. Also, he's not a chief but a team leader. Don't talk so casually to me. Im Ju Won answered curtly before suddenly checking his pockets. He then took something out and handed it to me. Team Leader Young, congratulations. I thought a wreath or bouquet would be too over the top, so I didn't buy them. I found this on my way here. It was a single rose. Seo Ji Jun giggled beside him. Dazed, I accepted the rose. While talking to them, the Team 3 leader, Kim Hyunjo, and Lee Kuan Wu came over. If the family before was for show, this really felt like a family. I looked around to find missing faces when my phone rang. It was Song Yin Ho. I heard you're having a party at the company. I heard that Seo Jijun Sunbei attended as well. I want to go there too. I'm on set for the independent film on a mountain but was told we need to schedule another extra shoot. I plan on finding wild ginseng before being tied up by the team leader. Congratulations, Hyung. 
he sent a bouquet emoticon as well. At this point, I wondered if they planned this. Smiling, I replied and turned my head again. Where was Lee Songa? I bumped into the others and talked with them a bit, but I didn't have the chance to talk to Lee Songa. I couldn't even bring up Sun Chai Young or CEO Beck Hansung's name either. Because of that damn scandal, gazes still gathered on us whenever we whispered to each other. I looked around the entire fifth floor but couldn't find Lee Songa. She was over there a while ago. Did she go down? I excused myself and left. I quickly went down the stairs when I saw the familiar heads of the goldfish in the corner of the stairwell. What are you doing here? You should have come over if you came up here. Yoon Sol spoke for the hesitating group. That's, what should I say, we wanted to go, but you felt a bit distant and unfamiliar. Unfamiliar? Why? There were so many actors around you, chief, no, team leader. Are you hardcore fans or something? Stop acting like this and go say hi. It'll head over soon. I called Lee Kwan Wu and had him take care of them. The girls took loud, deep breaths before making their way up the stairs. I was about to go look for Lee Sangha when I suddenly remembered something, I called out to Young Jay. Right, Jay. Yes, team leader. Stopping, Young Jay turned back at me with an odd look. Do you want acting lessons? The moment Young Jay's eyes widened, I heard something fall and break below. Crackle. I heard the sound of someone stepping on glass. Lee Sangha was making her way up the stairs. Chapter 183 My steps abruptly halted. A few steps away, Lee Sangha was staring up at me and Young Jay. Our eyes met. I unconsciously put more strength into my toes. I felt like I was walking down a long, dark tunnel alone. Are you okay? I quickly went down the stairs when Lee Sangha raised her hand. Don't come over here. What? I broke a glass. Stay there because there are glass shards. She said in her normal voice before scrubbing the marble step with her left high hell. The sound of shattering glass was unpleasant. Lee Sangha brushed her hair to the side. Her nicely arranged hair became untidy. It'll clean it up before someone gets hurt. Wait. Jay, go tell Quan Wu about this. Taken aback, young Jay, who was on her way down, quickly ran up to the fifth floor. I looked back at Lee Sangha and asked. Are you hurt anywhere? If it broke, you should have avoided it. Why did you step on it? I was lost in my thoughts for a second. I'm fine. Lee Sangha bent her knees a few times as if to prove it. I examined her leg that extended out from her skirt. Fortunately, I didn't see any blood or so I thought. Her stocking ripped and a strand sprung off. Lee Sangha stealthily moved her leg back. I'm not hurt. Not hurt. First. I trailed off. I heard someone make a fuss downstairs and people began to gather. They were busy trying to get in an extra word to Lee Sangha, asking her if she was fine or if she was hurt. Lee Sangha pressed her cheeks. I think I had too much champagne. I slipped. Oh my. It's good that you didn't fall. Ah, if I did, I would have rolled and gracefully gotten up. What? Roll? I learned gymnastics while filming alive. There was no need for me to intervene. She skillfully settled the crowd by explaining the situation and playing it off with a laugh. As expected, she felt unfamiliar. Even though CEO Beck Hansung wasn't here, she seemed so unfamiliar to me. Sangha. I acted before more people gathered. Glass pieces might have gotten into your stockings. Go downstairs and have a closer look. Yes. Leaving her in Neptune's care, I cleaned up the broken glass and calmed down the worrying people. I then went down to the second floor basement. I heard voices in the practice room in the basement, which was dark because people had left early for the party. Lee Sangha was sitting on the floor, and M. Seo Young was touching her leg. Hey, you're lucky you weren't hurt. How can you throw a glass just because you had nothing else to throw? I told you. I didn't throw it, it dropped. Lee Tae-hee held Lee Song-hae's face, who was in denial. Let's see. 
Are you drunk? I guess. Li Songa pressed her cheek against Li Taehee's hand. Im Seo Young snorted. As if. You, the same girl who drank wild ginseng wine with Uni, drunk after a couple glasses of champagne. The alcohol today is different. You get drunk more easily on days like this. Don't you try to sell snake oil. Did your trauma reappear after seeing Sun Chai Young? Trauma. Li Sangha slowly rolled the word in her mouth. Then she mumbled. I don't feel anything when I see Sun Chai Young anymore. Rather. Rather. What? Li Sangha shook her head and changed the subject. Ah, I'm drunk. I want to see Appa. Look. I said while entering the room. At least shoulders flinched. Let me talk with Sangha. Ah, uh, then should we stand on guard? Im Seo Young got up. Why would I need you to stand guard? Be because something might occur that shouldn't be discovered by others? Nothing like that'll happen. We're just going to talk. Just close the door. Also. Well have a drink from the vending machine. LJ said instead. Her smiling eyes had an impertinent air. There could be people whose imaginations will run wild if we appear by ourselves. Like her. What about me? Im Seo Young and LJ left first, and Lee Tae Hee closed the door behind her. The practice room became quiet. I examined her leg, devoid of any scratches, and opened my mouth to speak. To be honest, I'm a bit confused. Lee Songa spoke first. I might have thrown it. Since I wanted to. Because I asked Jay if she wanted acting lessons. She frankly replied as her gaze fell to the floor. It made me think of the past. When you asked me if I had any thoughts on acting. Right here, in this practice room. That memory was always vivid like it only happened yesterday, but it suddenly felt like it was such a long time ago. And I thought about Sun Chai Young. Sun Chai Young. After taking a breath, Li Sangha continued. Because of that I can understand why Sun Chai Young hated me. Do you think she'll be better than me at acting? She asked in a crumbling voice. Like someone enduring a chill, Li Sangha wrapped her arms around herself. Her fingers holding onto her forearms were white. Tears hung on the corners of her lowered eyelashes. My mouth tasted bitter. So much that it was difficult to swallow. It was simply a casual suggestion. Just because I happened to remember that people called Young Jay the second Lee Sangha in the future vision I saw in the past. Reporters might have exaggerated because she was the center of a rising girl group, but I was curious if she really had talent in acting. If she showed talent after a few lessons, I would foster it, but if not, I would have made her focus on her singing career. I only brought it up to figure that out. Did that sound like a death sentence to Lee Sangha? I know I'm weird. Lee Sangha whispered like she was making a confession. I'm trying to become normal. Because I can't become like Sun Chai Young. Another voice overlapped with hers in my mind. CEO Beck Hansung's voice, which was embedded deep in my mind. That's why most of them depend on something. That could be drugs, alcohol, or the like or someone. Make her depend on you. So that she doesn't turn her gaze to something else. I knew how Lee Sangha felt about me. I also knew that it was so complicated and tangled that it would be difficult to explore every aspect of that emotion. Because I played a part in it. Even though I knew she was excessively unconditional and had an obsessive side to her. To make her depend and lean on me above all else. I licked my dry lips and said. You are different from Sun Chai Young. I wish that was true. Lee Sangha raised her head. Appa, he'll handle my schedule with another chief from now. The words I was about to say to her were all pushed aside. I know that you are barely managing my schedule. I know, but I keep thinking, only a bit more, and it has come this far. You'll be much busier from now, so you don't need to take care of my schedule. I'll stand on my own. Stand on your own. Also, if, from another team if there's a chief from team 2 who wants to work with me, that's fine too. That's something I'll have to experience anyways. She's fine with me handing her over to another team's chief. Anger suddenly surged. 
It was so severe that the unpleasantness I had felt until was almost cute. My emotions were so turbulent that I felt sick. I swallowed dryly and rubbed the corner of my lips. I was in no position to think Lee Song Ha's situation was unique. If I had a champagne flute in my hand right now, it might have shattered into more pieces that Lee Song has. The suspicions and caution that had accumulated over the past few days finally burst. Did the CEO tell you to do that? Ha! Huh. Sun Chai Young's matter. And now you. Did the CEO order you? My mind was a mess, but the words coming out of my mouth flowed so smoothly that it was surprising. Li Sangha blinked her eyes, taken aback. Order. Or threatened. Threatened. Finally spitting out that word, which was dwelling in my mind all this time, my suspicion seemed to grow even larger. What kind of person was CEO Beck Hansung? Was he a good person or a bad one? My future self said that he became disenchanted with CEO Beck Hansung's methods and left WU. He then corrected himself, saying that it would have been better to stay under CEO Beck Hansung. That, in a world full of black-hearted people, a man like him was still grey. CEO Beck Hansung, who I had observed until now, was talented and even reliable at times. Also, Sun Chai Young described him to be someone who tied celebrities under his company by finding their weakness. If I became disenchanted with CEO Beck Hansung's methods, then I. Why do you think that? Li Sangha asked with a strange expression. What did you hear? What I told you last time was really all. What I said to you were purely my own thoughts. There weren't any threats or anything. Why would the CEO do something so extreme? Why? Because Li Sangha grew big enough that people referred to a walking one person company. Because she grew big enough that CEO Beck Hansung called her WU's poster star. There were only three years left on her seven year exclusive contract, and the CEO and his executives were probably thinking and preparing for the future. Also, because CEO Beck Hansung might be someone who was more comfortable with threatening someone than persuading them. Like me. You, that photo. The one that was taken with me. That photo. Li Sangha abruptly looked shocked like someone who had just been hit. Her torso staggered backwards. If that photo is something that's holding you down, I can. No. That photo is Ju just an embarrassing past. It's not something that can hold me down. It's something I can simply close my eyes and handle if it ever got released. Really? Yes. Why are you suddenly worried about that? I repeatedly confirmed it while nodding my head. She didn't look like she was acting. Was Lee Sangha someone who could fool someone, me, like it was nothing? Was I suffering from obsession? Were there really no secret threats I didn't know? Even if that was true, would it continue to be the case? My head ached. I was a walking mental ward. I sighed and told her. Sangha. If something like that ever happens, you need to tell. Appa. Li Sangha came closer. In a worried voice, she said. I'm not as good of a person as you think. Rather than being threatened, I think about threatening others, no, I'm worried that I will. Also, you don't need to worry about the CEO anymore. I'm not really scared of him anymore. Li Sangha smiled. The only one I'm scared of is you. The moment I heard that, the thread that had been pulled tight for a long while finally snapped. It really did seem like we entered summer. It was early in the morning, yet the sun was already out. Lying down and staring at the curtain's fluttering shadow, I grabbed my phone. Reporters, producers, and writers, who didn't distinguish between night and day, had filled my call history with missed called. I would have checked each one normally, but I pushed them all aside today and called someone. Immediately, I heard a noisy background and a voice. What with the busiest person in the world calling me this early in the morning? Are you getting off work now? No, it's my day off. You get days off. Dad, what is it? Is it his day off? Hasn't it been a million years since his last one? Let's tell him to come over if it's his day off. You hear them, right? Even the kids are surprised. That wasn't surprising to hear since I had worked hard without taking a breath for a while. 
I didn't even know when the last time I rested an entire day without thinking about work was. My friends were talking about how I've completely disappeared after telling them to think I went back to mandatory military service. I heard ITLL get easier if you went from a road manager to a chief, but why is it that you get busier by the day? It's been a while since you've gone home too. Do you even have a life? 30 is just around the corner, yet I haven't heard that you're seeing someone. Dad. I I also want to say something. Soon, I heard a serious voice from the other side. Uncle. On TV, it said that youth is from your teens to your twenties. You won't be young next year. Now that you're all past your cute age, you're gross. Be respectful when talking to me. Uncle called us gross. I heard my brother laugh amidst the quadruplet shouts. They are acting like that because they miss you. I'm on my way now. I said while grabbing onto my bed and pulling myself up. You're coming. You can. Since the project is over, I can take a breather. I need to organize a few things too. About that. Huh. I have something I want your advice on. With me? What kind of advice? About life? No, about dating. Chapter, 184. I started my minivan before turning it off. It made it feel like this was an extension of my work. I put on prescription-less glasses and a hat and headed towards the subway station. It has been a long time since I've taken public transit. I hadn't been able to go out this freely since making film broadcasted either. I saw celebrities' faces everywhere I looked on the main street. Outdoor display panels, posters, banners, and billboards. There was something unique about this normal view to me. Pretty girl's new song playing from an open cafe, and a bus stop with a poster of a soda drink that Neptune is negotiating a contract extension with. Although I had gathered a bunch of posters at home, seeing them outside like this felt completely different. When people showed interest in them, my heart tingled, and I felt proud. It also gave me the drive to jump up the steep stairs. When I saw a male actor displayed on the banner of a clothing brand, I hoped Nam Joyeun would become more successful and did something like that as well. When I saw a concert poster, I wanted Neptune to hold their own concert. And when I saw Foreigners, I dreamed about Lee Song has debut into America. My thoughts extended out like spiderwebs. When I saw an actor that I had a good impression of, I thought about which company they were currently signed with and wondered when they would be available on the free agent market. When I saw someone with a unique aura, I wondered whether they aspired to be celebrities. I saw Lee Sangha wherever I looked on my way to the station. There was a poster of her on a contact lens specialty shop, and on the same block, photos of Lee Sangha wearing her sponsored earrings and necklace in a jewelry store. She was also in a soju banner at a barbecue restaurant. Seeing the girls, who I was more familiar with seeing with my own eyes, gave me a strange feeling. Wasn't the model for that soju originally Sun Chai Young? When did they change it to Lee Sangha? It's been a while now, you shut in. Young men chatted in front of the banner. Isn't Sun Chai Young prettier than Lee Sangha? That's what I think. Dumbass, it simply comes down to preference between those two. I want to date Lee Sangha but marry Sun Chai Young. Lee Sangha seems like someone I need to put on a pedestal, but Sun Chai Young seems more like an elegant lady. Someone whole put on an apron at home, right? Nope, you're wrong. Elegant lady. Those words will bring you an early death. Hey, of course, you need to put Lee Sangha on a pedestal if you marry her. They say she earned 10 billion won last year. Not that much. What useless debate. They'll date and marry celebrities or conglomerate families. What? Can't we even imagine it? The chatting men cursed each other as they disappeared. I stared at Lee Song his banner momentarily before going on my way. The subway station was crowded. Only after standing for two stops did I finally find a spot to sit. I put earphones on and pressed my hat down even more. Since I wasn't a celebrity, People would usually stare out of interest when I was discovered, but some weird people appeared on occasion. I observed people's daily lives through my glasses. Hey, hey, look at the man next, next, next to you. Isn't he Jang Sun Wu? 
Young son Wu Yumin. A woman, who seemed like a university student, poked her friend's side and glanced at me. I think so. Check if there's Lee Songa nearby. Why would a celebrity ride the subway? They would be in a van or car. Our girls ride the taxi a lot too. Sometimes, even scooters. Thinking about their whispers, a smile unknowing crept up my face. I didn't drive my minivan because it felt like this was an extension of my work, but I kept thinking about the girls and work. Especially Lee Songa. It seemed like she had completely rented out a corner of my mind. It made me realize that my work was deeply ingrained in my life. Uncle. This is soy sauce fried chicken, and this is green onion fried chicken. Eat until you explode. I threw two chicken as bait to the rushing quadruplets. I used to be fine when the four of them clung to my arms and legs, but it was impossible now. I didn't dare. They grew up like bean sprouts during the time I didn't see them. Has it been two years since I last saw them? Quickly snatching the chickens from my hands, the kids chattered. You want us to eat until we explode? Uncle, are you underestimating us? It's been one chicken for each of us since last year. That's showing proper respect to the chickens. What respect? My brother and sister-in-law must be suffering a lot. Uncle, when are you planning on making our cousins? Grandma and Grandpa were sad, saying how we're all grown up now. I hope that our cousins are also quadruplets. Quadruplets are hereditary. Don't say such scary things. I entered the living room while pressing my head. It was filled with the smell of roasted sesame oil. I heard something boiling and something frying in a pan. It has been a long time since I heard these sounds. My sister-in-law walked out of the kitchen. She had a bright smile on her face, which looked so young it was unbelievable that she had four children. How long has it been? Maybe it's because we've seen you on TV, but you seem like a celebrity. Ah, uh, did you see the broadcast? Of course, we did. The younger co-workers at my work watched it a lot. I was really tempted to tell them that you were my brother-in-law. You should have told them. It's not a huge secret. I can't. If I tell them, ITLL be exhausting for me and a bother for you. They'll definitely make a fuss, asking for someone's autograph. Also, they'll pester me about inviting celebrities to our company track meets or weddings. It's so obvious. My sister-in-law said bluntly before beaming. How's work these days? Is it still fun? Yes, I'm doing it because it's something I enjoy, so it won't do if it's not fun. That's good. Go talk with your brother, lunch is almost ready. As soon as she said that, my brother tossed the book he was reading on the sofa. Then he brought me to the kids' room. The room with the bunk bed was messy. They had put up celebrities' autographs I had gotten for them on the walls, and albums were organized on their desk. Tell me, what relationship advice? Are you dating someone? Are you thinking about marriage? My brother urgently said. For someone who was usually boringly quiet, his eyes were particularly shining at this moment. At your age, you date while thinking of marriage. At your age, I. Had four kids. I know. I sat down on the floor and leaned against the bed. Then I picked my words. My mind was complicated when I thought about it myself, but I didn't know what to say first. This was difficult. I'm not dating anyone. Then is it that, what do you call it, flirting situation? Or one-sided love? This is a bit complicated. Is the person a celebrity? I nodded. My brother paused for a moment before cautiously asking. A woman? Or a man? A woman? It was such an unexpected question that it broke the serious mood. No, it's because you said it was complicated. The entertainment industry is open to that. You said that you packed a lot of side dishes for Mr. Nam Joyun last year too. One. No. It's Sangha. My brother's eyes became as large as saucers. Then he rummaged through the kid's desk and took out Neptune's mini-album photobook. He flipped through it and showed me a page. It was a photo of Lee Sangha looked at the camera. Lee Sangha. Is there another Sangha around me? 
Hey, even if you have high standards, isn't that too high? He stopped mid-sentence and got up. He went out of the room and brought in two glasses of cold water. He was in such a hurry that the tray was overflowing with water. I gulped down the glass and glanced at the closed door. Then I began talking about what I had been holding back. I think Sonda likes me. What? Did she tell you? No, I asked her if she likes me, and she said she didn't. Never. Even if she dies. My brother, who was listening with bated breath, frowned. Then she doesn't. But I think she does. At first, I thought she was simply leaning on me, who was helping her out, because she was feeling a lot of pressure. But it's not. The more I look, you would have to be a fool not to notice. Initially, I simply had my suspicions that she was acting this way because she had this excessive desire to have me to herself like Seo Jijun and Chief Lee Bung Jun's relationship. But, no matter how I saw it, that wasn't the case. While I wasn't as quick-witted as LJ, I wasn't a complete idiot either. When, when did it start? It's a been a while. More than a year. My brother dumbly gaped his mouth. And you acted like you didn't notice all this time. What am I going to do if I acknowledge it? I asked back while tilting my head. My brother fixed his glasses and pondered. Ah, you said she told you that she didn't like you. But if you like her back, you could try talking to her. A lot of celebrities date these days. Or is it because she can't have a dating scandal since she's a spokesmodel? Then you can just date in secret. I shook my head. There's no such thing as a secret in this industry. It's only a matter of time. The paparazzi was growing in the country. If this broke out, the advertisers would cause a fuss and ITLL also negatively impact her image. ITLL also slow the growth of her fanbase at an important time. In this industry, someone beloved today could be cast aside tomorrow. The public's reaction might be less intense if it was Seo Jijun or Im Ju Won, who appeared in the same drama. However, it would be iffy with me. There was no doubt that there would be more negative reactions than positive ones. However, the bigger problem was. If we are in that sort of relationship, then I have to quit being her manager. There'll also be problems at work. If we continue to stick together like we are now, then there'll no end to nasty rumors. And if we break up, ITLL be even more difficult to work with Sangha. I stared at Lee Song has photo. The time we spent practicing reading her lines, experience hate comments and controversies, and eventually succeed while looking up at the same goal flashed past my eyes. So I acted like I didn't notice. It might also be why Song has vehemently denying it. Above all other risks, I couldn't bear to risk shattering our current relationship. Rather than breaking a relationship with someone I would like to work forever for a love relationship that could one day go astray, it was better to bury my feelings. And I thought about this. If, after a few more years pass, I have a firm foundation in this industry and Lee Sangha had reached a position where she could bear dating whoever she wanted. If Lee Song has feelings didn't change even then. Maybe. You did, but why do you suddenly want advice? My brother asked again. The sentiments that filled my mind were wiped away. A familiar snake slithered in their place. I wet my mouth with the cold water before saying. I've experienced a change. A change? Sangha said she wanted to stand on her own. She wants to try working with someone other than me. The snake shed its skin. The smell was repulsive. This is something I should be commending. The fact that Sangha is trying to fix her excessive reliance on me. And it's a positive for her. But. But. I didn't like that. It felt like poison was dripping from my voice. I didn't like that Sangha would depend on someone other than me. It also bothered me. It makes me want to do something crazy. So I'm a bit confused right now. Is this the normal feelings of love for someone or an excessive possessive desire between a manager and celebrity? If it was the second one. I came to the thought that I might be the one who might use Lee Song has weakness to tie her down and become disillusioned by myself and not CEO Baek Han Sung. That I might be someone actually capable of that. I asked my brother, who looked taken aback, again. 
what do you think this is? Chapter, 185 My brother raised his glass. Wait, let me have a drink. It's empty. Even though I told him, my brother seemed to only realize it was empty when he tried to take a sip because he fumbled as he placed it back on the tray. His honest face was filled with confusion. I felt sorry. Well, it wasn't like it was unexpected. He had expected that his brother, who had thrown his private life away for work for the past few years, had finally found himself a woman. But after hearing the situation, it was difficult to tell whether this was more of a therapist session than asking for relationship advice. I laughed bitterly and said. Sorry for giving you a headache. You were the only one I could talk to about this. I did think about receiving counseling, but it's a bit difficult when your face is known to the public. There's no need to be sorry. This is what family is for. My brother waved his hand. First, let's assume that you and M.S. Sangha are dating. His voice, which became quiet when he said her name, grew in volume again. Let's assume you are dating with no issues involving the public eye, your careers, the company, or anything else. There's no chance you'll break up nor is there a chance your great relationship will worsen. If you want, you can even get married and have a great life. What a great assumption. That's just on the personal level. Instead, M.S. Sangha doesn't work with you any longer and works with someone else. Whether she changes her manager or she goes to a different company. What do you think? What did I think? If someone besides me helped expand Lee Song has filmography, strove for the same goal, and got her on the red carpet? I don't think I can allow that. My voice was cold. I wished it would stop here, but my brother continued. What if M.S. Sangha wants to do that? A black scarf fluttered. A woman slowly walked down a hallway. The floor was covered in marble tiles, and the white walls had faint specks here and there. There was also a window where the leisurely sun beamed in. Within the normal, if not boring, hallway, only the woman seemed different. Who is she? Did a woman like her live on our floor? I've never seen her since I've moved here. Wow, she seems like a celebrity. A young couple acted like they had accidentally messed up their passcode to their door lock as they glanced at her. She wore a t-shirt, jeans, and black boots. While her clothes seemed normal, she herself was far from normal. She covered her eyes with large sunglasses and wore a baseball cap on her head. She covered her nose to her neck with the out-of-season scarf. Her hair shook under her scarf every step she took. She was a very suspicious yet interesting woman. When the couple failed their passcode for the third time, the woman stopped a few doors away from them. Her smooth hand stopped in front of the door lock before ringing the doorbell. Soon, the woman entered the apartment. The couple's gaze was fixed on the shut door. That unit, it's the one with a lot of daughters, right? Is she one of them? I don't know. I did hear a bit from the lady since she liked to boast about her daughters a lot. The first one graduated from Hyman Women's University and was preparing for a job. I think she said her second daughter was in the arts. Her fourth was in the varsity judo team. Something about becoming a national athlete or something. Then what about the third? At her husband's question, she tilted her head. I don't know about the third. I think she said she was in the States. Lee Sangha let out a stuffy breath. She took off her hat and sunglasses and undid her cumbersome scarf. She looked around the living room. There was a vase with sunflowers. The fabric sofa with cute little cushions was so old that its edges were frayed. Frames were hung on the wall. Lee Sangha stared at the photos. At the top was a photo of the four sisters in a group hug when the youngest was only 100 days old. Below that were three daughters in school uniforms. Next to that was the first daughter's graduation photo, the second daughter receiving an award at a drawing contest, as well as a photo of the fourth daughter holding a medal from a regional tournament. Beside them hung a large photo of the family of five. The photo looked peaceful and natural. Lee Sangha seemed different even here. Is it hot outside? A middle-aged woman with a tidy short perm and gentle eye wrinkles asked. She was the stereotypical mother image in a public service campaign. 
She was Lee Song his mother. She had neatly sliced Korean melons in a tray. Lee Sangha received the fork her mother handed her and asked. When did you take a family photo? Oh, that was to commemorate your older sister's graduation. I was going to tell you about it, but you're so busy. Also, if we have a photo of you in the living room, our guests are always going to make a fuss about it whenever they come over. It's not good for celebrities if their families show off like that. Really? Then they start a business selling their child's name, use the money they earn and cause problems. Those people show up on the news every once in a while. I won't do something so uncultured and uneducated. Her mother patted Lee Song has shoulder gently. Am acting like this all for you so. I get it. It looks good, the photo. Lee Sangha trailed off and turned her gaze. Her oldest sister opened her door and walked out while brushing her bed hair. Her face very much resembled her mother. She tapped her neck a couple of times with her fist before discovering Lee Sangha and walking over. I was wondering if you arrived. What's the occasion? Is today some special day? Just. I got a break. You have time to take a break. You need to work hard while you're getting work. I saw an article that you earned 10 billion won. Celebrities really are nice. How many houses can you buy with that? I probably can't earn that even if I work my whole life in a big corporation. Her oldest sister exclaimed while patting Lee Song has shoulder. Her mother joined in. But celebrities have their peak. Sangha, you're properly managing your money, right? My company introduced me to an asset manager. Don't spend your money like water and save it. Celebrities are only celebrities when they have work. When they don't, they're jobless. You should listen to your sister and earn a lot while you can. I still think you should just focus on acting. I should talk with your CEO on let's talk about this later. Her mother stopped speaking after glancing at her oldest daughter. At some point, her oldest sister sat down on the sofa and said. I saw Neptune's residential life on making film. You really are great at acting. Did it look like I was acting? Didn't the staff give you lines? You talk twice as much as you do at home. You should talk more at home. Ah, also, you ate a ton over there too. You used to write your name on food at home too. Hearing that, her mother chimed in. Yeah, pig's feet, fried chicken, I was embarrassed when they continuously showed you eating that stuff. Your sisters don't do that, so why do you have such a big appetite? People will think that your parents starved you. We're the ones who starved. She received a lot to eat. Because she's pretty. You weren't like that when you were young. Maybe your eating habits worsened when you went to America alone. Anyways, eating only looks good if you do it moderation. It doesn't look good if you have too much of an appetite. It makes you look greedy. The conversation came to a standstill when Lee Sangha visibly frowned. Lee Sangha placed her fork down on the plate. She hadn't eaten a single piece of melon. Just then, the front door opened with the sound of the door unlocking. Hey, 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 wait. Stay out here for a bit. We have a guest. Her youngest sister, who was in university, pushed her friends back out. Her friends, who also wore judo uniforms, were pushed out the door. She quickly closed the door and looked at Lee Sangha with wide eyes. You surprised me. You should have said you were coming. Am I a guest? Lee Sangha asked. An awkward silence momentarily hung in the home. Lee Sangha didn't wait for their answer and walked to the front door. She then put her boots on. Her youngest sister, whose eyes grew even wider, hastily grabbed Lee Sangha's arm. Wait. Are you going out like that? My friends don't know you're my sister. Just continue telling them that I'm your guest, not your sister. Lee Sangha spoke in an even tone then grabbed the door handle. Sangha. Her mother shouted as she approached her. Your sister might become a national athlete. Do you think reporters will leave her alone when they find out she's your sister? How sorry do you think she'll be to her colleagues if articles show up saying that she's your sister and she receives the public's attention? It won't be good for you too. As I said, we are acting like this for yo. 
I get it, so stop. Lee Sangha cut her off. She then put on her sunglasses and hat and covered herself with the scarf. Her mother let out a sigh of relief. Having covered her face, Lee Sangha opened the door. When the gazes of the waiting students fell on her, she raised her scarf up higher. She got on the elevator and pressed the button to the ground floor. The tips of her heavy boots tapped the floor. The people who got on from the lower floors were first surprised when they saw her and surprised again at her dark, gloomy mood. Lee Sangha walked out as soon as the elevator doors opened. She slowed her steps once she was out of the apartment building like someone who didn't know where to go. She suddenly fumbled in her pocket and took out her phone. There were a few unread messages from Neptune's group chat. As expected, the first message was I'm C.O. Young. She had gone back home saying that she needed to spend her break with her family, and had uploaded a selfie. Behind him Seo Young, whose eyes were red, perhaps from crying, were her family members eating. They were having a feast. Below that were short replies from LJ and Lee Taehee. Lee Taehee had gone to a sushi place with her father and was day drinking, while LJ catching up with her old friends at a bar. Lee Sangha put her fingers on the reply section before hesitating when her phone rang. Her slow steps completely stopped. She looked around before raising her sunglasses a little. She then checked the caller once more. Her dark eyes soon shined with a bright halo. Yes, Appa. She placed her phone to her ear, and she walked cheerfully like she was tap dancing. Were you waiting like that? There were a lot of people. I can't get discovered. Quickly getting in the passenger seat, Lee Sangha took off her disguise. Her face looked bright. My heart dropped, worried something might have happened. I came to pick her up after hearing she went to visit her family by herself, and she was waiting on a park bench while hugging her knees. Like some puppy waiting for her owner. I thought until inwardly clicking my tongue. Owner. Puppy. Damn it. To make that sort of comparison. I really was crazy. I looked to my side and Lee Sangha seemed to be in a good mood as she was humming a song. The way she opened the glove compartment and looked around was very natural. She opened a bag with large cookies. She offered one to me as she took a bite into another. Are you hungry? Did you not eat at home? We suddenly had a guest. Then let's go eat. I haven't eaten yet. To be honest, I had two bowls of rice at my brother's, but I could probably fit another bowl. I mean I skipped so many meals until now. I started to drive while thinking about a restaurant where we could eat in peace when Lee Sangha packed her partly eaten cookie back in the bag. She then cautiously asked. Appa, does it look greedy when I eat a lot? No, who the heck said that nonsense? You look good when you eat. So something did happen at home. I recalled Lee Sangha's family, who I had seen from a distance. Her relationship with her family wasn't so bad that it would be article-worthy, but it wasn't affectionate either. Lee Sangha looked down at the cookie as she spoke. I have a lot of sisters, both older and younger than me. I didn't have much to myself since I was young. Someone would always take it or it would disappear. That's why I like eating. It's mine once I swallow it. It's not like they can slice open my belly and take it out. Lee Sangha looked at me. I thought this whenever I saw you. I hoped no one took you away, but because you're a human, I can't eat you. It made me nervous, so I think I became weird you're not an object. She closed then opened her eyes and said with resolve. I'm going to work hard until I'm normal. Even if we're not working together every day, I think ITLL be great if you came to pick me up and had a meal together occasionally. Also, once I become normal, like my plans. Her resolute voice trailed off, hiding the rest of her sentence. Until you become normal, you say. I fixed my gaze on the windshield and looked inwardly. The snake, which had been excitedly shedding its skin, stopped halfway. It looked at me as if asking why I was hesitating. To shed my skin completely. It wasn't just Lee Sangha who needed to work hard to become normal. Also. Sangha, about your ten-year plan. Pardon. No, did you say it was a five-year plan? The plan you mentioned. 
as if she was taken aback by my question, Lee Sangha stuttered as she replied. It it's a five-year plan. Since two years have passed, three years now. Three years, huh? Three years. Let's wait until then. Chapter, 186. Let's wait until then. Li Sangha made the sweetest smile when she heard my words. I buried the seed which I shared with Li Sangha. So that, if an environment where it could grow without being stomped on or withered, it would sprout. Then I turned around and finally stepped forward. Shouldn't you take some herbal tonic? Something touched my shoulder. Having fallen asleep against the whiteboard, I jolted awake. It was the chief of blackout. His gaze alternated between the packed schedule on the whiteboard and my face before he clicked his tongue. It looks like you've been infected with Hyunjo's dark circles. The Team 3 leader knows a lot about medicinal herbs and tonics. You ask him to get you some. Like carp or loach juice or something. I'm fine. Why? Do you have a weak stomach? You look like the type who can eat snake raw. I'm more delicate than I look. Rather than the herbal tonic, please introduce me to a hardy, good-working road manager if you know one. Ours are exhausted. We don't even have the time to recruit and train a new one. I looked at the schedule while rolling my stiff shoulders. What caught my eye the most was pretty girls. They properly started their activities with IBC's music broadcast, and now their schedule was packed with autograph signing events, press interviews, guest appearances on radio and TV shows, and events. Both the pretty girls Goldfish and Chief Lee Tae Shin were getting used to their day starting and ending early in the morning. They were so happy that they should be able to work for a good while. Neptune had it worse. They had a schedule in Sangdamdong early in the morning, an event in Busan at noon, and a performance in China at night. Not only did they have a busy schedule, but they also had to prepare for their official album. They were gradually becoming more and more haggard. There was nothing more to say about Lee Sangha, who had her schedule on top of all that. The ones with the most free time around me were Nam Joyeun, who was thinking about his next project, and Kim Hyun Sup. Although it wasn't the best for a celebrity to be too free, if Nam Joyeun had a busy schedule as well, our team would be running around with IVs. I do know an experienced road manager who doesn't have any work right now. The blackout chief said quietly. She's a good, hard worker. She's even pretty. Who is she? Can you give me her Kanta? But she can't drive. Damn it. The blackout chief grinned when he saw my expression. That was a joke. I do have one, but only if you're going to assign them to Lee Sangha. So he had a condition. When I told Kim Hyunjo and the Team 3 leader that I was looking for a manager to handle on-site schedules for Lee Sangha, the news shook the entire company. There were so many fish aiming for the bait that I felt like I was an aquarist. Amongst the fish, there were road managers who had just managed to get promoted to chiefs as well as chiefs who had more experience than me. In fact, there were a few from the team too who slowly approached the bait. Please give me their contact information. I'll think about it. Here, let me know if you also need their resume. The blackout chief handed me their business card like he had been waiting for the opportunity. I barely managed to squeeze it into my bulging business card case. Although I wasn't fully handing her over to someone else, I felt uneasy at the thought of leaving Lee Sangha under someone else's care. The chief left, and I looked back at the whiteboard. There were a few hours left before the official business I would have to handle this evening. Me having leisure time was as rare as grass in a drought. But it wasn't like I could just roll on the bed because I did. I had some unofficial business from now on. Sun Chai Young had the VIP room of her hair shop all to herself. I was about to go in, but I stopped. A different person was reflected in the mirror. No, it definitely was Sun Chai Young. However, her crescent eyes and the light smile on her face, she was completely different from the Sun Chai Young I knew. Was she someone who could make that expression when she wasn't acting? Just as I thought this, Sun Chai Young's expression distorted. What is it? She instantly returned to the Sun Chai Young I knew. It was so quick that I almost thought I was seeing things due to sleep deprivation. I brushed aside the strong image in my mind and entered the room. 
I sat down on the sofa under Sun Chaiyang's sharp glare. Where is Chief Li Jianghyun? He went to look for ripe persimmons. Why? He was still looking for that. I laughed at the ridiculousness. Sun Chaiyang's eyes burned with rage. Don't try to start a fight. I'm watching what I say. When have I tried to start a fight? But why are you watching what you say? Now that I thought about it, it did seem like her words were more awkward. More like a kindergarten teacher's, no, I couldn't compare them to her. Why do you think? The public service announcement campaign is about talking properly and kindly. I went into a coughing fit. Sun Chai Young shooting a polite speech public service announcement. Could anything be more comedic? What? I learned Korean in school. Did I say anything? Don't piss me off and leave. Your face itself provokes me. She snapped at me before turning her gaze. I stared at her. I had met with Sun Chai Young a few times during this time. The official reason was to suggest next projects for her, but it was honestly to change the future where she retires. Because I kept feeling the intention behind the future vision I kept seeing. However, I was making slow progress. Because Sun Chai Young currently looked like she had no intention of retiring. Although her eyes burned with rage whenever I brought up her doing another project, she did seem like she planned on taking on new projects once she left WU. In order to change her future, I had to figure out what to change about the present, but nothing stuck out to me as I observed her like this. I've only gotten more and more used to dealing with Sun Chai Young. I clicked my tongue and looked at her. Her face on the mirror was huffing. Suddenly, the unfamiliar smiling face I saw just now overlapped with her face. Was that expression for her commercial as well? I recalled what Lee Sangha had said. That she couldn't become like Sun Chai Young. I didn't know if it was because of that, but I also began to wonder if Sun Chai Young had a phase where she was like Lee Sangha in the past. WU employees said that she was like this since she joined WU. MS. Sun Chai Young. Why do you keep saying my name? I only said it once. But was your personality like this when you debuted? How is my personality? It's terrible. I said truthfully. Sun Chai Young kicked the leg of the vanity, and her chair spun twice before stopping in front of me. Sun Chai Young crossed her legs and stared at me. I wasn't like this when I debuted. Her lips curled up into a crooked smirk. I was like this since I was wearing diapers. Okay. She didn't even wait for my reply and she said in a dubious manner. But why are you so interested in me these days? I heard that you were looking for a manager to handle Lee Song has on-site schedules. Are you planning on handing her over completely and working with me? I have no plans on working with you. I have no work for you either. I asked the snorting Sun Chai Young. But why are you so interested in who I manage? At first, you told me to ditch Sangha and to work with you. Later, you mentioned how I looked like I had devoted myself to Sangha but got pissed when you thought I accepted the CEO's proposal. While saying this, I noticed Sun Chai Young was frowning. I remember you clearly stating you had no thoughts on working with me. But then you would ask me to change who I manage whenever we meet. You did it just now too. Just what is it you want? Sun Chai Young's pupils moved from her left to her right. She was silent for a bit like she was lost in thought, but she soon lightly shrugged. Just curious. About how long your little game of house will last. Sun Chi Young once again turned her chair towards the vanity. Just then, the door burst open. Chief Li Jang Hyun entered while panting like a wild boar. He seemed to have gone around a fruit market as he gave off a rather sweet scent. He didn't have to leisure to recognize me as he shouted with a red face. M.S. Chai Young. I can't do this any longer. The iced persimmons I got from the tea shop in Insidong the day before yesterday is the best I can do. Where would I find ripe persimmons on trees during this season? M.S. Chai Young, you don't like me, do you? If you don't like me, then just say it. I don't. Sun Chai Young immediately answered. Chief Li Jang Hyun, who seemed to have returned his senses, stuttered. Wh what part of me? 
how can I list off every little thing? Just ask me what about you I like. What about me do you like? Nothing about you. Chief Li Jianghyun shut his mouth like a chick that ate honey. Looking so pissed she could explode, Sun Chai Young's gaze alternated between me and Chief Li Jianghyun before she suddenly smiled brightly. Her smile really could only be described that way. Everyone. Chills ran from my toes to the top of my head. Pointing to the door with a still smiling face, Sun Chai Young added. Please screw off. Chai Young told Young Sun Wu to screw off. Chief Zhou asked with a smirk. He waved his hand as though urging for a response. Chief Li Jang Hyun, who sat next to him on the sofa in the Team 2 leader's office, nodded his head with vigor. You know M.S. Chai Young's temp personality. Of course, I do. M.S. Chai Young pointed to the door and told him to please screw off. I felt bad for Chief Young, who was chased out with a red face yesterday. Chief Li Jang Hyun glanced in a direction while speaking with a glib tongue. The Team 2 leader was sitting at his desk. It was a bleak atmosphere. His normally well-groomed beard now looked like prickly thorns. This calm before the storm had continued for the past few days now. Chief Zhou tried his best to change the mood. Young Sun Wu, that guy, will have it tough. That's why he should have given up early on. This was destined to happen since he zealously said Hell Handle MS. Sun Chai Young. Chief Li Jang Hyun followed Chief Joss lead. By the time Young Sun Wu had been thoroughly cut up and smashed around, it seemed Chief Joss' tactic worked as the Team 2 leader's lips suddenly curled up. He's so hot blooded because he's young. He's impertinent because he's been on a roll. He has no respect for his seniors. Well, the CEO is protective of him so who would he fear? Right? Chief Zhou and Chief Li Jianghyun hesitantly nodded along. The Team 2 leader's gaze grew colder when he mentioned the CEO. That's why he's gotten himself into such a situation without understanding his position. His voice grew dark. Chief Zhou flinched. Chief Li Jianghyun warmed his hands with his teacup as he looked around, reading the mood. Suddenly, the Team 2 leader's expression fiercely distorted as he said. Li Bangjun. It's been so long since I've called him over, why isn't he here yet? That's he said that Jijun's schedule in China might be extended. Chief Zhou replied. The Team 2 leader snorted. Schedule? Li Bangjun, that quick-witted fellow, is probably squatting there, trying to avoid the storm. I just happened to have him manage Jijun. Jijun used to listen to my every word back when he was a rookie. His beard squirmed as he said to Chief Zhou. Chief Zhou, you pay special attention to Inho. So that he doesn't become like Jijun. Of course. He'll make sure of that. Young Sun Wu, he's the problem. After meeting him, Li Bangjun and Jijun are acting like foals released from their reins. Mr. Jijun brought a bouquet to Chief Young's party not long ago. It looks like he might transfer over if Chief Yong makes his own team. Chief Li Jianghyun stopped talking. Chief Zhou was pinching his side. The Team 2 leader glared at him like he would personally choke him to death. It seemed like he recalled the embarrassment he experienced in front of others that day as the veins on the Team 2 leader's clenched fist bulged. His complexion turned red. The Team 2 leader's sharp gaze landed on a section of his desk. It was a framed group picture of actors in W.U. Seo Jijun was smiling off to the side in a photo that the Team 2 leader looked at with satisfaction whenever he had time. Jijun's mine. I brought him up since he was a rookie. He's not going anywhere. Of course, Jijun's the product of your effort. All Young Sun Wu did was connect him to Cat Guardian Ghost. Chief Zhou agreed by clicking his tongue. To be honest, the projects you were considering for Jijun that time were all successes. Jijun would probably be as successful as he is now if he had just followed the filmography you were building for him. Although I don't know how young Sun Wu was able to befriend him so quickly, he shouldn't try to stab you in the back by bringing Jijun with him. Of course, he can't. The Team 2 leader narrowed his eyes. Young Sun Wu has only had it easy until now, so it seems like he has no idea how disgusting it feels to be stabbed in the back. If he doesn't know, 
I should teach him. Hell learns something when he loses the actor he trusts and holds dear. The actor Young Sun Wu trusts and holds dear. Chief Zhou, who had been going along with him, made a face. Li Songa. Team leader, she's not the type to betray Young Sun Wu. The team two leader made a meaningful smile. Do you know what can split apart a close relationship between a celebrity and her manager? Money? The team two leader shook his head. Just as he was about to open his mouth to speak, he looked at Chief Li Jianghyun. Chief Li Jianghyun, who was dawdling to listen further, was soon pushed out the office. Only the team two leader and Chief Zhou remained in the office. It's family. Chief Zhou's eyes widened. The team two leader leaned against his chair as he continued. When the manager's opinion clashes with her family's and their relationship becomes stormy, the celebrity stuck in the middle will side with their family in the end. No matter how good or bad their relationship with their family is, blood is thicker than water. Feeling betrayed, the manager will eventually become a stranger. Making a crooked smile, the team two leader said. I think I should have a talk with Lee Song his parents. Hearing the elevator's ring, I opened my eyes. What was left of my vigor was sapped during our production meeting. My brain shouted how it would go on strike if I didn't immediately slump over and sleep. I was about to enter my office while rubbing my temples when I heard. Team Leader Team Leader Yong Chief Li Jang Hyun, who wandered around the lounge anxiously, rushed over. There's something I need to tell you. I heard the Team 2 leader and Chief Joe talk. I had qualms about their conversation and decided that I needed to tell you. He looked around while speaking. He reminded me of a mouse every time I saw him. It's regarding MS. Li Songa. My mind jolted awake. Please come over here. Chief Li Jang Hyun led me to the stairs like this was some spy action flick. He checked above and below the stairs before approaching me. He then said in a quiet voice. I, I really want to manage MS. Li Songa. Even if it's temporary. Didn't you say there was a problem? There is. The team two leader wants to STA dash, so he wants to do something about Ms. Li Songa. But you know the team two leader's personality, right? I'm dead if I get caught telling you this. I really am taking a big risk here. What about Li Songa? I unconsciously frowned. Chief Li Jianghyun chattered on about how he was helping me out while spit sputtered from his lips. I down at him and made a business smile. I get it so tell me. What did the team two leader say? That is. Chief Li Jianghyun got to the point. He recounted what the team two leader had said. I felt my accumulated exhaustion turned into rage. Even my mind became hot. This man. As soon as he finished talking, I went down the stairs. Taken aback, Chief Li Jianghyun followed after me. WH where are you going? To the Team 2 Leader's office. Chapter, 187. Team Leader Yong. Why why are you acting like this? What are you planning on doing by barging in? I didn't know either. I grabbed a hold of my rationality and thought about it. What was I doing right now? Of course, I was angry. Since I was relayed that nonsense. However, what could I do by barging in like this? Was I going to grab the team two leader by the collar and reek the place, telling him not to try any schemes? Was I going to pull out his beard hair and swear at him? Ah, that wasn't a bad idea. No, there was no way that wasn't a bad idea. Let's think about this rationally. What I heard from Chief Li Jianghyun was that the Team 2 leader mistakenly thought that I had stabbed him in the back and was now plotting against both Li Songa and me. I didn't have any solid evidence or anything. So let's calm down. I stopped where I was going and endure. I needed to come up with a plan after organizing my thoughts. Like I had been doing until now. I could look for countermeasures now that I knew the Team 2 leader was up to something, and I could even find a way to take his plot and turn it around on him. This was what my rationality was telling me to do, but my steps were getting quicker. Was this how having an impulse control disorder felt like? It felt like my rationality and impulse had completely separated. 
my entire body felt like it was boiling. The flames that surged in my stomach burned my struggling rationality. My mind soon became full of soot that I couldn't think properly. Each breath I took brought a burnt scent up my throat. Yeah, what calm down. Why would I exercise restraint? So that I could create Saraira. 1. He was going to split Lee Sangha and me apart and stab me where. This wasn't something I should endure. I swung the stairway door open and went in. My body seemed to move on its own like during my future visions. Chief Li Jang Hyun, who chased after me, panted heavily. It just happened that Chief Zhou was leaving the Team 2 leader's office. He flinched as soon as he saw me. The Team 2 leader is in, right? What is the occasion? I immediately knocked on the door. A voice shouted. What is it? It's Yong Sun Wu. What? Who? I have something I want to talk to you about. The other side of the door grew quiet. Chief Joe looked at me in confusion. Come in. I swung the door open and entered. Around four chiefs hung around the second floor hallway. Someone brought over instant coffee in paper cups, instead of coke and popcorn. They glanced at the firmly shut Team 2 leader's office while sipping on their coffee. Chief Joe stood in front of the door like a statue. The mood between them was chilly during Young Sun Wu's party. It's been chilly for a while. The Team 2 leader's been treating Young Sun Wu like an eyesore before the party. It just blew up at the party. Once because the CEO talked a lot about team leader Yung Sun Wu, a second time when Seo Jijun and Im Ju Won arrived. Why people were wondering if the team 2 leader lost his touch with Nam Joyun's incident. There are people who ask if Seo Jijun and Im Ju Won should consult Yung Sun Wu about their schedules. The celebrities at our company are causing a commotion. I bet the team leader's head spun this time. Probably spun twice. He's the type to consider celebrities his children. Even though he assigns us to them, he observes our every move like a mother-in-law. The chief's gazes turned to the Team 2 leader's office door once more. Someone said. So the issue is how Young Sun Wu acts. What do you have to talk with me about? The Team 2 leader asked while looking at me like I was a plague. I sat down on the sofa and asked back. What is it about me that you dislike so much? He made an exasperated expression. He even snorted a couple of times. Are you drunk? Completely out of your mind? What are you saying after coming here without any notice? I was asking. I was wondering whether I should grab him by his collar or rip out his beard. That was being out of my mind. Right now, I was on the fence. I just wanted to talk about this properly once. I said while looking directly at him. I don't think I did anything to make myself out to be an enemy, but I feel like you hate me like one. Isn't it obvious that I would be curious about the reason why is the person suffering? So let's hear it. If you know the reason, are you going to change? It's not like him some stand-up person. Of course, I should change if it's something I feel is a problem. To be honest, it was a lie that even dogs wouldn't believe since I wouldn't be persuaded no matter what he says. No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't think I did something to warrant his actions against me. The Team 2 leader revealed a ridiculing smile. How can I like you? When you have no manners as a baby chick. Calling me a baby chick again. He should treat me as a chick transitioning into a chicken. You constantly overstep your position. When I lend you a hand to help you out, you try to screw me over instead. Everything you do after joining has been an eyesore, so how can I like you? As expected, I couldn't accept it. From what I could recall, he already began hating me when I refused to become Sun Dawan's proposal and became an eyesore since the incident with Sun Chai Young and teacher Shim Kyung Take. Two, he couldn't wait to devour me when I refused his shitty proposal of joining Team 2 and managing Sun Chai Young. It only worsened with Nam Joyun. At this point, I should be the one with the grudge. Wasn't that normal? Is that all? You were trying to stab me in the back by stealing away one of mine. Showing off by keeping Jijun next to you. His voice was resolute and full of malice. Aren't you the one plotting against me with ill will? Ill will. You have something against me because of Nam Joyun. 
He observed my expression as he nonchalantly shrugged. No. The mishap with one of Nam Joyan's movies last year. You think that I had something to do with it. How outrageous. Looking into it, it seems that there was some trouble between him and the director on site. I felt like I was counting down. 3. 2. Barely managing to keep my reason intact, I said. Ah, uh, that movie. It's great that we got out of it. I went to see it when it released, and they edited it so much that it wasn't the plot I originally knew. Since its budget was 10 billion won, 3. 5 million people needed to watch it for them to break even. I guess around 300,000 people did. My ticket was included. I watched it three times. Once with Nam Joyun, and twice on my own. It was when I was low on energy because of making film. My exhaustion washed away like I had taken a nutritional tonic whenever I watched it. Since we filmed the live after that, so it turned out to be a blessing now that I think about it. The Team 2 leader's expression gradually distorted. Like he did before, I shrugged and said. Also, I think you are misunderstanding something here. I never plotted to steal Mr. Seo Jijun from you. I don't know why you're so certain of that. Mr. Seo Jijun simply came to congratulate me at the party. We at least have that much of a friendship. I would have flinched if he had brought up Song Inho instead of Seo Jijun. Since it was true that I wanted Song Inho. However, it wasn't simply because I wanted to stab the team two leader in the back. If it was, I would have acted already. There wouldn't have been a need for me to repeatedly think about how I could bring Song Inho over without breaking my relationship with the Team 2 leader. If Song Inho wasn't suffering from being in Team 2, if he adjusted well in that team, and if the Team 2 leader didn't hate me if there weren't circumstances that rationalized this action, I would have ripped out that desire by its roots. I was excessively cautious of bad deeds. You weren't plotting against me. I had no plans to. As soon as I replied, the Team 2 leader snorted. He looked like he didn't believe me one bit. Ah, uh, you really didn't? I didn't. But you keep making me think about it. I said. My insides began to boil again. Pausing, the Team 2 leader glared at me. Returning his gaze, I said. Like you said, there has been some friction since Jo Yun Hyung's matter. That's why I hope you wouldn't take action against Jo Yun Hyung, Neptune, or Sangha again. I would like to work in peace if possible. I'm lacking energy even if I'm pouring my all into my work. I don't want to waste it by fighting. I also don't want to be life or death grudge with you either. So. Hey. The Team 2 leader, who was so menacing that it seemed he would wring my neck, suddenly smirked. Do you think my eyes have gone blind because people around me have been saying my discerning eye has gone down and such? Is your face one that wants to make peace with me? It's one that wants to properly face off against me. Your face looks like you're about to ignite a fuse. My face looks like I'm about to ignite a fuse. I checked my lips with my hands. I was smiling. This wasn't something I would be smiling about while listening, yet when did I start smiling? My heart throbbed strangely. I didn't know whether it was because of my anger at the Team 2 leader or because of some strange sense of expectancy. I roughly rubbed my lips, then I got up and said. If that's how you see it, then you just need to not ignite the fuse. The Team 2 leader didn't reply. He simply gave an unpleasant smile. One, two, three. Hello. We are pretty, pretty, pretty girls. The goldfish must have bowed fifty times on our way to our waiting room. They greeted whoever we came across, whether that was a celebrity or staff member. Even at the wall. Chief Li Taishin was similarly hyped. Most received their greeting, but other girl groups sometimes looked at them in dissatisfaction. Neptune and I had been the same. Hello, Chief Yong. Hey, it's team leader, team leader. Oops. Hello. Team leader. A familiar boy group came over and greeted me. I greeted them back. I greeted other celebrities, managers, and staff as well while introducing pretty girls. I continued down the hallway and knocked on the VIP waiting room. Who is it? The manager, who stuck his head out the door, 
opened the door wide when he saw me. The main MC of the day, Park Taepyeong, looked back with an annoyed face. 3 a welcoming expression flashed across the same crabby face as in the past. Oh, who's this? It's been a while. I greeted him and pushed pretty girls' backs. They had frozen in front of one of the top MCs in the country. Young Jae started off with a hello. Before their repeated chant echoed in the room. Please take care of us. Oh, my ears. Don't ask me to take care of you and just do well on your own. The girls stiffened at his irritated reply. I felt the girls in Chief Lee Taishin's care as I sat down next to Park Taepyeong and said. Please go easy on them today. This is their first time on a public network talk show. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm sick and tired of managers coming in and asking me to take care of their celebrities. But do I really need to take care of newbies like them? Rookies are supposed to learn after being edited out and stuff. Park Taepyeong exaggerated while placing his feet on the table. I said. Last time, when you asked me to connect you to Sangha for a speed quiz. Hey. She didn't answer a single one correctly. But it was entertaining. I also saw how you thanked her on social media. I coaxed him, not so much that it was unpleasant. Soon, Park Taepyeong's gaze alternated between me and pretty girls. Then he signed and asked. Oh, okay. This industry runs on favors like this. Are you going to be on set the whole time? No, I came over after pushing another schedule back. I wanted to greet you when I heard you were the MC today. Then give us a reaction. They'll try to give the girls a boost while talking about you. Thank you. We will work hard. We will give it our all. Yoon Sol shouted at the top of her lungs. The other girls bowed without thinking as well. Maybe it was because they all had clenched fists, but rather than a girl group, they looked like a gang. Hey, you're the one who showed off that imitation on making film, right? Don't do that, people are going to change the channel. I have been preparing an imitation of CH team leader Young Sun Woo. Oh Yandu and Lee Wayne poked Yoon Sol's sides. Park Taepyeong chuckled. Do that. The worse it is, the better. Chapter, 188. Really? I'm confident in that. If anyone else has prepared something, let me know. As though they were at an audition, the girls showed their talents and conversation topics to Park Taepyeong. Even though he swore a lot, the goldfish looked less nervous than before. It was because Park Taepyeong still commented on and gave suggestions while swearing. They took a photo together at the end for Park Taepyeong's social media. There shouldn't be any problems with the broadcast with this. We returned to Pretty Girl's waiting room, and Chief Lee Taishin said. Thank you, team leader. To come and help us when you're so busy. His glittering eyes were a bit too much. He looked tense in front of Park Taepyeong, who was known to be crabby, but now, he looked light as a feather. I tapped his arm and said. No need to thank me. This is my job. I greeted the staff and checked Pretty Girl's broadcast for a bit before leaving the studio. As soon as I got in my minivan, I took out my phone. Then I checked the countdown that was stopped at 2. Sangha, do you have anything going on today? I received a reply as soon as I sent the message. Yes, I have nothing going on today. Let me know if something happens. Even if it's something small. No way. You dictator. I stared at the screen when an urgent message arrived. See you and Gu N and I sent that. Is Seo Young alive? No. He'll contact you even if nothing happens. After my conversation with the Team 2 leader, I spent every day on high alert. It was as if I had returned to working with Choi Gun Young. Just like when I had a bomb that would backstab me at any moment next to me. I didn't see any reason to light the fuse. At least for now. Well-made production was still bustling. It seemed like there was an audition today as many people who looked to be managers and celebrities were present as well. A pretty woman clenching an audition script was crying in the lobby. Chief, I think I might have bombed the audition. I really did work hard for it. I know that you worked hard. It's all good. You did well. 
can't we go ask them for another chance? The actress was crying while the manager tried his best to comfort her. This was a common scene at auditions. They practiced day and night for the audition, yet the audition would be over in an instant when they stood in front of the camera and director. The ones sighing as they left weren't only actors and managers. While there were directors who held grand auditions with dozens of participants, there were many unknown directors with ambitious scripts who left after only receiving a business card. There were a few celebrities and managers in the content business production department hallway. They were all staring at the drama and movie posters displayed on the walls. They were all projects produced by Wellmade. I too stopped in front of the poster at the very end. It was a royal family poster that was also hung up in my apartment. There were quite a few people murmuring to each other because I didn't have my sunglasses on inside. There were managers who approached friendly, asking if we could get a drink sometime, as well as celebrities who gave me their personal phone numbers while their managers were absent. Someone grabbed my shoulder the second time I refused someone's number. Chief Young. No, are you a team leader now? It was Director Sung, who I had worked on Royal Family with. He guided me to a large meeting room. Director Sung personally made two iced coffees. Now, now, have some coffee. What's going on for you to personally make coffee? With our relationship, does there need to be a particular reason for me to make you coffee? You helped us with Kim Dowen's drug scandal and with making Royal Family a success, and we also in your debt for many things, so I just made coffee without knowing. Director Sung said talkatively. Then he covertly slid a scenario in front of me. Checking it, it was a movie. We had been gathering scenarios, scripts and even foreign scripts for Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun's next project, but it was my first time seeing this one. Is this Director Park's new project? Why didn't I see this before? It's a project we'll be producing. We had already picked the leads and were auditioning for supporting roles. However, Shin Sora, the female lead, hastily quit the project. He lowered his voice. She's three months pregnant. Shin Sora's not married yet. I don't think I've seen any scandals either. That's right. Her company's just been hit with a bolt of lightning out of the blue. Director Sung clicked his tongue and continued. That's why we had a meeting with Director Park on who to choose for the new lead, and our opinions aligned, so I contacted you immediately. I picked up the scenario. No matter the scenario, my heart always raced before I flipped the first page. The problem was that there were many cases where my emotions cooled as I flipped more pages. Still, there shouldn't be any problem with the quality if it was being directed by Director Park and produced by Wellmade. He'll go back and talk with Sangha. Please give it to M.S. Sun Chai Young. Who? I heard that you are in charge of M.S. Sun Chai Young's next project. Is that not true? While I knew there were many people in this industry with loose lips, why did people outside the company know about this? Was this something to brag about? Anyways, I received the scenario. Director Sung, who looked at me expectantly, changed the subject. Are you still looking for MS? Song has next project. You probably received a ton though. We are in the middle of internal discussions. It isn't easy. I think ITLL be good if she did her next project with the royal family staff near the end of the year. This time, as a sole female lead. Think about this. If director Wu, writer Jang, and MS. Sangha get together once more, investments will be pouring in and broadcast companies will open their time slots. I replied with a laugh. I had two or three meeting like this a day these days. With subcontract production companies, movie production companies, broadcasting companies, directors and writers. The majority were interested in Lee Song has next project, but there were quite a few who handed scenarios and proposed additions just for Nam Joyeun. The roles were incomparable to last year. But I didn't really like any of them. I received and read scenarios and scripts constantly, but I was always on a fence. When a decent project caught my eye, I always found more cons than pros. There wasn't one that I could immediately pick like Alive or Royal Family. Also, it wasn't like I had any hints like with Cat Guardian Ghost either. This was the reason why I had delayed picking Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun's projects. 
I asked each of them for their opinion. Li Sangha picked a few similar ones and was considering them, while Nam Joyun just wanted to do all of them. He was someone with no desire for food but a ton for projects. I couldn't extend their breaks continuously either, so I had thought I should pick whatever project Li Sangha and Nam Joyun liked the most out of the ones already selected. I looked at the scenario in my hands and asked. Director Sung, are there other scenarios and scripts I haven't seen like this one? Team Leader Yong, you've seen tons of scenarios. You took most the scenarios last time you came here. Director Sung scratched his thick chin and replied. The ones that you haven't seen are those that have already finished casting or ones were quietly casting because the director and writer are picky. These are hard to get. There are also ones that have been shelved because they are problematic to produce. Problematic? Like ones that are hard to get investments for because of the plot or ones that aren't of great quality. We particularly receive all sorts of projects for contents. There are many problematic ones like that. Could I take a look at them? Director Sung gave me a weird look. I can't really understand you as it's like someone ignoring a 100-dish meal and going to dig up their own vegetables in the mountain. Still, since it is your request. I don't know many of the first two types, but there are a lot of problematic projects. He got up and led me to the project storage room. The moment I stepped into the dark storage room, I was hit with the smell of old paper. The storage room was filled with bookshelves. Each shelf had bound scenarios and scripts, and there were boxes full of drafts, revisions, and proposals. Are these all projects? These have accumulated for ten years now. But the ones that have been shelved have good reasons for that. If you're thinking about discovering a huge hit in here, you're wasting your time. The good ones have already become hits. Director Sung clicked his tongue. I flipped through rustling paper as I said. First, it's great that there are so many to read. From that day one, I invested looking at projects whenever I had time. I went over to SBE Film, which produced a live, and they had quite a few scenarios like that as well. That's why I went to whichever company was closer to look through projects when I had time during the day. While receiving looks indicating that it was the biggest waste of time in the world. Not just that, I examined amateur projects that came up in online scenario markets and asked around about directors who were famous for not handing their projects out to others. Usually, they were temperamental masters, so I didn't obtain much. During this time, the countdown was always at 2. I checked Lee Song has surroundings every day, but there weren't any problems. I tried learning something from Chief Lee Jang Hyun and Chief Zhou, but nothing came out of it. Perhaps that day was productive. Maybe the Team 2 leader pushed his plot aside because he believed me. Or maybe he was too busy and had pushed it aside momentarily. I saw quite a few empty seats at the late night screening. A Hollywood movie that was released last week was garnering a lot of attention, so this movie had tough competition. Its posters and trailers were excessively trendy and childish. It was a romance, so that the majority of people in the seats were couples enjoying their dates. They were busy whispering to each other until the title screen came up. I waited for the movie alone. Then, two hours later, after the chatting audience had left and the credits were finished, I got up while holding a bottle of water. I shook it because I was thirsty, but it was already empty. As soon as I left the theaters, my phone rang like it had been waiting. Yeah. I thought it would be over by now. Hyung, how was the movie? We had talked before I went in to see the movie, yet it seemed like he had been swallowing drilly for the past two hours. His voice was rough. It was completely different from the movie just now. Listening to the nervous song Inho's breaths, I replied. It was quite different from the scenario. Ah, they changed a few parts. Because my scene suddenly increased at the end. I don't know why, but my role became similar to the male lead. If the movie flops because of me. I heard his suffocated breaths. I bought another bottle of water from the vending machine. I was so thirsty I couldn't help it. I had thought that the project would be good if they followed the scenario as is. A couple was headed in my direction from the washroom. Their faces were flushed red. I picked it because it was a rom-com, but it really was good. Two hours went by in a breeze. Wow, 
it was my first time I screamed from seeing a face in a movie. He's shocking even to men. He looks like he just came out of a manwa. 1. Passing by the noisy couple, I continued. The completed project is much better than the scenario. Much better. The plot and your role too. Really? Song Inho's voice instantly brightened. I poured water down my throat. Just then, I received another call. I was Lee Songa. Wait, he'll call you back. I hung up and answered Lee Songha's call. I had confirmed with her that nothing was going on today before I went to watch the movie. Appa? Yeah, is something wrong? Yes. I stopped before going down the stairs. Lee Songha spoke in a rigid voice. It seems the Team 2 leader called my mom. The lights that lit the stairs shut off. I talked to Lee Songha while standing rigidly in the darkness. By the time I hung up, the thirst had long since been sated. Something hotter burned in its place. The countdown was complete. The fuse has been lit. The moment I felt those flames, I was probably smiling. Chapter 189 It was an unpleasantly refreshing morning. Normally, I would just put on whatever, but today, I spent some time in front of my closet. A suit and tie were too aggressive while a t-shirt would be too lax. Taking the middle ground, I wore slacks and a blue dress shirt and went outside. It was ten minutes before eleven. After checking my watch, I opened Neptune's door and entered. The entrance was empty. I heard Lee Song has voice coming from the kitchen, rather than her usual welcome at the entrance. All I saw in the living room was a fruit basket that was so big it was burdensome. Im Seo Young, LJ, and Lee Tae Hee were all gathered in the kitchen. I was wondering what they were preoccupied with for them to not even notice someone come in and found that they had a guest. Why are there so many western spices in this tiny fridge? Do you really cook that often? A middle-aged woman asked with her head in the fridge. Im Seo Young gathered her hands in a polite manner and replied. No, those spices are from LJ's parents. Really? Oh my, and you have a variety of kimchi. Do you buy them from the store? Uh, my mom sent us those not too long ago. Ah, uh, is that so? Then are all these side dishes from your mother? Those were from Taehyuni's family. There are some Sunwoo Appa brought as well. The middle-aged woman, Lee Song has mother, closed the fridge. An awkward flashed on her face, which wasn't very similar to Lee Song has. The other mothers are working hard. Hello, you've come early. I went over and greeted her. Lee Sangha, who had been sitting at the table, jolted up. The girls, who looked like their living habits were being examined, suddenly brightened. At the same time, Lee Songha's mother brushed her short hair over her ear and smiled at me. Oh, our chief young has been getting more and more handsome. I heard that you're getting another promotion. Your parents must be full without eating when they have a son who's so good at working and is famous. If that's the case, then you must be full forever with a daughter like Lee Sangha. Ah, uh, is that how it is? It's still surreal to me that she's a celebrity. Her tone was wrapped in refinement. Her hair was tidy with no stray strands as though she had just been to a hair salon. Her pearl earrings the size of a thumb caught my attention. She wore an elegant two-piece outfit without a single wrinkle. She truly looked like she was ready for battle. I need to check up on her more frequently, but I was so busy. I was busy sending my second daughter to study overseas last year. The year before that, I was busy with my fourth's college admission. And this year, my first graduated Hyman Women's University. I was so busy with her job search one. Mom. Lee Sangha cut her off. Let's go to my room. This child, I'm talking. Unis are busy since they have to get ready for their schedules. Let's go in. Her voice was chilly. However, Lee Song has mother acted like she didn't notice anything as she said goodbye to each member before finally going in Lee Song has room. The girls let out a sigh and flopped on the sofa. I'm Seo Young grabbed my shirt sleeve. Appa, what is this all of a sudden? What did she come here to say? Is something going on? What do you mean? She just came to see Sangha. 
your parents come often too. The girls narrowed their eyes as if telling me not to lie. The girls particularly had difficulty with Lee song his mother even though they didn't know that she brought up having Lee Songa quit Neptune in the past. With their gazes behind me, I prepared three glasses of ginger tea and went to Lee song his room. The mother and daughter were talking as they sat on the rug below the bed. You should have told me if the other mothers sent over side dishes and kimchi. Why? If I knew, I would have sent something too. It's fine. To be exact it was Lee Songha's mother who was talking while Lee Songha wasn't really paying attention. Why are you so indifferent? Just because I was preoccupied doesn't mean you should be freeloading. People must have thought ill of me, thinking I don't care about you after sending you off. What do the other girls like? Should I make braised short ribs? I told you it's fine. We usually eat out. We can't finish what we already have. Even if you throw it out, I should at least do something. Lee Sangha let out a laugh that was like a sigh. She glanced at me before her gaze dropped to the floor. I placed the tray down between them. Please have some tea. Oh, thank you. Chief Young, you're living by yourself too, right? Should I send you some braised short ribs? I'm fine, thank you. It's been a long time since I've eaten at home. You need to get married. Aren't there any good women around you? Wait. I have four daughters at home, and I think there's only a four-year difference between you and my first. It's five years. Lee Sangha put her cup down. Her expression was chilly. If you came to talk about me, talk about me. Stop bringing up my sisters. Okay, okay. You still act like a child at twenty-two. I looked at them while rubbing my teacup. I had seen the girl's family countless times during my two years managing Neptune, but Lee Song his family was particularly complicated. They weren't the normally intense type and looking from a distance, they looked like a peaceful family. However, you could sense disharmony with every step you approached. Before Lee Songa could become even chillier, I went to the point. I heard that you had something you wanted to speak to me about. Ah, about Song has next project. Has it been decided? This was fine. As a parent leaving their child in someone else's care, it was normal for them to be curious about their future plans. We are constantly looking over it. There are just so many projects. We need to pay special care to select one that is most suitable for Sangha. I heard that it's not good for them to take too long of a break. That's for celebrities who take one or two year breaks. It hasn't been that long since Royal Family ended, and the character, Lee So He, is still well received. There's no need to hastily pick a project. Rather, viewers might mix her characters if she does another project too quickly. Lee Song has mother nodded seriously as she listened to me. Lee Songa propped her chin on her arm, which was on her knee, as she observed her mother. Soon, Lee Song has mother cautious said. Could I see some of the proposals or scenarios that came in? This was fine too. To be honest, there were many parents who looked over their child's projects beforehand. There were many cases where an actress family opposed a project because there were too many revealing scenes. Although they didn't give professional advice, there were many cases where their family's support gave the celebrity confidence. Why do you suddenly want to look at them? Lee Sangha abruptly asked. It's not all of a sudden. I wanted to see them before. I was worried that people might think I was getting overly involved if I asked. But I heard that other actors' mothers also look through scenarios. Some even discuss with managers before they pick a project. Isn't that right? When an actor was a rookie or unknown, the company held more sway. Many actors and their families tended to wholeheartedly accept the company's decision as well. However, the voices of top actors held more sway when picking a project. While a lot did leave the decision to their managers, many also one-sidedly decided on a project as well. During this process, their families also tended to have more influence on their decision. Then a conflict could break out between the manager and the actor's family. If one side was dumb or crazy, then it would break out into a fight. There are cases like that. It is also common to trust the company and leave the decision to them. Still, I hope that you could trust my decision. 
I am a little worried since there have been cases where people quarrel over the decision. I said with a smile. I was very accustomed to putting on an innocent air by now. Oh, no, it's not like I don't trust you to make a good decision. Li Song has mother quickly waved her hands. I would trust you if you said you could make fermented soybeans from red beans. All the projects you selected for Sangha until now were great successes. Also, I won't do something like one-sidedly pushing for my pick and ignoring yours. That would be foolish. That's a relief. Just, as her mother, I was wondering how much choice she has. Appa's opinion is top priority. They said that too many cooks spoil the broth. Her mother leered at her with an embarrassed expression. I know that too. Do you think I'm not thinking of what's best for you? She then looked back at me. Chief, I simply feel like I haven't paid enough attention to her. I heard that there are mothers who go to shoots and greet the directors. I feel like that's too extreme. Would looking at the projects be okay? Of course, that's fine. It was fine. But if she was doing this because the Team 2 leader incited her to, then it wasn't fine. It seems like you've spoken a lot with our Team 2 leader. Ah, that's. Li Song has mother waved her hand, seemingly taken aback. I wasn't the one who called to ask him questions. He called to ask how we were doing, and after a few greetings, our conversation grew longer. He also answered a lot of my questions. If you have questions, ask me. Don't ask some random person. Li Songa frowned. Her mother made an even more embarrassed expression as she said. How is a team leader at your company some random person? We're just being a little cautious. I said while acting like we were in a predicament. Although we are in the same company, we are in different teams. Because they also have actresses, there's also a sense of competition between our teams. It's best for people as successful as Sangha and her parents to be cautious. A simple exchange could end up as a malicious rumor. Rumors regarding a celebrity's family tend to last longer as well. Oh, my. Lee Song has mother's expression changed drastically. She was so nervous that she couldn't sit still and was busy recalling her conversation with the Team 2 leader to make sure she didn't slip up. My eyes momentarily met Li Song has before I drank the slightly cooled ginger tea. Anyways, there was no doubt that a rock was thrown into the calm lake. I began to make plans within my cold mind. The Team 2 leader's inside, right? Uh, yes. He is. He's in the middle of a call so. The Team 2 leader, who was in the middle of a call like the employee said, was surprised when he saw me. I looked around the office before sitting down on the sofa across from him. The Team 2 leader frowned. I waved, gesturing him to continue his call, before looking at the stuff laid out on the table. It was full of screening tickets, pamphlets, and posters for VIPs. Love Again. It was Song Inho's debut movie that I had seen last night. Ah, an unwelcome guest has arrived. Hope you can help us out with the magazine review. Although he called me an unwelcome guest, his eyes brightened like he was seeing Santa Claus. I couldn't tell if it was because he thought he had effectively screwed me over or if it was because Song Inho's debut movie was well received. His smile hung on his ears. The Team 2 leader quickly hung up. You bastard, you just barge in without knocking now. Do you not have any manners? I heard you called Song his mother. That too isn't really good manners either. I replied while picking up a poster and looking at Song Inho's face. I heard him chuckle. You know that Inho's debut movie has been released, right? I saw it yesterday. Really? I didn't know what he was thinking, but his smile thickened. You acted like you didn't care, but it seemed it did bother you. To watch it as soon as it was out. Did the PR team get tickets for you? If you told me, I could have given you good seats. He took his feet off his desk and approached me. Then he sat next to me and grabbed a VIP ticket. I just happened to have some tickets remaining and was gifting them to our actors' families. This was why I called Song his mother. Isn't this what family should do? Ah, uh, family? If it was something like this, you should have given them to me. Why did you personally call her? You're busy these days. 
I just called her as I was calling others. When I acted like I was upset, the Team 2 leader's voice became even brighter. He crossed his legs and asked. Do you know that Lee Song has oldest sister graduated from Hyman University? Her second oldest sister is a promising art student, and her younger sister might even become a national athlete. All her children excelled in their prospective fields. Though I don't know their personalities. Are you bringing in Song his family just to try to screw me over? What are you saying? All I did was give them a gift. The Team 2 leader shrugged. He was obviously looking down on me. He looked confident that a rookie like me wouldn't be his match no matter how hard I worked. Why? Are you upset? Then would I be happy? Stop bothering me and my celebrities and focus on your work. I believe I clearly explained the matter with Mr. Seo Jijun. I understand why your nickname is mother-in-law. It feels like I'm being pestered by my mother-in-law even though I'm not married. 2. His cheek wriggled. He shot his sinister gaze at me. You shouldn't have done something you need to explain from the start. This industry is sensitive to stuff like that. It's common for people to try to backstab you. So use this chance to learn. Well, if you really are upset, you can go complain to the CEO. He said with a smirk. Though, I don't know if there's anything to complain about. I'm telling you this in case you're mistaken from only seeing the CEO's calm demeanor, but the CEO isn't the type to act on such small complaints. I don't plan on complaining. I also know a little about CEO Beck Hansung's methods. I knew that he was the type of person would reward you appropriately if you did your job. Also, I knew that he was the type to keep the promises he made. I got up and said. Mr. Song Yinho's movie, I hope it does well. Are you being sincere? The Team 2 leader snorted. I picked up one of Song Yinho's movie pamphlets. Of course, we all family here. I left the Team 2 leader's office and went up to the lounge. Among the people there, I approached Blackout's chief, who had previously handed me a manager's business card. Oh, did you eat something? Pardon? Your dark circles are all gone. You look better too. Did the Team 3 leader get you something nice? Carp? Loaches? I don't know. A snake, I guess. Blackout's chief retreated in panic. Smiling, I entered the office. Then I said to Kim Hyunjo, who had his head on his desk. Chief, he'll be out this afternoon. Why? Do you have a meeting? No, I'm going to meet Sun Chai Young. Kim Hyunjo's expression became lukewarm. Hey, don't you think it's time you give up on Sun Chai Young's next project? Weren't you planning on just acting like you were working on it since it was the CEO's request? I was. That was why I didn't actively meet her after being told to screw off last time. Although I was tempted by CEO Beck Hansung's proposal, I didn't want to earn by hanging on to Sun Chai Young of all people. I had thought that I could make my team with my own hands even if it took a little longer. My thoughts have changed. I really needed that reward now. I folded Song Inho's pamphlet and put in my pocket before turning around. Let's try a method suitable for me this time. Chapter, 190 We've been spread press releases to publishers, but we are still lacking. It's best if he appears on the real-time search rankings. Who's really hot in our company right now? Sangha. And them, pretty girls. Should we ask Mr. Sunwoo? The female PR employee trailed off. The Team 2 leader, who was sitting at the seat of honor, frowned. As soon as she mentioned Young Sunwoo's name, the heated mood of the room cooled. The Team 2 leader gestured to Chief Jo Byungwon. Get Inho and Jijun together for dinner and take a picture. Understood. Jijun is great. He'll let a few reporters now so that they publish articles right away. Team leader Park of the PR team settled the matter with a smile. Then she handed him an envelope. The amount of buzz around love again increased drastically over the week. Her pen pointed at the SNS buzz monitoring graph. It was the result of analyzing specific keywords. The gazes of the Team 2 leader, Chief Joe Byungwon, and a few Team 2 and PR team employees landed on the increasing graph. 
the Team 2 leader rubbed his beard and asked. How is it compared to Alive? Alive had a ton of top stars. It had an extravagant cast and was a blockbuster, while Love Again is a melodrama, no matter how good the director is. We can't really compare the two. Then what if we compare Nam Joyun and Inho? Team leader Park frowned. Gazes were exchanged multiple times in the quiet office. The Team 2 leader and Song Inho and Young Sun Wu and Nam Joyun. Their relationship was well known amongst WU employees. Nam Joyun had proved himself to be a rising star in Chungyuro and Young Sun Wu confirmed his discerning eye, so all that remained as the Team 2 leader and Song Inho's results. The company was as interested in Song Inho's debut as Love Against Success. Would the Team 2 leader be able to regain face after losing it thanks to a rookie? Or would he be dealt a fatal blow after confirming he didn't possess a good eye? The Team 2 leader waited for Team Leader Park's reply in a leisurely manner. Rubbing the tip of her pen and tapping her tablet with her other hand, Team Leader Park said. Mr. Joyun was quiet until the preview. SBE film hit him like it was a blind marketing strategy. We poured a lot of work into promoting Inho even before the preview. He went on interviews, production briefing sessions, and promotions. So. We can't compare them too. The buzz around Inho is incredible. Team leader Park sighed as she showed him an increasing graph. As if he had been waiting for those words, the Team 2 leader smiled in satisfaction. The male PR team employee pressed a button. The elevator was stopped in the basement. The Team 2 leader is really concerned about Mr. Nam Joyun. To be exact, he's more concerned about Mr. Sun Wu than Mr. Joyun. The female employee added after looking around. The male employee tapped the floor. It seems like Mr. Sun Wu's going to lose at this rate. What? Alive was a huge hit. You have to look at the movie and actor separately. It's not like that movie was a huge hit because of Mr. Joyun. Still, you have to consider that Mr. Joyun played a big role in drawing in the audience early on. His acting skills were recognized by the public, and his filmography now contains a movie with over 10 million viewers. From a completely unknown actor to. I think Song Yinho's reception is just as good. The female employee opened and closed her mouth at the male employee's words. Look at the actors on their own. You saw the movie. Song Yinho's not bad at acting himself. He was good. His character was good too. Outwardly, a kind rich young master, but inwardly, an emotionally deprived, rebellious youth. He gives off a sad feeling because he's not the lead. He's in a lot of scenes, and it seems like the director put his all into making his role charming over the male lead. Although they were aiming for it, they did manage to pull it off. The female employee's voice grew quieter. The male employee gestured to his face. On top of that, Song Inho has this, his face. He's garnering a ton of attention on social media because of his face. He would probably have a huge fandom if he was an idol. If we look at marketable qualities, he's better than Mr. Joyun. The male employee added while licking his lips. I bet he'll become a huge star as long as he's lucky. Hey, Mr. Nam Joyun's good too. He's sexy and has that dangerous charm. Look here. The male employee tapped his tablet and showed her the screen. Song Yinho's profile picture filled the screen. As soon as she saw his refreshing face, smiling with a straw hat on his face, her cheeks flushed. Her unconsciously opened lips let out a hot breath. Yurg, how is he so good-looking? No, still, he's too much of a younger brother. The door slid open. The female employee flinched after taking a step in the elevator. Someone was already standing against the wall. Arms crossed and head down. They could see his calm face under his ruffled hair. He gave off a bleak feeling. Inho, did you come to see the team leader? The female employee flinched again. Team leader Park was standing behind them at some point. Seeming to have finally noticed the people in front of him, Song Inho uncrossed his arms and came out of the elevator. On his face was the same bright smile that was on his profile. Yes, he told me to come up now that the meeting was over. How are you? Good. 
People's reactions about you are so good, it makes working worthwhile. My parents are also very happy. Please continue to take care of me. After bowing deeply to team leader Park and her employees, Song Inho headed towards the team two leader's office. His smile quickly faded in a few steps. His face grew dreary once more. The female employee blankly looked at him. It's my first time seeing him like that. He would always have a bright smile. What? Isn't he supposed to be excited right now? Why is he so depressed? The male employee tilted his head. Team leader Park clicked her tongue. It seems what's accumulated is about to explode. He barged in the Team 2 leader's office without knocking. The Team 2 leader, who initially frowned, immediately relaxed. Song Inho quickly walked over to him. He glanced at Chief Joe Byungwan, who was sitting on the sofa, before walking in front of the Team 2 leader. Team leader, am I doing an interview on Entertainment Plus? Yeah. That has the highest ratings amongst entertainment news programs, so of course, you have to. Only the male and female leads were supposed to do that. They had already set everything up. I called the producer there. They're going to change the setup and add you in. The Team 2 leader said as though it was a non-issue. I told him to focus on you, so be prepared. I can't do it. The mood in the office instantly grew tense. Can't do it? Do you think that program is something a rookie actor can get on just because he wants to? I gave them information on Jijun's next project to get you on, but why can't you do it? Once they set everything up, you just need to memorize your lines and smile in front of the camera. If I suddenly join in, the screen time for the leads drop. Why do you concern yourself with that? This is common. I can't even look at Imiyang Sunbei's face anymore. Lee Imiyang. He was the male lead of love again. Team leader, Lee Imiyang's screen time got reduced drastically because of Inho. A lot of the scenes Lee Imiyang shot were edited out as well. Because the movie was so different from the scenario, his expression wasn't very good after seeing the final edited version at the preview. So is he trying to start something? He's not doing it outright because there were a lot of eyes, but we are on the same bus when we go on promotional events. Because the male lead is frowning, the mood isn't all that great. Inho's a rookie, so of course, he going to be concerned. Now really. The Team 2 leader chuckled. You're all good besides that soft personality of yours. You need to fix that. If you concern yourself with every little thing, you won't be able to work in this industry. If there are people in the spotlight, there are those that are not. I don't want that spotlight using underhanded methods. Song Inho said in a hoarse voice. Chief Joe Byungwan hastily examined the Team 2 leader's complexion. The Team 2 leader got up from his chair and glared at Song Inho. He looked like he barely managing to keep his anger in as the veins on his neck bulged. After taking two breaths, the Team 2 leader deliberately tried to comfort him. Other guys beg me to promote them. Also, those without talent will never be able to succeed even if the company runs dry. Getting in, increasing your screen time, and making it was all you. The director was impressed with your acting and analysis of your character, so he reduced Lee Imiyang's parts and increased yours. You need to be happy when you get an opportunity like this. Right? Song Inho bit his lips. Blood flowed into his flawless lips. The back of the Team 2 leader's hand quickly shot forward and tapped Song Inho's chin. Don't bite. You're going to injure your lip. Team leader. You're only acting like this because it's your first time in a situation like this. Jijun was the same. You'll quickly get used to it. So stop with the useless talk and prepare for the Entertainment Plus interview. Right, we're going to take a picture of you and Jijun for a social media post this evening, so tidy your hair. Yeah, Inho. Let's go to the hair shop for a change of pace. Do you want anything to eat? Chief Joe Byungwan gently rubbed Song Inho's back. Sun Inho's gaze alternated between the Team 2 leader and Chief Joe Byungwan before biting his lips again. His face distorted. The Team 2 leader was about to say something when a knock broke the mood. The Team 2 leader shouted in an irritated voice. Who is it? Uh, 
It's me, Li Bun Jun. He'll come back at another time. Come in. Soon, the door slowly cracked open. Chief Li Bun Jun, who had fattened up since going to China, perhaps having had gone on a restaurant spree, walked into the office. His face was that of a baby pig being dragged to the slaughterhouse. Yes, um, I heard you were looking for me. If you're busy, I can come. Li Bun Jun, did you read the scripts I sent you or not? Yes, I did read them. If you read them, then you should have replied right away. He'll look over them with Ji Jun a little longer. The team two leader's face grew ugly. You, I've been unhappy with your actions recently, but are you now completely taking after Young Sun Wu? Or do you want Ji Jun to become like Chai Young? We've already looked at each one very carefully before sending them to you, so how long are you going to examine them? Are you not going to get Ji Jun to work? It's something we need to carefully consider, so we'll discuss it with Ji Jun. If he's stalling, then you should coax him and make a decision. Chief Li Bun Jun stuck to the door at the team two leaders shout. Then he was pushed aside. CEO Ji Jun's face suddenly appeared from the abruptly opened door. He glanced at the office with narrowed eyes. Then he smiled and said, Team leader, he'll look over the projects a little longer. Ji Jun, you. It's not like I'm not saying I won't do one like a certain someone. I just haven't found one that I really like. Sorry. He'll make a decision as soon as possible and let you know. He bowed then pulled Chief Li Bun Jun, who was still standing awkwardly. Hyung, let's go read the scripts. Go first. In talking with the team leader. No. I get nervous if I go around on my own. I think I have airport disorder. 1. That's panic disorder. Panic disorder. Whatever. Chief Li Bun Jun looked like he was refusing but was being pulled out by Seo Ji Jun, who was much thinner than him. He said goodbye to the Team 2 leader before shutting the door. He left ten times more quickly than he came in. Thth that. The Team 2 leader's face reddened as he even stuttered his words. It looked like sparks would fly out at any moment. Chief Joe Byungwan looked like he was trying to leave with Song Inho. However, Song Inho's gaze was fixed on the firmly shut door. His eyes quietly flared up. After persuading Song Inho then sending him off, the Team 2 leader shot Chief Joe Byungwan a glance. How long are you going to let him be? I told you to talk to him. Yes, yes, Team Leader. Having failed to escape with Song Inho, Chief Zhou Byungwan's head was drenched in sweat. His personality is the problem Chai Young never made a fuss about things like this. She has no flaws besides that temper of hers. Her not working is also a problem. The Team 2 leader flopped on his chair as he clicked his tongue. As though he had found something to brighten the Team 2 leader's mood, Chief Zhou Byungwan said with a brightened face. Ah, but I heard that Young Sunwoo has been constantly going over to Chai Young's house. He still hasn't given up. From what Chief Li Jianghyun said, the mood is getting even bloodier. His mood seemed to have brightened at the news as the Team 2 leader smirked. Foolish bastard. Sun Chaiyang said. Will you not regret it? I took a sip of grapefruit juice. It was tart and bitter. Whether I regret it or not, that's my problem so you don't have to worry. ITLL be annoying. He'll put up with what I can, but he'll handle it if it's too excessive. What's important is that there is a clear exchange between us. I am using you, and you are using me. Sun Chai Young smiled at my reply. Her lips, which were red even without makeup, curled upwards. It was a cunning smile. That moment, I was very concerned that I was making a similar smile. Then go tell them. Sun Chai Young raised her glass of grapefruit juice. Then she clinked it against mine. That son Chai Young will do a new project. Chapter, 191 The Han River was completely red. The Team 2 leader looked at the river from a half-opened car window. Perhaps it was the sunset or the wine he had during the meeting, but his face was flushed. Above his beard, his lips formed a crescent. Chief Zhou Byungwan sitting in the driver's seat said with a laugh. It's been a while since you've been in such a good mood, team leader. 
Been a while. Have I ever not been in a good mood? It hadn't been long since the Team 2 leader had been frowning everywhere he went. Also, it was Chief Joe Byumwan, whose tongue had worn down from trying to find ways to cheer him up. His expression was bitter. Well, I mean, you look to be in a better mood than usual. Maybe it's because I don't see Young Sun Woo. The Team 2 leader revealed his thoughts. Chief Joe Byungwan received his words out of habit. He was so frightened after one incident with Lee Song his family once, and he shirked back since then. If he was going to lower his tail so easily, I don't know why he barged into your office. He looked like he was about to start a fight. Start a fight? The Team 2 leader snorted as he leisurely said. How can he start a fight when he has no guts? That bastard, unlike his appearance, he spares himself. The company treasures him, calling him Lucky Charm, and the public lifts him up as mid-ass hand. Do you think he's ever participated in a battle of wits? Still, he did decisively handle the matter about Nam Joyeun and Director Park in the past. Chief Joe Byumwan recalled the past. I heard he made the press move against him and ripped the contract in front of him. Maybe he thought Director Park was a pushover. As if he was a little drunk, the Team 2 leader opened the window even wider. Then he muttered at the wild wind. He probably has his suspicions about me telling the director to remove Nam Joyun. But all he did was talk big, no action. There's no need to worry about him. The Team 2 leader laughed for a while. I have no reason to be stressed now that he's quieted down. My enteritis is all better. Inho's debut is going well. Jijun made me worry by not picking a project, but he set up a project proposal meeting on his own. I know, right? I was worried that Jijun would become like Chai Young, but seeing as he set up his own meeting, I guess he does plan on working. Did he like the project? Director Seo byung wee and writer Joe Yun-hai are leading this project, right? That's right. When was the meeting again? Let's see. It's at 8, so it should be starting soon. Let's visit. Chief Joe Byumwan's eyes widened. You are personally going to visit? Chief Lee Ban Jun said that this was a casual meeting with the CEO of the subcontracting company and the director and writer to listen to the project proposal details. If you go there, our side might seem too aggressive. There's no need to be there the whole meeting, I'm just saying we can at least say hi. There was also the issue with Chai Young. The issue with Chai Young? The Team 2 leader clicked his tongue as he replied. I received Director Seo's proposal to persuade Chai Young. The writer had picked out Yoon Yunga as the female lead, so they weren't handing these proposals to actresses, but I got one by bringing Chai Young up. However, she rejected it without so much as a glance. Ah, so Director Seo might have a grudge. That's why I'm going to visit and settle the matter. The car headed back to where they came from. The meeting was going to be at Yuido, which was close. While they were parking the car at the restaurant, Chief Joe Byumwan called Chief Lee Bunjun. Uh, aren't you team leader Lee at WU? The two halted in their steps. Someone was approaching them with a pleased expression from the counter. It was a middle-aged man, whose dizzying patterns on his shirt left quite an impression. A UBS broadcast company employee card hung from his neck. The Team 2 leader and Chief Joe Byumwan went over with welcoming faces. You've come too, General Manager Shin. I just came to visit since it was right in front of our broadcasting company. I came to visit because I happened to be in the area. It was good that I came. The General Manager brought up a pleasant topic. I heard that you're busy raising that rookie. Song Inho. Rumors have spread that he's quite the actor. It's only the start. The Team 2 leader's smile thickened. If this movie's a success, he should make his TV debut too. Once Seo Jijun signs on to director Seo's project, I should ask director Seo to create a good supporting role for Song Inho. He won't feel as pressured if he works on the same project as his son Bae. The mood on set will be good too. Maybe it was because Seo Jijun was on the line, but the general manager's attitude was very friendly. His voice dripped with sweet honey. Noticing the Team 2 leader was reacting positively, the general manager took another step. Right on a landmine. 
like how Mr. Seo Jijun and Ms. Lee Sangha on Cat Guardian Ghost. What do you think? I think you'll have to discuss it with Jijun. The Team 2 leader laughed a little late. Unlike before, his eyes were no longer smiling. At that moment, the employee who was guiding them stopped in front of a private room. Even though the door was closed, they could hear loud noises coming from inside. Oh wow, it seems the mood inside is good. The general manager laughed as he opened the door wide. The people sitting around the table got up and greeted the general manager. There were the CEO of AA Studio, a subcontract production company, and his employees. Director Seo Byung-wi and writer Zhou Yunhai. As well as Seo Jijun and Chief Lee Bang-jun. The AA Studio CEO hurried came over and greeted them but was surprised when he saw the Team 2 leader. Team Leader Lee. I had thought that only the general manager would be coming. How did you end up coming together? If we knew that you were coming, we would have prepared you a seat. We will leave. A few AA Studio employees hastily stood up from their seats. Uh, team leader. Why? Chief Lee Bang-jun was even more flustered. He stuttered while holding his fork in the air. However, the Team 2 leader's gaze was fixated on one person. His smile has quickly faded since entering the room as he only looked at that person. It was the same for Chief Joe Byung-won. He even rubbed his eyes, thinking he was seeing things. People tried to start a conversation, but the Team 2 leader ignored them and walked over. To the person slowly wiping his mouth with a napkin next to Seo Jijun. Hello, Team 2 leader. Young Sun Wu. What are you doing here? The Team 2 leader asked, having barely managed to dial back his voice. Young Sun Wu calmly said. I'm working. Chief Zhou Byungwan and Chief Li Bangjun gulped at the same time. They even retreated a step like they were running away from a time bomb. However, UBS's general manager and the others approached with puzzled expressions. An AA studio employee cautiously joined in. We were in the middle of discussing the scenario with Team Leader Young. Uh, Team Leader Young, do you happen to have other appointments? If you need to go, we can hurry up. No, I don't have any other appointments. We can take our time. Young Sun Wu shook his head. Hearing their exchange, a thick vein on the Team 2 leader's forehead squirmed. The knuckles of his clenched fist turned red. Having made a calm face, he said. Let's talk outside. The Team 2 leader's hurried step stopped. They were in front of the washroom a bit away from the private room. He didn't seem to have the composure to go in as he turned his blood-red gaze. His angry voice, which he suppressed in front of others, finally exploded. What are you doing? I'm working. As you can see. Young Sun Wu shrugged nonchalantly. Why are you at Jijun's meeting? Without my permission. Having lost his patience, the Team 2 leader grabbed Young Sun Wu by his collar. Chief Zhou Byung-wan and Chief Li Bang-jun, who had been quickly following after them, retreated seeing this. Then they looked around as though they were checking for watching eyes. You said you wanted to talk. Clicking his tongue, Young Sun Wu pried the Team 2 leader's hands off him. I didn't come for Mr. Jijun's meeting. What? Then who? He came with me. A voice suddenly cut in. Wiping her hands with a paper towel, Sun Chai Young walked over from the women's washroom. The Team 2 leader's mouth gaped like something was caught in his throat. It was worse than when he discovered Young Sun Wu next to Seo Jijun. If he had been taken aback and furious before, he was now in doubt. His mind was on the verge of escaping reality. He simply blinked like he was seeing someone who shouldn't be here. Then he blankly asked. Chai Young, why are you here? Sun Chai Young said. Then go tell them. That Sun Chai Young will do another project. She clinked her glass of juice with mine. Then she added. But me thinking about doing a project and actually choosing one is different. I don't do projects I don't like. Even though you said you weren't going to do any, you still looked through a lot of projects. Did any of them catch your eye? As though she thought of something, Sun Chai Young's eyes turned into crescent moons. Do you know Director Seo Byung-wi? I do. 
There were a few famous directors in broadcast companies' drama departments, and director Seo Byung-hui at UBS was well known for his beautiful cinematography. He shot a 20-part miniseries like it was a film. There was nothing more to say about his directing abilities. I like director Seo's directing. He's preparing his new project right now. I saw the proposal, and it was quite good. I probably paid careful attention to it if it was director Seo Byung-hui's new project. But I had no recollection of seeing it. The writer was thinking of Yoon yoon as the female lead. Ah, was that why they didn't hand out the proposals? The Team 2 leader persuaded director Seo, saying that I would do it, and brought it over. What about you? Sun Chai Young leisurely propped her chin up and smiled. Can you get me that? Ah, if only you had contacted us a bit earlier. Director Seo byung -hui's voice on the other side of the call sighed with regret. I quickly churned my mind. They might have already confirmed Yoon yoon as their female lead because some time had passed since the Team 2 leader showed director Seo byung -hui's proposal to Sun Chai Young. If they had already cast her, then I would have looked for a different project. Probably. Most likely. However, the situation turned in a different direction. We're about to lose the time slot for that project right now. Our attempts at casting our leads went belly up. I quickly acted. The one who was producing the project was AA Studio, a subcontract production company, instead of UBS. I went over after receiving their address, and it was a company situated in a worn building with a single sign. It was incomparably inferior to well-made production and SBE film, which I had visited quite often recently. The inside was even messier than Pan Production, which had been a budding production company at the time. Stacks of paper, crumpled paper cups, and half-eaten jampong one bowls were scattered here and there. The employees all had their heads against their desks. It was so poor that I had to double-take and check the sign before entering. A lanky man walked over. The pink neck pillow resembled a lizard coiled around his neck. What is the reason for your visit? I wanted to discuss casting. Who? M.S. Sun Chai Young. He stopped mid-yawn and stared at my face. Then he stiffened. The employees jolted to their feet like corpses crawling out their graves. In a blink of an eye, a table was cleared, and they brought over freshly brewed coffee in a normal paper cup. They also brought over their project proposal. I read the synopsis and list of characters before raising my head. Across from me sat the lizard, I mean, the man who introduced himself as the CEO. I ignored the gazes fixed on me as I asked. I heard that the casting for director Seo Byung-hui flopped. Ah, that. The CEO glanced at me before gloomily saying. We dug our own graves. We had already made a verbal agreement with MS. Yoon yoon but team leader Lee from WU took a proposal last time. That MS. Sun Chai Young liked director Seo's directing and wished to see the proposal. His voice was mixed with guilt and frustration. Then MS. Sun Chai Young replied, saying that she wasn't ready to do it, but UBS suggested we wait a little. That they would like MS. Sun Chai Young to do it over MS. Yoon yoon -ga. To be honest, as a company, it was enticing. The CEO ruffled his hair, almost to the point of ripping it out. I could understand the broadcast and production company's view. Although Yoon yoon -ga was a solo female lead material, Sun Chai Young outshined her. If they also added licensing it to China, the scales tipped toward Sun Chai Young. YMS. Sun Chai Young took a long break. Since it was about time for her to return and we didn't hear of any other projects she was interested, we futilely decided to wait a little longer. However, M.S. Yoon yoon got wind of it. Ah. We got rejected. Though it was understandable. It was normal for a production company to approach multiple actors, but they had nothing to say if they were caught stalling after a verbal agreement with one actor for another one. Celebrities were people who lived and died with their pride. The male lead we were in talks with was in the same company as M.S. Yoon yoon so we were rejected by both of them. We hastily tried to cast new people, but UBS put the project on hold. There is a project from another production company that had already cast their lead, 
and they might hand over our time slot to them. Our production time is quite tight. The CEO looked at me with desperate eyes as he spoke. I could easily tell what he wanted to hear, so I decided not to waste any more time and said. It's not like you've completely lost your time slot, right? Yes, not yet. But it's only a matter of time at this rate. We might even lose it today. Even if MS. Sun Chai Young is interested in this project. The clouds over the CEO's face were completely swept away. The employees, who had been glancing at me from around the office, gathered around me. Their eyes were burning with passion as though they saw an opportunity to revive this almost dead project. Putting their heads together, they discussed. If we tell them that we are in talks with MS. Sun Chai Young, then I think we'll be able to persuade UBS. Tell UBS that we'll set up a meeting with MS. Sun Chai Young right away so that we can stall for time. But the other company says they can start filming tomorrow. The UBS director hates filming during broadcasts, so he might just hand it over to whoever is ready to go. We need to show that we're ready right away. Then what if we bring up a male lead for the time beings? That we are in talks with someone. If we stall for time, we can just say that talks broke down and cast some other actor. And who can we ask right now? It's not a supporting role but the lead. Do you have an actor you're close with? I watched the noisily discussing people before saying. If a meal just for show how about Mr. Seo Jijun? As though someone had pressed the mute button, sound completely stopped. Someone's head bounced up and down. A few employees turned back at me. Seeing their expressions, it seemed I didn't have to wait for their answer. I spoke with a bright smile. Then let's arrange a meeting. The team two leaders gaze alternated between Sun Chai Young and me. With the most dazed expression I've seen in years, he asked. Sun Chai Young gestured at me with her chin and smiled. I followed my manager. Chapter 192 Manager The team two leader wheezed heavily. His face was still in disbelief. Why is this guy your manager? I need to call him that at least temporarily. He's the one who set up this meeting. Sun Chai Young replied as she walked over to me. The team two leader snatched her arm. Meeting? What meeting? Director Seo Byung Hui's new project. You. The team two leader's face reddened even more. I felt like I might get burnt if I touched him. I spectated whilst thinking these leisurely thoughts. You said you weren't going to do a project. You said you had no intention of doing another project even if someone clung to you and begged. I changed my mind. Im saying I was persuaded. Sun Chai Young brushed the team two leader's hand off her and tapped my arm. He does a good job. Then she smiled brightly. While her smile seemed to be at the epitome of innocence, but to me, it looked like her smile could ruin an entire country. However, regardless of what I thought inwardly, I made a similar smile. Since we decided to use each other, I needed to dance to her tune. It was easy to smile because there was something to smile at. The team two leader's entire body trembled. If me being with Seo Jijun was stabbing him in the back, me being with Sun Chai Young was hacking the back of his neck with an axe. His wooden neck was chopped off as it crashed to the ground. Then Sun Chai Young continued to slowly saw at him. If there's someone who does a good job, then that's who he'll work with. Isn't that right, team leader? Sun Chai Young said casually before turning around. In going in first. If there's any unsettled business, handle it amongst yourselves. Chai Young. Someone might hear you, team leader. She grew distant without looking back. Chief Li Bang Jun stuck to the wall to make way. Chief Zhou, a nervous wreck, chased after her and tried to talk to her, but he didn't last more than a few steps. The Team 2 leader returned to his senses once Sun Chai Young's footsteps could no longer be heard. His unbridled anger poured down at me. And you still? What did I do wrong? I asked, tilting my head. Wasn't I assigned to persuade MS? Sun Chai Young. I remember you saying good luck to me. Hmm, it seems to be going well. On the surface. Or is it because of Mr. Jijun? 
Did you drag Jijun to this meeting? I didn't drag him here. I asked him. Mr. Jijun came because he owed me a favor. To be honest, I didn't really need to ask CEO Jijun. But I still decided to call him. It wasn't for the AA studio employees, who were jumping up and down, or because I wanted to show off my friendship with CEO Jijun. It was only because I wanted to see the Team 2 leader make that face. Ah, you did say you found it unpleasant when I loitered around Mr. Jijun. I felt so wrong by being falsely accused of backstabbing that I felt I would only feel less wrong by doing this. I was expectant of what kind of face the Team 2 leader would make when he heard I was in a meeting with Sun Chai Young and Seo Jijun. I thought that I would feel refreshed like drinking a cool soda. But. I was wrong. It felt much better. Thinking about it, I was wondering why I needed to concern myself with all that. So I don't plan to. I added in an almost whispering voice before smiling. The Team 2 leader glared angrily at me. My flesh tingled like it was being burnt. His gaze was more vicious than ever. To be honest, his gaze was pleasant. It was dangerous, but it gave me a thrilling feeling. Something similar to people who do extreme sports feel when standing on the edge of a cliff. Are you saying that while sober? I'm sober. Rather, it looks like you've had a drink. You bastard, you're completely audacious. Just because you were able to persuade Chai Young's fickle mind, you think you can look down on me? The Team 2 leader's face gave off a chill. Do you think you can handle the aftermath? It sounded like a threat that he would do everything in his power to screw me over from today onwards. Of course, I was prepared to do everything I could to screw him over as well. I smiled brightly as I asked back. How about you, team leader? Then goodbye. Yes, team leader. Please take care of us. The AA Studio CEO held my hand and bowed multiple times. Since the CEO was acting like this, his employees' heads bowed like a wave my waist became sore from the amount of bowing I did. I will discuss it with MS. Sun Chai Young and contact you as fast as possible. I turned around after sending them off when the CEO grabbed my arm again. Team Leader. Team Leader Young. Uh, Team Leader. He kept calling me by the position I hadn't yet gotten used to. Yes. Mr. Seo Jijun, I guess ITLL be difficult to sign him too. He looked like he was on the verge of asking me that question throughout the meeting. It seemed his desire overpowered his hesitation. Well, the CEO wasn't the only one. The writer and director looked at Seo Jijun and Sun Chai Young like they were seeing a masterpiece, and the UBS general manager's smile hung up to his ears. I'm not managing Mr. Jijun, but I'll ask him. He's an actor who came to a meeting the day you asked, who could I ask if not you? As long as it can happen, we will try to agree to the signing fee and all conditions the actor may have if possible. Please. Please talk about the project in a positive light. I barely managed to send off the CEO, who tried to go for another two rounds. I had thought I had gotten used to dealing with persistent people from all the love calls Lee Songa receives, but this wasn't being persistent, it was begging. After sending the AA studio employees off, I went back inside the restaurant. It was noisy at the front. CEO Jijun was signing autographs for the restaurant employees. They probably saw a lot of celebrities because they were located in front of a broadcast company, but they glanced at his face and body as their faces flushed, regardless of what sex they were. As soon as I walked over, Chief Lee Bung Jun grabbed my arm. Hey, are you alright? About what? About what? Hey, I knew you would clash with the team leader one day or another, but I never thought it would be a head-on collision like this. Do your guts get an upgrade when you become a team leader? You didn't even press the brakes when you collided. Chief Lee Bun Jun said, astonished. The team leader will be a pain if you get on his bad side. Your life might get messed up if you're not careful. I had already gotten on his bad side long ago. This is better than just testing him. CEO Jijun even took pictures with the employees before coming over. When they broke out in size behind him, he waved at them. The employees couldn't approach and simply watched while stamping their feet from a distance. Scary bastard. How can you give fan service at a time like this? 
Hyun, fan service is like speed dial. It just comes on as soon as I press it. Seo Jijun put his arm around Chief Lee Bung Jun's shoulder. Where do I poke for it to come on? Let me have some service too. Chief Lee Bung Jun poked Seo Jijun's side and arm. Seo Jijun laughed. He had kept a smile on when he suddenly met the Team 2 leader before too. Thank you for coming out today. It was a sudden request. I told you I'd pay it off with my body. You can use me whenever you need me. Seo Jijun said while his eyes curved into a smile. I was wondering when you would let me repay you. I stared at Seo Jijun. I wiped my lips twice before asking. Should we go have another drink? We can talk too. Seo Jijun readily nodded his head. He headed over with Chief Lee Bun Jun while scratching his stomach. The now near empty private room was quiet. Sun Chai Young sat alone at the empty table while reading the proposal. She looked over as though she had been waiting for the door to open yet frowned as soon as she saw Seo Jijun. A strange mood hung in the room. I entered and closed the door behind me. A chief ran up the stairs like he was fleeing from something. Is a ghost chasing you from below? No, Sun Chai Young. The chiefs who were on their way down turned around. To the team two employees, who had suffered thanks to her, Sun Chai Young wasn't a ghost but a disaster. One where an emergency alert had to be raised when she appeared. Why is she here? Did she come to see the team leader? Since the CEO has already arrived, she might be here to see him. Do you think she came to see them? Probably came to stir up a storm. A few Team 2 chiefs and road managers gathered at the fourth floor lounge like they were seeking refuge. If they loitered around Sun Chai Young, they would become perfect targets for Sun Chai Young. Whether that her flipping out at them unexpectedly or being unfortunate enough to be assigned to manage her. What is it? Did something happen in Team 2? The Team 3 leader yawned as he walked out of his office. He was with Kim Hyunjo and Lee Kwon Woo. One of the refugees replied. No, we just heard that Sun Chai Young was downstairs. And here I thought something happened. How can you not manage a single actor that you have to hide in a group? Is she the plague? The Team 3 leader chuckled as he inserted coins in the vending machine. His chuckles rubbed the Team 2 chiefs the wrong way. Once the Team 3 leader bought coffee and went back to his office, the Team 2 chiefs expressed their dissatisfaction at Kim Hyunjo and Lee Kwon Woo, who remained. It seems the Team 3 leader has forgotten because there hadn't been any progress but isn't Young Sun Woo the one who should be managing Sun Chai Young? The chief with the most experience ridiculed. I wonder what he's doing. Jealousy, envy, and dislike flashed in his eyes. With him as the start, the others began to join in. Isn't he just counting the days after giving up? He can't give a favorable impression if he quits immediately after telling the CEO he could do it. Screw that. Rather than a favorable impression, I heard he annoyed Sun Chai Young even more. There are many outside our company who think that Young Sun Wu is Sun Chai Young's new chief. I think Li Jang Hyun is setting up her schedule. Young Sun Wu's just taking all the credit. Someone mumbled that they wished Sun Chai Young stirred up a storm over there. It was mixed with malicious expectations. Others commented on how he would probably grab the CEO's legs and beg to quit after experiencing that. Although they were whispering to each other, it wasn't so quiet that Kim Hyunjo and Lee Kwan Woo couldn't hear them. Kim Hyunjo frowned deeply. Even Lee Kwan Woo, who had an innocent appearance with his slightly drooping eyes, creased his brows. Kim Hyunjo uncrossed his arms and approached the Team 2 chiefs. Shouldn't you watch what you say? He's a team leader now. Well, he needs to act like one to be one. An experienced chief grumbled when the elevator opened. The people who looked over out of habit became shocked like they were hit by a bolt out of the blue. It was the human disaster they had tried to avoid, Sun Chai Young. Why did she come to the fourth floor instead of the Team 2 leader or the CEO's office? Did she come to the lounge to rest? Did they come to the wrong refugee shelter? The Team 2 chiefs and road managers hastily exchanged quiet glances. However, it was for naught. Sun Chai Young wasn't interested in them. 
holding a short box in her arms, she took a look around the office. Then she walked over to Kim Hyunjo. Where is he? Who? Sun Wu. Who else would I be here for? Sun Chai Young said indifferently. Lee Kuan Wu quickly made a call when Kim Hyunjo gave him a look. Sun Chai Young sat alone at a table in the lounge until Young Sun Wu, who had been sleeping in the sleeping quarters, arrived. Kim Hyunjo and Lee Kuan Wu were sitting in the table next to her with dazed expressions. Even the Team 3 leader had come out of his office. The Team 2 chiefs, who had been about to quietly leave, sat their butts back down. Their gazes alternated between Sun Chai Young and the elevator doors. They looked like they couldn't wait to see what they would talk about, no, what would happen once they met. A few quickly took out their phones and told their colleagues the news. Their phones vibrated continuously with replies. Soon, the number displayed on the elevator's display panel stopped at four. Young Sun Wu got off while brushing his ruffled hair. He looked around with still drowsy eyes before going over to Sun Chai Young. He then sat down in front of her. Why did you come so early? We still have some time before the meeting with the CEO. I'm not going in there. You just go in and talk. If you aren't going to the meeting, why did you come? I wanted to give you something. Their conversation was extremely normal. However, it wasn't to the people spectating. It was stranger because it was normal. The sight in front of them was more surreal than one where scripts and swears were hurled. The people's eyes concentrated as they tried to find the hidden trap. Sun Chai Young pushed the boxes placed on the table over to Young Sun Wu. Young Sun Wu opened the box with an odd look. At the same time, the others discovered something even weirder than a trap. Inside the box was an assortment of donuts, covered in chocolate and syrup. What is this? Young Sun Wu asked as he stared down at the box. I bought one because I thought of you. For you to eat. You came to give me this. He observed her with a gaze that read, Are you high? Sun Chai Young smiled brightly as she replied. I'm the type to takes care of my people. A silent tsunami swept the lounge. It seemed someone had dropped their coffee as sounds of water splattering on the floor could be heard. While the Team 2 chiefs sat there at a loss for words, their phones continuously vibrated. Requests for what was going on, what kind of storm Sun Chai Young was stirring, and even for live details poured in. Soon, the dazed Team 2 chiefs went back to the second floor with stunned expressions. With a donut in one hand, Young Sun Wu succeeded in persuading Sun Chai Young. Sun Chai Young brought over donuts. And the phrase my people came out of Sun Chai Young's mouth. The rumors spread like wildfire to the basement and even up to the CEO's office. This issue set the company in an uproar. As soon as Sun Chai Young made her decision, everything proceeded rapidly. In the blink of an eye, we had multiple meetings with AA Studio and UBS. Although we hadn't yet signed, UBS released an article about how Sun Chai Young was positively examining a UBS drama for her return. However, Sun Chai Young's article didn't garner as much attention as they anticipated. It would be the same even if it wasn't Sun Chai Young. At some point, social media, online communities, and entertainment reporters shifted their attention to one place. The newly released Love Again. And the new actor, Song Inho. A wave that no one anticipated surged. Chapter, 193. Let's see the top keyword of Celebrity Weekly. A video began to play at the anchor's remark. It was a scene of a young, barefoot man chasing after a woman. Park Taepyeong, who sat in the host chair, twirled around. Do we really need to see that? I saw that clip a million times online. Just watch it again. It's okay to see good things a lot. A female singer, who was a member of the panel, watched the clip with pity. The young man was crying silently. His tears rolled down his clenched jaw. He stood still when the woman walking in front of him begged him to leave then would follow after her when she turned her back to leave this happened until the woman disappeared like smoke. Yes, as you all expected, the hot keyword is the upstart star, Mr. Song Inho. A pop culture critic looked at his cue cards as he briefed the audience. He's a rookie who recently made his debut in the newly released mellow movie Love Again. 
Love Again is about the female lead going to the past and meeting men who might have been her destined soulmate. Mr. Song Inho appeared as her college classmate. Also, his popularity soared immediately after the movie's release. Isn't his popularity really amazing right now? The people in the panel were noisy. I saw the movie yesterday at the theaters, and women screamed when he came on screen. They say they go to the movies to see him rather than the movie. His popularity is so big that. An excited entertainment news reporter tapped her cue card with her pen. At their press screening, industry insiders predicted the movie's first week score would be at most 900,000. That's a huge hit too. However, after Song Inho became viral on the internet, the movie is gaining a ton of viewers. Its first week score has already passed 1. 6 million. It's incredible. People are sending love calls to pick him up before his worth skyrockets any further. People exclaimed in admiration. The anchor asked another question. Reporter Moon, what do you think is the reason behind Mr. Song Inho's popularity? He really fit his character, Mujin, in the movie. A good-looking man from a wealthy, affluent family, who also has a lot of circumstances. On top of that, the movie ended in a happy ending, but Mujin's life was a tragedy. That tugged the audience's hearts even more. Park Taepyeong joined in. I thought the movie and actor were decent, but do they warrant such a big reaction? There are a few cases where something becomes a hit beyond expectations. Mr. Hyo Kakyung was unknown before instantly rising to stardom with a drama. M.S. Kwan Sori became a hit while making a parody for a 15-second commercial. The entertainment news reporter mentioned a few more cases while counting down with her fingers. The critic added. People commonly referred to these cases as fever, syndrome, etc. Then, Professor, do you think Mr. Song Inho will reach the syndrome level? The pop culture critic shrugged at the anchor's question. He's already close. We should have gotten him on our show. As an upstart star special. The female singer commented outside what was on the script. Park Taepyeong snorted. They probably did try but were rejected. There are likely tons of places that want him on their show. Can't you call Mr. Song Inho? Park Taepyeong blinked at her words. Me? I've never met him before. But aren't you close with Mr. Young Sun Woo of WU? You posted a picture of you both on social media. Mr. Song Inho's also from WU, so can't you somehow call him? Do you think I can? Is Young Sun Woo WU CEO? To be able to connect me to any of their actors? Park Taepyeong clicked his tongue. Understanding his gaze, the main producer raised his hand. Well, take a break here. The staff went on set to prepare it for the next segment. Park Taepyeong took a few gulps of water before glancing at the female singer on the panel. Hey, tell me beforehand if you're going to ask me something not on the script. I was caught off guard. No, I just thought you could at least call him. Even if he became a sensation, he's still a rookie. We thought we could definitely bring him on the show because he's a rookie, but we were completely rejected. The main producer said as he came over. The entertainment news reporter, who was fixing her makeup during the intermission, clicked her tongue. He's not just any rookie. He's WU's rookie. He's a potential talent, so I hear team leader Lee jang is personally managing him. Really? So he's been quiet recently because he was managing a rookie. Who's team leader Lee jang -yib? I only know the CEO and Young Sun Woo from WU. The anchor asked with a puzzled look. Soon, they began discussing the behind the scenes of the entertainment industry, which wasn't on the script. Mr. Young Sun Woo became famous in the last few years, but team leader Lee jang -yib was the one production companies would usually recall when thinking of WU. He was known for having a good eye and great acumen. If you wanted an actor from WU, you had to get through him first. But hasn't Young Sun Woo reached that level now? I heard he's a team leader now. There are many rumors. That maybe you will have to go through Young Sun Woo to cast a WU actor. That you needed to get close to him before it's too late. However, those rumors have disappeared. The entertainment news reporter nodded her head. Yup, because Song Yin-ho's doing so well. 
Their hurried footsteps sounded out as they walked across a hallway that was as red as the red carpet. Greet them respectful and match their reactions. It was hard getting this meeting, okay? A man said while turning around. A woman, whose thighs were clearly revealed under her skirt, nodded. Her face, where even her lashes were dolled up, flashed with confidence. Don't worry, chief. I was just too nervous during the audition. I'm more comfortable with situations like this. Who do I have to get close with? The director, production company rep, and the male lead, Hio Kakyung, as well as people from his company are inside. If you get close with the production company, at most, you'll get a brief role. You need to target the director and Hio Kakyung if you want a good role. Okay. The woman undid another button on her thin, see-through shirt. Chief Choi. Over here. The chief hurried. In front of them, a man wearing a wrinkled dress shirt waved at them. He was the general manager of the movie production company. He said with a discourteous face. I can only introduce you. You need to mingle on your own, okay? Oh, that'll be enough. Our hyogen will do the rest. The chief quickly pushed the actress forward. After giving her a glance, the general manager opened the door. The serious faces gathered in the room were in the middle of discussing something. Their voices quickly halted at the entrance of the uninvited guest. The general manager said in a smiling face. Director, Mr. Kakyung, this is M.S. Lee Hyogen from Ant Entertainment. She just happened to be in a meeting in another room. She came over because she's a fan of you both. Come in, come in. Hello, director. Sunbeam. The actress greeted them while brushing her hair to the side. I auditioned not too long ago, but I was so nervous I didn't properly introduce myself. I prepared a lot but was unable to show my true skill. It was constantly on my mind, and I begged to meet you when I heard you were here. Could I introduce myself briefly before going? You just introduced yourself. Now you can go. The director said. The actress stepped back at the chilly mood. I received your greeting so go. We are in the middle of an important discussion. The man sitting in the middle smirked. His arrogance glimmered over his forthright, intellectual appearance. He was Hio Kakyung, who would be counted on anyone's fingers as one of the most popular male actors in their thirties. The general manager hastily stopped the red-faced actress from greeting again. The producer from the production company, who was sitting on the sofa on the side, shook his stiff face. Belatedly noticing the serious atmosphere, the general manager chased the actress and chief out. Hio Kakyung said in an unhurried tone. The general manager seems to have a lot of free time. To bring an actress no one has heard of before here when we haven't cast our main female lead. Mr. Kakyung, that's not it. We just happen to meet each other here. The general manager smiled awkwardly. The director downed the rest of his liquor and asked. Mr. Kakyung, who do you want as the female lead? I said it from the beginning. I want Lee Songa. The director let out a drunken sigh. The general manager said in a comforting manner. Mr. Kakyung, it's not like we ignored your opinion, but talks with a mess. Lee Songa didn't go very well. I had three meetings with Chief Young Sun Wu. Instead of a mess. Lee Songa, we could get better actress more suiting of your level. General Manager. Hio Kakyung cut him off. If she doesn't want to do it, you need to make it so she does. Isn't that what a production company is supposed to do? The general manager opened and closed his mouth a few times before sighing. Okay, they'll try to meet with Chief Young Sun Wu once more. That's okay. The director cut him off this time. Just as the general manager's face was about to brighten, the director continued. They'll talk with CEO Beck Hansung. Mr. Inho. Congratulations on your movie. Song Inho, who was walking mechanically, creaked to a halt. Ah, thank you. But I think you already congratulated me yesterday. I just wanted to congratulate you for a long time. As long as possible. The WU Team 2 employee patted Song Inho's shoulder before disappearing. From then on, he received multiple congratulations. 
Team 2 had been in high spirits these days. It was thanks to people's reaction to Song Inho, which was better than they expected. Since the team leader's office was at peace, so was the rest of the team. Song Inho took a deep breath in front of the team leader's office. The door burst open the moment he knocked. The Team 2 leader gave Song Inho a bear hug. Lucky charm. That's what you are. His voice was full of energy, like someone who had tasted a rain shower after a drought. Song Inho was that rain shower for the Team 2 leader. He was a monsoon. Song Inho brought newfound vigor into his mind, which had been exhausted from his resentment towards Jung Sun Wu. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that you would receive the Rookie Award in a brilliant fashion if you just did as I said? How do you feel now that you're famous? Song Inho opened and closed his mouth a few times before saying. It still feels surreal. ITLL definitely hit you when you go about your schedule. How did your parents react? They are happy. They go to the movies every night. They said they'll go watch it until the movie is no longer playing. Really? I should send them enough tickets then. The Team 2 leader led Song Inho to the elevator. The CEO is upstairs, so let's greet him first. He said he wanted to see you. The CEO did. He normally calls actors up and discusses projects with them. I bet he's particularly interested in you. There were a lot of rumors going around mentioning you with Jung Sun Wu, Nam Joyun, and them. But that's all over now. The Team 2 leader revealed a satisfied smile. As soon as they arrived at the sixth floor, the secretary approached them. The CEO's inside, right? He is, but the meeting isn't over yet. What meeting? Is the director inside? Yes, as well as team leader Jung Sun Wu. The Team 2 leader's face changed the moment the words Jung Sun Wu and team leader came out of the secretary's mouth. He made an unpleasant expression like he just saw a pile of trash. Why is he here? I'm not sure. Frowning, the Team 2 leader suddenly looked back at Song Inho. Song Inho was staring at the CEO's office. Maybe it was because he was nervous or excited, but his lips were tense. On the other hand, the Team 2 leader's face relaxed the moment he saw Song Inho. He immediately walked over to the CEO's office. His steps were steadfast like a triumphant general bringing his spoils of war. CEO, this is the Team 2 leader. I came with Inho. Amem. Come in. A reply came after a slight delay. It was CEO Beck Hansung's voice. The Team 2 leader looked behind him and gestured with his hand. Song Inho, who had been standing with a complicated expression, began walking mechanically. The Team 2 leader placed his hand on his shoulder. Then he opened the CEO's office door. CEO Beck Hansung turned over the contract. Then he nodded. Let's see. As though he had been waiting for it, the director stretched his hand out to the contract. Then he checked the signature on the last page. Sun Chai Young really did sign it. Lucky charm, what did you do to her? I persuaded her. The director moved his seat over to me. If she was someone who could calm down from persuasion, she would be sitting here with us. She doesn't come to the company unless she has business with you. Spill it. How did you persuade her that the words her people came out of her mouth? I gave the director, who pestered me to spill my secret, a bitter smile. CEO Beck Hansung said. It seems Chai Young really likes you. That's not it. I licked my dry lips. Then I went to the point. Since she decided her next project, can we continue the team discussion from before? The director, who had been mumbling to himself, shut his mouth. Raising his cup of coffee, CEO Beck Hansung smiled faintly. You said you had someone you wanted to bring over? Yes. And you got the person's agreement? I was about to reply when someone knocked on the door. Then I heard the Team 2 leader's voice. Ahem. Come in. The door burst open as soon as CEO Beck Hansung replied. Then the Team 2 leader entered with his arm wrapped around Song Inho's shoulder. In that short moment, both their gazes met mine. Good timing. Yes, good timing. I said. 
Chapter, 194 Hello CEO. Song Yin-ho greeted him with a bow. Then he greeted the director and me. Hello team leader. Our eyes met during the short time we shook hands. Maybe it was because he became an upstart star beyond his expectations or because he had difficulty facing the CEO, but Song Inho looked tenser than normal. His hand was stiff and cold. When I put more strength into my grip, his mouth opened and closed. Let's sit. The Team 2 leader urged him. As if being sent aside, Song Inho sat in an empty seat. The mood was quite peaceful. The director fussed and praised Song Inho's achievements. CEO Beck Hansung looked pleased as well. How's work? I bet it's hectic since it's your first time. CEO Beck Hansung asked. Before Song Inho could open his mouth, the Team 2 leader replied. He said that it still feels surreal, but he's following very well. Now that we've made a good start, I've picked out a few dramas for his next project. I was planning on showing you some proposals when you had some time. Drama? We need to expose his face more through dramas before his popularity cools. What do you think? Do you have a project you're interested in? CEO Beck Hansung asked Song Inho. Once again, the Team 2 leader replied for him. Inho hasn't seen them yet. I decided to show him once I've narrowed it down to one or two choices. He doesn't have an eye for projects yet, so he might something strange if there are a lot of choices. Also, since he's already busy with other stuff, ITLL only complicate things for him more if he looks at multiple projects. Isn't that what managers are for? The Team 2 leader added in a rambling manner. That it was all for Song Inho. He looked like the stereotypical image of a helicopter parent. Song Inho didn't just look exhausted, he looked lethargic. He wasn't the type to make such a gloomy expression. CEO Beck Hansung stared at Song Inho. He soon retracted his gaze. When the mood reached its peak, the Team 2 leader's shoulders spread wide as though they were waiting for this moment. He held his nose so high that he almost did a flip. His proud gaze fixated on me and the director. It looked like the appearance of a secret royal inspector. I guess Song Yinho was like the royal badge. 1. Unable to contain it, the director clicked his tongue. Yeah, Team 2 leader, you really do have a good eye. I admit it. I'm sorry for doubting you. Why are you like this all of a sudden? I'm blushing. Did I say anything? It's because of your prickly gaze. Narrow-minded fellow. The Team 2 leader's face, which wore a content smile, crumbled. Narrow-minded? Should we really bring everything up? To be honest, you've hurt me a lot. When I picked a rookie with my discerning eye, you asked me why I picked Inho over Nam Joyeon and whether I rejected him because Young Sunwoo brought him. Oh, really? When did I ever say that? It's how you said it. There are even crazy employees who placed bets on Nam Joyeon and Inho. Didn't this all start with you? Inho, he must have suffered a lot of hardship by being unwittingly involved in this. The director avoided his gaze when he brought up the bets. The Team 2 leader's gaze was now directed at me. Although he wasn't openly putting on airs, his eyes were drunk with anticipation. I said it before. To trust my discerning eye. Nam Joyeun isn't a bad actor. Only, if I had to pick one of them to be WU's rising star, I judged that Inho had much more potential. The Team 2 leader proudly patted Song Inho's shoulder. Look. The results prove it. Although he was speaking to the director, his eyes were still on me. He raised his chin. Team leader Jung, what do you think? My thoughts. I think you also thought that the reason I picked Inho over Nam Joyeun was for my own personal revenge. That's why you held a grudge against me. You acted so boastfully when Alive was released, but have your thoughts changed? I scratched my chin before taking a sip of my now cooled coffee. The Team 2 leader's gaze intently followed my face like he didn't want to miss a single change in my expression. I fully understood his feeling. This was probably the most refreshing and delightful moment. He probably ground his teeth thinking of a way to screw me over since the meeting, and Song Inho happened to rise to prominence. 
he likely considered Song Inho as a priceless lucky charm. How much did he look forward to this moment? From igniting the public's interest in Song Inho, moving the press, until the title upstart star was given to Song Inho. He likely waited for this moment as he added oil and fanned the flames the past week. The moment he could show Song Inho off in front of me. What? You can't acknowledge it. No, I do. I decided to boost the Team 2 leader's delight. It's true I held a grudge against your decision. I had thought that I inadvertently involved Joyun Hyung, Mr. Nam Joyun, because you looked at me in a bad light. Let's be honest, I was partly right. I licked my lower lip and continued. I did, but I now acknowledge it. Your eye in picking Mr. Song Inho and your decision making skills. The public is making a fuss about Song Inho right now, so there's no way I can't acknowledge it. I glanced in front of me, and the Team 2 leader's eyes glimmered with joy. Almost as though I was on my knees, giving him the highest praise. His cheeks jiggled and beard trembled like he was barely holding back from laughing uproariously. Was this the Team 2 leader's peak? Had he reached his peak? I glanced at Song Yinho before saying. I believe he's a great actor with a lot of potential. To the point that I want him. To the point you want him? Yes, he seems more desirable every time I see him. That's why please give him to me. The Team 2 leader made a dazed expression. Give what? Mr. Song Inho. I really want to work with him. What? You bastard. What kind of nonsense is that? Young Sun Wu, are you crazy? Did you lend Inho to me? For you to ask me to give him to you? The Team 2 leader wheezed out a laugh. I turned my gaze. Song Inho's eyes were wide open. The director was completely focused on the situation as if there was nothing more worth spectating than this. And CEO Beck Hansung was smiling. He looked happier now than he did looking at Song Inho, who was considered a rising star. Although I didn't lend him to you. It's similar. I did request the CEO. The CEO. The team two leaders gaze quickly turned. The air tensed. Request. CEO, what nonsense is he saying? I told team leader Young that, if he could persuade Chai Young to sign on to another project, I would let him fill his team with whoever he wants. CEO. The team two leader jolted to his feet. The hair on his face stood straight from anger. I was curious. How it felt for the ground to collapse as soon as you reached the peak. So. Don't tell me you're planning on snatching Inho and handing him over to him. What the hell kind of situation is this? I picked and raised Inho. He's my child. Again, with the child. It's only been a few days since you promoted him to team leader as a reward for succeeding a project. But what are you giving him for persuading Chai Young? If things are like this, shouldn't there be a reward for me, who made Inho WU's rising star? That's a bit different. The director scratched the tip of his nose as he joined in. Then, since team leader Jung had huge hits with Royal Family and Alive early this year, should he be a director? The CEO had been waiting for an opportunity to promote him and simply used the project as a pretext. The CEO separately made a request regarding Chai Young. Still, this isn't right. Aren't you stabbing me in the back for him? CEO, aren't you too biased? Isn't this why people in the company are spreading rumors about how he's your son? CEO Beck Hansung laughed when he heard those words. There are rumors like that. Team Leader Jung, how old are you? I'm 29. It's not impossible with a 20-year difference. CEO Beck Hansung waved his hand at Team 2 Leader's outburst. Calm down and sit. I want split up good partners for no reason. Then. Unless the actor wants to. Song Inho's eyes widened once more. The team two leaders gaze alternated between CEO Beck Han Sung, me, and Song Inho. Just as he was about to shout, the director nonchalantly said. Why are you acting like this? Don't you remember how you and Chief Joe barged in and asked to manage Lee Sangha? He said that he would think about it if Lee Sangha agreed. If Chief Joe persuaded Lee Sangha, 
then her manager might have long since changed. Director. This and that are completely. What's different about it? If Song Yinho doesn't want to, then that's that. Why? Do you not trust your child? At a loss for words, the Team 2 leader clenched his jaw. Now shall we hear what the person in question has to say? CEO Baek Hansung gestured at Song Yinho. As more gazes focused on him, Song Yinho clenched his fist, which had been quietly sitting on top of his knees. His fist was clenched so hard that his knuckles turned white. CEO Baek Hansung tilted his head. Was it too sudden? Do you need time to think about it? No, I. Song Yinho opened his mouth but closed it once more. Something was off. I sent Song Yinho a look that everything would be as he wanted with his reply. However, as soon as his gaze met mine, his face distorted like someone who held all the worries in the world. His eyes reddened in an instant as tears dripped from his eyes. I had seen Song Yinho cry a few times, but this was the saddest I've seen him. I raised my coffee cup. I tightened my grip on it. I could feel CEO Beck Hansung and the director's gazes on me. Asking me what was going on. I don't know. I was wondering that too. Did he have a change of heart? If that's the case. Inho. The Team 2 leader hugged Song Inho's shoulders in a comforting manner. Why are you crying? It's okay. He shot a displeased glare at us. Now really. How shocked and taken aback must he be to cry? He's still young. He was already stiff before coming to the CEO's office, do you think he won't be shocked being caught in the middle of the CEO and director? He clicked his tongue before shooting me a gaze. Above all, Young Sun was a team leader. How can he not be cautious? Maybe if one was thick-skinned, but he's not so daring to reject an offer. He's too soft-hearted. His gaze landed on Song Yinho in the end. It's nothing much, so just speak what's on your mind. You just need to trust me. Team leader. Yeah, it's fine. Song Yinho spread his arms. The Team 2 leader also spread his arms while smiling gently. Immediately, Song Yinho hugged. Me. It was so rough that it felt like my bones were breaking. It felt like I was caught by a giant squid. I let out a breath and looked past Song Yinho's shoulder. The Team 2 leader still stood with his arms spread. He seemed to still be processing what just happened. The corners of my lips rose. I had been looking forward to this moment like the Team 2 leader had before. The moment the Team 2 leader's mood hit its peak before falling. Smiling, I patted Song Inho's trembling back. Why are you crying? Do you not want to work with me? No. Of course, I want to work with you. I do, but. But? Won't I be unable to be an actor anymore? Song Inho said tearfully. His voice was of worry and resignation. What are you saying? Why can't you be an actor? The Team 2 leader raised me up this far. If I follow someone else, people might say I'm ungrateful. They say you won't be able to work if rumors like that spread since the entertainment industry is so small. If you want to act for a long time, you need to mark those words. Ah, uh, the Team 2 leader said that. Song Inho quickly nodded at my question. That moment, the Team 2 leader, who had been blankly staring in our direction, crumbled. And here I was wondering if he had a change of heart. He had been waiting to work with me like a child at an orphanage waiting for his parents. I was wondering why he was acting like the world was ending rather than being happy. It seemed like his mind was filled with the Team 2 leader's words, which were no different from a threat. My lips unconsciously made a crooked smile. Don't worry. I'll handle that. I patted Song Yinho's back and looked at CEO Beck Hansung. CEO, can I tell you more actors I would like to bring over to my team? I have already gotten their agreement. Who? Sun Chai Young. CEO Beck Hansung propped his chin up as he asked. No, let's just consider it as me helping the Team 2 leader whenever there is an issue with Ms. Sun Chai Young. It'll feel really bad if I brought over WU's poster star. I'm not that insolent. Then who? 
I looked at the team two leaders distorted face as I smiled. Mr. Seo Jijun and Mr. Im Juwon. Chapter, 195. Seo Jijun and Im Ju. The director groaned. His words were cut off by a sigh. He rubbed his temples as he mumbled, Oh, what a headache. The way he looked at me changed. It was as though I was a pain in the neck instead of a lucky charm. Young Sun Wu. You need to calm down. I think you just said that without thinking. He tried to reason with me. His attitude was different from his normally not so serious self. I glanced next to me. The one who needed to calm down seemed to be someone else. The team two leader's face was dark. He glared at me with a menacing look. If he could kill with his gaze, my body would have been torn off limb by limb and scattered on the carpet. The director said. I understand how you feel. I get it, but if you're going to stir trouble, it should be within your capabilities. How do you plan on dealing with the aftermath if you take them with you? Are you crazy? I was shockingly calm right now. I thought I would have trouble breathing or my hands would be shaking once I said those words, but it came out so nonchalantly as if I was deciding what I was going to eat for dinner. My body and mind moved naturally like a stream. Examining my reaction, the director shook his head. Let's act like that didn't happen. Let's do that, CEO. Hmm, personally check with them. Rather than agreeing with him, CEO Beck Hansung replied with an order. Check. CEO Jijun and Im Juwan's opinion. Taken aback, the directors but jolted. I also flinched. I had thought that they wouldn't outright reject the idea if CEO Jijun and Im Juwan revealed their intentions to join my team since companies tended to cater to actors on their level. However, I didn't think it would proceed so quickly. I had thought he would ask something more from me. His actions made me wonder if the Team 2 leader had fallen out of CEO Beck Hansung's favor. I gave CEO Beck Hansung a doubtful look. Our eyes met. Like the director, he also looked at me differently. On one hand, it looked like he was watching an amateur's cute actions, but on the other hand, it looked like he was pleased. Either way, it seemed like he had hoped I would act like this. He looked at me and Song Inho before gesturing with his chin. You two should step out. I think the Team 2 leader and I need to have a talk. The Team 2 leader was silent. His gaze simply stabbed at my back. I brushed my seat and got up. After saying goodbye, I brought Song Inho out of the CEO's office. I was walking while guessing at what kind of conversation would take place when I didn't hear any footsteps following me. I turned around, and Song Inho wasn't unable to regain his senses like he was being washed down a current. His no longer tearful face looked dazed. Hyung, is this all? Is it fine like this? Well have to make it fine. I lightly raised my shoulders when the CEO's office burst open. The Team 2 leader rushed at me like a mad boar. Just as I thought he was going to hit me, I was hit with his fist. Another fist made its way towards me as I faltered. Team 2 Leader. Hyung. I didn't plan on getting hit twice without making a sound. I quickly pulled my head back. The Team 2 Leader's fist narrowly brushed past the bridge of my nose. Song Yinho and the director rushed over when I grabbed his arm. Then they grabbed the Team 2 Leader's shoulders and pulled him off me. I pressed my aching cheek and swallowed. There was a disgusting taste in my mouth. Maybe something ripped. Hyung, are you alright? The Team 2 leader stopped Song Yinho, who was coming over. Song Yinho. What's your problem? What did I not do for you? Team leader. If there was something you didn't like, you should have said so. What are you doing? Song Yinho's face distorted miserably. The Team 2 leader continued to shout. Do you think he'll let you or that bastard off after suffering like this? I told you that this industry was small. Do you think good rumors will spread about a guy who abandons his benefactor as soon as he makes it big? Worthless personal. The rumors should be that the actors were moved during an internal restructuring. I replied while taking a step forward. He's the rising star of WU. Weird rumors won't be good for the company either. ITLL make things difficult for the PR team. 
Also, even if he changes teams, he's still part of the WU family. I don't think you should say things like not letting him off no matter how angry you are. Threats had to be made by the right person in the right place. Also, wouldn't that be best for you as well? If it was just Inho, maybe there would have been rumors about his personality or something, but if three move teams, wouldn't it look like you are the problem? This industry is a small place. You would lose face if some weird rumors spread. You bastard. The team two leaders' mood grew more dangerous. The director, who gestured to me to act moderately from the back, eventually facebombed. He steadfastly held on to the team two leaders' shoulders as though he was worried punches would fly again. Huffing, the team two leader glared at Song Inho. I don't know how he persuaded you, but don't think. I begged him to take me. Song Inho said in a subdued voice. The team two leader flinched. My problem. I told you countless times, yet how can you not know? Song Yinho let out a frustrated sigh. I can't follow your methods. I'm suffocating. Like you said, I'm scared that rumors about how ungrateful I am will spread. However, if I stay with you, I feel like I will come to hate acting. That scares me more. The more he spoke, the more heavily the team two leader huffed. He looked like he didn't know what to do with all the shame, betrayal, and rage he felt. The director clicked his tongue and signaled me with his eyes. I took Song Inho and got in the elevator. As soon as the doors began to close, Song Inho collapsed against the wall. Are you okay? I should be asking you that, Hyung. Well. I saw the Team 2 leader between the closing doors. He was glaring at me without taking a single step. I stared back at him. His face distorted even more. Soon, the elevator began to move. Rather than the Team 2 leader's face, the shiny elevator doors reflected my face. My face looked refreshed like I had been reborn. Song Inho threw away all his grief after a drink. He was crawling around my living room when I grabbed him and flopped him down on my bed. I struggled a lot because he wouldn't let go of my ankle. The world had become quiet by the time I was able to wrap him up in my blanket. I emptied the remaining contents of the bottle. My mind was still sober even though I poured down liquor like it was water. Only my heart seemed to beat more loudly. I looked out my window, which reflected the streetlights and neon signs outside, before calling someone. Who is it? It's me, Mom. Ah, I had forgotten I even had a second son. Do you know how long it's been since you last called? Her voice hit her sadness. Has it been a while? A while. It's been harder to hear your voice than when you went to mandatory military service. Your father lets you off, saying that no news is good news and that it's good that you're busy, but this is excessive. You're obviously busy during the week. Busy on weekends and holidays. Are you the only one that's this busy? We all are. Sorry, I'll try my best to come down for Thanksgiving. 1. I said while checking my calendar. Would I be able to take a day or two off? How are you? Are you stressed at work? Hmm, I did clear away a man who was stressing me out. I'm fine. Ah right, I've been promoted. Promoted? To what? My mom's dazed voice went up a pitch. Chewing on octopus tentacles, I framed the events leading up to my promotion in a good way. My mom listened for a good while before she said in a serious voice. Okay, I'll keep this to myself. It doesn't matter if others know. This isn't a secret. Really? I've become used to watching what I say after you appeared on TV. My mom laughed awkwardly before adding. Though I am happy that you're appearing on TV because you're successful and being promoted for doing a good job, do most people get promoted this quickly? The higher up you are, the more responsibilities you take on. I'm worried. I wouldn't have accepted if I didn't think I could handle it. If things are tough, talk to your brother. If it's still not resolved, then come down. My mom, who was advising me, suddenly laughed. I'll pass you the phone. Huh. Your father's pestering me, knowing that I'm about to hang up. I unconsciously smiled. After talking with my father, I decided to call my brother. 
I chatted with the quadruplets for an hour on speakerphone. I had thought that no other life was as dynamic as mine, but the quadruplets didn't lose out. After them, I called Neptune, then Seo Jijun and Chief Li Bangjun as well as Im Ju Won and Chief Sung. I think I heard that I was crazy at least 50 times while explaining what happened today. In fact, one of them even messaged me saying that. I laid down on my sofa early in the morning. Then I flipped through the scenario I had started reading the night before. My mind filled up as I thought about Song Inho, Seo Jijun, and Im Juan's roles on top of Lee Sangha and Nam Joyun. While I was at it, I brought out all the scenarios, drama proposals, and scripts. I cleared away the liquor bottles and side dishes from the living room table and spread out the actors' photos and posters. Then I looked at each of them. It was a sleepless yet satisfying night. I arrived back in Seoul after a three-day business trip to China. As soon as I left the airport, I was met with hot, stuffy air. It seemed the heat wave had arrived because my back became soaked even though I wore a t-shirt. Even the people walking on the streets looked somewhat withered. My thirst burned my throat by the time I arrived at the company. I should buy a drink from a vending machine. No, an ice dispenser would be better. I got out the elevator thinking this and saw the lounge crawling with people. Hello. Ah, hello, team leader Jung. The mood was uneasy. The way they were whispering to each other before going silent as soon as I got off the elevator. The way they staggered and nervously greeted me. Above all, the people who were calling me Team Leader Young were Team 2 chiefs who had recently disregarded me. Had the incident with the Team 2 leader surfaced? I was looking around for someone to ask when the Team 3 leader called me. Yes, Team Leader. Let's meet as soon as you arrive at work. I'm already here. I'm in the lounge right now. The Team 3 leader and Kim Hyunjo popped out of the office immediately after I said that. Then they each grabbed my arm and dragged me into an empty meeting room. Other employees' gazes followed me. What's with the mood? Is it because of the incident with the Team 2 leader? There was no answer. Instead, I looked at the two sitting in their seats. They looked baffled. As they were well aware of what happened between me and the Team 2 leader, they shouldn't be this agitated because of that. What is it? The Team 2 leader handed in his resignation letter this weekend. Resignation letter. Kim Hyunjo nodded. I recalled the Team 2 leader's face, which I had last seen in front of the CEO's office. I had thought he would be up to something, but a resignation letter. He just up and left the company. What did he discuss with CEO Beck Hansung that day? It wasn't a threat or anything. I thought the same thing when I first heard it too, but it's not. He received investments from China and is apparently planning on becoming independent. He said he had already discussed with his children, so he would take those whose contracts were almost up with him. Even excluding top stars like Sun Chai Young and Ji Jun, there are quite a few actors he had brought in. 2. That's right. They made up the core of WU's lineup of actors. Actors like Song Inho and Seo Ji Jun, who didn't align with the Team 2 leader's methods, were a minority. The majority of actors whom the Team 2 leader brought in from the free agency market approved of the Team 2 leader's methods and skills. Like Sun Chai Young in the past. He was the type who seemed sensitive to betrayal after being stabbed in the back like that. He said that he would turn his back on CEO Beck Hansung and take the actors who followed him with him. So. Did he actually leave? He did. Kim Hyunjo said, astonished, as though even he couldn't believe it. The Team 3 leader, who was quietly sitting there with his arms crossed, added. Alone. He left alone. I don't know if talks didn't go well or something didn't go as planned at the end, but the actors who were supposed to leave with the Team 2 leader remained. That's why the Team 2 leader barged into the CEO's office not long ago and caused a huge commotion. Kim Hyunjo asked the Team 3 leader. Do you think he'll come back? I don't know. Even if he's received investments, without any trustworthy actors, won't he just waste away? Rumors will spread that he left the company on bad terms. Even if the CEO doesn't do anything, others will be cautious. Do you think actors will sign with him? 
he's probably done trying to make a place for himself in the country. If he goes to China though, he'll probably at least make a living. The Team 3 leader scratched his disheveled hair. He checked the firmly shut door before leaning towards me. Then he asked in a quiet voice. Hey, you've also been offered investments from China, right? Does the CEO know that too? Chapter 196 I felt like cold water had been poured on my head. Did CEO Beck Hansung know that I received an investment proposal in China? Team leader, how did you know? I for one wasn't the type to chat about that. Li Liang. The team three leader added. That guy seems to be really interested in you. I guessed when we went for drinks. He was a representative of a Chinese agency company. I recalled his neat and urban face. His voice in which he proposed I leave WU and go independent with Chinese investments. I curtly replied. That happened a year ago. I know. I refused his proposal then. I heard that too. Thinking back, I didn't regret my decision. I didn't plan on leaving WU any time soon, and the foresight I had seen at the time made me uncomfortable. Whenever I met Li Liang on business trips to China, he would bring the proposal up in the passing, but talks never progressed. He even stopped mentioning it recently. This was something I had tossed in the corner of my mind until recently. The Team 3 leader rubbed his chin. CEO has never brought up any talks about investments, has he? Never. Then that's fine. I was going to advise you to save yourself if the CEO happened to know about it. I was worried that sparks would fly to you because the Team 2 leader created this wreck after accepting Chinese investments. If the CEO doesn't know, then that's that. If CEO Beck Hansung doesn't know, can I say for certain that he doesn't? But if you've noticed, then the CEO might also. No, Li Liang brought it up only because he was with me. He won't say a word in front of the CEO. If the CEO knew that such talks were ongoing beneath the surface, he would immediately change the agency we work with. The Team 3 leader waved his hand. Kim Hyunjo, who was listening with a serious expression, joined in. Wouldn't it be better to tell the CEO that something like this happened and that he refused? It just makes me feel uneasy. I don't know about that. There's no need to bother the CEO about something that's already in the past. Especially at a time like this. Ah, it really isn't a good time. Kim Hyunjo scratched his head as he looked up at the ceiling. My phone on the table began to ring. I flinched when I saw the caller. The Team 3 leader and Kim Hyunjo flinched in shock at the same time. It was CEO Beck Hansung. What kind of timing was this? Hello. I heard that you've arrived. He spoke slowly. It was difficult to gauge his mood. Yes, I arrived not too long ago. Shall we meet? Right now? Hmm, I do have something I want to ask. What would it be? That he would want to ask. Was it about the Team 2 leader? I probably had a lot to do with him suddenly deciding to go independent. Don't tell me it's about the Chinese investment matter. That bothered me too because of what the Team 3 leader said. Even as I opened the door to the CEO's office, my mind was a tangled mess trying to figure out what the CEO's motives were. You're here. CEO Beck Hansung was standing alone in front of a wall. The wall was full of profile pictures of celebrities at WU. CEO Beck Hansung's finger lightly brushed past them. Neptune, Lee Sangha, Nam Joyun, Pretty Girls, and even the actors the Team 2 leader was in charge of managing. What are you doing? Sit. You must be exhausted after coming back from your business trip to China. My shoulders reflexively stiffened when he mentioned China. When I sat at an empty seat, CEO Beck Hansung came over. After experiencing some unexpected misfortune during the weekend and with the Team 2 leader causing a ruckus, I had expected him to be different from normal. Although I couldn't imagine CEO Beck Hansung's red face spouting curses as he jumped up and down, I at least thought his mood would be fiercer. He was the same as normal. What was he thinking behind his calm face? There was a project titled Telepathy amongst the scenarios, right? 
amongst the projects brought to Lee Sangha. The one with director Cha Jeho and Hio Kakyang as the lead. Don't you remember? I do. I did. I churned my mind, going through my memories to keep up with this sudden topic. It was a project we rejected because female lead's role didn't suit Lee Sangha. I remember that I had discussed it with CEO Beck Hansung and the director before making a final decision to reject it. CEO Beck Hansung was smiling when I gave him a puzzled look. Is there a project you are thinking about for Lee Song has next project? There are a few decent ones, but we are looking through them with an open mind. Hmm, I actually owe director Cha Jeho a favor from a long time ago. The conversation was taking an unexpected direction. I met director Cha because he said he wanted to have a meal, but it seems like he's really interested in Lee Sangha. He even said that they were willing to adjust a significant portion of the female lead's character if she agrees to do it. My mind jolted awake. The matters regarding the Team 2 leader and Chinese investments were completely swept from my mind. Was he saying he wanted us to go with that project for Lee Sangha? I quickly recalled the scenario and female lead. The scenario was fine. It was a well-structured action thriller. I had considered this project for a good while because Hio Kakyang, famous for his box office appeal, had already signed on it. However, this wasn't a project where the female lead shined. The female lead was simply someone with a pretty face and body who was the male lead's love interest. Even if it was a box office success, all the attention would be focused on Hio Kakyang. How much would that character change through adjustments? It left a bitter taste in my mouth. If you don't have any projects you are seriously considering, why not listen to them once more? And if the talks do not go well, then don't do it. I immediately raised my head. CEO Beck Hansung calmly said. A favor is a favor, but if there's a better project, then, of course, we should do that. It feels like we're at the wrong party. Im Seo Young looked around with an awkward expression. It is the wrong party. Since it's the closing ceremony at a short film festival. I feel like a lot of people are looking at us. Like, why are they here? Guess they are fascinated. Since this was a film event, most attendees were directors and production-related professions as well as actors. It was obvious that a girl group would stand out. They were also dressed up since it has been a while since they last posed in front of a photo wall. The short film festival's photo wall was plain compared to the red carpets of international film festivals. Throwing Neptune into the mix, they stood out like flamingos in a dance of cranes. There are cameras everywhere. LJ suddenly wedged herself between Lee Sangha and me. Being pushed aside, Lee Sangha frowned. LJ lightly shrugged. You had a scandal, so we need to be careful of any two shots of you two. Yeah, keep apart from each other. In the wrong hands, a two-shot could become a love shot. Im Seo Young joined in to support LJ. Lee Sangha was pushed back two more steps. Her clear face was now starting to cloud over. Lee Tae who was swaggering behind us like she was taking a walk, comforted Lee Sangha by patting her shoulders. Oh. Park Weezung. Right, right. Appa, right. Im Seo Young stomped her feet when she saw the actor in front of the photo wall. I unwittingly laughed because it had been a while since I saw her act like this. Yeah, it is. Oh, our eyes met. He's coming over. What do I do? She fussed all on her own before becoming serious as she looked at her fellow members. We can't make a fuss just because we're in front of a movie actor. Let's pass by while greeting him in a natural way so that it's not embarrassing. Hey, you're the only one causing a fuss. Is this your first time seeing a movie actor? Im Seo Young shook her head at LJ's rebuke. Park Weezun was like the celebrity of celebrities. He was an actor who barely made any appearances on TV and entertainment shows and was wholly focused on his acting career. It was difficult to see him outside of a film festival like this. To be honest, my desire to ask for an autograph surged up my throat. Park Weezung walked up to us. His unkempt beard and unrefined appearance gave us the aura of a talented actor. Hello. We didn't have time to cause a fuss because we were next in front of the photo wall. 
We had a simple handshake before going our separate ways when I heard Park Weezung talk with his manager from behind. Wow, I got to shake hands with a girl group. Aren't you jealous? Im Su jealous. Sell me your palm. That moment, Im Seo Young's eyes popped with stars. She urgently shook my clothes. Appa, Appa, did you hear that? Yeah. I guess we're popular with movie actors. Probably popular amongst middle-aged men. I chuckled as I sent the girls off in front of the cameras. The photo wall was instantly overwhelmed with camera flashes. Their reactions were not much different from Park Weezung. People gathered around to see the girls as they were changing their poses according to the reporters' requests. Aren't you team leader Yung Sun Woo? A middle-aged man came over in a friendly manner. His face looked familiar, but who was he? I looked through my memories and barely managed to remember. He was a production employee I had met at some ceremony. He glanced at the photo wall before asking. All of Neptune came. Since Sangha is here as a presenter, they asked Neptune to perform. Ah, uh, I came over to find any good rookie directors. The employee glanced behind him. The people who had been following him like ducklings had been staring at me for a while. Having gathered their gazes once more, the production employee grabbed my shoulder. Now, say hello. You all know him, right? He's team leader Young Sun Wu of WU. Their eyes glistened. The employee introduced them. They are the director and actors who submitted their project to a competition. No wonder. Their appearances were excessively neat for them to be production company employees. I shook their hands with a smiling face. I took special care in observing the director. While he was a rookie director who hasn't debuted yet, he could be next year's rising star. Once the girls got out of the photo wall, we were introduced to and introduced ourselves endlessly. There were directors and actors, who were the main show tonight, as well as production and distribution company employees. There were even famous directors here to judge. Everyone's so good looking. Particularly M.S. M. C. O. Young, you have a face meant for acting. There were even directors selling snake oil. Me? My face? Maybe it's because you're a singer, but your vocalization and expressions are good. You should act. Me? There's no way. Soon, having watched the scene that branded him Seo Young as an iconic figure for terrible acting, the director asked. M.S. Lee Tae-hee, are you not interested in acting? While Neptune was laughing and chatting, I mixed in with the directors and production companies. I heard director Jang Junmo and Mr. Weezung will be attending the afterparty. How about you, team leader Young? Ah, uh, of course, we will. Since all important discussions would happen there. I heard a mess. Sun Chai Young will be doing a drama. She should do a movie. I have a decent project. Mr. Seo Jijun seems quiet these days. I heard rumors that you were gathered a ton of scenarios and proposals. Did you find any decent projects? I always felt this, but rumors traveled quickly in this industry. It seemed like those who asked me about Seo Jijun and Sun Chai Young already knew about the incident with the Team 2 leader. Their eyes stuck to me even more than before. What is the rumor about MS? Lee Songdet joining Telepath? Telepathy. Director Chai's project. She's joining that. I forced my frowning brows straight. Rumors traveled fast, but gossip was even faster. It hasn't been decided. We are still examining it. Really? The investment distribution company was thinking that it was already decided. I guess there was some miscommunication. Or they purposely leaked that information. I guess I should set the meeting earlier. They'll listen to them, but if it isn't good, I needed to properly refuse this time. CEO Beck Hansung also said to find something better. A better project. I had now looked through most projects. I was now in the process of rereading projects in case I missed something. It was now time to decide on a project, but I still couldn't make a decision. Was I expecting something too special? Did I have no choice but to pick one from my final choices? The ceremony began while I was still lost in my thoughts. 
having finished their performance in front of the movie screen, the girls sat next to me. Winning projects were introduced, and unfamiliar directors and actors were mentioned. I was still lost in my thoughts as I clapped mechanically. Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun were a given, but Seo Jijun and Im Ju Won needed new projects now. I wanted to get them something good. Since they readily sided with me, I wanted to get them good projects no matter what. Just as I thought this. Static filled my vision. And my heart began to beat noisily. Chapter, 197 Please look over here. The sound of camera shutters pounded against my ears. The static was worse than normal, but I knew exactly where I was. Because the familiar short film photo wall was right in front of me, the photographers in front of the wall, and movie industry people walking around. I had just seen this same scene. Isn't that team leader Yung Sun Wu? My gaze turned regardless of my will. The person who recognized me was familiar. He was the large investment distribution agency general manager I had met in this exact spot around 30 minutes ago. What was going on? Was I looking at the past and not the future? Still in a state of confusion, my body bowed courteously. Team leader Yung, why are you here? Are you here to check on rookies? There's that, and I thought I could discuss our actors' next projects with directors. Ah uh, really? So this wasn't the past. The same short film festival closing ceremony. At the same location. But it was a few years in the future. Director Ju, you know team leader Yung Sun Wu, right? I do. This feels different. We had met in this exact place a year ago. The man next to the general manager spoke. It was the first time I received an award after entering my short film. I was so discouraged that I couldn't even meet your gaze. His hair was styled, and his face had makeup on. He wore a nice suit. If I didn't hear that he was a director, I would have thought he was a celebrity considering how much attention he spent on his appearance. Director Ju. Who was he? I flipped through my memories until I finally recalled who he was. He was the face I had just seen. The unknown director I had been introduced to by the production employee. The one who entered the competition. Just looking at his appearance, he looked like a completely different person. The fact that he saw me a year ago does this mean this is a year from the present? Was there something like that? You can look at him in his eyes all you want now. You're not the same director Jew as before. No need to be discouraged. The general manager encouraged the young director. You made a box office hit with your debut movie, a non-mainstream with a noir feel, and won rookie director and screenplay awards. You even attended Cannes. People are remarking how your next project is the most anticipated right now. My ears perked. I had spent five years working on just the scenario for this project, so my next will be a problem. A project that is bound to fail will fail even if you work on it for five, even ten years. A film like this was born because you put your life on the line. My heart had started to race the moment this vision began, but it felt like my clogged vessels had busted open and fresh blood was flowing through my veins. If he attended Cannes, then it meant his film was good regardless of the actors or distribution agency. I should have a proper conversation with him once this vision was over. A project he had been working on for five years. On top of that, if the movie released within a year from the present, then at the latest, he would probably start filming within the next couple months. His scenario was likely complete by now. My body shuddered because of how much I wanted to read it. What kind of film would it be? Just as I wished I could at least hear what it was called. Director Ju. City Jungle was a lot of fun. It was too polished for your first project. The answer just rolled in. People from production companies came over and began chatting. Why was I getting information so easily this time? It made me wonder if I was daydreaming instead of seeing the future. Just then, my vision flipped. So it wasn't a daydream. It was my first time being relieved by getting kicked out of a vision. I blinked to adjust to my suddenly changed vision, but my vision was still filled with static. What was this? I was in a different place now. I heard the sound of meat sizzling and clinking glasses. Was I in a restaurant? A banquet hall? Anyways, 
this wasn't the present. It was another vision of the future. While surprised, my feet were moving. It seemed I had quite a bit to drink as my body staggered. As soon as I opened the door, I was met with a warm night breeze. It was summer. Just as I took a step out. Did you see team leader Young's expression when we met today? He looked like he had stepped in shit. Why wouldn't he? I bet his stomach aches whenever he sees Director Ju's face. My steps halted. Three red faces were smoking in front of the brilliantly lit sign. They were the production people I had seen in the previous vision as well as in the present. They wore the same outfit as the previous vision. So this was the after-party of the festival. Understanding the situation, I perked my ears because I thought they were talking about me. Who? Team leader Yung Sun Wu. What about him? Do you not know? Apparently, team leader Yung was the first person director Ju showed City Jungle to. I heard that he even went to his home to ask for Lee Sangha to be the female lead. Ha, huh, then his stomach wouldn't just ache, it must be lurching at the sight of him. If he went with that project, Lee Sangha wouldn't have a flaw in her filmography, and team leader Yung Sun Wu would have continued to be well off. A flaw in Lee Sangha's filmography? I would have continued to be well off. That's what I'm saying. He thought long and hard before coming to a decision, yet the project he chose completely flopped. And the project he rejected because it was a rookie director's first film became a hit. There was just a lot of empty hubbub about him being mid ass hand. Mid ass hand. It's been a long time since I last heard that. Their chuckles and laughed ground my ears. Although I didn't have a sip of alcohol, flames ignited in my stomach. Flopped. The project I thought long and hard before deciding flopped. What project did I end up choosing? Wait, wait. Right now, I should focus on not missing a single word. Also, I heard team leader Jung fell out of favor. There are even rumors that he's being pushed aside since WU is recruiting another team leader and other rumors about how he fell out of CEO Beck Hansung's favor and was demoted to back to chief. Either way, his current predicament isn't very good. Team leader Jung Sun Wu, wasn't CEO Beck the one who promoted him to team leader? I guess he found out that he wasn't team leader material after promoting him. I didn't even have time to think as my legs just moved. He acted arrogantly like he wouldn't be successful for the next 10,000 years, yet look at him no. If you have something you're curious about me, then just ask me directly. Instead of spouting nonsense. Such sarcastic remarks came out of my mouth. A man who was exhaling cigarette smoke coughed loudly. His expression momentarily flashed with shock before he wiped it from his face. He said in a mocking tone. I mean I'm sorry that we talked about you behind your back, but it's not nonsense. Someone might think that I was making it all up. I heard this from someone at WU. Who? I can't tell you. Anyways, rumors have spread internally. The man shrugged. That team leader Young Sun Wu is a kite with a broken string. I heard loud clapping. I blinked my dry eyes. My vision was no longer filled with static. Someone who waving his award and bouquet in front of the screen. I saw his work, and it was filmed well. Someone struck a conversation next to me. Still a little out of it, I turned my head and frowned. The person who said I saw a kite with a broken string was sitting next to me. I barely managed to contain my urge to shove his approaching face away. Team leader Jung, are you perhaps interested in rookie director's works? He spoke with a smile on his face. Why there are cases where one's debut work is a huge hit. Those who wait a long time to debut and put their life on the line when the opportunity arises. Our company is looking for rookie directors like that, so if you are interested. I don't know. I fixed my gaze in front of me. I kept recalling his words, so I felt like my hand would strike out if I kept looking at his face. An unfamiliar man, clearly moved, was giving his award speech at the podium. While acting like I was listening carefully, I organized the information in my mind. I obtained a lot of information this time. I now knew that the project I would choose would flop and that it would be a flaw in Lee Song has filmography. It was also possible that matters other than that also didn't work out. Though I couldn't be sure, 
I also knew that unpleasant rumors about me would also spread in WU. So all this would happen in a year. My future looked great. I rubbed my face when Im Seo Young poked my side. Appa, it's Lee Song has turn. When I raised my head, Lee Sangha was handing a bouquet to another award winner. Applause soon broke out. I mechanically clapped before stopped. Then I scanned the winner. A young man who hugged the bouquet in a stooped position. Director Ju Jae Chan. We will now listen to his award speech. Ju Jae Chan. Director Ju. Yeah, I had obtained some good news before getting beat up about all this bad news. No matter what project I choose in the future that will flop, it hasn't occurred yet. I could simply change the future like how I saved royal family, which had been about to flop due to a drug scandal. I had all the information I needed. I just needed to grab a hold of the opportunity that found its way in front of me. I attended the after-party after watching all the winning works after the closing ceremony. The location was an outdoor banquet hall, different from the one I saw in the future. While I went around clinking glasses with people, my gaze soon fixed in one direction. Director Ju Jae Chan was sitting at a table with the unknown actors who appeared in his work. The actors went around, trying to network, but Director Ju Jae Chan sat stiffly like a turtle. I wasn't sure if he was just too shy or had no intentions of marketing himself. Recalling his appearance in the future, he didn't seem like the shy type. Right now, he was hugging a clunky backpack while downing glasses of soju. He occasionally glanced at other winners who were receiving attention from production companies. Director Ju Jae Chan had received a Mice and Skni Award. Since it was an award given to works with great visual arts and expression, he would receive less attention from production companies than the Grand Award or Best Work Award. Congratulations on your award. Thank oh, hello. Director Ju Jae Chan stumbled to his feet when he saw my face. Is there a spare seat? Ah, uh, of course. Please sit anywhere. As soon as I sat down, I raised a bottle of soju. Director Ju Jae Chan quickly downed the glass of soju I poured for him. Half of it dripped on his clothes. I refilled his glass, and he poured me a glass as well. I would get to the point after buttering him up with small talk. Is there a scenario you are preparing for a feature-length film? I went straight to the point forget butting him up, I couldn't contain myself. A scenario? Yes, a feature-length film. I was wondering if I could take a look if you did have one. Director Ju Jae Chan, who blankly looked at me as if wondering why I was asking, moved his pupils. Soon, his face ignited with anticipation. The moment he was about to speak, someone grabbed my shoulder. Team Leader Young, if you ask that, our rookie director here won't be able to sleep tonight from the anticipation. He was the person who introduced me to director Ju Jae Chang. He seemed to be quite drunk as he was starting to slur his words. He placed one of his heavy arms on my shoulder and the other on director Ju Jae Chan's shoulder before saying, Director Ju. Don't get ahead of yourself and just show him. Relax. Team leader Young here is obsessed with scenarios. I heard he read scenarios to proposals no matter if they were from a pro or an amateur. Ah. The flames in director Ju Jae Chan's eyes dwindled slightly. He opened his backpack with a bashful expression. He seemed to have been prepared for situations like this as he took out a neatly bounded scenario. I unconsciously gulped. Air, this is a scenario I've been working on for a long time. Yeah, this. It isn't polished enough that I can show it off confidently. Even though he said that, his hands showed no hesitation in handing me the scenario. I checked the title as soon as I received it. I flipped the pages and skimmed through the plot. Then I asked director Ju Jae Chan. Is this all? Pardon? Yes. Even proposals. This is the only feature-length film I've been preparing. I looked down at the scenario again. From what I knew, the title of his work was City Jungle, and it was a noir flick. Why was this one completely different? Chapter 198. King's Warrior. The large characters in front of me didn't change even after blinking. I opened my dry lips and asked. And the genre is. A historical drama. That's right. 
since there are a king and his warrior. I flipped through a few more pages before closing it. In no way was this similar to the noir genre or the city jungle title. The only similarity was that both films had four characters in their name. I asked in a gentle tone. If you have short film scenarios or synopses, could I take a look? He might have restricted a short film to be a feature film, but he struck down my hope. I examined every short film scenario and synopsis that came out of director Ju J. Chan's backpack, but I couldn't find a hint of what I was looking for. You have been preparing for this feature film for a long time. Yes, I've worked on it for more than two years. Two years. Then where did the scenario he worked five years on suddenly appear from? This really was strange. Is this historical drama your first feature-length work? Yes, it is my first. Director Ju J. Chan said dispiritedly. It seems you are unhappy with all of them. No, that's not it. Your expression has gradually been growing worse. This is all I have. Did that scenario have a different writer? That didn't seem to be the case. They definitely said he won best screenplay, and he himself said it was a project he had been working on for five years. The investment distribution agency general manager had praised director Ju J. Chan from start to end. What was going on? Was director Ju J. Chan lying to me right now? If so, why? It might have been easier to understand the situation if I knew the production company in charge of City Jungle. Where did he make the movie? I suddenly looked next to me. The drunk production company employee was looking at me. I casually exchanged a few more drinks before looking at them and asking. Are you planning on doing another project together? Huh? No, no, nothing's decided. If he does have a good project. He avoided the subject. Then he patted director Ju J. Chan's shoulder. Don't promote that historical drama, okay? How can we let a rookie director direct a historical drama? It needs a large budget and it's difficult to get investments for. If the cast is good, we might be able to trust the actors enough to follow through, but you know that rookie directors have a hard time casting actors, right? He glanced at me while saying that. He looked like he would be interested in a talented actor was interested even if it was a historical drama. I simply laughed it off. After examining my reaction a bit longer, he seemed to think it was a fruitless endeavor and got up after emptying his glass. Write something besides historical dramas. A comedy seems good. Leaving those words, he went over to a table where other directors were sitting at. I drank while looking at director Ju J. Chan. Maybe it was because he was a little depressed, but he didn't give off much of an impression either. Director Ju gave off a showy impression in the future. Did he change after his debut work became a hit? Or was he simply acting well behaved right now? The after party reached its peak as more people were making a racket. I met a few people before going back to director Ju J. Chan's table multiple times. Also, I confirmed a few more things once he was completely drunk. Whether he really didn't have another work. Whether he was interested in the noir genre. I even mentioned City Jungle. However, even as he was nodding off while drunk, he simply shook his head. What to do now? Thinking about it, I organized my thoughts. Let's wait for now. Acting hastily now could change the future. Since, in the future, they said that director Ju J. Chan brought the scenario to me first, it would be best not to change anything if I wanted that future to happen. I handed director Ju J. Chan my business card. Along with a message, asking him to contact me whenever he had a good project. Although I decided to wait and see, my surroundings move quickly. Have you seen the article? Yes, I'm reading it right now. Lee Sangha, her next work is Supernatural with Hio Kakyang. 1. Movie Supernatural casts Hio Kakyang and Lee Sangha among others. It seems the ones from Supernatural leaked this. You want to release a correction, right? Yes, as quickly as possible. We're writing a press release. Are you still considering the scenario or is it final? It's final. We formally refused in our meeting yesterday. At least, that was what I thought. It seems that they didn't get that memo. Or they are thinking about using this to promote their movie since negotiations have failed. 
and they clearly know this puts us in a difficult spot. After hanging up my call with team leader Park, I asked reporter Park Wujong as well. Then I refreshed the page as I waited for the correction to be made. It was a common tactic to release an article while things were still undecided, but I didn't have the time to just laugh it off this time. It would complicate things if director Ju Jae Chan went elsewhere after seeing this article. I kept refreshing the page when I received a call. It was from the supernatural people. General manager. Ah, I saw that an article confirming MS. Lee Sangha was released. Yes, it did. We're not the ones who released it. Just in case there's a misunderstanding. What do you mean you didn't release it? Such a blatant lie. I clicked my tongue as I refreshed the page. As soon as I saw the top headline, my tensed lips relaxed. Lee Song has side denies being cast in Supernatural. Formal refusal official stance. This is very awkward. It's okay. We released a correction. Pardon. The other side because busy. I also refreshed the page. The correction seemed to be spreading well as a few more articles with similar headlines were published. Not long after, I heard a sigh. It's your official stance. I felt that it would be best clearly settle the matter since an article was released. If Lee Sangha keeps getting mentioned in supernatural articles, it would make it difficult for you to cast other actresses. We really are thankful for your proposal, but next. Team leader Yong Sun Wu. An unhappy voice suddenly cut in. Director Cha Jae Ho. Yeah, it's me. I have never sent love calls or made script adjustments for young actresses. Ah, adjustments. The one-page adjustment proposal that would obviously be ignored once we signed the contract. I was curious when the director, who was too proud to allow even ad-libbed lines, meant by adjustments, but it was as expected. Before I could reply, director Cha Jae-ho sarcastically said. It seems that mid-ass hand really didn't like my project. Please let me know when you decide on MS. Lee Song has next project. I'm curious what amazing project you'll join after rejecting mine. Young Sun Wu. The director sat on my desk. His brows, which were the only sharp features on his round face, twitched. The director stopped calling me Lucky Charm after that day with the Team 2 leader. Instead, he looked at me like I was a headache. Did director Cha Jae Ho swear at you? He didn't. But he did make a ton of sarcastic remarks. He said that I would regret it later. That he will be waiting to see what I pick after rejecting him. Tell him to get in line. Even the CEO is waiting. The CEO is? He said that he was very interested in what kind of project you will bring in the future once he saw the article. Ah. I'm curious too. Just what is inside your head. City jungle was in my head. I was curious where that scenario was hiding and I was curious what director Ju Jae Chan was doing, if he had eaten, if he was thinking of me, and when he would come to see me. While thinking these stalkerish thoughts, I suddenly saw the director's face. How would he react if I mentioned director Ju Jae Chan in City Jungle to him? The only experience he had was being an assistant director and winning an award at a short film festival. He was still a director who had yet to make his debut. And right now, it was uncertain who would produce and invest in it. If I was frank with him, I wonder if he would hit me. However, I was confident in persuading him about it. Because I knew that it would be a success. Like Cat Guardian Ghost. I was confident in persuading him, but the problem was that the whereabouts of the scenario was unknown. Anyways, you need to guard your position. Make sure you're not emptying your office as soon as you move into it. The director got down from my desk. Then he looked at me up and down before clicking his tongue. It's not just Lee Sangha, you'll now have multiple actors asking for projects. The CEO says to let you be since he trusts your incredible eye. However, remember that the failure of a team leader is on another level from a chief failing. The mumbling director looked back at me with a strange expression. You know that the actors will falter too if you do, right? A few scenarios and proposals were evenly spread on top of the meeting room table. Chief Lee Ban Jun and Chief Sung Yumin put their heads together. I think that this script is good, 
but Jijun is showing no interest. Who else have they sent the script to besides Jijun? I want to show Ju one. I think they sent one to Yun Taekyung. I stared at the thick stacks of paper. They were projects we had examined and picked. They were projects I had read while thinking about Lee Song has next project. Objectively good choices with good synopsis, directors, and writers. He thought long and hard before coming to a decision, yet the project he chose completely flopped. The remark I heard in the future rang in my mind. If I had heard which project I had chosen, would have avoided that one. Now, they all looked like flops. I felt like I was going crazy. Good projects. Good projects. I would do anything to get actors good projects. My thoughts naturally turned to City Jungle. If director Ju Jae-chan hadn't decided on actors, what if I proposed other actors besides Lee Sangha for other roles? I wouldn't be able to tell until I saw the scenario. That damn scenario. I needed to check it. The next moment, my vision went black. My vision was filled with static. Again. A future vision again. My vision was so dark that I couldn't see in front of me. Ah, my eyes were closed. I could feel my eyes moving underneath my eyelids. I heard noises from the distance, and the stuffy scent of cigarettes flowed into my nose. Do you regret it? Someone beside me asked. Only then did my future self open his eyes. I was sitting on a cement floor. I saw a pair of legs leaning against the wall. When I lifted my gaze, I saw director Ju Jae Chan exhaling cigarette smoke. Rather than the depressed, shy director Ju Jae Chan, this was the aloof director Ju Jae Chan from the future, who wore fancy suits. Was this still the after party? I saw two visions one after another last time. This really was strange. When you rejected my project because I hadn't made my debut as a director yet. I was wondering if you regretted it now. Director Ju Jae Chan asked again, urging me to respond. He seemed drunk as he was slurring his words. First, I pushed aside my questions and perked my ears. I didn't reject you because it was your debuting work. It conflicted with another project. Ah, that. The flop. Director Ju Jae Chan threw his cigarette but into the outdoor ashtray as he chuckled. My future self said in a low voice. Anyways, I do regret it. I had fun watching it. The plot was good, and so were the characters. It would have been great if Lee Sangha had been the female lead. I made the wrong choice at that time. The plot was good, and so were the roles. What a relief. I was a bit worried that the female lead would have little presence like Supernatural. It's refreshing that you regret it. Director Ju Jae Chan chuckled again. If you were going to regret it, it would have been good for both of us if you had just done it when I begged. That's true. I told you that the scenario was good. Scenario. I perked my ears in hopes of gaining a hint. Director Ju Jae Chan mumbled. I had a hard time getting that scenario in my hands. Getting it in your hands. Chapter, 199. Damn it. This was frustrating. So it wasn't director Ju Jae Chan's scenario. So it wasn't your scenario. 1. Did I just speak? The words I thought had come out of my future self's mouth. Without a single difference. Was it a coincidence? Was it just incredible timing? I gulped anxiously. I tasted the disgusting smell of alcohol from my mouth. It felt like I had actually gulped just now. Was it also a coincidence? Maybe I should try it once more. I tried to speak whilst perking my ears. However, my voice simply echoed in my mind. I tried again. I tried to talk to director Ju Jae Chan and singing the ABCs and national anthem. I even shouted, but there was no sound. There wasn't any, but it was still different from before. The breeze on my skin felt so real that it prickled my skin. My heartbeat quickened. My voice crawled up my throat, almost speaking, but failed at the last obstacle. Just a little more, if I try a little more, maybe. Don't spout nonsense. My collar was involuntarily grabbed. Then I was pulled. It's my scenario. 
It's fucking mine. Director Ju Jae Chan said in a seething voice right in front of me. The stench of alcohol overwhelmed me. Although he had looked like a man suffering from starvation and thirst, he suddenly looked satiated. An odd case of madness lingered in his eyes. Mine. My scenario. It's mine now. My lungs were suddenly filled with air. Struggling, I coughed. You scared me. Water, please have some water. Here. Ah, you made me bite my tongue. Chief Li Bangjun and Chief Sung Yuman spoke one after each other. I instantly downed the cup of cold water Chief Yung handed me. I even crunched on the ice. Chief Li Bangjun, who stuck out his tongue with a frown, looked at me. What is it all of a sudden? Were you dreaming with your eyes open? Or did you see a ghost? He suddenly pushed the scenarios towards me. Hey, I mean, team leader Yung Sun Wu, what do you think will be a hit? What are you doing? No, I just thought that he might be possessed or something. Now really. Their voices muffled in my ears. My head felt like it had inflated like a balloon. I jolted to my feet with the mug. The chair fell back and crashed on the floor. Surprised, the two stopped whispering and stared at me. I had something caught in my throat. It'll be back after drinking some water. Ah, uh, something was caught. I left the meeting room, leaving behind their disappointed faces. Employees' gazes stuck to me everywhere I walked. I went straight to the drinking fountain and drank multiple glasses of cold water, my mind cleared a little. I filled my empty cup as I thought things through. What was that just now? It was only for a moment, but I felt a sense of realism from my future vision. It had never been like this before. Every time I saw the future, I was like a puppet. I couldn't do anything I wanted. The only things allowed were seeing, hearing, and feeling. But just now. My heart raced so fast it felt like it would explode. If. If I could move the way I wanted in my future visions. If that was possible, I could make my family, celebrities, only walk a path of success. Whether it was a project, song, show, or anything else, I could figure out which would be successes and failures through my visions. Also, which celebrities would succeed or fall. And who would become my friend and who would be my enemy. There would be no need to try to piece the scraps of information obtained through my visions like now. I wouldn't need to worry and carefully examine every step I took either. Since the future would be in my hands. I filled my empty cup once more. I rinsed my overheated head with cold water. Why did this suddenly happen? Was there some sort of sign? Now that I thought about it, I had three future visions in the past few days. I met Director Ju Jae Chan in two of them like the visions would guide me to Director Ju Jae Chan and City Jungle. So that I could change my future by getting them both and not have my next project flop and my nickname Mid-Ass Hand rust away. But wait. All three visions I had were full of static. Why didn't my last future change? The clear vision from 20 years in the future was always fixed no matter how I changed the present, but the static-filled ones changed as I changed the present. Like how I saw the vision where Young Jae committed suicide after seeing the one where pretty girls succeed. After seeing the futures with director Ju Jae Chan and City Jungle, I definitely decided to get them in my hands, but why did I still see a vision where I failed to get City Jungle? Why didn't it change? Did it mean I tossed City Jungle away and picked a different one? Team Leader A voice pierced my ears. When I turned around, Lee Kwan Woo was standing there with a taken aback expression. Kim Hyunjo and the Team 3 leader were also looking at me with bulging eyes. Other employees were gathered around me like they were seeing a spectacle. Team Leader, are you alright? What's wrong? Are you hurt? Lee Kuan Wu and Kim Hyunjo asked at the same time. I shook my head as I answered. No, I'm fine. If you're fine, why are you blankly standing there after breaking a cup? I looked down. The floor was soaked, and the cup that had just been in my hand was shattered all over the floor. When did I drop it? Ah, I must have been lost in my thoughts for a moment. It'll clean it up right away. I moved to find a broom or tissues when the floor disappeared. My vision turned black. Don't tell me, again. 
I opened my eyes. The noisy employees were nowhere to be seen. All I saw in front of me was a window. It seemed to be night as it was dark outside. It was raining heavily. Lightning split the cloudy sky. What kind of vision was this? And where was I? Damn it, my head ached. Hmm. My mind jolted the moment I groaned and grabbed my forehead. My hand moved. Appa. I unconsciously turned towards the voice before becoming shocked again. My head moved as well. My body moved at will. I raised my hands and waved them in front of me. I even tried bending each finger. It worked. My mind was a bit hazy and my body felt heavy, but my body was definitely moving at will. Excitement surged like a tidal wave. My hands are moving. Appa, are you okay? Why are you acting like that? A B C D F G. Until that day when I can even speak. 2. I heard a frightened voice. It was Lee Sangha. Panic and worry were clearly evident on her face. I even saw him Seo Young, LJ, and Lee Taehee. They were all looking at me with oddly contorted expressions. Lee Sangha grabbed my hands. I could clearly see tears pooling in I'm Seo Young's eyes. Wait, why is there no static? Appa, you're scaring us. Can you see me? You know who I am, right? How many fingers am I holding up? I blankly stared at the sobbing Im Seo Young. Lee Sangha quickly turned around. I'll go bring the nurse. Wait, wait. I stopped the situation and looked around me. I was lying on a comfortable bed. There was a needle in my right arm, and I saw an four to the side. The blanket on top of me was branded with the hospital name. I was in a hospital room. A private one. I clutched the bed as I raised myself up. My vision was still clear, with no sign of any static. What the heck? Was this not the future? I licked my dry lips and asked. What day is it today? Tears finally fell from Im Seo Young's eyes. At the same, Lee Sangha ran out of the room, shouting for a nurse. LJ, who had a frown on her face, replied as she waved her hand in front of me. You fainted after collapsing at work. Don't you remember? I did what? Fainted. As soon as I asked back, Lee Sangha ran back in with a nurse in tow. I saw Lee Kuan Wu and Kim Hyunjo behind them. I left my body in the nurse's care as I heard the whole story. When I fell after stepping on the wet floor, I lost consciousness and was sent to the hospital. Oh my god. You slept for half a day. Kim Hyunjo, with bags under his eyes, sighed. I talked to the doctor and he said that you were fine aside from the few scratches you received when you fell. I didn't call your family since he said that you were probably just sleeping after fainting. The doctor said that it was probably sleep deprivation or exhaustion after hearing your work schedule. Still, to have fainted at work. I couldn't believe it. No. Im Seo Young joined in. Her eyes were moist. He's not fine. I think he hurt his head. His head. Maybe he hit it when he fell. He was spouting nonsense as soon as he woke up. When even LJ joined the conversation, Kim Hyunjo tilted his head. What are you talking about? He didn't his head. A B C D F G. Until that day when. That's what he said. Like he just woke up after being put under anesthesia. Shouldn't he be checked once more? I quickly waved my hands when they started talking about MRIs and stuff. I told them that my mind was preoccupied because I had an incredibly vivid dream. Only after telling them that it was a nightmare where I couldn't see or speak like Helen Keller did the agitated mood finally calm down. Sun Wu, you. Kim Hyunjo paused in the middle of his sentence. Never mind. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Don't think about work tonight and just rest with the four. He patted my shoulder with a complicated expression before giving Neptune a look. Let's just leave and not bother him. Just a little lawn. Let him rest. You are also making a comeback the day after tomorrow. You have a ton to do right now. The girls whispered to each other for a while before lackadaisically walking out. 
They all seemed like they wanted to say something to me. Im Seo Young spoke. Rest well, Appa. You don't need to worry about us. There are so many people counting the days as they wait for us to release new songs. Since you've set it all up, how can the album fail, not do well? Everyone says that ITLL be a minor hit at worst. If it flops, it's because my songs were lacking. It's the will of the heavens. LJ correct Lee Tae Hee after poking her sides. Im Seo Young nodded. That's right. We need to blame the heavens. That's what they said, but they all left with grim expressions. While the other girls were leaving, Lee Sangha approached me. Her face was still full of worry. There were also flashes of regret and guilt. Someone might think that I had a terminal illness. Appa, you know how I said I would do any project you picked. You did. I want to cancel that. Projects should be decided on by the actor and their manager. Lee Sangha added as if to emphasize her intentions. So it's not your fault if it fails. I was wondering why she was suddenly saying that. Team leader, is it true you have a panic disorder? Im Ju Won whispered with a worried voice on the phone. Where did that nonsense come from? Apparently, you suddenly went over to the water fountain while panting and downed six or seven cups of water consecutively. Your hands trembled before dropping your cup, and you fainted after trying to run away as people started to gather. Is that not it? I felt like I was about to go crazy. That rumor is spreading in the company. That you developed a panic disorder from the pressure and anxiety now that you are suddenly managing so many people after becoming a team leader. I really felt like I was about to go crazy. I dissuaded him from visiting and hung up after telling him I was fine multiple times. I checked my phone, and it was full of missed calls and messages. There was nothing more to say about the chiefs at work, but I also received some from Nam Joyeun, Seo Jijun, Pretty Girls, and Song Yinho. After looking through them, it seemed they had visited while I was unconscious. I even saw Sun Chai Young amongst the missed calls. I didn't know how far the rumors about my supposed panic disorder had spread. I clicked my tongue and checked the remainder of my messages before pausing. There was a long message from an unknown number. I pressed the call button as soon as I read it. Hello. Someone picked up as soon as it started to ring. It was a woman's voice. She seemed nervous. Is this director Oh Hyun Kyung? Yes, this is Oh Hyun Kyung. Is this perhaps team leader Jung Sun Woo? Yes, that's me. In calling you after reading your message. I wanted to learn more about it. Ah, that is I didn't know how you found out but I heard that you talked about my scenario. Your scenario? She replied immediately. Yes, City Jungle. Chapter, 200. There was only one scenario. But two people who claim it's theirs. Ah, was I wrong? Director Oh Hyun Kyung said in a flustered voice. To be honest, I was unsure when I received a call from Director Ju. Director Ju. Ju Jae Chan. So they knew each other. City Jungle isn't a very common title, and I had only come up with it recently after thinking about it for the past few months. I also heard you mention the noir genre, which is what my project is. It all fit perfectly, so I was just wondering. That's right. The pieces all fit together, but the final picture was very odd. If I was mistaken then I'm really sorry. Please excuse. No. I said calmly so that I wouldn't have too high hopes or be too disappointed. We talked while having a few drinks so my memory is hazy. The project came up while we were discussing minor genres. Hmm, I didn't know that it was your work. Pardon? Her excited breaths suddenly stiffened. Did director Ju Jae Chan say it was his? She reacted in a sensitive manner, like her precious egg was being threatened. Without waiting for my reply, Director Oh Hyun Kyung hastily said. Then you've been tricked. City Jungle. Maybe not in the past, but now it's my work. Now. I bought it. I twirled my phone in my hand before tossing it aside. Thunder rumbled outside. I dragged the four stand over and opened the window. A fresh breeze and raindrops blew in, accompanied by the pitter-patter of rain. 
It was refreshing. I looked up at the sky, which seemed to want to wash the earth away, before sticking my head out the window. She bought the scenario. If director Zhu Jiechan sold her his scenario and gave up all rights to the work, then there would be no problems with the law. Director Zhu Jiechan would not be able to claim his right on the work either. However, why was it back in director Zhu Jiechan's possession in the future? Did director Zhu Jiechan buy it back? Or? What are you doing? That's dangerous. Someone grabbed the back of my neck. You'll die if you fall from here. Looking back, I saw a face covered with a black face mask. It was Seo Jijun. While he pulled me away from the window from the back of my neck, Chief Li Bangjun closed the window. Just what outrageous thoughts were they thinking right now? I was just taking in the breeze. Why would I fall? At my words, Seo Jijun tilted his head. Out of impulse. Am I crazy? I asked laughing, but there was no reply. Rather, Seo Jijun's eyes turned slightly misty. I told him the exact same words I told him Juwan as I sat back down on my bed. There was no need for you to come. I came because it was a rare opportunity for me to go out. I wanted to feel the breeze too. He took off his mask and handed me a basket. It was a basket of roses. I wasn't even surprised. It's bigger than last time. And redder. I paid special attention because it was a hospital visit. Ah, uh, apparently, they don't gift flowers for hospital visits these days. It wasn't good for the patient. Allergies and such. If you know that, then why? Those are fake. They are soap flowers. You can pick one out and use it when you're taking a bubble bath. You'll use it well. I placed the flowers on top of the cabinet shelf. Chief Li Bunjun clicked his tongue as he said. Do you know how shocked I was when I heard that you fainted after going to get water and had to be brought out by an ambulance? Probably less than me. If you were suffering mentally, you should have let us know. I'm telling you that's not it. While I did have various symptoms for mental illnesses, I didn't have a panic disorder. However, Chief Li Bunjun and Seo Jijun didn't look like they believed me. I had initially thought that those rumors were spread by those who didn't like me. Does it really look like there's something wrong with me? Chief Li Bunjun rubbed the bridge of his nose. You look fine on the outside. If I were you, I would probably have a panic disorder, loss of appetite, and a mental breakdown. But you looked extremely normal even who the situation changed drastically after the Team 2 leader left. I would have continued to think that if you didn't faint. This was simply exhaustion and sleep deprivation. It's not simply. Whether it's exhaustion or sleep deprivation. Saying this, Chief Li Bunjun patted my arm. It could be that you've been accumulating a lot of burden without you realizing. Team leader. CEO Jijun said while scratching his neck. Although I said I wanted to work with you, it wasn't because I had hopes that all my projects would be successes if I did. I'm not smart but I'm not that senseless. I don't know about that. Chief Li Bunjun smirked. Seo Jijun added. Well, I did think you'd have a better eye for projects than Bunjun Hyung. Hey. I came to tell you that you don't need to worry about it in case you felt burdened because of that. Seo Jijun looked at me. It's not like I'm going to retire after one or two projects. It's normal for there to be bad times and good times. I'll do what I can and leave the rest to the heavens. Also, above all. His sharp eyes curved in a joking manner. The reason why I wanted to work with you is simply because I thought it would be fun. So many people came to visit me even though I was only there for a day. After Seo Jijun and Chief Li Banjun left, Nam Joyun and Kim Hyunsup came to visit. Even Im Ju Won visited after finishing his entertainment show schedule. Pretty girls and Chief Li Taishin visited at night after coming all the way from Busan. The rain calmed in the morning, and I looked back on the past few days. Although everything happened before I could even catch my breath. My relationship with the Team 2 leader sharply deteriorated, and because he left the company, I was able to bring in people into my team faster and without any big obstacles. Did I have no free time? It seemed like it. Receiving the duties of a team leader, 
the number of meetings and discussions increased. There was a lot more I had to organize. On top of all that, I was absorbed in thinking about my actors' next projects and my future visions that there were a few days where I didn't sleep a wink. Burden. I recalled Seo Jijun's words. Kim Hyunjo had said it before too. That if I failed once, I could just succeed the next time. That my life wasn't over because I failed. I had thought that I had put down some pressure to succeed after that. The uncertain future visions kept tugging at my mind. Just in case I saw a vision where the project I chose failed. In case I saw a vision where the project I rejected became a hit. In case I would regret my decision like this time. Team Leader Young. I'm fine. Are you okay? Team Leader, you have a guest. I'm fin a guest. An employee nodded. She said her name was Director Oh Hyun Kyung. Director Oh Hyun Kyung. I thought I ended yesterday's call quite well, but why did she suddenly show up here? When I frowned, the employee looked taken aback and said. I brought her to a meeting room because she said she brought a movie scenario. I had thought that you had set up a meeting with her since she mentioned that she had talked to you on the phone yesterday. Was that not the case? She brought a scenario. Should I say you have another meeting and send her back? Ah, but because the director came to see you, Chief Park and Chief Yoon went over to greet her. They were the chiefs under Team 2. They were the prime suspects for spreading rumors about my panic disorder. They probably went over because they were interested then to greet her. In case it was a scenario I was interested in. This was complicated. The events where Director Oh Hyun Kyung came to see me and where she meets other chiefs were probably not in the original future. I had planned on walking the path and waiting for the project to come into my hands, but hiccups have already begun to appear. If things were headed in a direction I couldn't predict. I made my decision and asked the employee. Where is she? The meeting room was full. I saw Chief Park and Chief Yoon's bitter faces through the window. Chief Lee Bung Jun sat his round body right between them. Oh, you've come. Chief Lee Bung Jun got up when he saw me. Then we'll be on our way. Please enjoy your meeting. The other chiefs reluctantly got up with even more bitter expressions under Chief Lee Bung Jun's prodding. Chief Park's gaze landed on the scenario on top of the table for a moment, but he left without much regret. After sending those two off first, Chief Lee Bung Jun whispered. It seems she's here to promote her scenario. Why there are investors who pay attention if it's a scenario you're interested in. There are a lot of people who come to meet you with those motives. Did you see what kind of project it is? I heard from her. He looked back at the meeting room as he clicked his tongue. It's a stylish action noir. They'll have to read the scenario to know for sure, but from what I heard, it seems like ITLL cost a lot to produce. A director who had numerous flops in the past and a small-scale production company. I don't know if they'll receive enough investments. I wonder if ITLL even be produced. I sent Chief Lee Bung Jun off and entered the meeting room. The woman, who had been standing for a while now, was looking at me with a nervous smile. Her hands were tightly clutching her scenario. My gaze focused on the title page for a moment. Below the title City Jungle was a clearly printed name. Script Director, Oh Hyun Kyung. This would be produced and become a huge success. If the owner changes. Chapter, 201. Sorry. Director Oh Hyun Kyung made the first move by bowing her head. You must be surprised that I suddenly came over without contacting you. Sorry, but I felt this was urgent. I felt like it would take a long time to meet if I contacted you ahead of time. Busy people were normally like this. I'm really, really sorry. She gave off a much more cheerful impression than on the phone. She had short, round, tangerine hair and freckles on her cheeks. Her eyes curved into a slight smile, showing how sorry she was. I felt like there wouldn't be many who would rebuke her even if she suddenly came over without calling like now. I pulled a chair and said. First, please sit. But I was in the middle of work. Of course, you're busy. I will explain everything in ten minutes. I'm a master of presentations. 
I actually came to discuss the scenario we talked about on the phone yesterday. Director Oh Hyun Kyung raised the scenario slightly before bringing it back down. I barely managed to prevent my eyes from reflexively chasing the scenario and force them to look forward. Then, in an expression that showed I was neither interested or disinterested, I said. Ah, that. City. Jungle. I really wanted to show it to you because you aren't the type that cares about trivial things like whether it's being produced by a major or minor production company and whether it's being directed by a star director or an unknown one. I am. You worked with a debuting writer from a new production company for Cat Guardian Ghost. It had a time slot with TVL, and Lee Sangha was an unverified rookie. Rather, CEO Jijun, who chose Cat Guardian Ghost despite being a public network one top male lead and having received many love calls for more well known projects, was the type to only look at projects. Unlike me, CEO Jijun didn't have the certainty that it would be a success. Ah, uh, is that so? But even the projects you chose afterwards. It would have been disastrous if Royal Family or Alive had flopped. That's why I was criticized for picking safe investments and accused of being scared of failing. Director Oh Hyun Kyung crinkled her nose as she laughed. I just tried to butter you up a little. Honestly, although all directors would say the same, I am certain that this movie will succeed. I was also certain of that. That is if the owner changed. I turned my gaze to the scenario. The scenario played the biggest role in the success of a movie. Then what was the probability that a scenario, which succeeded under one director's leadership, would succeed with another director, who hadn't had a box office hit? Obviously, it was less than 100%. I know that you'll find it hard to believe. I'm not an appealing director. If I'm being honest, I heard similar things from investors. That they would think about investing if I handed the reins over to another director. One failure is the end these days. It really is difficult for a director who failed three times to get any investments. Have you thought about handing it over to another director? No, not at all. It's my project. Director Oh Hyun Kyung shook her head firmly. Her eyes shined with passion. It's something I created thinking would be my last movie. I spent a year fixing and polishing the scenario and tirelessly tried to persuade investors. Now, there are investors that I have had positive discussions with. Director Oh Hyun Kyung revealed a proud smile as she spoke. I was curious where the scenario came from. I had initially considered the peaceful possibility that director Ju Jae Chan bought the rights to it from director Oh Hyun Kyung. However, after seeing her reaction on the phone and right now, she didn't seem like the type of person who would give it up easily. Director Ju Jae Chan from the future had said, I had a hard time getting that scenario in my hands. Did he use a high handed method? Directors used to be an absolute authority in the past, but that was no longer the case. There were cases where they were chased out when their opinions clashed with production companies, and other cases where they were switched out for another director because they didn't fit the investors' preferences. There were even cases where they were rejected by actors. There weren't uncommon. Although she said that that she didn't even think about changing directors I didn't know about that. In a time where even mainstay directors were removed for various reasons, I wondered how long an unknown director would last under the pressure of those with investment capital. My mouth suddenly went dry. Something bothered me. If the last future vision I saw was trying to say that I passed on City Jungle directed by director Ju Jae Chan despite knowing it would succeed then what was my reason behind it? Was it because of director Oh Hyun Kyung? The engine's now running, so all we need to do now is drive. That's why we are in the process of casting our lead roles. MS. Lee Songa. Seeing my expression, director Oh Hyun Kyung made a hearty laugh. I know she's busy. Of course, I do. Mr. Seo Jijun and Mr. Im Ju Won are busy too. I know that too. To be honest, I was thinking about someone else from the beginning. I think hell fit well with the image I've thought of. Director Oh Hyun Kyung pushed the scenario towards me as she said. I would like to propose this to Mr. Nam Joyun. As the male lead. Nam Joyun. Please have a look. I am confident I won't make you regret it. After director Oh Hyun Kyung made her leave, 
I was left with the scenario in my hands. I somewhat cleared my disorderly mind in the meeting room before getting up. I was about to go down the stairs with the envelope containing the scenario when someone followed me. He had curly hair, which reminded me of squid tentacles. It was Chief Yoon. He glanced at the scenario and smiled. Your meeting seemed to run a little long. Are you perhaps interested in that project? Why? Are you interested in it? No. Chief Yoon denied in an exaggerated manner. I was simply curious. I know that you have been looking at all sort of scenarios, but I was wondering if you had the leisure to spend time on movies that may or may not even make it to production. He coughed before whispering with a smile. I was just wondering if it is really worth your time. People have been whispering about how you are acting like you're looking for scenarios and are, in fact, delaying making a decision because of the pressure of being a team leader. But who did that scenario come for? M.S. Lee Songa. Don't tell me it's Jijun, right? I also have something I'm curious about. About me? Well, if you have something, ask away. Don't you have work to do? Chief Yun abruptly stopped in his steps. He blinked. I I am working. I have an audition for director Kong min -shik's project in the afternoon. I hope you would spend the time spent on me on preparing for that audition. Director Yoon's face flushed red. I went down the stairs. No one followed me this time. I got in my minivan. I glanced at the passenger seat multiple time on my way home. It was the city jungle scenario I had thought about countless times over the past few days. I tapped the steering wheel with the tips of my fingers. The traffic seemed to be especially slow today. I had thought about slowly reading through it after returning home. However, I found myself parked in a nearby parking lot. Exhaling, I picked up the envelope. I took out the scenario, and there was a colorful handout between its pages. It was a casting proposal. Along with a black and white photo of Nam Joyeon, director Oh Hyun Kyung wrote long, detailed, desperate, and embarrassing paragraphs on why she wanted Nam Joyeon as the male lead. Soon, I put the proposal back into the envelope. I then flipped over the first page of the scenario. Something shook in front of me. It was thin, curly, and wet with something white. It was cream pasta. Why aren't you eating? Team leader Park asked as she waved a forkful of pasta in front of me. Ah, I was lost in my thoughts for a second. Your eyes are muddled. Maybe you're still not well. The director said that you could hand urgent matters to others and take a break. Why is someone who fainted and was in the hospital yesterday at work? I had something I had to handle. You lost your way. Back when you were a road manager back when you were always taking naps in the company's sleeping quarters, you said that you would live like a human once you become a chief or a team leader. That you would enjoy your private life and take vacations. But why does it seem like you have less time now? I did say that. As a road manager, whose day started and ended with driving, I had thought that thing would get easier once I became a chief. When I was a chief, I had thought that I would be able to enjoy life more if I became a team leader. How was it that it felt like I was gradually becoming the company poltergeist? Still, you reap the rewards for your investments. Promotion and fame. Team leader Park shrugged as she added. And power. Power, huh? It sounded so unfamiliar. You'll probably realize it as you work. Though, you probably won't need to realize any more fame. I want to avoid that now. After going to the hospital, my every move is being watched. I suffered all morning. I think if zombies somehow entered our company, they would receive less attention than me. So that's why you wanted to talk outside than at work. Team leader Park looked through her eco bag and took out a green envelope. Director Ju Jae Chan. He received a Mice and Skni Award at a short film festival not too long ago. Did you meet him then? I guess he left quite an impression. He did. I quietly looked into him, and it seems he's been receiving some love calls after receiving that award. They are more about commercials and music videos than movies though. However, it seems like director Ju J. Chan wants to make a movie with his scenario. It's a historical drama called King's Warrior. 
he's been going around looking for a company to produce it. He's been rejected by all the major ones and has been working to persuade smaller companies. Their reactions are lukewarm. I asked a production company he approached, and they say that the numbers just aren't there. Team leader Park's eyes suddenly narrowed. Don't tell me you're interested in that scenario. That's not it. Although I did slowly read through it with some expectations, it wasn't something that really caught my attention. That's a relief. If you were interested in that, I would have told you to go back to the hospital. Team leader Park seriously seemed relieved as she let out a sigh. If not the scenario, are you interested in the director? Or are you interested in the short film that won the award? Do you want him to direct a Neptune or Pretty Girl's next music video? It's not like you're planning on giving a director who hasn't even made his debut a movie to direct. It's actually similar. The more I investigate, the more he doesn't seem like the kind of director you really want to work with. Team leader Park flinched. Then, with a face that seemed like pasta was caught in her throat, she stared at me. It's similar. You want to have this director direct a movie? No, wait. Her gaze scanned me. What kind of project is it? So you're interested in something? I did think that your expression seemed similar to when you bought Cat Guardian Ghost Over. You made others wait in impatience. So what project are you interested in? Huh? Team leader Park asked like she was dying to know. He'll let you know once things are clear. It's too early to tell. Why? Are you in the middle of tug of war with them? Problem with the role? Signing fee. Team leader Park, who kept asking questions, gulped down a cup of cold water as she asked. Then let me ask you one question. Who is the project for? I was the one who flinched this time. Songa. Mr. Nam Joyun. Jijun. Mr. Im Juwon. Or Song Yin Ho. Team leader Park's face approached mine. Who is it? Chapter, 202. Whose work is it? The point brought up by Team Leader Park hung in my mind the entire night. As much as it was confirmed to be a hit, I wanted to show, not just the female lead, but the other lead to my actors. However, there was only one role and multiple people who came to mind. An actor's future could hinge on a single project. Who should I give a project guaranteed to be hit and who should I give a project likely to be a success? This was a consideration that I had never encountered back when I was only managing Lee Songa and Nam Joyun. If there were other choices, I wouldn't have to think this hard. However who was the actor originally picked to star in City Jungle in the future? I buried the thought that crept up my mind. First, it was more urgent to focus on what I know what could be. I needed to handle the matter of ownership of the City Jungle scenario. I clearly laid out what I had to do. I created a straight path that would lead me to the future I wanted. Also, before taking my first step, what I had been waiting for finally opened. Lee Tae-hee gave a longing look toward the Team 3 leader. No way. Just one glass. Just to ease the nerves. Ease your nerves with beer or something. This isn't alcohol you open for any occasion. The Team 3 leader, who was sitting in the living room sofa, hugged his glass bottle even harder. A moderately thick root was submerged in a long, slender bottle. This was the wild ginseng alcohol he had gifted Neptune every time they made some big accomplishment. This is the real deal. When I dug it up, I resolved myself to not open the bottle unless something incredible happened. You'll only open it if your songs line up on the music charts. The girls' expressions became lukewarm when they heard him. Line up on the charts. It referred to when the tracks of an influential singer's comeback album swept through the charts. There were even cases where boy groups with huge fandoms and great artists known for their hit songs had their tracks fill the top ranks for the charts. This was too difficult for us to dare dream about. Internally, we would consider it a great success if at least three songs made it to the top of the charts. After a long discussion with the AR team about Lee Tae-hee's songs, we decided to go with a triple title track album. We spread our promotional marketing between them and even filmed three music videos, so I was inwardly hoping that all three would make it onto the first page. You're going to take it back if we don't get a lineup. Aren't you being too cruel? 
Im Seo Young said with a face like she was looking at a scoundrel. A few voices chimed in. He brought it over, but he's hesitant to give it to us. Hyung, is that really wild ginseng? It looks like a bellflower root. The higher the expectations, the greater the disappointment. Everyone was trying their best not to get their hopes up. Our goal was being a moderate success or something. Still, they kept looking at me for a while now, so my cheek muscles were about to spasm from maintaining my smile. There were a lot of people who would be frightened if my expression didn't look good. I took out a can of beer from the fridge. Pulling the tab, I looked around the living room. Lee Kuan Wu was tirelessly refreshing the page on the laptop on top of the table. Neptune, the Team 3 leader, and Kim Hyunjo were forcefully releasing their tensions while glancing in Lee Kuan Wu's direction. And, while all this was going on, Lee Sangha was holding on to the script and scenario. What are you doing? I am thinking about my next project. You can think about that in a situation like this. Lee Sangha nodded seriously. Her eyes looked like they were looking at a hit list than projects. I'm going to find a good project, so just wait. Hmm, that's fine and all, but the album's out now. Lee Sangha hastily got up when she heard me. Immediately, an ear-piercing scream echoed in the living room. Someone was screaming while pointing their finger at their laptop screen. Someone else was screaming while waving their phone. Everyone's reaction was to scream. I shook my beer can amidst their screams and sincerely laughed. The Team 3 leader didn't hesitate to open the wild ginseng wine. The top three places on the music chart were all Neptune songs. Is it uncomfortable? No way. It's very comfortable. How could sitting in a Rolls Royce be uncomfortable? Because you keep sighing. I'm not sighing because I'm uncomfortable. It's out of admiration because of how incredible the car is. To be honest, my body was comfortable, but my mind wasn't. Sun Chai Young's uncomfortable words and the problems with the Team 2 leader tangled in my head. This was despite the fact that Lee Sangha explained how there was no problem with CEO Beck Hansung and CEO Beck Hansung had never mentioned the matter with the Team 2 leader since then. Encountering him was uncomfortable. Should I buy you one? The car. CEO Beck Hansung said lightly. Like he was giving out a piece of rice cake. Coughs erupted from my throat. It was a very enticing rice cake, but I didn't want it since it would be a headache to digest. It felt like I was taking out an extravagant loan. While I rejected his offer by saying that I loved and would continue to love the minivan I was driving now, the Rolls Royce arrived at our destination. I will lead you to the reserved room. We followed a Korean restaurant employee over an arched stone bridge. Fancy carps the size of my forearm leisurely swam in the pool below. A willow grew above it, completing the picturesque scene. Beyond the garden was a traditional Korean tiled rooftop. It was so extravagant that it could be called a palace than a restaurant. I had gone to many hotel restaurants, which I would never go to if I had to pay out of my own pocket, due to work, but the view here was the best. It was a bit of a waste to use it only as a restaurant. What are you thinking about to make that expression? I was thinking that we could sponsor this place for a historical film set. CEO Beck Hansung chuckled in a low voice. There'll be many opportunities for you to come here from now on. This place has quite a few regulars. He said whilst gesturing with his chin. Other guests were coming out the other side. They were older men. Most of their faces were familiar. Do you know any of the faces there? I recognize most of them. Since I had seen them in interview articles. The CEO of World B Pictures Korea, a movie production and distribution company. The director of the large entertainment, Sonamu. Besides them were executives, like CEOs and directors, from large and small management companies. They seemed to have recognized CEO Beck Hansung as their pace quickened as they approached us. I thought I was mistaken, but have you come to nourish your health during these dog days? It seems you've already eaten and are on your way out. It would have great if we ate together. The timing wasn't good. Even though the scales were different, they were all people who represented their respective companies. I didn't know what they were thinking inside, but they acted in a very friendly manner to CEO Beck Hansung. 
there were even a few who seemed to have a hard time approaching him. This was enough to show CEO Beck Hansung's influence in our industry. After greeting them, CEO Beck Hansung placed his hand on my shoulder. Ah, this is team leader Jung Sun Wu. As soon as I greeted them, intrigued gazes landed on me. Of course, we know you. You are famous in our management industry. I hear it's because of you that WU's image has been great these days. Th that Neptune. People are talking about how great their songs are. Congratulations. It seemed they had a few drinks while nourishing their bodies as their reactions were a bit exaggerated. I matched their ill-mannered remarks while thanking them. They say that you improve the more you do it. I seem to have learned the ways of the world while working as it was easier to talk to people. It would be great if I had someone like you working for me. If you have any thoughts of moving, contact me at any time. Don't worry about CEO Beck Hansung. Our company is growing so if you join now, you'll be one of our early employees. Our employee benefits are decent too. Although I didn't know how great their benefits were, reading the mood, I didn't think they were. Everyone's expressions became awkward when they heard the new management company CEO's words. They glanced at CEO Beck Hansung, who was talking to the World B Pictures Korea CEO. CEO Beck Hansung's gaze met eyes as he glossed over it with a laugh. Like he had heard a light joke. Soon, people treated the remark as a joke. You need to make dibs based on the person. Can you even make dibs on CEO Beck's person? Especially a junior he personally brought here to nourish his health. While it was said in a joking manner, there seemed to be a meaning behind those jokes. We separated after saying our farewells. Behind us, the new management company CEO's voice was carried by the wind. Can't I make a joke? You need to watch the mood before you do. Team leader Lee jang -yip. The team two leader. I tried to listen in on them, but their voices quickly grew distant. You worked hard making Neptune's official album a success. CEO Beck Hansung commented after we had finished half the Samjitang one. The girls, the team three leader, and Chief Kim Hyunjo worked harder than me. As well as other employees. It was all Lee Taehee's work that the title track ended up so good. It was the team three leader and Kim Hyunjo, who took the lead by saying that Lee Taehee's songs were great when I was uncertain of their success. The album was only complete with the collective hard work of the employees, including the AR producer and PR teams. That's a good comment. CEO Beck Hansung nodded as he said. I was thinking about talking to the PR team and setting up a personal interview for you. What do you think? A personal interview? You talk about Neptune's album on behalf of the company. And about your next projects. Voices wondering how you've written a success story with no failures have even reached my ears. There are a lot of reporters who bluntly ask about you. He said as though he was enjoying himself. I saw a few as well. Reporters who were more interested in my first project as a team leader and which actors would join it over Neptune's new songs. It seemed like the entertaining rumors of Midass Hand were growing exaggerated. ITLL get messy once reporters publish assumptions on what project you'll pick. Wouldn't it be better for you to do an interview before then? But you'll have to first decide on what your next project will be. His leisurely voice pushed my back forward. There is a project I am considering serious. ITLL. City Jungle. My chopsticks slipped from the plate. I told you there are no secrets in this industry. CEO Beck Hansung lightly shrugged his shoulders. You should forget about the project and look for a new one. You've read a lot of scenarios. There will probably be some projects you've singled out. Discuss with the other chiefs and pick out around five projects. If you bring them to the next meeting, we should be able to pick one out, don't you think? Wait. When you say forget about City Jungle. Exactly as I said. I don't think it is suitable for your next project. He said firmly. Only then did what CEO Beck Hansung said organize in my head. Yeah, I knew that there were many who would oppose City Jungle if I brought it up. It looked shabby compared to the other promising works. I would have to persuade them eventually. I put down my chopsticks and wet my throat with cold water. 
Although it isn't an eye-catching project, the scenario is good. Yeah, I read it. He read it? I was curious because it was something you were interested in. Then did you not like the scenario? Although it doesn't meet the trends, it definitely is an entertaining project within its genre. Its production may seem uncertain, but once the cast is decided, there will be investors lining up, so there will be no concern it will be killed off due to a lack of investments. It would proceed even smoother if I used my fame. I think that it has the highest potential for success amongst all the scenarios I have considered as my next project. I had thought that I couldn't lose Cat Guardian Ghost when I read it, and I get the same feeling from this. While I was trying to persuade him, CEO Beck Hansung calmly looked at me with a smiling face. He occasionally tapped the table with his fingertips as though he was reacting to my words. After a good while, he nodded his head. The scenario wasn't bad. Like you said, it isn't what's trending these days, but more works are rare in the country and ITLL be good to widen our actor spectrum with its charming characters. It is worth taking the risk if the actor is willing. CEO Beck Hansung continued to speak positively about it. He seemed like he was going to allow it, so his next words were more dumbfounding. Still, look for another project. His voice and expression were still gentle, but his voice was firm. What was going on? Did his trust in my judgment hit rock bottom because of rumors that I had a panic disorder? Or was he unhappy that I rejected telepath, which he had personally mentioned? While I thinking with a confused mind, CEO Beck Hansung tried to comfort me. If you really don't want to lose out on City Jungle, then hand it over to another team's chief. Another team? Why do I have to do that? I couldn't understand it at all. Why was it not okay if I wanted to do it, but okay for some other chief? You're in a situation where you should be stopping at nothing to find a project that will be a success. I'm just saying there's no need to pick a project with high risk. What? He smiled. Because, team leader Jung, you cannot fail. Chapter, 203. It felt like a chicken bone was caught in my throat. As the company CEO, I judged that the title of mid-ass hand has a high strategic value. Strategic value? Yeah, in various ways. CEO Beck Hansung said while tapping on his phone. To be honest, mid-ass hand is a common expression. Entertainment reporters use it often because it can be used to package someone's character. Whether it's a producer or agency, anyone who has been moderately successful should have been called that. Myself included. He showed me his phone. Then, to show me, he tapped his screen. There was a headline that read, W.U. CEO Beck Hansung, ascends as the mid-ass hand of the entertainment world. It was an old interview article. Like he pointed out, the mid-ass hand title was common in the article column. But it's rare for those with that title to really make everything they touch a hit. For someone to have only had hits with no failures up until now, from what I know, you're the only one. Even as a joke, if we created a film based on you, we'd probably be criticized for the lack of realism. My life story really did lack realism. Having jokingly said this, CEO Beck Hansung stared at me. Reporters these days don't use that title often. The title mid-ass hand has become analogous to you. That's why that common title now has strategic value. But about that. He placed one of his chopsticks upright on the table. Then he let go of the top. The chopstick fell on the table, making a sharp sound. That value is only effective while you have no failures. The moment you fail, ITLL crumble like a sand castle. So, are you telling me to maintain that title? By any means? That's right. To be exact, I was thinking about proactively managing your title at the company level. Manage? I guess it doesn't sound good. It's not great. Like how you are managing Neptune and Nam Joyun and building their image, the company will be managing you. As long as possible, so that you don't fail. To be managed by the company. Don't touch projects that have a high risk of failure. Are you telling me to do whatever the company tells me to do from now on? Is that what it sounds like? He tilted his head and said. I'm saying to do what the company expects from you as a team leader. Team leader. 
I was confused whether he brought me up to that position of the title mid-ass hand. If that title decided my worth, then I would become someone unfitting of that position once I failed. Is that strategic value why I was quickly promoted to the team leader position? I can't say it didn't have an influence. CEO Beck Hansum willingly nodded his head. In the end, this is good for you. The company will help you grab success and will gold plate your career. This will also be a great investment for your future career. Oh, really? His words were sweet like honey, but my neck felt stiff. It felt like there was a leash on me. My voice sounded glum. Although there's nothing I can do if you're against the project because it's mediocre, I cannot easily accept that I should give it up simply to eliminate risk. Isn't filtering out projects we should risk my responsibility? Like I said, this is a sand castle that will crumble once you fail. Even when a project is so great I believe we should take the risk. Hand it over to another team's chief. If it succeeds, well publish an article that you recommended that project. CEO Beck Hansung replied with a still smiling face. I took a deep breath before opening my mouth. And if I try to persuade you to trust my judgment. Then. His calm voice cut me off. It'll be very disappointed in you. Was it because of this? Is this why I gave up City Jungle? Seeing CEO Beck Hansung's reaction, it was obvious that there was no room for persuasion. Then how much leeway did I have to make a decision? Did I even have any? His ill be very disappointed sounded to me as you'll fail. What would happen if City Jungle, which I gave up, became a success? Would CEO Beck Hansung regret his decision today and change his mind? No. I even brought up Cat Guardian Ghost to persuade him. If he was going to change his mind with another one, then he wouldn't have opposed it so definitively this time. He seemed to want to eliminate any potential risk of me failing. If things continued this way, how many projects like City Jungle would I have to give up? I sighed and raised my head. The cicadas overeagerly droned. In an alley devoid of any trees to provide you with shade, I saw a bunch of one-room apartments. This was a neighborhood I frequented around this time last year. I knocked on a familiar door. Soon, a low voice answered as the door opened. Nam Joyun, with a bite-sized peanut cereal bar in his mouth, looked at me with surprise. His eyes momentarily flashed with worry. Is something wrong? No, I just came over to see if you ate lunch yet. Nam Joyun smiled and opened the door wide. The inside of his home was still dreary. There was a single bed and a knee-high desk stacked with scripts and scenarios. If we took them and the laptop out, you wouldn't think someone lived here. It would be believable to call this an empty unit ready for someone to move into. I was just eating, about to eat. Did you eat? No, please give me one spoonful. Although I did eat an astronomically expensive wild samkitang, I couldn't remember if it went in mouth or nose. I rubbed my empty stomach and glanced through the scenarios spread on the desk. Nam Joyun, who paced back and forth in front of the sink, came over with a troubled expression. Sun Wu, there is no rice. Should I make some? I don't have any rice. I definitely had some yesterday. Do you want instant noodles? So he was planning on simply eating a cereal bar today. It was clear as day. Hyung, why does your living conditions seem worse than before you signed? Where did all the advanced pay for his movie appearance evaporate to? I heard that he was happy that he didn't have to pay rent every month after switching his rental agreement to a lease. One he still should have enough to have meat every meal. Since I sent him bundles of movie tickets, he shouldn't be spending it all on movie tickets like before either. Then why was the living condition? Hyung, what are you doing? In trying to boil water. I have instant noodles. Why are you boiling water in a frying pan? Where is your pot? The bottom is all burnt up. I planned on buying another one. You planned? But not having one didn't bother me much. God, damn it. I told you to change your incompetent lifestyle. If your private life was revealed on TV, you'll probably receive charity help. Nam Joyun simply rubbed his neck awkwardly and smiled. He took two instant noodle packages from the drawer. 
seeing those packages, I thought that he at least wouldn't starve to death if he has that. Then I suddenly said. Check the expiry dates. I don't think it's been that long since I've bought them. Instant noodles have a long shelf life. However, Nam Joyun kept his mouth shut once his eyes glanced over the back of the package. Don't tell me. What month is it? I snatched the packages from his hand and checked their expiry dates. Oh, my God. How can there be expired instant noodles when you live alone? I don't eat a lot of instant noodles. Are you a plant? Do you only drink water? Do you even drink water? When I opened the fridge, there wasn't even a bottle of water. You're going to die at this rate. I said after rubbing my face. I was so dumbfounded that I laughed. I had a very serious worry on my mind but seeing your living conditions pulled me back to reality. It was a dog day, so I ordered steamed chicken and sat across Nam Joyun. Nam Joyun was clearing the top of his desk dining table when he asked. What was your serious worry? Just company stuff. What did you do today, Hyung? I read scenarios. I knew it. Like an unchanging evergreen, he must have been reading scenarios yesterday, the day before that, last week, and even last month. I sent him as many scenarios and scripts as I could get my hands on, and every time, he looked happy like he had received a birthday present. Is the project so entertaining that you forgot to eat? No, as long as it's disguised as a scenario, it's a bigger priority to you than food. Still, is it fun reading them every day? It's what I enjoy most, so of course, it's fun every day. What he enjoys most, huh? Nam Joyun looked back at the wobbly tower of scenarios as he said. I couldn't read them if I wanted to before I met you. Since they were so hard to get. Back then, I read projects that appeared in online scenario markets or those that revealed their scenarios after their release. Now, just looking at these stacks of scenarios you got me makes me happy. For someone who didn't have anything to eat besides cereal bars and tap water, he sure looked lively and satisfied whenever he talked about scenarios. I ensured Nam Joyun ate an entire chicken. Then I attended a meeting regarding Neptune's album activities and only returned late at night. Like Nam Joyun's home, scenarios and scripts were stacked everywhere. There were some I found covered in dust in the boxes of synopses and others that I barely managed to obtain since their cast was already decided. However, it didn't make me happy like it did Nam Joyun. Since I always read these while thinking about what would do well. Before working in this industry, I too looked for my favorite movie and drama scenarios and scripts online. I could vaguely remember a time when my heart raced because of how entertaining a scenario was. How did I feel when I read City Jungle? My heart did race thinking that this was going to be a smashing hit and even go to the Cannes Film Festival. I took a cold shower and laid down on my bed. I checked my phone to see messages I haven't read because I was at the meeting. Most were congratulatory messages about Neptune's consecutive hits in the music charts and schedule inquiries. While replying to each one, I discovered a familiar number. Director Oh Hyun Kyung. It was a long message. It started with a greeting, asking if I ate something nutritious because it was a dog day followed by praise about Neptune's album. Then she asked how everyone at WU, including me, were doing before cautiously asking if Nam Joyun had a chance to read the city jungle scenario. I hesitated for a good while with my fingers on the keyboard before kicking my blanket and getting up. It was going to be hard to get sleep with it being so hot and humid tonight, so I took the scenario that was carefully packed in an envelope out of my bag. I brewed a cup of coffee, returned to my bed, and turned on the floor lamp. Once again, I flipped the first page of the city jungle scenario. An ill-tempered artist, who felt like the world was a dry desert, met an unordinary woman one day. Following the woman and experiencing crimes and violence, the artist became motivated and inspired. He jumps into that world without hesitation. I brooded over the scenario, which contained less than a hundred scenes. Some scenes were so terrifying that I had to brighten the lights, and there were other scenes that I read pacing in my room because I couldn't sit still. The text formed images in my mind. At some point, the woman's face had become Lee Song has. And the artist's face was Nam Joyun's. As though it was meant to be. My phone was sent to voicemail once more. 
I recorded another message before immediately getting in my minivan. The film production company Forest. This production company, which director Oh Hyun Kyung mentioned was producing City Jungle, had its sign on the fifth floor of a corner building in Chungyuro. I joined others going to work and went on the elevator. What I saw the moment I got on the fifth floor were employees shrinking away with flustered faces and three angry individuals. The film company CEO, who I had seen a picture of in an interview article. And director Oh Hyun Kyung and director Ju Jae Chan. The three were shouting angrily like they were about to grab each other by the collar at any moment. Chapter 204 CEO What are you trying to do? Director Oh, don't act like this outside. Let's go inside the meeting room. Are you embarrassed that rumors will spread that this is a mess? If you know that, then why do it? No, that's not it. Let's sit and calm down. Do you think I can calm down? How can you do this to me? The one in frenzy was director Oh Hyun Kyung. She was almost yelling with hostility. The film production company CEO was stuck in the middle with a pale face soaked in cold sweat. It seemed he was trying to calm the fires as best he could, but director Ju Jae Chan poured oil to the fire. Why can't he? You signed the contract and handed over the production rights for that scenario to the film production company. Then it's their right to decide who to give the megaphone to. Isn't that right? We already decided that I would be the one directing. There was no clause about it in the contract though. CEO. You promised to leave it to me. City Jungle is my project. Of course, I would like to. If you want to get to the nitty gritty, then it's my project. I'm the original writer who wrote the first draft. All you did was take it and embellish it a little. What did you say? You rat. The argument quickly became a dog fight. They acted like they were the victims. I pushed the brim of my hat down. I acted like a spectator who was hesitating on whether to call 112 or not. The employees were so dumbstruck that they didn't have the time to concern themselves with a spectator next to the door. Director Oh Hyun Kyung. This is a business matter. Someone joined in with a sigh. It was a man wearing a suit and sitting on an empty table. He seemed to a man of influence as they immediately quieted down. Their gazes were all focused on him. From an investor's perspective, we have decided that, unless it's a famous director, it would be better to go with a rookie director who won an award at a film festival than director O. The picture will be good since he's also the original writer. There have been cases where a director's debuting film becomes a huge hit and people cause a fuss about how he's a monster rookie. Director. What's important is that the film is a success. How about we settle this matter peacefully with you handing the megaphone over to him and getting credited as an embellishment writer? Director Oh Hyun Kyung's face turned red and pale at the man's words. The film production company CEO went over and said something to him, but he was steadfast with his decision. Director Oh Hyun Kyung tried her best to persuade him and finally said with a desperate face. I have currently made an offer to WU's team leader Young Sun Woo to cast the male lead. Team leader Young Sun Woo. Is he interested in the scenario? My name was suddenly brought up. Their reactions were immediate. Director Ju Jae Chan's eyes were wide open, and the CEO seemed to be in a sticky situation. Finally, the man in the suit, who seemed to be part of the investors, rushed in like a hyena that found a piece of meat. How far have the talks progressed? Does it seem positive? Who are you discussing for the male lead? Seo Jijun. Im Juwon. Or the one everyone's up in arms about, Song Inho. Mr. Nam Joyun. He became famous with Alive. Don't you know him? He received praise as a scene stealer. The man tapped his phone like he was searching for Nam Joyun's profile before frowning. What the hell? Are you planning on filming an independent film? Who's going to invest billions of won in a project with an unknown director and a supporting role level, washed up rookie? There needs to be something we can put our hopes on. And here I was thinking you had some casting skills. The man harshly ridiculed. Do you think the movie will be successful if you cast any actor as long as you have Young Sun Woo promoting you? He's not any actor. 
he's someone I decided after careful deliberation. I saw all the independent films he's appeared in and his image fits well with the male lead. He's also good at acting. You're so frustrating. If that was enough, then everyone would pick up theater actors from Dehangno and use them. Why would they bother pouring tons of money to try to get a top star? That's enough. CEO, if our director change proposal doesn't get settled, then we're going to withdraw our investments and leave you can look for other investors. Nam Joyan now really. Just then, director Ju Jae Chan joined in. I met team leader Jung Sun Woo at the short film festival after party. He seemed particularly interested in my projects. I even received his business card. He said that he really enjoyed my short film and to contact him if I had a good project. Director Ju Jae Chan glanced at director Oh Hyun Kyung before boasting. They'll try talking to him this time. The film production company, Forest CEO, peeked into his office as he wet his dry lips. He saw the back of a man sitting in a chair through the opaque window. Seeing his dark appearance, he looked like Lone Shark coming to collect money. The huddled employees pushed the CEO's back. Go in. Don't hurry me. I haven't organized my thoughts yet. I think the ice in the coffee completely melted while you were organizing your thoughts. After realizing this, the CEO placed the two mugs down and handed it over. They're both melted. Go make them again. They look fine for now. It's a flood, how is it fine? Quickly, no, slowly go make them again. After sending the employee off, he pressed his chest and let out a sigh. Just as I thought I could take a breather after sending the directors and investor off. He probably came because of City Jungle, right? Did he like the scenario? I heard he's picky when choosing projects. It's not like it's for other top stars. It's for Nam Joyun. Since he received a male lead role after now finally becoming slightly known as a supporting actor, this opportunity probably appealed to him. What do we do if he wants to sign a contract right now? The employees became silent at the producer's words. Their gazes gathered on the CEO, but he was busy shaking his leg and wiping his sweat with a handkerchief. He looked like he was about to have a mental breakdown and collapse. The employees continued talking. We need to decline. Is there anything else we can do? It's not like this is a joke. What if our relationship with him sours because of this? What can we do when we might lose our investments? To be honest, the reactions of other investors will probably be the same. We all opposed the idea in the beginning. We were simply persuaded by director Oh Hyun Kyung because of how confident she was. What if we say that we are in talks with other actors? If we get caught, we will be cursed to hell. Why don't we blame it all on the investors? That they were causing a fuss about how they didn't like the actor. Wouldn't it be better to whine about how much of a tough situation we're in? The CEO, who was slumped in one corner, nodded. Yeah, let's go with that. Producer Lee, you go and talk to him. I believe it's only right for an influential man like you to talk to him, CEO. In the end, the CEO held two newly made cups of iced coffee and entered his office. His guest, Young Sun Wu, who seemed to be lost in thought, got up after sensing someone was in the room. The CEO felt his fluttering heart squeeze. His guest seemed to have more influence and dignity. Hello, CEO. Ah. Yes, you must have waited a long time. We were trying to quickly find some ice. In case you were hot. Young Sun Wu made smiling eyes as he accepted the coffee. The CEO squeezed into his chair and glanced at the man in front of him. He looked younger than he thought. Since he was supposedly 28 on his profile, he was young in reality as well. To be a team leader at a company like WU at his age. He probably didn't have to brown nose anyone with all those talented actors he had under him. After tasting a bitter taste in his mouth, the CEO got to the point. But why did you contact? It's because of the city jungle scenario. Why didn't you contact the director first? I didn't know which director to call out of the two. The CEO flinched in surprise. I heard that the production situation is chaotic right now. If that's not the case, then we can immediately talk about cast. No, 
It is chaotic. We aren't in a situation where we can begin casting yet. The CEO did his best to beat around the bushes now that he saw his opportunity. Young Sun Wu listened while reacting back. The CEO initially thought that there would be an arrogant side to Young Sun Wu since he was on the path of success at such a young age, but he was unexpectedly very respectful. The CEO's nervousness quickly dissipated. At some point, his mouth was rambling on. So I'm in a pinch. When I think of loyalty, obviously we should work with Director Oh Hyun Kyung. Director Oh worked so hard trying to create this. I heard that she even took out a loan to pay a sizable amount for the rights to the scenario. However, the director who wrote the first draft seemed to have somehow talked to the investment company, as they suddenly called for a change in directors it really was a bolt out of the blue. Director Ju Jae Chan persuaded the investment company. That fellow went around to different production and investment companies after receiving an award at the film festival, but his synopsis was rejected. He was rejected by the investment company we are working with, and it seemed he saw the city jungle scenario over there. He decided to force his way in after finding out that the rights were signed over to the film production company. Then which investment company is it? Young Sun Wu lightly asked. The investment firm, Ant Capital. We are in discussion for a 5 billion won investment, so if we can't get them, then the production immediately falls through. But that doesn't mean we can just readily switch out the director. Once we start to get swayed, we'll probably be swayed by the investment company throughout production. Sighing, the CEO suddenly came to his senses and added. Until this is settled, there is going to be a stop on casting. Sorry. CEO. Young Sun Wu, who was lost in his thoughts, asked in a courteous voice. There's is something I want to propose. Team Leader Young. I was quickly flipping through the last half of the scenario when an employee quickly approached me. A director has come looking for you. Again. Director? Yes, I asked if he had an appointment, and he said that hell wait until you had free time. For a second, I thought that director Oh Hyun Kyung had come again. She had called me a few times, but I had manually replied that I was in the middle of a meeting. I was wondering if maybe she couldn't wait any longer and had come to the company again, but the name that came out of the employee's mouth was different. He said he was director Ju Jae Chan. You told me to tell you whenever I had a good project. Director Ju Jae Chan said in the exact same place director Oh Hyun Kyung sat not too long ago. Their expressions had a similar side to them as well. Especially their passion-filled eyes. His mood seemed different every time I saw him. He looked well-mannered at the after-party. And he seemed like a completely different person when he argued with director Oh Hyun Kyung. His gaze now was very similar to his future self. I did say that. This scenario. I believe you've received it from other channels. He took out a scenario from his backpack. Or it was besides the empty director field. It was a scenario I was familiar with. Yes, I read it. This is a project I had held on to for a long time since I was a student. I had certain circumstances which led its rights to be handed over for a while. That was why I couldn't bring it up when you asked if I had any other projects. Now the situation has changed. His heated voice was filled with excitement. I think you'll be the one directing this film. Not director Oh Hyun Kyung. She will be taken off the project and will have her name under script embellisher in the credits. It'll be the one directing. I heard that you met with Director O once, but I had something I wanted to say about casting. His eyes darted quickly as he examined my reaction before he added. To be honest, back when I was an aspiring director, this scenario was pretty much snatched from me. I couldn't get a good price for it either. That is why I couldn't say that it was a scenario I wrote and completely regretted my decision, but it finally returned to its rightful owner. I will put my life on the line. I flipped over a few pages as I listened. There was no need to look at it. There was not a single character missing. The scenario is the edited version. It's not the first draft you wrote. Director Ju Jae Chan replied nonchalantly. They are pretty much the same. I don't think so. I asked the film production company and received a copy. The first draft with no title. 
Am reading it right now. I recalled the scenario I was halfway done reading as I said. They are completely different projects. Chapter, 205. Screenplays are things that increase in polish after numerous drafts. It's more like she took the idea and rewrote the entire script though. That idea is the most important. There is no final draft without the first. I propped my chin up and stared at director Ju Jae Chan. He looked like he desperately wanted to escape from this embarrassing and uncomfortable situation. Director Ju Jae Chan forced a smile as though he was suppressing his emotions. Did you perhaps talk to director Oh Hyun Kyung? I don't know what she told you, but the matter has been settled internally. She caused a ruckus at the film production company not long ago. There's a reason why the investors want to assign the project to me instead of her you also said that you liked my directing. His eyes gradually began to shine with madness. This is a project I must direct with my own hands. It's true. I knew it too. That it would become a great work in his hands. While he couldn't keep his hands still, crossing and uncrossing his fingers, I said. Will there be any problems in the future? Pardon? Problems? Director Oh Hyun Kyung. She seemed very attached to the scenario. ITLL become noisy if she files a lawsuit once the movie goes into production. Articles will also mention actors' names. Director Ju Jae Chan blinked. Then, with an excited face, he jumped from his seat. You do not need to worry about that. No one would film a movie if you could sue investment and production companies with this. Who would work with a director like that? He glanced at my expression before chatting more excitedly. This. She already signed over the rights to the production company. Because the production company is adjusting the movie's budget, they'll have to do their best to cooperate with investment companies. That is why a lawsuit isn't worth mentioning. Not worth mentioning. Yes, director Oh Hyun Kyung will be credited as an embellishing writer. There are cases where a scenario goes through various writers, so you can't argue that it is your work because you edited it. This is how it works in this industry. I nodded. That's right. That is how this industry works. Around the time our talk was about to end, an employee knocked on the meeting room door. Team leader Jung, you have another guest. The mood is a bit. The whispering employee trailed his words. Director Oh Hyun Kyung approached from the half-open door. She looked like she aged ten years. Thick veins filled her eyes, making the whites in her eyes look red. Sorry for barging in again, team leader. She bowed then stood rigid in place as though struck by lightning when she noticed director Ju Jae Chan. The person who looked like she was about to die now looked like she was ready to kill. You rat faces bast. What great timing. I just happened to finish talking with the team leader. Director Ju Jae Chan nonchalantly stood up. Then I will await your call, team leader. He bid farewell, as though showing off to her, before passing her. Even though this took less than a minute, director Oh Hyung Kyung's complexion went from deathly black to pale white. She faltered like she had lost her spirit and sat down in the seat in front of her. How much of the situation did he tell you? That the main investment company opposed casting Jo Yun Hyung, and that the director was likely to be replaced. This is the most unsettling production circumstances I have encountered so far. Director Oh Hyung Kyung's head drooped. I am truly sorry that things ended up this way after proposing it to you so confidently. I was sincere when I said that I thought Mr. Nam Joyun was perfect as the male lead. This was something I should have persuaded the investment company. But the situation suddenly. Of course, investment companies may have different options on the cast than you. Because they also have a big say on the matter. I understand the situation. What are you planning on doing now? As if my word stung, director Oh Hyun Kyung flinched. She simply opened and closed her dry lips for a moment before hastily getting up. She desperately pleaded. Team leader, I know this is a shameless request, but if you really like the scenario, could you consider M.S. Lee Sangha or M.S. Sun Chai Young for the female lead? Then I could try to persuade the investment companies again. If you have any conditions, ill definitely. Her teary voice dampened. 
She had been avoiding my gaze, worried about what my reaction would be, but now she raised her head and checked my expression. The next moment, her face dropped in despair. I am in my mid-forties. An age overflowing with dignity. I was the CEO of a global management company who wore a classic suit, one that those British Secret Service agents would wear, and worked in a luxurious office akin to that of a penthouse apartment. After convincing myself this, I became more comfortable in confronting CEO Beck Hansung. Did you bring your resignation letter? Ah, damn it. Resignation letter. That's the type of face you're making. You've been glaring at me for a while now. My face is always like that. I know that, but it seems particularly resistive today. CEO Beck Hansung laughed in a low voice before asking. If not a resignation letter, have you come to prepare an exclusive contract? Will you even do that? If you want. I told you that he'll manage you like a celebrity. Do you also want a signing fee? I want to do City Jungle. I poured cold water onto the warming mood. I tried to forcefully give it up, but it felt like my insides were turning. Team Leader Jung. Even celebrities can express their opinion when they aren't considered rookies anymore. Whether it's years of experience or fame, I believe I have passed that of a rookie. Also, above all, you are someone who respects the option of the celebrity. I gave some lip service at the end, but the mood was still chilly. I felt like I would freeze to death. CEO Beck Hansung frowned. Did I not say it so that you understand? Other celebrities can get back up if they fail once, however, your title is like a sand castle. Once you fail, its strategic value collapses. I had thought I gave you a great offer. I also think that it was a great offer since I would be walking a smooth path if I just do as the company decides. If I just follow that path, my career would also be excellent. It's a great opportunity. So you are aware. Then why? I had a similar experience. Once you start on that path, you end up getting hung up on it like an addict. And if that path cuts off, you get withdraw symptoms like a crazy person. ITLL become difficult to take a single step on my own. I swept away all thoughts on going on different paths and stared at CEO Beck Hansung. He was also staring at me. He no longer kept up his composure and gentle smile. He had no expression. I brought up my conclusion, which I had run my brain to come to. That is why, rather than getting swayed my opportunities, I plan on using them. How? If a movie with a high risk of failure was a problem. I will increase the movie's potential with my own hands. Strategic value. A sandcastle-like title. In order to not get hung up on those things, I will create my own worth through my own ways. A declaration of war. He's the only one who's ever declared war on the CEO. Hell be the only one ever. Even the Team 2 leader, who's been at the company for so long, was cut off in an instant. Where does he get the courage? I think he's a sociopath or something. How can a normal person with over two years of experience declare war to his CEO's face? I corrected the fellows who were chatting near my desk so that I could hear. It wasn't to the point of declaring war. If you said, screw you, I'm going to do things my way, then that's a declaration of war. Did you prepare a resignation letter? You might end up having to leave without saying goodbye, so wouldn't it be best if we had a farewell party ahead of time? The Team 3 leader, Kim Hyunjo, Chief Lee Bang Jun, and Chief Sung Yumin said one after the other. While they were joking, their faces were wrought with worry. Like they were certain I was going to be fired soon. Have you become tired of company life? Do you just want to act crookedly? I'm not tired, rather I'm completely motivated. Amongst their dumbfounded faces, Kim Hyunjo rubbed his face as he asked. So what are you going to do now? The first place I went to was the outdoor filming set, a mud pool, of good friends. After greeting producer Yoo Soo Young, who became the main good friends producer after completing making film, I went to see the girls. They were on as guests as part of their comeback special, so all four of them rushed over to me. Covered in mud. Don't come over. Why? Rather than giving us hugs for our hard work, are you running away from us because we are dirty? Were you that type of person? I am. 
don't come over. I don't want to. The four of them stuck to me, and soon, I was covered in mud. Lee Kuan Wu simply flinched his hands as he watched from afar. He seemed to have already been caught as his thick arms coming out his t-shirt and neck were covered in mud. LJ even rubbed mud under my shirt as she grinned. Take a look since you're here. Today's shoot is dirty and fun. Keep it dirty and fun. I have things to do. How is a manager busier than his girl group, who just made a comeback? Im Seo Young grumbled. At least they had the energy to chit-chat. Lee Tae-hee simply breathed, completely exhausted. She seemed to have been stuck in the mud the longest as her appearance was the most spectacular. Lee Sangha avoided my gaze as she asked. I look like the poop emoji right now. Should I go take a shower? No, you look good, like microwave chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Her voice brightened. Lee Sangha glanced at my face before smiling. Your face looks brighter. Yeah, thanks for the mud pack. I put a scenario in the passenger seat for you. A scenario? Did you come here to give me that? Lee Song has eyes shined. I nonchalantly shrugged. I was worried she would pick it if I showed that I was interested in it. For multiple reasons. I wanted to see you girls before you went on your out-of-city schedule and give you a new scenario I received so that you could read it during your free time. Let me know if you're interested. Like someone said, a project was chosen by both the manager and celebrity. I left the set and drove to a small supermarket near a one-room apartment. Nam Joyun was putting rice, curry, black bean sauce, meatballs and the like in a yellow shopping basket. One he made an awkward expression when he saw me. How did you know I was here? It's not like it's my first time seeing you. You're probably buying stuff to fill your fridge with since I was coming over. Nam Joyun just laughed. I stacked his basket with rice and fruits and placed it on the counter as I said. I brought over another scenario. Movie. Yes. I think it's best to read up to this one and decide on your next project. He'll ask a nutritionist to set up a diet for you, so follow that starting tomorrow. You need to maintain your body if you are going to work all day and night. Nam Joyun's expression completely changed when I mentioned filming. The expression of the middle-aged woman at the counter also changed. Did you get a job? Oh, that's great news when you were going around with nothing to do. After leaving Nam Joyun, who was the official bum in his neighborhood, I dropped by my house. I wiped away the mud still stuck here and there, paid particular attention to my attire, and once I had a clean appearance like a salesman, I drove out to Chungnuro. Amongst the densely populated forest of buildings, I found one with a huge banner of alive and entered. The moment SBE Films project producer saw my face, he shook his head. I don't have any. Really? Didn't you come to ask for any new, good scenarios? Not today. Only then did he greet me happily and led the way. I definitely thought you had a condition for coming. I'm now more afraid of phone calls from you than debt collectors. I told you I will contact you when we receive a good scenario. We have our relationship from alive. It's a promise. How many times have you made that promise? Ah, but all the good scenarios have dried up these days. There are none. We entered the meeting room while joking. An employee quickly brought over some drinks. But if you didn't come to see scenarios, then why? I wanted to show you something. You do. Show me. I handed the project producer an envelope. He received it with a dazed face before taking the city jungle scenario out of it. After scanning the title and synopsis, his face became even more perplexed. It's a scenario. I think I saw this before. It also came to SBE. Unless a production company has an idea and is setting it up with a writer and director, most scenarios floating around Chungyuro without a production company usually pass through our company. We reject most of them for various reasons. I think this was one of them. Was it not good? I don't remember it well, but it probably was if we rejected it. He closed the scenario he was glancing through and asked. But why did you come over to a production company with a scenario don't tell me WU is interested in production films? 
Is this a project WU is investing in? No, I am. I replied while shaking my head. The project producer frowned like he had just heard some amazing nonsense. Chapter 206 The project producer asked. Team leader Jung, did you win the lottery? If I did, I would be investing in real estate instead of a movie. Then what? Are you interested in small investments? That's not it. I licked my lower lip and said. I want to mobilize everything I can to invest in this movie. The project producer's gaze alternated between me and the scenario. He looked like he was faced with a dilemma. Because I'm so taken by the project that I want to invest in it, obviously. So taken please wait. The project producer jolted up. Ten minutes it'll come back before the ice melts. Having rushed down the hall, the project producer entered the CEO's office. CEO. Oh. What great timing. The SBE CEO said with a serious face nested on top of his locked hands. You remember dating time at third period. The one we rejected because it wasn't fun. Apparently, Watermelon Pictures picked it up. Pardon. Watermelon wants to film that. I guess we really are in a scenario famine. What do we do if it's a success? The CEO tapped his toes on the floor. His actions exuded how anxious he was. As his confidence and ego reached the skies after a life's revolutionary success, he was becoming more distressed every day under the pressure that his next project had to be a success. Thinking about it again, I think it might have been good. Why did you have to reject it? You're the one who told me to reject it. Your standards have shot up after Alive became a success. Also, the third period or whatever, it's not good. If it becomes a hit, then that CEO used the luck of his ancestors. No, that's not the issue. The chatting project producer waved his hand. Then he placed both hands on top of the CEO's desk. Team leader Young Sun Wu from WU is here right now. Why? Is he looking for a good scenario again? I wish there was one too. No, he brought one over today. The CEO's eyes widened. The project producer told him about the short conversation he had with Young Sun Wu and all the information he was quickly able to find about City Jungle. The CEO, who had been nodding his head while listening, shared his thoughts. Now really? Was there nothing else to be obsessed with? Is he crazy? I thought the same thing but I suddenly thought about what a reporter had said. After making film and Pretty Girl's big hit, which resulted in an almost syndrome-like phenomenon, countless people have been talking about Jung Sun Wu. The project producer recalled the remark he heard on a late-night cable entertainment show. Although WU's Jung Sun Wu occasionally takes crazy actions, those actions always ended up being an incredible success, so you can't call him crazy. If he does something crazy next time, I wish I could participate as well. The CEO's face soured. Then shall we listen to what he has to say? Team leader Young Sun Wu from WU, what was his reaction? The Ant Capital employees across from him asked. Director Ju Jae Chan nonchalantly chewed on his sushi as he replied. It was really good. He was more positive than I expected. He said that he would give us a call after looking over it with MS. Lee Songa. Someone like Lee Sangha would be great. She has that hype factor and will do well in China. I thought that it would be good if he didn't swear at us for reversing Nam Joyun's casting offer. It seems team leader Young Sun Wu was quite taken by your short film. Yes, I think he liked it. The team leader Young Sun Wu he had met at the after party acted very amiably towards him. Even though there were other directors who exceeded him, like those who won the grand prize and the excellence award, he felt that Young Sun Wu was particularly interested in him. It was well known that team leader Young Sun Wu recognized people who would be successful. That was why he had thought that he might be able to get Young Sun Wu to immediately sign on if he talked to him face to face, so his actions were slightly disappointing. Of course, he couldn't say that. He first had to prove his skill and worth to the investment company employees in front of him. If he couldn't, then he would lose the director position he was finally able to get. Good work, Director Ju. But did he have nothing to say about the change in directors? Yes, 
he seemed to easily accept it. Well, directors get changed in the middle of production these days. You know well. Director Huang said while rubbing his chiseled jaw. The movie production company can't refuse our demands because the project will be overturned if we pull our investments. They don't have any other investment distribution companies either. Nor do they have partial investors. Therefore, our words hold the most sway. No matter how much director Oh Hyun Kyung endures, you'll be the one directing. Thank you for the opportunity. Director Ju Jae Chan bowed his head. His lips were subtle trembling due to his excitement. He had his debut project in his hands. It wasn't an independent film but a commercial one to boot. Although his confidence took a blow after bowing down to money-lending investors, it had its value. He was able to take director Oh Hyun Kyung's edited scenario and position in one fell swoop thanks to it. He planned on making City Jungle a success. If he is able to make a box office hit once, production companies and investors will stick to him for his next project. Also, he could make those who didn't even give his scenarios and directing skills a glance regret not working with him. I will work hard in making the move to make you not regret investing in it. Please do. Director Huang's eyes narrowed into slivers as he said. Director Ju, do you know the return on national movie investments? It's in the negatives. 7%. You know that commercial films that released last year? The ones with at least a billion won in budget, not overall costs. According to the Korean Film Council, half of them flopped without being able to recover their budget. Only 16 actually reached their break-even point. Investors go crazy about that. But do you know why they still invest? Director Huang placed the city jungle scenario, which was in the seat beside him, onto the table. There are occasionally big hits. Not a large-scale blockbuster that every investor wants in on. Ones with good scenarios but lack public appeal or trendiness. Ones people don't have an eye one like this. Director Huang continued while tapping on the scenario with his chopsticks. If something like this succeeds, we'll get a 200-300% to return. This is why we are investing in this. That's why, please work hard in making it. It is why we changed the directors. Director Ju Jae Chan frowned. Director Huang continued. While you're better than a director, whose past projects failed, you aren't really a great pick either. We decided to bring you in as the director as you were the writer of the original scenario and told us that you would be most cooperating. If things don't seem to work out, then, like you said, directors could change mid-production. Do not worry. I am confident in making the film a success. Director Ju Jae Chan said with a crooked smile. He didn't plan on being swayed by the investment company like this. He planned on quickly bringing in other investors. If the number of investment companies increased, then Ant Capital's stake and influence would shrink. He also had bait to lure other investors. Team leader Young Sun Woo, who was receiving a lot of attention from investors with his mid ass hand title. Lee Sangha, the international star that created hype whenever she decided on a project. If he put those two out there, other investors would undoubtedly be interested. Also, director Ju Jae Chan was confident in persuading Young Sun Woo. The two people across from me were boring holes in me with their eyes. The project producer, who rushed out, returned in ten minutes like he said. Along with the CEO of SBE Films. He seemed to have looked into the situation around City Jungle, as his expression was stranger than before. The project producer started the conversation. I looked into it, and the production situation is a complete mess. It is. A production company that couldn't assign a director they wanted due to the sway the investment company's move had. The fight between an unknown director and a rookie director, who argued the project was theirs. To be honest, it was surprising that a project being produced in a situation like this to have had such box office appeal and quality. This was probably why people said projects fated to succeed would succeed even if covered in crap, while project not meant to succeed could not no matter how hard they tried. I let out a breath and said. It's true that the situation is a complete mess, however, it's a project I would like to bring in. I believe the film's potential will greatly increase once the environment improves. That is why I was hoping to actively intervene and create that environment. 
I shook my fishing rod with my quiet voice. A good environment. For example, if a skilled production company joined. I looked at the project producer briefly before turning to the CEO. Or looking for a trustworthy joint production partner. A joint production. The CEO rubbed his chin. He didn't look completely uninterested, so I explained in more detail. The film production company, Forrest, started off as a mid-sized import distributor, so they had many lacking areas in terms of production. That is why they are very open to joint production. Saying they were very open to it was a bit of an understatement. When I asked Forrest's CEO on what he thought about a joint production, he held on to my words like they were a lifeline. While their profits would be split if it became a joint production, but he seemed more interested in splitting the burden. The CEO, who had been silently listening to me, crossed his arms and nodded. While we would have to read the scenario again, vaguely remembering it, it didn't really pull me in. I think the scenario was good, but because there isn't a lot of popularity for noir genre films in the country, I don't think ITLL be a box office success. Comedy dramas are mainstream right now, and this one is too dark. Mainstream. You're the one who created a zombie film with tens of billions of one and an all-star cast. The CEO coughed at my words. I saw the corners of his lips rise. I heard he liked the review about how he persevered and pushed a non-mainstream movie to success while other production companies came out with mainstream movies that standardized the industry. Anyways, I also came here because the CEO had a hand in various different genres. On top of that, the project producer, the production producer, who was on a live set, as well as the investment support team that mediated investment companies. They all knew the industry like the back of their hand and were highly skilled. But if you're actively intervening, then are you going to decide the leads? I am. Or else, there is no need to be so aggressive. Who are they? Their ears perked as they leaned towards me. We are still discussing it. They'll let you know once it's been decided. It's a promise. The project producer's eyes narrowed at my words. Have you gone to other production companies? I came to SBE first. I was thinking about going to Wellmade if I got rejected here. First. The CEO cut me off and picked up the scenario. Let's talk after reading the scenario. Ah, but I heard that two directors are vying for the megaphone. While the scenario is one thing, due to the characteristic of the genre, the directions of the director are very important as well. Depending on their directing skills, it could go from being charismatic to corny. Of course. I nodded while replying. The project producer said. Have you decided which of the two you will have direct? Yes, I did. The reason for rejecting CEO Beck Hansung's offer was because I wanted to walk my own path instead of one someone else created for me. In order to not be swayed by the opportunity, but instead use it to my advantage. To not be swayed by my future visions, and instead, use them. Did I want to make this project? I did. It wasn't simply because it was a success in the future. I sincerely wanted to. Then how did I want to make this project? What would I have done if I didn't see the future? My heart raced as I thought this. Then, I decided to take a different path from the one my future visions carved me. I stepped onto an uncertain path. I thought that the path would disappear and would be dark, but that was not the case. After stepping off the path, I could see countless paths at my feet. A path that could lead to failure. A path that could lead to even greater success. Under these uncertain circumstances, I was certain of one thing. Each step I took was more enjoyable. Director Ju Jae Chan and Director Huang from Ant Capital entered the restaurant together. This was a meeting to decide on our next steps now that the city jungle director has been decided over a meal. They also planned on bringing up the topic of lead roles to team leader Jung Sun Woo. Director Ju, you said you haven't heard back from team leader Jung Sun Woo yet, right? Yes, it seems he's planning on bringing it up when everyone's here. I think team leader Jung Sun Woo reserved this restaurant, so I think we can consider it a certainty. Director Ju Jae Chan laughed heartily at Director Huang's words. The restaurant employee who guided them opened the sliding door. There were already a few people sitting inside. The two greeted them as they entered but stopped. 
Beside Forrest's CEO, who was sitting rigidly, seemingly nervous, was Director Oh Hyun Kyung. Director Ju Jae Chan spoke in an irritated voice. Director Oh, why are you here? To talk about the film, of course. Do you think I came to see you? Director Oh Hyun Kyung said, raising her eyebrow. No, what I mean is, why are you? Director Ju Jae Chan barely managed to contain his voice. He saw the people sitting across from Director Oh Hyun Kyung. Team leader Young Sun Woo was sitting next to some people he was seeing for the first time. Team leader Young Sun Woo shrugged. Everyone's here. Shall we discuss the film now? Chapter 207 Well, let's hear what the situation is. Director Huang of Ant Capital said in a leisurely manner. Seeing this, Director Ju Jae Chan also suppressed his agitation. There was no need to get agitated. Even if Director Oh Hyun Kyung came here clinging onto someone's pant leg, she couldn't push him, who had strong support from the investment company, out. Young Sun Woo introduced everyone in this restless atmosphere. Also, this is the project producer from SBE Film. Hello. The business card the man handed out had his position, project producer, and name clearly printed. Director Ju Jae Chan dazedly stared at the business card. SBE Film. The production company that produced the mega hit film, Alive, with director Choi Sung Won. It was also one of the places he brought his scenario to and was rejected. Director Huang opened his mouth with an ah. No wonder you seemed familiar. How are you here together? City Jungle may be a joint collaboration with us. With SBE Film? Director Huang's eyes widened. Then his gaze alternated between Young Sun Wu, SBE Film's project producer, and Forrest's CEO. Then, as if he understood the situation, he nodded. It seems team leader Young Sun Wu acted as the bridge. It's great for investors if an experienced production company joins. You've also worked with MS. Lee Songa before. At this time, Director Ju Jae Chan was doing his best to calm his excitement. This excitement was not a fury but high hopes. The higher the level of the production company, the higher his level and value, as the director, rose. While director Ju Jae Chan was hyped up, the project producer licked his lips and replied. We are familiar. Also familiar with Mr. Nam Joyun. With Mr. Nam Joyun and MS. Lee Sangha as the leads, there shouldn't be any scuffles on set. Wait, I think there is a misunderstanding. We only wanted to cast. Director Huang glanced back at Director Ju Jae Chan. His gaze clearly asked how he handled the casting matter. Flustered, Director Ju Jae Chan shook his head and looked at Young Sun Woo. Team Leader Young. I clearly only extended the offer to MS. Lee Sangha. Yes, I received two offers. One for the male lead and another for the female lead. No, but we explained the situation. There was an internal miscommunication regarding Mr. Nam Joyun. I hope that we can proceed with both. Young Sun Wu said with a smile. At the same time, Director Huang's expression stiffened. If we don't take Mr. Nam Joyun, you won't give us a mess. Lee Sangha, is that it? That makes it sound like I'm selling you untalented actors. Especially when the casting offer first came to Joyun Hyun, Mr. Nam Joyun. The male lead. I am certain he'll be able to do it better than anyone else. If you don't believe me, I'm fine if you hold an audition. Of course, you will be certain. He's your actor. And I don't think we need to hold an audition. Our views are clear. Director Huang said resolutely. I oppose having Mr. Nam Joyun as the lead. What are your thoughts, Director Ju? To be honest, I wanted to ask for Mr. Seo Jijun as the male lead. The reaction when he worked with MS. Lee Sangha was quite good too. It just happens that he hasn't decided on his next project yet. Director Ju Jae Chan agreed, nodding his head subtly. He had been planning on bringing up Seo Jijun once Lee Sangha was decided. Any investors would drool with that lineup. Team Leader Young. Could you reconsider with Mr. Seo Jijun? I think the role will better suit Mr. Nam Joyun than Mr. Seo Jijun. 
His reply was as firm as Director Huang. While Director Zhu Jiechan was figuring out what to say, Director Huang clicked his tongue. Team Leader Young, I think you believe that investors are going to rush to give you their money if you act, but that's only if you push the right actors. We're talking about the lead here, the lead. It's too early to trust in MS. Li Sangha since it's her first time playing the female lead in a film. If the movie flops, at least the actors will have played lead roles. The investors are taking all the losses. If you are going to pull MS. Li Sangha too, then do just that. After saying those sharp words, Director Huang looked at Forrest CEO. CEO, if this is how you're going to proceed with casting, then we can't invest in this film. How about we make you a list and you choose from there? The mood in the room became even colder. Director Zhu Jiechan's eyes quickly darted back and forth. If the investment company took command of the casting, then his plan would go belly up. Director Zhu Jiechan was about to persuade Young Sun Wu once more when he shut his mouth. Young Sun Wu's reaction was strange. He wasn't shaken up in the least in a situation like this. It was the same for Forrest's CEO and SBE Films project producer. They simply let out a short sigh or clicked their tongues. As though what was coming had finally arrived. What do you think, Director Oh Hyun Kyung? Young Sun Wu abruptly asked. Director Oh Hyun Kyung replied in a serious manner. I said this multiple times, but I think Mr. Nam Joy Eun is perfect as the male lead. Now really, here I was wondering what was going on. Director Huang couldn't help but laugh. Director Oh Hyun Kyung continued. I also received positive replies from other investors I have been working hard to persuade. Because they are partial investors, individually they don't make up a large amount, but they'll be able to persuade more partial investors once our leads are set. Forrest CEO flinched in surprise. Avoiding Director Huang's sharp glare, he supported Director Oh Hyun Kyung with a gloomy face. Director Huang, who had been drinking cold water with a dumbfounded face, eventually placed his cup down in a tossing manner before getting up. Then do what you want. The sliding door loudly opened and closed. Director Ju Jiechan blankly looked at the door Director Huang slammed. The situation was progressing weirdly. At this rate, there was no doubt he would end up no better than an abandoned duck egg. His eyes darted around. He looked at Forrest CEO, Director Oh Hyun Kyung, and SBE Films project producer. And finally, at Young Sun Wu. He hastily spoke. Team Leader Young, please give me a moment of your time. Young Sun Wu readily got up. On their way out of the building, Director Ju Jiechan's mind was churning. This was a chance that the heavens had given him. He couldn't lose his scenario and his debuting work like this. Although the CEO with no backbone supported director Oh Hyun Kyung, this was only because Young Sun Wu and director Oh Hyun Kyung were of the same opinion. It was Young Sun Wu who brought in SBE film. The one who was in control of the current situation was also team leader Young Sun Wu. This meant that all he had to do was persuade him. Thinking about what you said, I think Mr. Nam Joy Eun will also be fine. No, good. I can also persuade the partial investors director Oh Hyun Kyung mentioned. Director Ju Jae Chan said with confidence. Of course, he was certain. Under the same conditions, he was certain that Young Sun Woo would choose him. Please let me take care of the actors as we discussed. You also prefer my directin. I don't know. I saw director Oh Hyun Kyung's previous works, and I really liked her directing. It was surprising. Young Sun Wu tilted his head. It was difficult to read what he was thinking. That expression made director Ju Jae Chan feel more uneasy. He almost clung to him, trying to persuade him, but Young Sun Wu's expression did not change. Director Ju Jae Chan raised his voice. Team leader. No matter how good her directing was, weren't they all failures in the end? Unless you're crazy, how can you entrust your actors to a director like that? Director Ju Jae Chan, who was expressing his frustrations, paused. Young Sun Wu was grinning. People asked me whether I was crazy on multiple occasions, but these actions weren't crazy to me. But this choice really is crazy. Logically speaking, the decision is clear, 
but I am making the illogical choice. Young Sun Wu, who was mumbling incomprehensibly, said in a clear-cut manner. Anyways, the person I want to entrust my actors to is director Oh Hyun Kyung. Director Ju Jae Chan swore under his breath. His chance was slipping from his fingers. Malice surged up from his belly. If they were bent on pushing him out, then he also had a way to make this a complete mess. Director Ju Jae Chan revealed a crooked smile. Il Su. Su. City Jungle is my work. It was now Young Sun Wu's turn to laugh. Laughing like he was refreshed, he said. Well put your name in the credits. So that it's not even worth suing over. You're going to regret today once the film flops. I let director Ju Jae Chan's curse in one ear and out the other as I went back in the building. Director Cha Jae Ho, who was directing Supernatural, also mocked me, saying that I would regret it. I didn't know why they were all so impatient to pray for my future. I was returning to the room when I saw someone standing in front of the room. It was director Oh Hyun Kyung. Team leader Jung. What are you doing outside? It's time we go in and discuss the film for real. I wanted to thank you. You undoubtedly had other options. Options, huh? Director Ju Jae Chan, or even other, more trustworthy, directors. I did consider it. Even while I was watching director Oh Hyun Kyung's previous works and thinking she really didn't lack skills but was really unlucky. Even while I reminded myself that the emotions I was feeling from the scenario were all from director Oh Hyun Kyung. Even while seeing her constantly on the move to change the situation. Still, the tips of the scales didn't fully lean towards her. They said they wanted to do it. Looking at director Oh Hyun Kyung, who was confused, I remembered. What project do you want to do? As soon as I asked, Lee Songa, as if waiting, put out three stacks of paper. One was a drama script, the other two were drama proposals. Just as I gulped dryly, Lee Songa spoke. I'm still undecided between the three of them. I haven't picked out the drama, but for the film, this. Lee Songa placed a scenario over the drama script and proposals. City Jungle I relaxed as soon as I saw the title on the front page. Then my suspicions began to bud. Did you hear anything at the company? About what? No, what do you like about this scenario? Lee Sangha replied nonchalantly to my question. The scenario is fun. And, above all, the female lead is impressive. She also has a large role. There are a lot of dramas where the female lead has a large part, but it's rare to find in movies. I think you'll regret it if I miss out. Also. Lee Sangha smiled slightly before adding. It made me think that the director who wrote the script became very attached to the character as she wrote it. I thought she would fill me with that sense of attachment. I asked Nam Joyan the same question. Hyung, which one do you want to do? This one. Nam Joyan took out a scenario from a tower of them. City Jungle. The one you gave me last. It interests me the most. When I asked with narrowed eyes, Nam Joyun calmly replied. Because it's fun. You find all scenarios fun. It's more fun. Also this caught my eye. He took out something that was carefully placed in a transparent file. A colorful paper. It was the casting offer that I first received from director Oh Hyun Kyung. The sincere, earnest, embarrassing offer. It's been ten years since I last received something like this. Although I gave it to him in hopes he would be charmed by it, I didn't think it would be this effective. Nam Joyun scratched his neck as he said. I don't care if it's a brief role, I want to do this movie. That's what they said. Both of them. I looked over after speaking. Director Oh Hyun Kyung had a strange expression on her face. Her brows were contorted, and the corners of her lips were raised. Like someone who didn't know whether she should laugh or cry. I let out a short breath before greeting director Oh Hyun Kyung once more. So please take care of us from now on. Leaving director Oh Hyun Kyung, who was standing rigidly, I opened the sliding door. The room was filled with dark clouds. SBE Films project producer was on the phone wearing a serious expression, 
while Forrest's CEO's deathly pale face seemed to have already been soaked in the rain. He looked over at me and mumbled. Our main investor is gone. Now, what do we do? We need to find other investors. Immediately, from now on. Chapter, 208. About Investments. The project producer hung up and approached us. Team Leader Jung, can you open up some time? Our CEO is currently talking with well-made pictures about investments and distribution, and they said that they would like to discuss it with you. Well-made pictures. The Wilting Forest CEO was the first to perk up. Well-made pictures was one of the top investment distribution companies in the country. They were also the main investment distribution company for Alive as well. I readily replied. Let's go. Well-made pictures building was in the middle of Gangnam. SBE Film CEO, who had arrived ahead of us, was sitting in a large meeting room by himself. With his arms crossed and head down, he gave off a gloomy mood. Why is your expression like that? I think we can consider this as a green light if they want to talk. SBE Film CEO's eyes shot up at the project producer's question. No, back with Alive, we received a call an hour and a half after sending them the scenario. That their investment screening committee unanimously decided to invest. That is a green light. The situation is different though. Alive was director Choi Sungwon's work, and we had Lee Kiwon and Park Seryoung already cast. City Jungle is. Remembering director Oh Hyun Kyung and I were present, the chatting project producer changed the subject. Anyways, we need to try hard to persuade them. It's not like they are going to slam the door in our faces after making a lot of money with Alive, right? As soon as he sat down, the project producer asked. Director, CEO, what is the budget you thought about for City Jungle? The budget? You probably crunched the numbers. Director Oh Hyun Kyung and Forest CEO exchanged looks. Soon, Director Oh Hyun Kyung answered as though she was applying for a loan. 3 to 2. 5 billion won. 2. 5 billion won. The project producer couldn't help but laugh. I read your scenario, and I don't think 2. 5 billion is anywhere near enough. We can trim down the number of shoots. So you're going to jump straight into the deep end? If you set your budget too low and we exceed it later, we'll need to cling to the investor's legs and beg for more. Just say what the initial budget you calculated was. If possible, three. Five billion won. Director Oh Hyun Kyung cautiously raised the amount. The project producer scratched his chin. I listened to them discussing financial matters while drinking the coffee an employee got me. Three. Five billion won at most. It fell short of the average commercial film budget. Well, this was because my first film was Alive, whose total production budget was over 30 billion won. Such blockbusters were rare. If I lowered my standards, there were many more films that were created below budget due to lack of funds. Excuse me. Forrest CEO cautiously spoke. What if we tried talking to director Huang from Ant Capital? The person who mocked us by telling us to do whatever we want. Still, we were in talks for a 50 billion won investment. The project producer firmly shook his head. Don't hold on to broken relationships. Also, Ant Capital wouldn't have given you all 50 billion won. Their methods are a bit malicious. They come in as the main investor and act like they are going to invest the full amount, but they'll drop the amount when it comes time to sign the contract. That way, they hold influence and can sway you however they want. The production company and director have to film with the budget with tears. Forest CEO's mouth was agape. The project producer continued. If we had prints and advertising to the three. Five billion budget, let's go with five billion as the total budget. While it's normal to have 30 to 40 percent of it from investment distribution company and 60 to 70 percent from partial investors, we should be able to make up the difference with partial investors if we get well-made pictures. He swallowed his words. A man wearing a vintage pair of glasses pushed the door open with his shoulder and came in. He was the general manager of the Korean film production department at Well-Made Pictures. I had seen him at the Alive Press distribution screening. He had a notebook, 
files, and a copy of City Jungle in his hands. SBE Film CEO immediately asked. How was the meeting? CEO, let's sit before we discuss things. Of course, please sit. How was the meeting? There was a hasty exchange of hands. Holding my hand last, the general manager asked. Do you have any thoughts on changing the lead? Is that the result of the meeting? I asked back. The general manager looked at the everyone before looking back at me. There were many comments about the director and scenario, but more people are against the male lead than anything else. With a mess. Lee Sangha as the lead in SBE film producing, investors will invest if the level of the male lead was increased. Perhaps other male actors from WU. We already handed him the scenario, and the actor agreed to do it. We can't overturn this and hand the role over to another actor in the company. We have never done it nor have we ever been asked to consider it. The mood became strange. I had never been treated like a piddling manager since Neptune was no longer considered a washed-up idol group and Lee Sangha became an international star. Well, this was expected in this place. If I wasn't a team leader at WU and didn't have other actors in my care. If I was only the manager to Nam Joyeun, they wouldn't have been suggested his. All I would have been able to do is wait endlessly for the meeting results. I might not have even been informed that the male lead had been changed. This should leave a bitter taste in my mouth, but a smile crept up my lips. Fervor surged within me. Fervor to make the film a success and change people's opinions on Nam Joyeun. This, this is a scenario director Choi Sun-won read and said was good. SBE film CEO said while tapping on the city jungle scenario. When I told him the male lead, the artist, was Mr. Nam Joyeun. He said that there was a role he wanted Mr. Nam Joyeun to play in his upcoming work and that he needed to get a verbal agreement before Mr. Nam Joyeun's fame skyrockets with City Jungle success. Here I thought SBE film had agreed faster than expected. I should thank director Choi someone later. And make a verbal agreement. Is that so? The well-made general manager scratched his cheek. SBE film CEO continued. It's not a blockbuster needing tens of billions of won. The total budget for this is 5 billion won. It's not that big of a burden. You already have a space to fill in next year's lineup after director Park Hyungul's work fell through. That's true. Ace and AK Entertainment's lineups seem to be made up of similar works. Isn't well made this motto variety? ITLL be good to have a polished action noir flick in your lineup. Let's invest a small amount into its potential. SBE Film CEO slowly talked well made East general manager into it. Director Oh Hyun Kyung was firm that she wanted Nam Joy Eun as the male lead. Soon, well made East general manager said in a half convinced face. Even if we do invest, it won't be a lot. Everyone's clamoring for more. We need to continue looking at venture capitals and financial companies. With a mess. Lee Sangha as the star. The project producer glanced at me and continued. Also, since team leader Jung Sunwoo said he would actively help out, there'll definitely be more people enticed by this opportunity. We were able to easily promote Alive thanks to team leader Jung. He's more a hot topic now than he was. Ah, about that. Well made East general manager abruptly cut in. I heard this in the meeting just now. That? That team leader Young Sun Woo developed a panic disorder due to the burden of picking his next project. I barely managed to hold on to my coffee cup. Other people's gazes turned odd as they looked at me. That rumor was like a cockroach. How was it spreading outside when we finally managed to quell it internally? Who told you that? I think it's spreading amongst directors and production companies. Discussions about team leader Young Sun Woo are of highest interest in this industry. I heard that director Cha Jae-ho, in particular, has said it on multiple private occasions. Director Cha Jae-ho? The one who's working on Supernatural right now? Yes, I heard director Cha worked hard to get a mess. Lee Sangha. It seems he was upset after being rejected. I think he's been saying how it was no wonder your sense of judgment fell after he heard you had a panic disorder. Having rejected the male lead, Mr. Hyo Kakyung. These fellows. 
those are all false rumors. That's what I thought. The problem is, no matter how big or small it is, a false rumor. Well may this general manager clicked his tongue. Will have an effect on investors. While Well Made Pictures was reviewing the investment, I attended multiple meetings SBE Film arranged. There were many who outright refused after seeing that the project had an unknown director and a supporting role male lead, but there were also some who were interested. And, whether it was as a joke or not, the investors always brought up the panic disorder rumor. It seems that the fact I chose City Jungle over other great works, including Supernatural, gave credibility to the rumor. It was to the point where I wondered if I should carry around a doctor's note saying I was fine. I even had reporters contact me about it. While the rumor didn't spread in the media thanks to the PR team, this still resulted in a small wrench in my plans of using my title as mid-ass hand to bring in investments. While City Jungle's production issues were being handled, I got on track to handle other actors' next projects. Maybe it was because I had a change of heart, but I no longer saw other projects as flops. I sent the scenarios and scripts I reviewed and selected with chiefs to each actor. Then I asked for their opinion. Seo Jijun was first. I saw that scenario. Seo Jijun suddenly said as he walked into the meeting room with Chief Lee Bung Jun. Which one? City Jungle. I unconsciously flinched. The scenario was fun. So about that. Seo Jijun slowly rubbed his lips. I was thinking about investing in it. I relaxed my shoulders. My heart belatedly started to race. In that short moment, I had thought about 20 different ways to handle the situation if he said he was interested in the male lead. I'm not interested in appearing on it since I've done a lot of serious roles. I'm currently interested in works that I can act with a smile, but I was thinking about investing because the scenario is fun. I heard other actors do this when they see good projects. How much are you thinking of? Not a lot. Maybe 500 million won. How much? 500 million. This guy. That's an excessive amount. You might not even get your money back. Then well, I guess I was wrong about the scenario. He replied with a light laugh. Chief Lee Bun Jun simply shook his head at the side like he couldn't deal with him. I decided to talk to SBE Film about Seo Jijun's interest in investing and brought the conversation to his next project. Seo Jijun's eyes, which shined at the prospect of investing, dimmed. There aren't any I really feel like I want to act in. You didn't even give the scripts a close look. Chief Li Bun Jun glared at him. Seo Jijun, who feigned ignorance, let out a sigh. Team leader. I wasn't able to say this when the Team 2 leader was around. Don't worry and you can tell me. I worked like a dog until now. I was thinking that maybe I could take longer breaks between projects. You can. The eyes of the two people in front of me bulged. Before the flustered chief Li Bang Jun could open his mouth, Seo Jijun brightened. Yes, I think ITLL be good if you go do your mandatory military service while taking a break. As soon as I said that, Seo Jijun got up. Of course, I have to go do mandatory service. I'm thinking about going after one more project. And not take a break. I need to work like a dog when I can, why would I take a break? Let's go take a look at those scripts, Hyung. Chief Lee Bun Jun chuckled as he was dragged out by Seo Jijun. Next was I'm Ju Won. As soon as he entered the meeting room, he took off his shirt. Team leader, look at this. At what? What do you think? I'm not sure what you want me to say. He pointed to his stomach. His face looked so uncontrollably happy. I have a six pack. I worked so hard at the gym to make this. Ah, it does seem like you have one. It also seemed like you don't. When I looked beside him, Chief Sung Yuman was smiling with a Buddha's face. You know the work drawn up by IBC. The one with Bok Seoin as the male lead. He wants to do that. Why that? It wasn't one of the projects we looked favorably on. What happened to the scenarios and scripts we gave him and why did he settle on this on? He obstinately says he wants to do that one. He gave me a look, asking me to persuade him because he couldn't. 
Im Ju Won was still bragging about his flat belly. He was so jealous whenever Yoon Tae Kyung took his shirt off for a scene during royal family. First, I got Im Ju Won to put his shirt back on and said. The problem with that role isn't your body though. Of course, his body was the biggest problem. Lee Boy Eon is the female lead. I don't think there will be any chemistry with you two as love interests because you look so young. Rather than showing off your manly side, it might have a negative effect. You'll probably look like an aunt and nephew. It wasn't that bad, to be honest. Chief Sung Yumin dragged him Ju Won, who was intently looking at the mirror, off. Song Inho was last. He came with the independent film director, who was again doing reshoots and additional shoots. The bearded directors entered the room like he was entering a tiger's den. Are you feeling unwell? Ah, that is. Last time I came here, Chief Joe Byungwon said that they wanted to cancel Song Inho's contract and were willing to pay the fee. I've been avoiding him since then. I don't even come near WU anymore. It's fine now, director. Those days have passed. Song Inho held the director's arm while smiling. Checking my expression, the director cautiously said. There have been people wanting to invest now that Inho's fame skyrocketed. I would like to shoot scenes we had to skip due to budget restraints, so if you could free up Inho's schedule a few times. It might become a posthumous work at this rate. The director was shocked as though he felt his life was at risk. Song Inho spoke as if trying to calm his worries. It's a joke. Hyung, no, the team leader is a bit of a mischievous joker. It's not a joke. Hyung. Up until that was all a joke. I added with a laugh. Only now did the mood relax. All you need to do is adjust and it overlaps with other schedules. We're reviewing a few dramas, but as a rookie, there'll probably be many days where he has to wait day and night on set. Of course. We can definitely. The concern in the director's face was washed away. After those two left with faces like they were about to play patty cake, I organized my thoughts in the meeting room. I twirled the pen in my hand. This was the second meeting with well-made pictures. The general manager, who had been slowly been thinking over this, finally nodded his head. We decided to invest in the film's potential with a small investment. We will invest 20% of your budget. There are many employees who are against this still, so we couldn't take out a lot of money. Let's fill the remaining 80% with partial investors. We are working hard to gather the funds. The project producer replied as he relaxed. I silently listened to them before saying. I did think about the matter of investments. Their gazes gathered on me. How about we ask the public to invest through crowdfunding? Chapter 209 Crowdfunding The project producer scratched beneath his ear. I don't know. There's a limit to the amount of money you can gather through crowdfunding. It's also used a lot for charity or sponsorships than investments. It may be useful for an independent or a low-budget film, but it probably won't be of much use for our film. A lot of blockbusters do it these days though. That's more for marketing than investments. Yes, for marketing. Their expressions became strange. I laid out the plane I had organized in my mind. We set a small target amount for funding. Although we say that it's investing in the film, it's simply giving the public an interesting event to participate in. We increased the public's interest in Pretty Girl's album with the production of Making Film, and it was received quite well. It wasn't quite. It was great. The project producer said in astonishment. This will also increase the public's interest. There are tons of people who are interested in whether the project in set on will be a success or a flop. Whether it's a thousand or ten thousand one, once the audience's money comes in as an investment, even more people will be interested in the result. Of course, ITLL help with marketing the film as well. ITLL probably be incomparably more helpful than an interview. If the general public's interest surges, there will also be venture capitals that'll decide to belatedly invest. We might even receive too much and be unable to accept any more. I think the public will be more interested the more I take part in the production of the film. The reason people used top stars as leads was, in the end, to increase public interest. 
Unlike drama that air whenever you turn on the TV, films put more burden on the audience as they had to physically go to the theaters to watch it. That was why companies spent billions of won making posters and promoting the movie. A power to bring people to the theaters. If Nam Joyun lacked ticket selling power, then I simply had to make up the difference. So, are you saying that you'll participate in full force? It's not unexpected. No, but what if? The project producer hesitated. Well made East general manager picked up after him. This film might be a complete flop. If the crowdfunding participants and partial investors cannot get a return on their investments, the image you built up will worsen drastically. It could also destroy your mid ass hand title. That's true. I nodded candidly. The project producer asked with a flustered expression. Are you certain that we'll at least break even? I can't say that I'm 100% certain. Or to be exact, I personally decided to step on the uncertain path. Then why do you want to take on more risk? This film. I want to make it a success. It was a path of uncertainty, but for some reason, I began to be certain. It wasn't the lukewarm certainty that it wouldn't be a complete flop even if it wasn't as big as a success as the version I saw in my visions. The movie City Jungle, in which Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun starred in, directed by director Oh Hyun Kyung, produced by Forrest and SBE Film. Invested by investors who took a risk in its low possibility of success, and distributed by well-made pictures. The certainty that this film would be a success. No, I began to become certain that I can make this film into a success. The project producer and well-made East general manager's eyes darted back and forth. They seemed to be calculating how to use me, the promotional item, as effectively as possible. Their pens quickly scribbled on their notebooks. Seeing this, I brought up another condition. Of course, if things progress like this, I need to receive something in return. Of course, if there's something you want, then please say it. Well made East General Manager said with a face of a salesman. I leisurely said. First, regarding the actor's contract fee. The fee. That makes me nervous. Well made East General Manager laughed jokingly. As he said, his face became tense. Was he worried I would ask for an absurd amount? Of course, I wasn't planning on taking out a huge chunk of our insufficient production budget. Only. I hope we could sign with running guarantee than a full contract. A running guarantee? Yes, in a way where they get additional money when after the film breaks even. It was similar to how investors split their shares. It would be a useless contract if the film didn't break even, but they would gradually accumulate money once the film broke even and began making profits. I think our side will be more motivated. At my words, well made East general manager and project producer exchanged looks before nodding. It isn't a hard condition. Let's go with that. It's great that you're quick. The corners of my lips rose as I continued. And another. Mid ass hand young Sun Wu. Who has had no failures, his next project City Jungle, what kind of film is it? WI's Young Sun Wu's team Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun confirmed for film City Jungle. Director Oh Hyun Kyung, the director Mid As Han teamed up with for City Jungle, will she able to break the prejudice against unknown and female directors? The bait we sent as a press release instantly spread like wildfire. Because Pretty Girls and Neptune's new songs were still at the top of the charts and were appearing on TV and stages, nothing else had to be done for City Jungle and my name to hit the real-time search rankings. We sent out short details about City Jungle and crowdfunding. We set the period for crowdfunding after the film has been shot. That was when we need to put our efforts into promoting the film. The small funding target will be reached quickly, so if we started it too early, people might have already forgotten about the crowdfunding event by the time the movie releases. As expected, the public's interests were piqued. Oh, my God. A director I've never heard of and Nam Joyeun as the lead? This is a real gamble. According to someone from Chungyuro, that scenario has been rolling around with any investments. Trash journalists predicted that Young Sun Woo's next project would be a safe blockbuster, but Young Sun Woo's completely doing things his way lol move, in going down my own path. How will this funding work? Maybe I should put all the money I spend on the lottery and put it in there. 
you should only invest a small amount and consider it gone when investing in films. Return rates are a mess. A guy I know's a director, and apparently, there are bad rumors about Young Sun Woo these days. They're out of money. It wasn't just online. People I met were all eager to talk about it. I received as many questions as lead actors at a VIP film festival I was invited to. Team leader Young, is City Jungle scenario really that good? It really is. Should we send some of our rookies for supporting role auditions? Wait, wait. Did you also invest your own money into the film? The majority seemed interested and supported the film, but there are also many who whispered about how it was a foolish decision. That I would have been better off picking a relatively safer project. Ah, there were also people who mocked me in my face. Here I was wondering which great director you would work with after rejecting me. Director Cha Jeho, who I encountered in front of the washroom, snorted. Director Oh Hyun Kyung. Who's that? She's the director of City Jungle, of course. There are differences between directors. Team leader Young Sun Woo, you really work foolishly. I heard you've developed a panic disorder while picking your next project. The female lead role you rejected, we cast Han Seo Yin instead. I think she's much better than Lee Sangha. This fellow was making blunt remarks. Director Cha Jeho smirked as he patted my shoulder. You should come watch my film when it releases. It'll send you a screening ticket. You need to see what you missed so that you don't make the same mistake again. Ah, if the film flops after all this media hubbub, there might be no next time. CEO Beck Hansung's cold-hearted. While leisurely walking past me, he added. City jungle or whatever. It'll pay my own money and watch it. That's the least I can do. Director. Director Cha Jeho looked back at me. I spoke with a gentle voice. I'm only saying this since you keep saying I missed out on your project. I rejected that film because I thought it would flop. What did you say? Supernatural. I rejected it because I thought it would flop. Won't you need around 4 million viewers to break even? I think ITLL be a complete failure. There is no need to send my actress to a failing film so that she can fail together. What, you, just what? Director Cha Jeho's eyes bulged like a fish. Seeing him stutter with a stiff tongue, I smiled. Why are you so serious when I'm just guy with poor judgment? I brushed off his hand, which was still on my shoulder, and walked away. After a long while, I heard him burst into swears behind me. After the heat wave passed, and a cool breeze now blew on mornings and evenings. With well made these investments and investments from partial investors we've scraped together, we finally began preparing to film. The film schedule and content meetings progressed day and night, and we filled our staff with SBE Films leadership. At the same time, we were looking to cast supporting and minor roles. Actor casting? Yes, we were hoping you would participate in additions and the casting process. SBE Films project producer handed me a thick file. Opening it, it was full of actor profiles. There were some familiar faces, but the majority were new to me. We discussed what would be something you can participate in and be a hot topic when released in articles, and we concluded that it would be most interesting if you participated in casting actors. Your eye for actors is very good. The project producer added two more similarly thick files as he said. These are all the ones we received at our company so far, so take a look at their pictures. We made an announcement, so we'll have to hold auditions soon. We are trying to approach actors with enough popularity to play supporting roles, but it might not work out since Mr. Nam Joyeun is the lead. Ah, that could happen. They might not be satisfied with a lead with less fame than them. ITLL be difficult to fill all our minor roles through just auditions. Auditions are also differentiated between big budgets and smaller budgets. Good actors aim for auditions for blockbusters that are likely to be a success or films of well-known directors to get close to them. I bet Alive had it easy. Then, we were overflowing with applicants. I wonder when we'll ever be able to experience that boom again. Licking his lips, the project producer led me to the office. Perhaps it was because they were working throughout the night finishing up preparations before the filming began, 
but SBE film and forest employees were flopped over chairs and desks and sleeping. Someone with their arms crossed was standing beside a sofa messily stacked with files. His clothes were so tidy that it was borderline misophobia. He was a man in his thirties, who looked like he would smell like ink if you got close. After seeing us, he uncrossed his arms and came over. His eyes were filled with interest as they looked at me. Team Leader Jung, which is Chief Lee Kyogen. He's the casting director. Casting director. CEO Beck Hansung was staring out the window. The director, who was sitting on the sofa, glanced at him while asking. What are you planning on doing about Jung Sun Wu, Team Leader Jung, if City Jungle fails? There was no reply. The director scratched his round chin. Since you've been quiet on the matter, everyone's been making their own predictions. There are also rumors that you're going to fire him. There still was no answer. Swirling his tea with a teaspoon, the director raised his head before flinching. CEO Beck Hansung was silently laughing. Chapter 210 Hey, we had a serious discussion while eating live octopuses. Kim tai Wung's voice sounded out from the audio speaker. It seemed my friends were hanging out as it was noisy in the background. I unconsciously frowned. Has there ever been a good result from their discussions? That, crowdfunding thing. We decided to invest a lot in it. Friends need to help each other. If you want to help, just watch the film. Did you watch Alive? There's no need to feel any burden. Although we promised never to exchange money between each other, the situation this time's a little special. We decided to consider like giving you your wedding gift and invest 5,000 won each. One friends need to help each other. That's why I said, if you want to help, how much? 5,000 won each. I hung up immediately. Chief Lee Kyogen, the casting director, grinned from the passenger seat. There are quite a few people like that around me too. People interested in crowdfunding City Jungle. There were a lot of people who bet on whether your next project would be a success or not for fun, and now it seems like you set up the playing field for it. Chief Lee Kyogen loosened his tie as he looked at me. There must be more around you. There are. My family members, relatives, and even people beyond that were curious. There were a few people who asked me to tell them how the film was after the shoot or how people reacted to internal screenings. It felt like I was on a gambling table. Aren't there too many people here? Chief Lee Kyogen said in astonishment as he looked out past the parking lot. The crowd was so large that you might think we were at a flea market on a holiday. Will you be okay? A lot of people might recognize you. I've come prepared. I put a thick, clunky pair of glasses and a hat over my naturally tangled hair. My face reflected in the rearview mirror looked slightly different. When I got out holding a light jacket, Chief Lee Kyogen, who got out before me, raised his brows. That's it. It's a bit weak considering you've come prepared. I have one more. I replied as I put the green jacket on like a cloak. Chief Lee Kyogen burst laughing after seeing a university's name in big letters on the back. I don't know which department's jacket that is, but it's quite intense. It was a prop for a drama. A stylist brought it over. Disguised as a university student, I entered the flea market with steadfast steps. People had laid out mats from the park to the road, and people buying and selling were noisily mixed together. The scene was full of vigor. The face I was looking for was in a place with easels and portrait paintings. A painter, who gave off a heartwarming feeling, and a spot between his clients were particularly still. Stop. Don't move. The painter said in a low voice. The child sitting in front of him straightened his neck. Mister, when will it be done? Endure for a bit longer. I'm trying to an especially good job for you. The parents pacified the grumbling child. They waited expectantly. The painter painting the child's portrait gave off a different mood. Unlike his colleagues, who wore simple t-shirts, he wore a dress shirt on and a professional apron with its strings tied tightly around his waist. His black hair looked soft, and he wore a lightly faded pair of glasses and a black face mask. His expression was somewhat gloomy, and his actions were delicate. Ah! Chief Lee Kyogen admired. 
The young painter's gaze alternated between the paper and the child's face before his hands started moving again. As mood elevated to where it seemed like a masterpiece was about to be unveiled, passers-by stopped in their tracks and tilted their heads. Hey, doesn't that painter look like he has a story? What? Just admit he's handsome. I think he's good at painting too. Let's go get our portrait too. How much is it? Three thousand huh? Only he's doing it for free. Why is he drawing for free? You're right. Is he just volunteering? The two women stood in line as they tilted their heads. Soon, the painter put down his pencil. The child was hopping in his seat. Mister, is it done yet? It's done, but I don't like it very much. Please show me. The child's small hand snatched the paper away. The moment the child looked at the painting he had held his breath in expectations for, he flinched. Even his parents, who were happily watching, flinched. The women who were waiting in line also glanced at it and flinched. It wasn't a portrait. It was an abstract painting. Besides there being a mouth, nose, and eyes on a face, there was nothing similar. Mister, what is this? Did you paint this with your feet? I painted it with my hands. Is this me? Do I look like this? I told you it wasn't good. I didn't know it would be this bad. The irritated child looked at other painters' works beside him and shouted. Other misters and sisters are drawing really well. Why is yours like this? Child. A man wearing a baseball cap behind the painter cut in. The painting's like that because it's free. If you want a better portrait, go next door, pay 3001, and ask them to draw it again. Trash. That's life. Even while grumbling, the child took the portrait and left. Of course, the women who were waiting in line also left. The painters next to them laughed like he caught another one. How are you planning to live off your paintings if your skills are this bad? My friend's works are always a bit peculiar team leader. Kim Hyun-sup recognized me and got to his feet. Then, the street painter, Nam Joyeun, smiled with a welcome face. You're here. How are you? There are more people than expected. Is everything okay? Nam Joyeun nodded. Kim Hyun-sup replied for him. He's in disguise. He's wearing glasses and a mask, and his hair is unkempt, so no one can recognize him. There isn't anyone who recognize me even with my glasses off though. Let's just say it's because you're in disguise. Kim Hyun-sup patted Nam Joyeun's shoulder. I watched Nam Joyeun pack his things and asked. You really looked like a painter when I was watching you. How is it? I've become used to it. He's gotten used to being cursed at. Kim Hyun-sup joined in again. Can't you just watch and imitate painters? Do you really have to give people, who came to have good memories, your paintings? It's better than drawing than not giving them it. I introduced them to Chief Lee Kyajin as they got up. He examined Nam Joyeun since the moment he saw him and was still looking at him after I got painter's coffee from a nearby coffee truck. I suggested a few actors for the role Mr. Nam Joyeun played in Alive. Chief Lee Kyajin said while licking his lips. Minor role actors, stage actors, musical actors, and even aspiring actors attending acting school. I showed director Choi some one hundreds of people, but he rejected them all after seeing them audition. That was why I honestly thought team leader Young pulled some strings when I heard you got cast. I was wondering how well you'd do. His gaze looked at me and Nam Joyeun. You were really great. I was convinced as soon as I saw. Ah, thank you. Chief Lee Kyajin's eyes curved like willow trees. I thought that you'd be quite good for the artist with a distorted sense of aesthetics after reading City Jungle Scenario, but it's much better seeing you in person. I feel pumped to cast supporting roles since you fit so well as the lead. Did you already reserve tickets? What did you come to see? If you buy tickets now, we'll give you a 20% discount. Promoting part-timers handed out pamphlets. They looked at me, Chief Lee Kyajin, Nam Joyeun, and Kim Hyun-sup before clinging to Kim Hyun-sup, who looked like the easiest target. Chief Lee Kyajin waved his hand like he was chasing flies away. We already reserved our tickets, and we are on our way to see it. 
By the time we arrived at the small theater, our hands were full of promotional posters for plays. Kim Hyun Sup was astonished. It's so crazy here. This is after they started cracking down on illegal promoters. Chief Lee Kyajin shrugged. We passed the ticket booth and went down to the first basement floor. The walls were filled with pink posters. At the very bottom of the casting board, we saw pictures of the actors appearing today. It's this fellow here. Chief Lee Kyajin pointed to the middle of the casting board. A company employee role. Park Haiji. He was the reason why we came all the way here. Chief Lee Kyajin and I went through hundreds of profile picture for one of the important supporting roles, the hitman. Park Haiji was an actor suggested by an agency manager. His long eyes didn't have double eyelids gave off quite the impression. He's been doing plays for eight years or so. I wish his acting was good too. The manager who suggested him said it was really good, but we need to see for ourselves. If we simply believe whatever they say, all their suggestions are prettier than Lee Sangha and better at acting than Park Haisung too. We went up to our designated seats. People's gazes focused on us when we all sat down in a line. Kim Hyun Sup lowered his baseball cap visor as he asked. Was there a need for all four of us to come here? The role has a lot of scenes with the lead. The image becomes clearer if I see them both together, so ITLL be helpful. There are also cases where actors don't work well together. Then it would have been great if M.S. Lee Sangha came along as well. I think Sangha will stand out no matter where she goes. Kim Hyun Sup returned to his seat with a bitter expression at my words. I think ITLL be less eye catching than four guys sitting together like this. Most of the people who filled the seats were couples. Or two women. With four guys sitting in a row amongst them really was a strange sight. Also, the group was too awkward to be considered friends. Kim Hyun Sup grumbled. How about we sit in pairs? I think that'll look stranger. Then let's act like theater employees on business than to enjoy ourselves. Chief Lee Kyajin took out City Jungle scenario. Kim Hyun Sup also took out a scenario from a bag containing his painting tools. Nam Joyun didn't care about other people's gazes and his gaze was fixed on the stage after getting ready to watch the play. Chief Lee Kyajin flipped over a page filled with memos as he admired. I felt this while reading it, but the details are really good. I read a lot of crime action scenarios, but the dialogue in this one seems particularly realistic. It seems the director did a lot of research. From what I heard. I brought up what Forest CEO told me in the past. Director Oh Hyun Kyung actually borrowed money from a loan shark and didn't pay it back for two or three months back when she was editing the scenario. To see their reaction. This is a scenario made with blood. There are other things to try on your own. Kim Hyun Sup looked frightened. Chief Lee Kyajin made a stiff smile. The director seems to have risked her life on this project then. Someone like her is also critical of actors. You should prepare yourself. While we were chatting, the lights turned off and the play began. It was my first play in a long time, so I got completely absorbed in it. The screenplay was quite good, and the actors' acting skills were very good. There wasn't a single familiar face. I guess there really were a lot of unknown talented actors. Park Haiji shined amongst them. Of course, he didn't shine in only my eyes. There was no need to discuss. Park Haiji and the other actors came out after the play ended. The actors murmured to each other after discovering us. I heard them mention autographs, fans, and pens. Chief Lee Kyajin skillfully took out his business card and approached them. Mr. Park Haiji. Yes, what is? I am a casting director. Would you like to audition for a movie? Their murmurs grew louder. Park Haiji took Chief Lee Kyajin's business card. The other actors stuck closer and looked at it with doubtful eyes. It was normal for them to be wary. There were too many scammers in this industry. Just as I was wondering if it would be good for Nam Joyun to take off his mask, the actress who played the female lead widened her eyes when she saw me. Chapter 211 Air, uh, air, maybe not. The actress poked the actor next to her. 
Isn't he that person? What? Who? Young Sun Wu. My name was suddenly mentioned. It was too loud to consider it a whisper. The theater company members, who were examining Chief Lee Kaijin and wondering if he was one of those common scammers, quickly turned to look at me. Thinking this would be fast, I took off my glasses and hat. I even took off the university jacket I used for my disguise. This was a bit of a shame. I felt younger with it. Ah, uh, yes, hello. The theater members greeted me back before simultaneously reacting like they were on cue. I had become used this after my face became known, but it was strange considering it was actual actors reacting this way. A few more sociable members approached us. What a surprise. You really came regarding an audition? Wow, you shocked me. I was 80% sure that this was a scam. It's for City Jungle, right? Mr. Nam Joyun and M.S. Lee Sangha as the leads. The film being made by SBE Film. I saw an announcement for supporting and minor roles on the community site, so I was thinking about sending in my profile or not. Chief Lee Kyogen, who retreated back at some point, crossed his arms. It seems there is no need for any further explanation. This gives me a strange sense of shame. Same here. Kim Hyun Sup, who was leaning on one foot, tapped Nam Joyun's arm. Just take off your mask and hat. There's no point since no one can recognize you. Nam Joyun took off his hat and mask as if he had been waiting for those words. The theater members reacted even more loudly than before. Sort of like an idol holding a fan meeting. Their reaction was so cheerful and positive that it was strange. The story behind you too is quite famous in our industry. A story where an unknown actor meets a manager and they both support each other and succeed. It's romantic. I really hope you do well, Mr. Nam Joyun. That way, people like us who threw away their lives to chase their dreams can continue with hope. Park Haiji. You become a film scene stealer next year and get married. Following this mood, we ended up in a snack stall. After a round of drinks, the theater members became even rowdier. The captain of the group placed his arm around Park Haiji, who was drinking with a complicated face. This bastard hasn't been able to get married for three years due to his to-be-in-law's refusal. That they couldn't give their daughter to a guy who can barely make ends meet acting in a small theater company. Stop it. That's not something to brag about. Park Haiji looked at me and Chief Lee Kyogen before asking. What kind of role is it? Is it a minor one? It's a supporting role. There are a lot of lines, and it's a very important role. All casting directors seem to say that though. Park Haiji said bitterly at Chief Lee Kyogen's reply. The theater members chimed in. When we have high hopes that it's a good role and go, there really are a lot of weird ones. I was tricked by a casting director and auditioned for an erotic film. Why are you all so negative? There was one time when I was introduced to a really good role. I passed the audition and attended a reading session, but they told me to leave after casting an actor that was more famous than me. Bastards. Tons of movies and dramas come out every quarter, so why aren't there any roles for me? I guess it's like how there are apartments everywhere, you can't afford one. The theater members' lives were all dramatic. Dramas that kept twirling down with no end in sight. Nam Joyun and Kim Hyunsup joined in. Nam Joyun's life's hardships didn't lose out to anyone. His life was a hardcore drama. Sitting with Park Haiji, we talked to his agency and scheduled an audition date. He didn't seem to have much hope for it. We saw hundreds of profile pictures again and again, and you stood out to us. He stopped his glass halfway at my words. Your acting skills were better than expected, and I could visualize the film scene in my head as I saw the play. Although you'll be confirmed after an official audition, it'll cheer for you. Park Haiji's neck reddened. The theater members gave him energy by shoving more boilermakers down his throat. We met multiple actors since that day. Some were recommended by Chief Lee Kyogen, and others stood out to me. Their charisma and skills were diverse. There were cases where I thought, that person's the one, when I saw them act, and other times when I experienced shock and horror. 
There were a lot more of the latter. A lot more. It's because she's nervous. The director of an acting school clung to Chief Lee Kyogen's waist. Chief Lee Kyogen snorted. Rather than being nervous, she was unbelievably confident. It's like she not even reading off actual literature but a children's book. Why did Director Yoon recommend someone like her? It's because I haven't been learning for long. The female high schooler, whose terrible performance rivaled him Seo Young, defended herself. I wasn't fully prepared for the audition. If you give me some more time to practice, I'm confident I can act as good as Lee sang -uni. Also, to be honest, my face is better. She seems to benefit from the camera. Yes, she had the looks. Her face doesn't lose out. The director stopped talking. Lee Sangha, who was standing there completely disguised as a film company employee, took off her hat. Her tied up hair fell loosely. After taking off her mask, her face was completely unveiled. The blankly staring director and high schooler shrunk back. Chief Lee Kyogen came over and said, Sorry, it seems that the director who recommended her to me is her relative or received something. That guy what a loss of face after bringing MS. Lee Sangha all the way over here. Rather, I think the student who acted as her counterpart was good. She had a good image too. You thought so too? Our gazes turned. The female student who played as the counterpart was sitting in a corner watching us. While eating a triangle kimbap. The next moment, she was coughing excessively after receiving Chief Lee Kyogen's business card and an audition offer. You're the ones who called for a replacement driver, correct? Where's your car? A man in his mid-twenties. His face had scars like he had been in fights. His punk vibe face was quite good-looking, but his hoarse, glum voice was particularly impressive. Chief Lee Kyogen chewed on a fry as he said. We didn't bring a car. Are you kidding? Then why did you call for a replacement driver? Because we wanted to talk to you about an audition. The actor, who dazedly sat down in front of us, began pouring his heart about how shitty life was for having to chase auditions by day and work as a replacement driver at night. If I get a minor role, I get fired from part-time jobs where I have to be available at all times. I can endure all other things, but food is really it makes me distressed. Sorry, but could I have a fry? After showing off his impromptu acting skills full of sincerity, he received Chief Lee Kyogen and my business cards and left. Clinking our glasses, I said. There really are a lot of talented unknown actors. This is still only the tip of the iceberg. I realize this while working in this industry, but if you want to become a star, you need both luck and opportunity. Chief Lee Kyogen drank. This project, I think it's casting luck is quite good. Good acting skills are different from being suited for the role, but quite a few actors caught my eye. I was worried at first since they said that we would have to cast lesser known actors. We decided to purposely fill our cast with new faces. To look refreshing. It's a risk. It can go one way or another. I recalled the actors I met over the past few days as I drank. If I didn't bring SBE film into the picture, there would have been no way Chief Lee Kyogen became the casting director. Meaning that the supporting role candidates I met these past few days were very likely to have had no relationship with City Jungle in the original future. It wasn't just the casting. Director Oh Hyun Kyung and the project producer were working hard trying to bring on skilled staff, like cameramen and audio directors. If things go well, the resulted would be different from the original future. After veering from the path my future showed me, I stopped seeing any visions. Also, the present was constantly being changed. At a fast rate, like a tire rolling downhill. The panel was put up in an area that was a mess for a while due to construction. WU Management Business Department Team 4. It was across from the PR team's office on the fifth floor. I saw the team leader's office beside the company desks and partitions. I carefully opened the door. The office with a large desk and seats for guests was still empty. I sat down on a chair and looked around this unfamiliar space. Office. I mumbled in a quiet voice. I felt a strange sensation rise up within me from my toes. Although it was small compared to the office my future self had, 
it was the first personal office I received. Noises came in through my partly open door. Chief Li Bunjun and Chief Sung Yuman, as well as other members of the team, were unpacking their things. We decided early on to hold a get-together tonight. Moving day. It was a day worth celebrating. Team 4 leader, when are you going to show us around? While I was lost in my emotions, the Team 3 leader and Kim Hyunjo suddenly walked in holding a box of tissues and a palm-sized cactus. The Team 3 leader looked around with an investigative eye. Isn't your view better than mine? It also gets a lot of sunlight. How odd. What is? After you clashed with the CEO, there were rumors that your office would be moved to the basement. That's why there were many people coveting this office. Anyways, don't make yourself a nameplate just yet since you don't know how things will unfold. Kim Hyunjo's eyes narrowed. Are you cursing him? Didn't the CEO move past it after saying that he would be waiting for the results? It could be that he hasn't had much time to pay attention to him because he's focused on other things. Like the Team 3 leader said, CEO Beck Hansung and the director rarely showed up at the company these days. They were busy going to China and the US. Seeing as they frequented Los Angeles, it looked like they were working on trying to get a foothold in Hollywood. There are agency and contract problems as well. Also, problems with investors. They probably have a lot of things to handle right now. The Team 3 leader clicked his tongue before changing the subject. How's City Jungle? Are things going well? Articles about you pop up regularly. Well start filming as soon as we finish auditioning. Sangha and Joyeon Hyung are busy training with a martial artist director and coordinating with each other. Any moment now. You can't turn back anymore. You better succeed. That's right. The timing will be the worst if you fail. Just then, the door burst open. Then Chief Lee Bung Jun stuck his head in. Uh, can you come out and watch the TV? Employees were already crowding around the large TV in the lounge. It was airing a show that briefed people on gossip in the entertainment world like tabloids. I saw people coming out of the airport through the shaking camera. Security guards, managers, staff, and actors completely disguised with sunglasses and hats. They were all WU actors who knocked on the door to Hollywood. The panelists were making a fuss. This is a hot video we just received. Their official return date was tomorrow, right? What do you think is the reason for the actors to secretly return early? Of course, it's to avoid media attention. There were a lot of fans hoping the actors would make a glorious return after becoming world stars, but in the end, they ended up returning with embarrassing results. The screen replayed the actors' backs. Their past interview clips and pictures appeared on the screen in the middle. The way they edited the picture of actors waving their hands as they left confidently and their current return felt almost malicious. The employees' gazes alternated between the TV and their phones as they murmured. The company was supposed to not tell anyone and have them return quietly, so how did they know? Oh, wow. There are tons of articles. Although we expected the media to cause a commotion, they just can't wait to get their hands on it, can they? I checked articles on my phone. Provocative headlines already messily filled the news column. There were two key phrases. Despair of entering Hollywood. Embarrassing return. There were a few WU actors who tried to become world stars. There were only three who didn't fall off and held on. There were even actors who were considered at the top of the country amongst them. These were actors who made you think that they could work in the US with their skill set. As the company poured money to promote them, they appeared on quite a few Hollywood works. They also poured tons of money into promotional activities in the country whenever a film or a drama pilot was released. Appearing on blockbusters with budgets of hundreds of millions of US dollars. Coordination with famous Hollywood actors. However, the results were always below our expectations. Entering Hollywood's market was WU's internal project. To be exact, it was CEO Beck Hansung's project. I heard that they poured an enormous amount of money in the US market, so this failure likely hurts a lot. What do you think they'll do from now on? WU's PR team commented about how this was just them taking a breather. That's just a public comment. 
I heard that their contract with a major Hollywood agency, which caused a lot of buzz when it was first announced, ended. I think it's fine to say that this is actually them pulling out from the US market. It just shows how hard it is to get your foot in the door in Hollywood. How sad. Despite their words, the panelists were talking excitedly. They criticized CEO Beck Hansung's failure and negatively predicted actors' activity here having lost some of their fame in the country now. Reporters quickly proceeded to publish Asian actors who entered Hollywood. Chief Lee Bun Jun was astonished. They went with the thoughts of starting with nothing and ended up suffering for it. Their futures will be tough. We did well by not going. I think Joan's interested in Hollywood though. Chief Sung Yumin made a complicated expression. Don't worry. Considering the situation, the company will probably put entering the US market on hold for a few years. Also, which actor doesn't want to become a world star? Heck, I want to too. You too. Of course, how about Sangha? Chief Li Bun Jun turned to ask me. Sangha lived overseas so she's good at English. Is she not interested in Hollywood? I don't know. Sangha never mentioned the US. Suddenly, I recalled the future vision I saw a long time ago. The future where Lee Sangha filmed a secret audition tape. Apparently, a casting director put her on the audition list after learning about her through her role as an interpreter on Cat Guardian Ghost. They also said they didn't know what the title was, who was the director, and what role it was for. I wondered if that might have been a Hollywood project. She had yet to receive a secret audition proposal until now. The future had either yet to come or it completely disappeared through the butterfly effect of me changing the present. It was one of the two. This time, Chief Sung Yumin asked. How about you, team leader Jung? Are you interested in Hollywood? Hollywood, huh? I shrugged. I am interested, of course. The conversation between panelists entered my ears. Will failing to enter the US market affect WU's domestic position? What's funny about that is, while WU was wasting away in Hollywood, things have been going very well for them in the domestic and Chinese market. Their celebrities' albums or projects have done extremely well. It was great. They've been on a streak since early this year. Above all, Mr. Young Sun Wu firmly building up his image as never failing played a huge role. Any WU fully took that image in. They've been on a roll domestically that we didn't notice their failure in the US. Until now. This, it seems that a lot hangs on Mr. Young Sun Wu's next project. My photo appeared on the screen for reference. An employee ran up the stairs. The Team 1 leader and actors arrived below. The people around me murmured. The employee gulped before adding. The mood is really terrible. Chapter, 212. The elevator went up from the basement. As we passed the third floor, I heard people gulp around me. I thought that we would go directly to the CEO's office, but the elevator stopped on the fourth floor. And people poured in. Water. Someone get me some ice. Dokiyang, get it together. That moment, I wondered if I was in an ambulance instead of an elevator. Two managers held both arms of a woman who had collapsed like a corpse. They were pretty much dragging her in. Her disheveled, curly, red hair shook. Let go of the bottle. Get it together. They'll only be able to get it together once I drink some. Lee Dokiyang shouted while holding the neck of a bottle. It was vodka. They definitely looked fine at the airport. It wasn't only Lee Dokiyang. The other actors were Rex as well. Yoon Sangha was wailing while tears and snot ran down her face. Jang Yohan was puffing smoke with a pale face. Managers and staff were doing their best to comfort them. It was a mess. If someone saw this, they would this they were at a rehab center than an entertainment agency. Lee Dokiyang, who finally lost her bottle of vodka, flailed about. Give it back. Give it back. She fell on the floor and ended up just lying on it. She wasn't an actress. She was completely wasted. Move. A man in his early forties wearing a suit with no tie pushed others out the way as he approached. He was the Team One leader, whom I had greeted only on occasion. 
he received a bottle of vodka from a manager and downed it instantly. Then he filled with ice water an employee brought over and handed it to Lee Dokyung. Here. Now bring them up. Lee Dokyung was dragged off by the managers. Soon, the Team 1 leader snatched the cigarettes from Jang Yohan's lips and gestured with his chin. Another manager took Jang Yohan away. The only one left was Yoon Sangha. He approached the now sobbing Yoon Sangha. Taking a drag, he said. Stop crying. It's not like we didn't expect the press reactions. Team leader, I, I can't breathe. Let me go to the washroom and calm down. Okay. Yoon Sangha was brought downstairs by her manager. The lounge finally became quiet. Belatedly coming to their senses, employee rushed to greet the Team 1 leader. He nodded while walking towards me. No, not to me, but the trash can behind me. After throwing the cigarette but in the trash, he said to the Team 3 leader. How have you been? It's been fine here. The Team 3 leader evasively replied. The Team 1 leader suddenly smiled before turning to me. I heard about your news of your success, but I couldn't congratulate you. Shall we have drinks sometime? That'd be great. Nodding, the Team 1 leader went upstairs. The lounge was chaotic after the storm had passed. Everyone was busy trying to predict what was going on in the CEO's office. I went up to the fifth floor. The PR team was on the battlefield. Team leader Park and her employees were shouting into their phones. I went into my office and turned on my computer. The actors' names were all over the real-time search rankings. Especially Lee do -kyung. She was an actor who stood at the peak in the country before going to the US, so people's reactions were more heated. It looked like ITLL be noisy for the next few days. While I was reading articles, my door suddenly burst open. This time, it was Chief Lee Bun Jun. Uh, I think you should go downstairs. Did Team One go down? Only the actors. But Lee Do Kyung, right now. Did she flop on the floor again? No, she got in a fight. In a fight? With who? With Sun Chai Young. What the heck was this all of a sudden? She should be busy with drama shoots these days. They are downstairs. Lee Do Kyung and her don't get along. Is there anyone Sun Chai Young gets along with? Like very bad. Lee Do Kyung flaunted a ton about how she was going to Hollywood. I tried to imagine Lee Do Kyung, who caused a fuss while holding a bottle of vodka, and Sun Chai Young together. Then I gave up. It lowered my blood sugar. When I went back down, there really was an incredible mess. Screw off. Did you come to mock me? No, I came to watch. Sun Chai Young said while munching on donuts instead of popcorn. Her face was overflowing with vigor. I was about to explode because of how tight the shooting schedule was, but seeing your face washed all my stress away. Do you even remember the last time you had a tight schedule? Hey! I heard your drama flopped too. So you lost your commercials too? I keep getting projects. Ah, uh, do you want a minor role in my drama? You crazy bitch, you keep. The managers tried to hold Lee Do Kyung back as she tried to rush at Sun Chai Young while wielding the vodka bottle. It was far from enough. The other employees retreated back like there was a contagious disease. Chief Lee Bun Jun poked my side. Shouldn't you stop Sun Chai Young? Me? You guys are close enough to exchange donuts. That was a deal. The acting team 2 leader will probably stop her. I said, looking in the direction of the vending machines. Chief Joe Byumwan, who was the acting team leader in place of the team 2 leader, was shouting at someone. Ah, it was Chief Lee Jang Hyun. He at least looked human when he went around looking for ripe persimmons, but now he was about to croak. The company's already in turmoil. How could you bring Sun Chai Young here? She went straight here after seeing the news on TV. How could I have stopped her? What? Stopping her is your job, bastard. Then fire me. Chief Zhou Byungwan yelled while pointing at him. Chief Lee Bun Jun, who was watching, clicked his tongue. That team is becoming crazier every passing day. 
But Li Jianghyun, wasn't he lingering around, wanting to manage Sangha? He's been quiet recently. I don't think he's the type to give up easily. Ah, I made a promise, so I let him fill in for me once. And? He said that Sun Chai Young was better than Sangha and left. Chief Li Bunjun's expression turned odd. His lips opened as if to say something, but a grim voice sounded out from the stairs. Why is it so noisy? The Team One leader came down from the stair landing. The murmuring employees shut their mouths. Sun Chai Young and Li Dokiyang stopped what they were doing and looked over at him. The Team One leader looked around the lounge as he asked. Where's Sangha? Chief No, who followed her, isn't picking up. We sent a road manager to look for them. A Team One employee, who I wasn't familiar with, replied. At the same time, someone added while stuttering. Uh, Yunyun Sangha's over there though. Where? Over there. His finger pointed to the TV. Everyone's gazes gathered there. The flat screen still played the entertainment gossip program. And Yun Sangha was among them. Surrounded by reporters and holding on to an interview mic. Then you're saying that your agency pressured you into going to the US? Yes, I personally thought it was too early to go to Hollywood, but the CEO and team leader were quite persistent. I couldn't refuse their proposal. I only did what they told me to do for the past few years in the US. Oh my god. The scuffle between Sun Chai Young and Lee Do Young wasn't the problem. Yoon Sangha was dropping bombs on live TV. And when you mentioned you were forced to act in a nude scene. I received a casting offer for a new US cable channel TV show, and the role only had nude and sex scenes. I told them that I couldn't do it multiple times, but they said I had to if I wanted to raise my popularity. Miserable tears poured from Yoon Sangha's eyes. The camera zoomed in on her wet eyes. Then you must have a grudge on your agency. Yes, it's because of them, that my life as an actor is ruined. Yoon Sangha wailed again. Her cries echoed throughout the lounge. Everyone simply looked at the TV with dumbstruck expressions. The PR team on the fifth floor screamed indecipherable swears. I guess she still thinks she's in Hollywood. The Team One leader said from behind. He frowned as he waved his hands. Contact the legal team. Ah, uh, yes. The Team One employee quickly acted after receiving his orders. The Team One leader disappeared into his office, and the employees, finally coming to their senses, caused an uproar. Chief Li Bunjun blankly mumbled. I guess we won't be able to hold a get-together today. I guess so. The legal and PR team acted quickly to settle the matter. They sent out articles explaining the situation. This wasn't an incident we wanted to drag on since Yoon Sangha's interview was quite far from the truth. The WU denouncing public quickly turned their gaze at Yoon Sangha. However, separate from the truth, WU and Yoon Sangha continued to be mentioned in articles and by the public. WU received a strong blow to their image after failing to enter the US market, while Yoon Sangha became known to have been afflicted with Hollywood disease. If Yoon Sangha wanted to gain popularity through incidents like in Hollywood Gossip Girls, then she definitely succeeded. Well, unlike Hollywood, one couldn't live off gossip. CEO Beck Hansung and the Team One leader wouldn't stop with just an explanation. Anyways, while the company was busying putting out fires, things were progress quickly on my side. We continued auditioning for City Jungle, and my spot amongst judges constantly became newsworthy. These were crazy days for various reasons. However, there was a day where my idle thoughts were completely washed away. Reading Whenever I saw Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeon act in the basement, I became absorbed by it like I was on drugs. It was to the point where I forgot whether they were practicing or if it was real. Scenes that made me tense as I read them swallowed me whole when I watched them. I finally took a deep breath after seeing the last scene. It was already well into the night when I checked the time. Let's stop here for today. I handed the two of them water and towels. Lee Sangha ignored my hand and stood up. Her shoulders and back moved flexibly like an animal's beneath her sweat-soaked t-shirt. This was the result of the fitness trainer and martial artist director. I'm going to wash my face to recover. 
she said in a monotone voice before leaving the practice room. This was something we experienced every time. It took a while before Lee Sangha returned to her normal self after completely immersing herself in her role. She was like this for every project she worked on, but it seemed to take a particularly long time with City Jungle. Amazing. Nam Joyan said while catching his breath. Sangha. I could match her back during a live, but I can't keep up with her this time. Bringing his head back, he covered his face with a towel. His shoulders and chest heaved. Maybe it was because he was on a strict diet to make the paper-weak figure of an artist, but his already impoverished and faint appearance grew even fainter. I'm worried that I will be too behind. I need to at least act the part of the lead. No need to worry. You're doing great. Then that's a relief. Nam Joyun said with a quiet laugh. I still wonder why you picked me. Especially when I'm reading with Sangha. I don't think I'll be able to act like her even if my life depended on it. I received some sort of revelation that Sangha must act. To be honest, I saw the future. And I was shocked for different reasons when I met you. You were totally my type. Nam Joyun laughed at the joke at the end. Also you hold a special meaning to me. I mumbled before changing the subject. I saw a ton of actors while holding auditions, and there really were a lot of people who were great at acting. However, I didn't receive any revelation, like with Sangha, nor was as shocked as when I saw you. I guess my preferences are high class. Appa, your preferences are what? What's high class? Li Sangha came back with water still dripping. She had come with hurried steps. Her immersed role was completely gone, and she was Li Sangha from head to toe. Soon, laughs warmed the practice room. Fall was really short. Winter was even shorter. Spring seriously passed in a breeze. At some point, we were finally approaching summer again. Chapter, 213 WU Entertainment Cautious gazes glanced inside the office. He's not here today again. Maybe it isn't this team. They said it is Team 4. Maybe he's inside the team leader's office. No one's there. The door was closed all lunch. Youths who looked to be in middle school or high school were gathered behind the stairs as they whispered to each other. They all had pretty faces, likely having heard compliments that they should be celebrities. With their consecutive success with Blackout and Neptune, the strategic planning team and the management team three decided to create a more robust in-house system and were holding additions. These youths were trainees who made the final cut. I heard that you're guaranteed to succeed if that team leader says so. It's true. I heard the same thing. Compliments. He has to compliment you. Song Yinho Appa said in an interview that he blew up after the team leader told him he thought he'd do well. Oh, I saw him just once in the elevator, but I couldn't say hi because I was so scared. What are you doing over there? The trainees became flustered at the sudden question. Seeing the slender woman with her arms crossed, the trainees whispered, PR team leader to each other. Then they greeted her with loud voices. Who are you looking for here? Team 3 is downstairs. That's we still aren't too familiar with the building. A young man wearing his school uniform, who seemed to be the oldest in the group, took the lead to make an excuse. The other trainees nodded quickly. Seeing this, team leader Park quietly asked. Maybe you came to see celebrities? Actors? They don't usually come here though. Pardon? No, that's not it. Then did you come to see team leader Yung Sun Woo? Flinching, the trainees quickly lowered their heads. Team leader Park giggled, understanding their reason. Then you've waited for nothing. Team leader Young's taking the rare break right now. A woman with short hair like a boy touched the logo on the panel then continued walking. Amin undid his necktie and shoved it in his pocket before following her in a leisurely manner. They were walking up the stairs from WU's basement. I heard the competition was fierce since a lot of people applied to Team 4, but I guess we got the prize. To be honest, if it wasn't for getting into Team 4, I would have seriously considered whether to accept the offer or not. I applied here because of team leader Yung Sun Wu. The woman glanced at him when he said that. Why? 
Are you his fan? My goal is to become a star manager. He's a good role model. The woman burst out laughing when she saw him say that with a beaming smile. On the other side, they heard music and the shouts of a trainer. Saying that it might be Neptune, the man went over only to come back disappointed. They were trainees. Walking around the halls, they encountered other trainees. After walking past the recording and production studios, they finally saw the offices. The man spoke in a quiet voice. The company is huge, but there aren't a lot of people here. Do they have flexible work arrangements? They are probably working away from the office. I don't see many celebrities either. They looked around the lounge and the outdoor smoking area with a garden before entering the office with the Team 4 panel on it. There were more empty chairs than occupied ones. Only a few employees were on their phones or computers working. The two of them greeted the employees before looking around the office. If it wasn't for the schedule board, posters of affiliated celebrities' works, pictures of celebrities holding their film and TV awards, and stacks of Pretty Girls and Neptune's albums, one would think this was just a normal office. It seems this is Team 4's lineup for the second half of the year. The man murmured as he looked at the ownerless desk. The planner filled for 12 months had fully organized the overwhelming schedule for the second half of the year. The day Seo Jijun's Korean-Chinese-Japanese joint film would be done filming, the broadcasting schedule of Song Inho's PBS drama and the release date of his independent film, and the day Im Ju-won starts filming. The man examined these schedules before lowering his voice. Oh, city jungle. Placing his finger on the planner, the man's eyes shined. The project had finished filming and was now in the finishing stages of production. It initially became a hot topic due to Yung Sun Woo, Lee Sangha, and the crowdfunding announcement. Now, even after half a year had passed, it was still newsworthy. A lot of entertainment reporters are chattering about this. Will Mid Ass Hand work again or not? Although there are other projects by other actors in Team 4, they only focus on City Jungle. Because people are curious about the results. There are a lot of people who are waiting for it to be released. Additionally, many are talking about how much they are going to invest. Some who are interested in the drama are hoping it completely flops. The chatting man suddenly straightened his back. Then he bowed like a new recruit. The woman also bowed her head in greeting. Lee Kuan Wu, who they had met once before, was walking into the office. The once known romanticist of WU, his face looked much more irritated from being overworked. Did you have a look around? How is it? I think it's still a little awkward since it's my first day to work. Li Quan was drooped eyes narrowed at the man's sociable response. Ah, uh, I went around on set on my first day so I had no opportunity to be awkward. I even remember seeing a thorny path with a devil playing his bugle to welcome me. His calm recollection made the new recruits flinch their shoulders. I think team leader Jung said that he came to work at 3 a.m. and immediately went to Neptune's music broadcast schedule. Ah. I read that in an article. He was able to meet Net's producer Go Junti and get Neptune on Next K-Star that day. While reading the article, my heart raced so much that I wanted to rush on to the scene. Then shall we go? Li Quan Wu made a strange smile before taking the lead. The two new managers quickly followed. After they disappeared, the employees, who had seemingly been concentrating on their work, simultaneously raised their heads like meerkats. One month for the guy, and three months for the girl. I give that guy a week. You really don't think hell even last a week? When his heart raced? Whether his heart raced or exploded, we need to see how he works. You know the road manager that was recently hired into Team 2? He seemed pretty good, but he sent a message saying that he was quitting after two days. That team's a bit rougher than ours. Compared to them, our team is quite harmonious. The celebrities we are managing are easily to manage for their level in general. Also, working with team leader Jung is. The office became quiet. My phone vibrated. After checking the contents, I placed my phone back in my pocket. It must have rained last night as the wind was moist. I filled a worn bowl with feed and opened the lock to the chicken coop. The chicken coop my father and brother made over the weekend did seem quite legit. 
As soon as I stepped in, the chickens caused a ruckus. I remember my father started raising three or four chicks, but they reproduced so fast that there were around twenty large chickens. I did hear that my father would go in any time, whether it was day and night, to feed them. At this rate, ITLL become a chicken farm. While I was filling their food trough, Joel One, who was refilling their water tank, said. Uncle, there's a girl named Lee Seolin in my class. Her dream is becoming a girl group idol. She auditioned to become a WU trainee this time, but she was contacted that she was rejected at the first stage. She came over to me crying, asking me to talk to you. So, about that, can you call her once? Oh, my God. I didn't think that I would receive audition requests from my own niece. I looked at her round, earnest eyes before saying. Jill, life is. Can't you tell her to stop dreaming? She's really mean. Not long ago, she was bullying my friends, and now, she clings to me, telling me that she's going to become a girl group idol. Ha, so annoying. Can't you tell her to stop dreaming, wash her feet and sleep? Ha. Please. She grumbled while brushing her short hair over her ear. It seemed like it was only yesterday when she was childish and immature, but when did she start talking about screwing others over with such finesse? This was a great stride. When I stared at her in a new light, she blinked. Why are you looking at me like that? I was just thinking that you've grown. It seems you all can have one chicken each. Well, that's life. You're thirty this year. Dozen eggs. She said as she giggled, holding eggs hens had laid. Thirty. Ah, that's right. It'll be thirty this year. I felt a bit off earlier this year, but I had completely forgotten about this with all the work I had to deal with. It wasn't like there was a big difference between twenty-nine and thirty besides the first digit changing. Looking back, I simply felt like I lived a busy life in my late twenties. There's bird poop on the eggs. You. Joel quickly passed the eggs to me. Uncle. Uncle. We caught worms. You, so gross. But they're huge. Oh, but so gross. The remaining quadruplets rushed over. They must have dug up the worms in the wet mud as their clothes were caked in it. Curl was carrying a bowl of worms in front of him. I thought they would only have two or three, but it was wriggling with them. They deserved to be proud. Where did you catch so many of them? The plum grove over there. Grandpa told us where we could catch a lot of them. You, catching them was so gross. Why were you catching them when they are so gross? To give to the chicks. It's nutritious. They are pitiful for only eating feed all the time. I don't know about that. I didn't think they really need any more nutrition. The quadruplets entered the area specially fenced out for the chicks in the chicken coop before dropping the bowl of worms. Having discovered the special meal, the almost fully grown chickens rushed out with their beaks pointed. The quadruplets screamed as they rushed out. Uncle. What the heck are they? Where are the chicks? They are the chicks. They aren't chicks, they're chickens. They fit in the palm of my hand when I saw them last month. Their feathers were soft and warm. They were real chicks. They grew that big after eating feed all day. Pitifully. Grandma said that they were still babies. Of course, she was lying. It was getting hard to fool them as they developed, but they were completely tricked this time. Seeing their devastated faces, like they had seen their country fall, I laughed. It felt like all my built-up stress was being washed away. I took a few eggs and returned home. They were already chatting and having a laugh at how the quadruplets were fooled. We had chicken noodle soup for lunch. Two we also had fried some eggs to make it a meal. I bit into some ripe plums for dessert. Their sour juice spread in my mouth. With the fan blowing at me while I ate plums, this was heaven. My mother poked a piece of plum with her fork as she mumbled. How long has it been since we gathered like this besides holidays? We came quite often. It's just hard to see Sun Wu's face. Sun Wu, are you eating well? Don't skip meals. Make sure you're eating. You need to take care of yourself at your age. 
30 is still considered young these days. Actual young folks don't say that. The plums at the back are tasty, do you want to take a few boxes home? Your brother already ate two boxes. We cleared them as soon as we opened them. I keep craving sour things these days. Everyone became quiet at my sister-in-law's words. Scared eyes glanced at her flat stomach, and they finally became relieved when she waved her hands in denial and laughed. After becoming pregnant with quadruplets, pregnancies were a sensitive subject in our family. Sun Wu. My father avoided the piece of plum my mother gave him as he spoke. When are you going back? I should be going soon. My mother joined in. When will you come back once you leave today? You're coming for Thanksgiving, right? Yup, he'll try to take as much time off as I can. Stop pestering him and let him be. His work is important, especially now that he's a team leader. My mother sulked at my father's words. And his family not important. I can't even see my son besides on holidays. Go to the chicken coop and see how big the chicks have gotten. Just think of them as family. My mother wielded her fork once more. The piece of plum eventually made it into my father's mouth. Seeing my father scrunch up from the sourness, I suddenly remembered what my brother told me. That our father has been lonely since recovering his health. It was also why he began growing chicks. Ill visit often. When I said this while looking at my parents, my father coughed. Then tell us before you come. Ill grab a chicken and cook chicken soup. 3. You're going to cook them even though you said to think of them as family. It looks like you still care about your son more. My mother snorted. My brother and sister-in-law laughed as well. I leisurely leaned against the sofa. I looked at my family gathered around me and the quadruplets watching an entertainment show on TV before staring at the slow, tranquil countryside outside the window. My break was over. I entered the grey building in Chongdan Dong. Having returned to work after a few days, it was still busy as ever and filled with life. My heart began to beat faster. My belly grew hot. Team leader, the City Jungle Marketing Agency wants a meeting with you. The company in charge of handling the crowdfunding is also causing a fuss, asking a ton of questions. Ju Wan. They say his film shoots are going to be delayed in China. He has a commercial shoot immediately though. They're saying that they can't delay either, so what should we do? My employees rushed over and reported as though they had been waiting for me. Why is there such a fuss as soon as I arrive? Uh, can I add to that? Someone came over. It was Chief Li Banjun, who had been going to and from China and Japan these days. While greeting him, I placed my bag on my desk when another employee rushed in while holding his phone. Team leader, there's trouble on set and they are looking for you. The road manager says he can't take it any longer. Again. The employee nodded. Chief Li Bangjun chuckled. Sun Chai Young. She's the same as ever, huh? No, it's Sangha. The employee replied with a sigh. Taken aback, Chief Li Bangjun blinked his eyes. Li Sangha. What about her? Chapter 214. Team Leader. Team Team Leader. The road manager who had been waiting for me outside ran over. Tell me about the situation. How is she? I think she's about to explode. The set has been an icy battlefield for hours now. The staff were causing a fuss since a while ago. I tried to calm her down with snacks, but she didn't even give them a glance. I couldn't handle it any longer. If you couldn't handle it, you should have contacted me. He lowered his stiff hair. Sorry. I was threatened, no, told not to contact you no matter what. I felt like the set would be flipped upside down at this rate, so I hid and contacted you in secret. She calms down in front of you. At first, he had looked like he was dreaming after being assigned to Lee Sangha, but his face now looked like he was suffering from nightmares even though it hasn't been a month. Uh, you are talking about Lee Sangha, right? Not Sun Chai Young. Chief Li Banjun asked with dazed eyes as he followed us. I sighed as I waved my hand. Let's go. Yes. I followed the road manager who quickly took the lead. As soon as I stepped onto the set, 
I felt like I heard ice crack. There were dozens of people here, yet it was oddly quiet. Only the sound of camera shutters interrupted the silence. Lee Sangha was covered in flowers. She buried her cheek in a bouquet of yellow freesia flowers. She slightly bit one as she smiled brightly. As soon as I saw her, I was caught by a chilly emotion. It felt like an awl was lodged in the back of my neck. Smile properly. The photographer said. Li Song has lips curved even more. I have been smiling. For six hours. So smile properly. Properly. Prop. Poor. Lie. Li Songa bit her lower lip at his shifty orders. Her face looked like she had endured enough and was about to explode. Clenching on the bouquet like she was about to crush it, Li Songa lifted her gaze. The next moment, her gaze met mine. Her surprised face instantly distorted. Li Songa glared at the road manager. The road manager made a sound like he was being strangled. At the same time, the photographer put his camera down. Let's take a break to cool our heads then come back. Li Songa immediately got up and came over with steadfast steps. It seemed like she might pull out a gun from the bouquet. Chief Li Bangjun backed away. Li Sangha simply passed us as she entered her waiting room. Did she just ignore you? Chief Li Bangjun whispered with a flustered face. Why is she like that? Did you two fight? No. Then I don't understand. You said that this isn't the first time she's been causing trouble. Has the troublemaker title at our company been passed on from Sun Chai Young to Li Sangha? While she wasn't normal, she at least acted normally before. Why is she acting out now? Team leader Yung Sun Wu. You're team leader Yung Sun Wu, correct? I heard a woman's voice. She was the editor I had met a couple times at photo shoots. She rushed over to us and clung to my arm like a lamb having found her savior. Father in heaven, thank you. Team leader, please save us. Sorry, Sangha is not in a very good condition today. That's true. I thought so. The photographer didn't help either. The editor glanced at the back of the photographer's head before clinging on to me again. Team leader. ITLL be big trouble if the photo shoot today fails. A huge problem. It took considerable effort to get the dress and jewels sponsored for today's shoot from overseas, and we won't be able to set this up again. Could you? Please wait. I'll go talk to her. Leaving the other behind, I entered the waiting room alone. Li Sangha was sitting on a chair with her head down low. Her breathing was even ragged. It seemed like she tried to calm down the best she could as her exposed shoulders heaved up and down. When I approached her, I saw crushed, empty water bottles rolling on the floor. I'll get you some more water. I turned around but almost fell. Li Sangha was holding the back of my knees with both hands. Where are you going? To get you water. I don't need it. Her head was still way down. I fumbled with my pockets and took out a bunch of caramel that I had brought with me. She didn't react even when I waved it in front of her eyes. On after I unwrapped one and put it in her mouth did she start to chew. Appa, say my name again. Li Sangha. Do you want me to make an acrostic poem? I joked, and she answered with a sigh-like laugh. She seemed to have calmed down as she raised her head. Then she quickly took her hands off my knees. Sorry, I had blood on my hands. You don't have blood on your hands, and are you not feeling well? Li Sangha lowered her eyes. It's hazy. I almost swore at the photographer. That damn bee photographer was right. Today's concept is the innocent freesia, yet I don't know what an innocent expression is. I'm doomed. Flowers like these no longer suit me. Then what kind of flowers suit you? Marijuana. Her symptoms were severe today. Or a pitcher plant, or Venus flytrap. Those aren't even flowers. That's right. There are no flowers in my life. Since my life is a jungle. There are probably flowers in the jungle. I locked the waiting room door and lightly patted Lee Song his head. I thought you were getting better with those counseling sessions. I think I have dissociative identity disorder. 
or intermittent explosive disorder. What's that? It's the proper term for multiple personality and anger management disorders. I saw it on the internet. Don't joke and have another caramel. It has already been a long time since filming was done, but Lee Sangha still couldn't get out of the female lead role from City Jungle. From what the counselor said, there were occasional cases where an actor became too absorbed in their role that it affected their daily lives. From the outside, it really looked like she was possessed. Although she was similarly absorbed in her role in previous works, she quickly turned back to normal afterward. Was her role in City Jungle particularly intense? There was a time where she flipped LJ over for touching her shoulder, and even a time when she couldn't eat meat. Since her role was a vegetarian, I had only been worried about the end results for the film. I didn't think I would be worried about something like this. I told you to call me if there was a problem. I tried to handle it on my own. I can't keep doing that. I was planning on carrying a miniature of you since I returned to reality when in with you. But it was too difficult to make, so I gave up. What a relief. Instead, I found a place that'll make it for you with a 3D printer. Just call me. I already ordered it. They said they already finished the head. Lee Sangha said while chewing her caramel defiantly. Yeah, okay, whatever. I guess he'll just live with a bit of humiliation. Lee Song has head slowly leaned over until she rested her forehead on my belly. Then, like a woodpecker, she hit her head repeatedly, and sometimes made noises that were either violent or pitiful. During that time, I rubbed her head like I was stroking her hair. Then she raised her head up and smiled. It was a smile of innocence. At the investment company managing City Jungle's crowdfunding project. Vested parties gathered for the meeting at the company founded for funding projects. How about we set the crowdfunding period to a week before release? Since this is for marketing purposes, why don't we set the goal low? If we don't reach our goal, ITLL only result in unpleasant rumors. ITLL also lessen the topicality and expectations. ITLL also be embarrassing. No, on the other hand, if we set the goal too low, ITLL look like we aren't confident. ITLL look like we are trying to save ourselves. The press is watching this, so ITLL be worse than not doing it if we set the goal too low. I sat near the window as I looked through the files. There were presentation slides introducing the film and investments, expectations on returns depending on viewership as well as previous crowdfunding scenarios among other things were clearly organized. They even mentioned me in the introduction of actors and staff. Posters of competing films released around the same time were on the last page. The list went from national blockbusters to famous Japanese animations. Our competition was no joke. Well Made delayed the blockbuster they had originally planned and put City Jungle in its place, but there were reporters that were already saying this was a throwaway. Well, it wasn't completely false. While looking through the posters, I stopped at one. Supernatural. Ace Distribution Company. Director Cha Jeho. Leads Hio Kakyung and Han Seoyun. Break even point at 4. 2 million viewers. It was being released at almost the same time as City Jungle. On the same week, maybe even the same day. There were rumors that they were prepared to pour billions of won into publicity and to compete against Hollywood blockbusters. What did I say to director Cha Jeho last year? That I thought it would flop terribly? I definitely remembered how he cursed me. The back of my head felt itchy. Licking my lips, I flipped to City Jungle's rate of return forecast in regards to investors. Our break-even point was 1. 6 million viewers. People could invest at least 100,000 won to at most 2 million won. If we passed the break-even point, we would get a positive rate of return, but if not, a negative one. All that was left was deciding what to set our crowdfunding goal to. I'm telling you, lower is better. How about a hundred million to a hundred fifty million? And I'm saying that'll make it seem like we aren't confident in our end product. We need it to be three hundred million one at most. The production company employees and producers were debating the pros and cons. I tapped my notebook with the tip of my pen before saying. 
Can't we just decide after we've had our internal screening for the final product? The mood became strange. The expressions of the general manager from Wellmade Pictures, who argued for a smaller goal, SBE Film CEO, who argued for a larger goal, and Forrest CEO, who was busy playing both sides, turned complicated. Wellmade East general manager said. I'm asking because you brought it up, but how did you like the draft version? Drafts are just drafts. We need to decide after seeing the final product. Our director is working hard editing the film. While we call it a draft, it's what we're submitting to the Can Film Festival. You can consider it as the final version. Everyone's expression looked like they were just remembering that point. We were going to submit an edited version of City Jungle to Can Film Festival. While there were some who held hopes it would advance, another goal was to use that it was submitted to an international film festival as a way to promote it in the country. Either way, director Oh Hyun Kyung took a break in the real world before going back to increase the film's polish. Staff who took a glance inside were astonished, saying that director Oh Hyun Kyung had been bitten by the editing bug. SBE Film CEO looked at me. I think ITLL do well in the film festival, don't you? I believe we might have a chance to go to France if we're lucky. SBE Film CEO stealthily rubbed his chest as though my words calmed his nerves. Although I changed the future and could no longer be certain of the results, I was sure that it was a film that would do well at film festivals. Well made East general manager licked his lips. Film festivals are good and all, but our box office performance is also important. The film is good. It is. But I thought this since reading the scenario and watching the draft, but it definitely lacks commercial value. We need to release it to know for sure. Last year, 17 Days With You expected only a million viewers due to lack of commercial value after their internal screening, but in the end, they hit 2. 5 million viewers. There are more cases where that isn't the case. To be honest, we aren't really interested in large profits and hope that we can at least hit the break-even point. Aren't we going to use all the money gathered through crowdfunding directly to marketing? Are you saying you want us to spend less money on marketing? That's not it. If our crowdfunding goal is too large and our viewership numbers are lukewarm, the dividends. That's why. And things became loud once more. Not long after the meeting, we held an internal screening with vested parties. That night, we decided to set the goal to 300 million won. Team leader Jung, did you put on makeup because you're going to be filmed? You did, you did. It looks like you also trimmed your brows. Those people. When I turned around, the people stuck to my door acted like they were doing something else. You're going to interfere with the audio, so please leave also, I didn't touch my brows. Now, let's quiet down so that we don't interfere with the audio. They had no thoughts on leaving and simply shut their mouths. I looked at the Team 3 leader, Kim Hyunjo, and Chief Lee Bang Jun at the front before simply shaking my head. The director fixing the white balance on the camera chuckled. Shall we begin? I coughed and cleared my throat at the director's question. This was a promotional video for City Jungle's crowdfunding event. Other actors, including Nam Joyeun and Lee Songa, had already filmed their part during filming, and I was the last. We planned on sending it out to the press and putting up on our crowdfunding webpage once it has been edited. We already began sending out press releases. We pour out all we could for a press conference and events to publicize and advertise the film. We had already started promoting it as well. The public's reactions were growing heated as though they had been waiting for this. Of course, because most the attention is on crowdfunding, marketing employees were paying particular attention to this. While I was reciting the words I had prepared in front of the camera, the PR team's female employee squeezed in through the door. Wait. She looked agitated. Team a leader. Please stop filming for a moment. Sue Supernatural. Our competition. What about it? They decided to start crowdfunding too. Articles are being published as we speak. Their goal is 800 million won. Chapter 215. Sly. Detestable. Sneaky. No, these were excessively nice descriptions. These pieces of trash. 
this year's hot keyword for films, interest in crowdfunding soars. Two films attempt crowdfunding, City Jungle and Supernatural. Supernatural opens crowdfunding with an 800 million won goal, largest ever. Director Cha Jae-ho of Supernatural stated that Mr. Hyo Kakyung, the lead, expressed he wanted to use crowdfunding to join the audience together and that they decided to proceed after confirming that it was a good project in a meeting. Additionally, in regards to the other film their crowdfunding project overlaps with, City Jungle director Oh Hyun Kyung. Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeon as leads, he said, I have a close relationship with team leader Jung Sun Woo, who first planned the crowdfunding event. I also sent him my scenario while he succumbed to the pressure of choosing his next project and that he wished both films would have good results even though they are competitors, so that it would add more energy to the national film industry. Ha ha ha, how absurd. Supernatural was dragging us by our hair for their marketing strategy. They constantly mentioned City Jungle in their crowdfunding press release and kept bringing up Lee Sangha and me as well. It was all so that those looking for more information on City Jungle, Lee Sangha, or me would naturally see information about Supernatural as well. At this rate, Supernatural might appear as a top search keyword amongst City Jungle related searches. Wow, did they shove their manners down the toilet? Isn't this too much? While I was looking to regain my senses, the PR team's female and male employees, the Team 3 leader as well as others surrounded a monitor and were discussing. Realizing the mood wasn't very good, the camera director had long since left with his camera. Hio Kakyung brought it up first. Look at how they are using the actor as a scapegoat in case they get criticized. It did work though. Looking at the comments, Kakyung Appa is famous for loving his audience. Let's hit 10 million viewers. Fighting. Is what someone wrote. I looked up what kind of movie Supernatural was, and it's a blockbuster with a 15 billion won budget. Chief Sun Yumin said as he looked at his phone. And where's Team Leader Park? The PR team female employee replied with an agitated face. She is flipping out, I mean lodging a complaint to Supernatural's marketing agency. Succumbed. Succumb to the pressure of choosing his next project? Have you seen Young Sun Woo ever succumb? As expected, Team Leader Park was flipping out. With her phone stuck to her ear, she approached us while shouted loudly. Even if promoting City Jungle isn't my business, promoting Young Sun Woo is my business. It's not like he had an interview with a reporter. Even if director Cha Jae-ho did say that, you should have removed it from the press release. Don't you know this is a sensitive subject? Already, reporters' eyes are shining, looking to prey on anything. Team leader Park's torrential criticism ended with. Stop saying sorry, and make sure not to do it again. I hope that we never have to call you again for something like this. Hanging up, team leader Park let out a sigh. The team three leader said in a dazed voice. Weren't you too harsh? This is a company known to have hired part-timers to review bomb competing films. They'll look down on us if we tried to talk nicely. They know not to mess with us if we flip out like this. Team leader Park looked towards me. Did you ever hear any unpleasant words from director Cha Jae-ho? If they are mentioning you, we probably have to intimidate them. Unpleasant words. I recalled my memories before saying. You work so foolishly. Han Seoyan is much better than Lee Sangha. Stuff like that. What? You didn't do anything when you heard that? I didn't just listen. Right? I think I told him that I thought Supernatural was going to be a huge flop and that there was no need for me to put my actors in to flop with it. My surroundings became quiet. Team leader Park opened and closed her mouth a couple times before changing the subject. SBE Film is going to discuss with their marketing agency about the crowdfunding. They are probably in an uproar too. They sold your name for the past six months trying to raise people's interest and expectations, only to have Supernatural take the first bite. Her face became distorted. What pisses me off more is that this will be greatly effective in promoting Supernatural. It really was greatly effective. There was nothing to say about how they swept through the real-time search rankings. As soon as Supernatural's crowdfunding event became known, people quickly went to invest. Well, it was objectively an appealing option. 
It was a large-scale blockbuster. It had a well-known director and top star leads. Supporting roles were also famous for being great in their roles. The number of investors and the amount of funds received kept going up without hesitation. And, in just one day, they surpassed 200 million won. Reporters wrote articles about how Supernatural would reach the highest crowdfunding goal among national films at this rate. LN, a large portal site, articles about Supernatural, albeit with different headlines, continued to be in the most viewed news section. Even the public who invested in Supernatural became marketers as they spread information about Supernatural here and there. During this time, City Jungle staff were suffering from symptoms. Their stomachs hurt, heartburns, and irritation. It was a disorder caused by rage. SBE Films project producer complained every day about how his stomach hurt and felt like his insides were twisted. The only calm person was director Oh Hyun Kyung who still locked herself in the editing room. Anyways, even in this situation, City Jungle's promotional activities were proceeding smoothly. Yes. Jungju's Culture Storage This week, we had Mr. Young Sun Woo, and we introduced City Jungle, which is about to be released. Join us next week for more plentiful news. The reporter shouted the close remark of the info program. The staff went up onto the studio to prepare for the next segment. As soon as I handed my mic over to the audio team, the producer and main writer approached me. Team leader Jung. You're going to help us cast an actor next week, right? Of course. We have a recording of it. We really will call you. The main writer, who laughed in a friendly manner, added. Ah, right. City Jungle's crowdfunding must have started already. Yes, it should be around an hour since it started. I replied after checking my watch. Today was the grand opening of the crowdfunding event. Right now, all the City Jungle staff were probably hung up on the crowdfunding platform. They were probably waiting impatiently for the aggregate results. After thanking the producer and writer, who said they would participate in funding, I went back to the waiting room to get my things. I barely managed to retain a hold of my senses. Director. I am interested in acting, so can't you use me in a minor role next time? You too, Uni. I received acting lessons in the past. To be honest, my goal was to be a comedian actor. Unfamiliar celebrities were trying to strike a friendship in front of my waiting room. There were rookie girl group idols and a comedian. I checked the door in case I came to the wrong place, but it had Young Sun Woo in big letters. Wait, wait. The waiting room owner has arrived. I heard a familiar voice. When I turned my head, I unconsciously frowned. Director Cha Jeho was sitting amongst the celebrities. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. The celebrities greeted me with surprise. Soon, director Cha Jeho chased the others away. Only after we were the only ones left in the room did he speak again. I came for a radio show, and I heard that you happened to be filming here too. So I came over to say hi. Why bother? With our relationship? My thoughts blurted out my mouth. Director Cha Jeho's brows moved up and down. It's all thanks to you that the trend of crowdfunding began. This is a better marketing tool than I initially thought. We also receive investments. A stock firm said that our total funds and the rate we received funds is the best thus far. Oh, is it? What should we do now that we beat historic records before you? We should leave City Jungle with something at least. I heard City Jungle started crowdfunding today. Director Cha Jeho mocked. Maybe it was because he was an eyesore, but every orifice of his face irritated me. His creased forehead wrinkles looked like he was needlessly stubborn, and his thin lips made it seem like he was a horrible character. Did you come here to pick a fight? As soon as I asked, director Cha Jeho got up from the sofa and came over. I came to have you face reality. My film, which you rejected because you thought it would flop, is a work that has both commercial value and essential elements for box office success. Whether you call it dull or that we sold our soul for commercial value, in the end, the audience will buy tickets. Can't you tell by how people are clamoring to invest as soon as we set crowdfunding up? His eyes glimmered with excitement. 
he repeatedly pushed my shoulder with his index finger. How do you feel? Isn't it time for you to regret your decision? If you still haven't figured it out, then you're hopeless. Although there were multiple times where I thought, just where did a guy like him come from, this man was the most absurd amongst all of them. To think that the guy causing trouble for me just because I rejected his scenario is one of the famous individuals in the movie industry. Even now, his expression read, you dare reject my work. Do you even know who I am? Oh my God. Would he be satisfied if I said, sorry for not seeing this sooner, teacher. One I was blind. I couldn't do that. Director Cha Jeho became more intimidating when I didn't answer. You dare reject my film because you think ITLL flop. In all my 20 years as a director it was so absurd that it appeared in my dreams. That was some good news. How dare you, who chase after celebrities, squawk in front of me. It's because you answered in a crude manner after I put it politely. That was why I matched your preferences and spoke crudely. I guess you didn't really like that. Also, I think there's a misunderstanding, but even if there was on City Jungle, I still wouldn't have done Supernatural. You bastard. I'm not a bastard. The first digit of my age is changing this year too. 2. Director Cha Jeho, who was glaring at me, made a sarcastic remark. Seeing as your neck is still upright, I guess your film came out quite good. I saw that scenario too. Since it is my competitor. Well, it was okay. However, no matter how artistic you create a film, the audience in our country don't like dark, difficult films. He seemed certain at this point. There is a clear limit. Even if rumors spread about how good the film is, at most, you'll have a million viewers. Well Made will get you in theaters at first, and people will gather since they are curious, however, that'll only be for a moment. I bet that the number of viewers will half in a week. Ah, I guess you can see the future. What an interesting ability. It's obvious without that. The film market is pretty much a fight for a larger slice of the pie. How long do you think a film that turned its back on the public will last again blockbusters? Just then, my phone rang. It was SBE Films' project producer. I left director Cha Jeho aside and answered the phone. The background was full of loud noises. Team leader. It's over. We're done. Done. My heart dropped. What is? The crowdfunding. It started one hour ago. Is there a problem? It's over. We surpassed our goal of 300 million. In an hour. This guy must be experiencing side effects after taking too many pills for his heartburn there's no way that's true. The crowdfunding has ended. We gathered 300 million in one hour. Not even a day. Was that possible? I first put down my phone. I gulped dryly before turning my gaze. Director Cha Jeho was looking at me with his arms crossed. It seemed the project producer's voice didn't leak out. Director Cha Jeho seemed to have assumed that there was a problem with funding from just my words as he arrogantly began talking about funding. Was City Jungle's goal 300 million? I was thinking about investing around 2 million. I don't think so. I spoke as I hurriedly got my bag from the sofa. Why? Do you not want my money? But our marketing agency said it would be a good idea. ITLL be newsworthy. We can't accept even if we wanted to, though we don't. The funding's over. The funding. We checked the aggregate total, and it's done. What's done? We reached our 300 million one goal in one hour. Director Cha Jeho simply blinked. My expression was probably the same just moments ago. So I think I need to head back quickly. Ah, you can rest easy here. All he could do was open and close his mouth as he was so taken aback. Leaving him behind, I left the waiting room. Behind me, I heard loud noises like a table being flipped. Chapter 216 Everyone who gathered in Supernatural's production meeting room darted their eyes. They should be opening champagne thanks to the unexpected effective marketing strategy, but the mood was gloomy. It was because of director Cha Jeho, whose eyes glowered as he sat in the seat of honor. Irritable Cha, what's got him all worked up? 
a female employee wrote on the planner of her co-worker sitting next to her. Her co-worker silently showed her his phone under the table. The article headline on it read, City Jungle Hits Crowdfunding Goal in One Hour, Breaking the Previous Record. Exchanging glances, the production employees tried to flatter Director Cha. Director, why are you so concerned about City Jungle? They aren't even on our level. Our break-even point is 4. 2 million, and our goal is 10 million. They will be over the moon if they reach 4 million with that film. There's no comparing directors either. You're a master, and she's a greenhorn. To be honest, if not for young Sun Wu, City Jungle wouldn't have been such a hot topic. Director Cha Jeho, who seemed to relax at being called a master, grew sullen. How can I not be concerned? I'm about to collapse from high blood pressure because of that bastard. Do you know what that young Sun Wu bastard said? His employees perked their ears. Something scandalous was going on between WU's young Sun Wu and director Cha Jeho, and although everyone was hush hush about it, they knew that young Sun Wu stabbed director Cha Jeho in the back because of it. This was because the director made several outbursts on set. That bastard, that cocky bastard said. Director Cha Jeho opened and closed his mouth a few times before bursting into a tirade of curses. Then, soon, he turned around with glittering eyes. Where is the marketing coordinator? Has City Jungle not started accepting funds? Why won't my payment go through? It's been sold out, dear customer. The exit is on your left. LOL I was fortunate enough to do it as soon as they launched it. If not, I might have missed out. Oh my god. I missed it because I was careless. I succeeded in buying tickets to a solo concert that sold out in a minute and never failed to sign up for classes, but how could I miss this? I'm speechless. Q why won't they take my money when I want them to? Their original time frame was a week. Won't they increase the funding goal? I thought everyone moved to Supernatural because that's all they were talking about. Were all those posts made by Hio Kakyung fans? Or was this the big picture of those who wanted to get rid of competitors? I knew this would happen. Since crowdfunding became a hot topic because of Young Sun Wu lol. But do all you investors think you'll profit? Because it's Young Sun Wu's film. Only a few crowdfunded films until now have profited. You guys are better off investing in shares. I only put in 100,000 won. It said that I would receive a VIP screening ticket as well as a general advance purchase ticket, so I didn't think I would be losing much even if I lost all of it. Looking at other community sites, it looks like there are tons of people who invested 100,000 won. I put in 1 million. To be honest, half because of expectations and half for fun. 2 million for me. Half for never failing Young Sun Wu, half because Im Lee Song has fan. Songa, let's get another hit. Carbonated bubbles surged up glasses. Having received soda, the employees were chuckling. If not for the fact you're still working, I wouldn't have popped some champagne. Now, let's get in the mood. Although this was a simple celebration at the office, the mood was as though we won the World Cup. People chatted while pouring soda into champagne flutes. When the producer messaged me, I was like is this guy on drugs? This guy? On drugs? I mean, it just doesn't make sense logically. It ended as soon as it launched. We left our mark on the history of crowdfunding films. The Young Sun Wu effect is incredible. I told you. It's more effective than bringing an actor in a star marketing campaign. I couldn't even count the number of flutes that clinked with mine. Although I did expect a pretty decent result when I sprinkled investments onto my special image, this was beyond my expectations. Soda instantly poured down my throat. My frustrations that built up from Supernatural's media manipulation was swept away. I was receiving tons of messages from WU2. Team leader Park was laughing about how she missed her chance to invest. It still feels surreal to me. I asked a few of my friends to invest, but I guess I was worried for nothing. The film production company Forest CEO looked partly out of it as he laughed. He didn't have any alcohol, yet his face was red. I looked at the employees behind him and asked. Did director Oh Hyun Kyung not come? 
Ah, uh, I told her to come even for a moment, but Director O oh is really focused right now. She said that she would make a few adjustments after the feedback we received from internal screenings. She really looks I can't even strike up a conversation with her. I recalled the film I saw at the screening. It made me lose my sleep for the next few days. Just then, SBE film CEO and project producer, as well as World Art Pictures general manager, approached me. The platform is asking if we have any plans on raising our goal. They say that they are receiving a crazy amount of inquiries. We originally considered 300 million as our maximum. Is there a reason to be greedier? Well, that's true, but the public is so. SBE film CEO and project producer licked their lips. World Arts general manager shook his head. If we raise the target, ITLL put pressure on us internally. Also, on our partial investors. While there was a slight conflict of opinions, we eventually decided not to increase our goal. We were already fully enjoying the marketing effects of having reached our goal in one hour. The project producer raised his glass. Anyways, it's an overwhelming victory for us in terms of crowdfunding. There are probably a few of you who couldn't get enough sleep from Supernatural or whatever, but now you can sleep easy. Laughter shook the office. However, the smiles of victors quickly faded the next day. Supernatural vs. City Jungle this title, which seemed for suited for the octagon, quickly spread. Strictly looking at the production scale, Supernatural should be competing with foreign films because Supernatural scale was three times that of City Jungle. That was why the reporters writing those titles and the public weren't comparing the number of viewers. Profit Among the two films that asked for crowdfunding, which one would pass their break-even point and give their general investors a share of the profits? This was precisely the part people were excitedly comparing and discussing. The people from Supernatural skillfully brought in general investors who participated in the crowdfunding. Selling snake oil again about how they were making the film with the audience. City Jungle's marketing budget was small so we worked hard to market through our crowdfunding event, but Supernatural wasn't satisfied with getting the first taste and now was trying to suck our work dry. The marketing teams on either side clashed even more aggressively. The sparks ignited by Supernatural were enough to burn an entire mountain. In particular, general investors became passionate marketers and were competing on various fronts. Competition always sparked people's interest. On top of that, after the story about how Lee Sangha was offered the position as the female lead of Supernatural but was filming City Jungle because of my decision was leaked to the public, people's interest shifted immediately. From Woodyoung Sunwoo's next project, City Jungle, succeed or fail. To which of the two, City Jungle or Supernatural, bring in higher projects? You know the three-scene interview you did last time? Team leader Park approached me. Her firepower was surging these days from fighting with Supernatural's marketing team, but today, she had a miserable expression on her face for some reason. That special interview? Free scene. It was a well-known national film professional magazine. One where film production companies and marketing agencies would do anything to put on the cover or do a special interview for. We gave up on getting the cover because a Hollywood series blockbuster was decided to be on it already. From what I remember, that was why we set up a photo shoot with Lee Songa, Nam Joyeun, director Oh Hyun Kyung, and me as well as a special interview. Did it come out? It did. It did but. What? Is there a problem? There is a problem. Team leader Park handed me the magazine she had brought over. I guess they paid a ton for the advert. Supernatural, director Cha Jae-ho was on the cover in huge letters. Along with a photo shoot of Hyo Kakyung. That wasn't all. I suddenly received a call from my mother in the afternoon. Sun Wu, your film City, City, what was it again? I keep forgetting. City Jungle. Yeah, that. Do you not have any commercials on TV? I went to the hair salon today, and they were advertising Supernatural or whatever on TV. All the ladies were talking about how fun it looked and that they should go watch it once it releases. We also advertised on TV. You did? Why haven't I seen it? We didn't buy a large volume, so we need to wait for the right time. 
Supernatural shows up whenever I turn on the TV. Young people can just look it up on the internet, but older people will probably have to see it on TV to know about it. Why didn't you buy more? It costs a ton, mom. Really? But I heard you raised 300 million. That's what your brother said. We did. But playing a 15 second ad for a few days costs a few hundred million. Oh my, what robbers. While we were doing better if we looked at viral or word of mouth marketing online, we couldn't compare to Supernatural in just the sheer volume of ads. Autograph signing events, exhibition shows with the Supernatural cast, and campaigns, or whatever. They hosted these large events every day. Supernatural's ads weren't just on TV or in newspapers but also on buses, the subway, theater banners, online portal banners, and even walls outside. Supernatural ads were everywhere. Wherever I walked, wherever I drove, there was always an ad about the damn Supernatural film. It was just insufferable. The next time I saw director Cha Jeho was on the parking lot of a newspaper company. He seemed to have come for an interview as he was all dressed up. He frowned as soon as he saw me. Of course, my expression wasn't great either. We were no longer in a situation where we could exchange pleasantries, so we greeted each other with foul words. This competition isn't all that bad for City Jungle either, no. What is that, yeah, they are putting you on the same level as us. You are also receiving a lot of the public's attention. How about you do an interview with me? Director Cha Jeho smirked like last time. I was about to pour out all the words I had been preparing for this moment when my phone rang. It was SBE Films project producer. What the? Was this Dej Vu? Even if it was not as big of news as reaching our 300 million one crowdfunding goal in one hour, I picked up the phone hoping it was at least some good news. Like last time, his side was very noisy. They were causing such a ruckus that my eardrum hurt. Yes, producer. It seemed I wasn't the only one who remembered last time as director Cha Jeho's expression crumbled like he had swallowed a bug. I gulped before hanging up. Then I looked at director Cha Jeho and said. You can do the interview by yourself. I, we might have to go to France. WHY France? Apparently, we've received an invitation. From Can. Director Cha Jeho blinked. It looked like he needed some time to process what I just said. Of course, I didn't plan on waiting for me. I felt like I had to hurry. I think I need to hurry up and leave today. Ah, I hope your interview goes well. As soon as I said this, director Cha Jeho's face turned sour. Chapter, 217. Cannes International Film Festival. It with Venice and Berlin film festivals were considered the top three film festivals in the world, but judging by status, Cannes International Film Festival was unequaled. Around 2,000 films are submitted to the Cannes Film Festival every year. Around 50 of them were invited for their official selection. Only three works in the country were invited to the Cannes International Film Festival. Unfortunately, none were in the competition, the main event of the festival. The other two films were in the out-of-competition section, while City Jungle was in the uncertain regard section. One more thing. Director Oh Hyun Kyung was nominated for the Camera Door, which rewards the best first film among debutantes. Though there were 24 competitors. Anyways, this was also why City Jungle became a hot topic again. While it was in the other sections, it was the only one that could potentially win an award. I say it again, but competition really brings out the public's excitement. Reporters and the public were very curious about whether City Jungle will be able to win an award at the film festival. Articles were published constantly without us having to make a press release. Air, this makes me feel like a national athlete going to an international competition. Forrest CEO said while rubbing his chest. All the reporters ask about is whether we think well win the Uncertain Regard Award or the Camera Door Award or not. All they ask about are the awards. That's because only our film was nominated for awards. SBE Films project producer said with a smile. Although Forrest CEO, who would be attending Cannes International Film Festival for the first time, looked like he was about to pass out, SBE Films people, who had attended the festival a few times before, looked calm. 
As for me, well, it was great that I had a poker face on. There's nothing we can do about the reporters making a fuss, but don't get your hopes up on receiving an award. People over there are incredibly stuck up. The project producer said while looking at Forrest's employees and me. While countless Korean films were invited to Ken over the years, it was still worth celebrating if one was nominated in a competition with 20 or so films. They had never received a Palme d'Or award. 1. We can still dream, right? How would you feel if you won the best award? Amazing. It's like winning the gold medal in the Olympics. I bet we'll probably receive a prize from the government. I heard they give medals if you receive the Uncertain Regard Award. The faces of people gathered around started to flush red. There's an article saying that Mason Tucker will be attending Can International Film Festival. Im Seo Young clung to my waist as she followed me. She was more knowledgeable about who was attending the festival this year than I was. Megan Shanner too. And Aaron Taylor. Mason arrived last night and is staying in the Majestic Hotel. What do I do, Appa? What do you mean what do you do? Can't I go with you? With my money. He'll use my own money for everything. Just give me a ticket in. Stop joking and work hard on your radio and TV broadcasts. Yua. Mason. While M. Seo Young was shouting out a Hollywood star's name, Lee Tae Hee and L. J. were looking through Lee Song has luggage. Why aren't there a lot of snacks? It's unlike you. Having been thrown over Lee Song has shoulder before, L. J. gave her a look of suspicion. I also glanced at Lee Songa. I packed the daily necessities and her stylist packed her clothes, so I expected half her luggage to be filled with snacks. There was definitely less than normal for Lee Sangha. Don't tell me there was a problem. Sangha, did you lose your appetite? Do you not crave chips? Lee Sangha said as if telling me not to worry. I'm going to get them over there. There'll be French snacks in France. Ah, uh, okay. So like her. We left their residence while being sent off by the girls. For some reason, our way to Incheon International Airport was surprisingly traffic-free today. The sky was blue, and the breeze that blew in was warm and comfortable. It felt like I was driving in the sky than on asphalt. My heart throbbed just enough to feel good. We were going to Cannes. The glamorous place full of world-class actors, directors, production companies and agencies. We were going to the place where I hoped I would one day go when I took my first step into the entertainment industry. Despite the fact that I changed the present on my own, I now had a piece of the future I wanted. I heard someone humming. When I looked beside me, Lee Sangha was smiling. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Interesting. She didn't look all that excited when she swept up all the rookie awards at the Broadcasting and Film Awards at the end of last year. Did can just feel different. What are you most excited about? There are going to be tons of famous actors from all over the world over there. This was unexpected. Do you have any actors you want to see? That's not it. Since actors there will be much more famous than me, no one will pay me any interest. Actors who went to Cannes last year said that they wore slippers and leisurely walked around Boulevard de la Croisette. There won't be anyone who recognizes me there. While her name was quite known nationally and in China, she was relatively unknown internationally. There wouldn't be anyone who recognizes her unless they were Korean reporters reporting on Cannes or correspondence there. Was she under a lot of stress from her fame? Why do you want to go around without anyone recognizing you? Cannes apparently has beautiful beaches. Lee Sangha smiled subtly as she gave me an irrelevant answer. Then she took out a book from her handbag. It was a tourist guidebook on Cote d'Azur in Cannes. She seemed to have already gone through it once as there were index stickers sticking out from various pages. How can you be more interested in sightseeing than the film festival? Did you give up on the award already? Apparently, the harbor is full of super luxurious yachts during the festival. Appa, do you want to go on a yacht? I do, but what's important is what are you writing right now? Nothing much. I don't think so. While questioning Lee Sangha, who was smiling wickedly, we arrived at the airport. We went to the airport with the help of security guards and were met with reporters and spectators forming a long line. Team Leader 
Li Quan Wu, who was managing the situation, came over. Have our staff arrived? Where's Joy Yun Hyung? They already arrived. He's with the staff members. Also, we've been receiving a lot of requests for an interview before we take off. What should we do? Tell them that we'll do a short one. Reporters won't expect any more than that considering how cluttered things are. After sending Lee Kuan Wu off, I went to where the staff were gathering. The staff, which included stylists, makeup and hair artists, were piling up their luggage carriers. Nam Joyun and Kim Hyun Sup were sitting in the middle. When I came over, Nam Joyun was on the phone. Yes, father. It's in Can. Can. Yes, Can. No, Can. France. Film Festival. Kim Hyun Sup was watching, frustrated, before finally taking over. Hello, this is Hyun Sup. We arrived at the airport to board the flight. It's Can. Similar to how to pronounce Tin Can too. It's a city in France, and they hold a film festival every year. It's the most famous film festival in the world. Joyeun, this guy, has been invited to attend. Of course, this guy's completely turned around his career. Nam Joyeun shook his head slightly, but Kim Hyun Sup began to more in a more dynamic manner. It's the most famous film festival in the world. Ah, the award there's meaning in just attending this festival. There are a lot of people working in the film industry that dream of being invited here. You can go boast about it all over town. You can even hang a banner at the village hall. At this rate, you might. Nam Joyan grimaced. Kim Hyun Sup seemed to catch his mistake and quietly added. Do not tell your wife about the banner. When Kim Hyun Sup hung up, the staff, who had been suppressing their laughs, finally burst out laughing. I asked Nam Joyun, who took back his phone. Hyung, how are you feeling? I'm fine. This all feels so unreal. Nam Joyun smiled in a slightly bitter manner. Then his gaze alternated between Lee Sangha and me. Sangha you look fine. I'm fine. Lee Sangha replied like it was nothing. She was extremely fine. Because her mind was elsewhere. Sun Wu, how about you? Me? It's your first time going to Kintu. Well, I think you'll have to see the palm trees for it to really sink in. I lightly shrugged. M.S. Lee Sangha. It's your first time attending the Ken International Festival, how do you feel? Uh, it's unexpected, so I think you'll have to see the palm trees for it to really sink in. Thank you very much for supporting us. You'll go and see, experience, and learn a lot over there. Do either of you have any promises if you receive the award? Countless movie fans are hoping you return in glory, please give us a comment. Even though we told them that this would be quick, reporters viciously swarmed at them like starved chickens. I checked the time before jumping in. Now, we are on a tight schedule so we'll have to head in now. We plan on holding an official press interview in Cannes, so we can talk in a more relaxed fashion over there. I cut them off and urged my group to move. Reporters pushed onwards, asking us to answer one last question. In the end, the safe line collapsed, and security guards had to hold them back. This sight was familiar since I've experienced this multiple times going to and coming from China, but this was on another level. This was comparable to how one would send off a national athlete when they went to the Olympics. The production staff and director Oh Hyun Kyung left a couple of days ahead of us and we were the second group, it was great that we moved separately. It was this crazy with just us. It would have been even more chaotic if we had the production staff with us. Have a safe flight. I heard the reporters cheering us from behind. Transferring in Paris, 13 hours had passed when we arrived at Nice Cote d'Azur International Airport. Because there was a 7-hour time difference, the sky was still blue when we arrived at the airport. ITLL be quiet here, right? Kim Hyun Sup asked as he dragged the luggage carrier. Probably. We don't know how many reporters arrived ahead of us. It was exhausting when there were a lot of reporters, but thinking about how there won't be anyone makes me sad. He licked his lips. However, unexpectedly, we encountered a blast of heat as soon as we got out. 
foreign reporters holding cameras and spectators who came from all across the world filled the airport. Their excited voices pierced my ears. Uh, don't tell me they're here for us. No way. Someone cut Kim Hyun-sup off. When I turned around, it was SBE Films' project producer. He looked at the reporters as he said. Aaron Taylor's coming on a private jet. They're gathered here to see him. Wow, a private jet this is actually happening. Kim Hyun-sup said in astonishment. The project producer laughed as he led the way. The really rich come on their private yachts. Super luxurious yachts that are so big they can't moor at the harbor. You see them floating around when you go to the beach. We leisurely made our way through the airport. There was no need to rush. Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun were clearly revealing their faces, but there was no one who recognized them. They were all busy trying to see Hollywood stars that they didn't spare a glance at us. This was too drastic of a difference compared to the heated reactions at Incheon Airport. It felt like we would freeze. Fortunately, there were a few Korean reporters who arrived before us and asked for an interview and some pictures. The staff grinned as they were happy to see them. We left the airport after holding a sufficiently long interview. MS. Sangha and Mr. Joyeun will take the car sent by the film festival. He pointed to the luxurious cars waiting for them. Kim Hyunsup's eyes glittered. What about us? Well wait here and take the shuttle bus. That was a joke. Well follow them in the car the production company prepared. The staff, who were barely managing to stand tall after the 13-hour flight, almost flopped down when they heard about the shuttle bus, only regaining their strength after hearing it was a joke. The project producer made a strange smile. After Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun got in the car did he quietly talk to me. Team leader Young, it's your first time attending Can, right? Yes. It's a complete class system here. They discriminate against you according to your level. They give you ID cards depending on your level. They prepare accommodations and plan tickets according to your level. Your level also decides how many screenings and which parties you can attend. And our level isn't very high. He grabbed my shoulder and added. ITLL be best if you prepare yourself. Chapter 218 Vacation spots really are amazing. The sea is freaking deep blue. How can you call it deep blue? So unromantic. It's cobalt blue, cobalt blue. Oh, just wait until you hit your thirties. Let's see how much you like romantic. Kim Hyunjo and Lee Kwan Woo, who were both squeezed in the back seat, whispered to each other. Lee Kwan Woo, having returned to being a romantic, admired the Mediterranean Sea, taking it all in. Kim Hyunjo was swearing about how he was being crushed as his shoulders were grabbed by Lee Kwan Woo. The stylists and artists' gazes were glued to the opposite windows. That guy. Isn't he Kieran Wood? Where? 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 The one next to the Ferrari. Which one? There's so many. Look. The one holding the beach towel. Eh, uh, no, he isn't. They were disappointed for a moment before quickly chattering while looking at another direction. It hadn't been that long since they resolved themselves, saying that they weren't here for leisure but for work and how they couldn't be pushed around by foreign staff. Anyone looking at them now would think they were tourists. Well, it was understandable. The streets were lined with Ferraris, Maseratis, Bentleys, and other luxury cars I didn't know the names of. There were lots of men and women whose looks would give actors a run for their money. Anyone visiting here won't be able to help but look around. There'll probably be quite a few unknown or aspiring actors among them. SBE Films project producer said quietly, seeming having heard them admiring their surroundings. All the famous film directors, production companies, and agencies gather here at this time of year. Around 4,000 top reporters from various countries arrive as well. It's a land of opportunities in many respects. For us as well. The mumbling project producer looked towards me. Team leader Young, you said it's your first time in Cannes, but how are you so calm? Some might think you're a local. Does it look like that? I'm actually quite excited. The project producer laughed as if he didn't believe me. 
even though I was trying to calm my overflowing emotions by counting palm trees. Boulevard de la Croisette looked like an enormous film set. A film set that took an exorbitant amount of money to build. It looked like it would suit a more historical drama than a modern one. Vintage European buildings lined up neatly on the street. There were even magnificent buildings that reminded you of medieval castles. Kim Hyun Sup gawked as he took in the sight. There are palaces on the street. They are all hotels. The project producer made a crooked smile. Majestic, Martinez, Carlton. All five star hotels. The film festival only provides such accommodations to really high level individuals, so all the amazing guys are over there. The entrances are packed with paparazzi and spectators. They'll spend all day to get a glance of a celebrity. The rooms there must be crazy expensive. They're expensive, but you can't even rent one even if you have the money at this time. Kim Hyun Sup glanced at the sedan driving in front of us and the hotels before asking. So you're saying the people in there are receiving the best treatment? They divide the treatment in there too. Some get sweet rooms, while others get regular rooms. ITLL keep them motivated at least. While we were busy looking at the historic hotels, the sedan in front of us came to a stop. While the hotel we stopped at wasn't at the same level as the castles we passed, it still had a grand appearance. The large, white columns supporting the entrance reminded me of a temple. Lee Kuan Wu admired the sight as he was taking off his seatbelt. This place is really good too though. Since it is provided by the film festival. A night here would probably cost a million won. Kim Hyunsup's eyes curved into smiles at the project producer's reply. Oh, how wonderful. Though we only have three days, so we'll be chased out the day after tomorrow. Damn it. We really didn't have anything in the past. Production companies emptied their pockets to get actors' rooms, and the staff rented a small apartment and had multiple members sleeping on each bed. Considering that they provided us with a hotel room, their treatment of us has gotten much better. Oh oh, how great. Though they only provided them to the actors and director. Then the staff. We reserved a residence nearby. The project producer chuckled after manipulating Kim Hyunsep's emotions. Lee Kwan Wu joined in. But why did the film festival only provide the rooms for three days? Our official schedule ends by then. However, because the award ceremony is done at the same time as the closing ceremony, we have to wait until then. While holding our breaths. Then will we only get to see the closing ceremony if we don't win an award? If we don't get an award, we can't go to the closing ceremony. It's an event we can only attend if we're invited. The mood in the van chilled. The project producer let out a stuffy laugh. Although they said to be prepared since Cannes was a society divided into different classes, to think that the treatment was so different. I researched a lot and prepared myself before coming here, but it stung even more now that I was actually experiencing it. As soon as the sedan marked with a palm tree leaf, the symbol of the Cannes Film Festival, arrived, a hotel security guard came over. At the same time, the paparazzi and spectators rushed over. I acted quickly because I had experienced similar scenarios back in Korea and China, but it was for naught. The spectators diligently followed the do not approach sign of the security guard. Their gazes as they looked at Lee Sangha and Nam Joyun lit up in interest for a moment before fading away. I had told Lee Sangha to keep her sunglasses on just in case, but it seemed that wasn't needed either. I heard English occasionally mixed in with the French words. I don't know who they are. I don't know which country they are from and what they are doing here. I don't know whether they are actors or from production companies. I don't know, I don't know. I even heard a paparazzi complain about why nobodies were riding in the film festival cars and confusing everyone. I made sure to remember his face. As mentioned, the film festival provided exactly three rooms. When Lee Sangha and Nam Joyeun found out they were the only ones staying here, they said that they would rather stay at the group residence. We managed to push them into the hotel and unpacked in the residence SBE film had reserved for us. After that, we were on such a tight schedule that we didn't have time to go sightseeing. The press conference at the Paletta festivals was just the beginning. 
Since director Oh Hyun Kyung and Nam Joy Eun were weak to the simultaneous translations of French and English, Lee Sangha, who was fluent in English, was pretty much dragged to all the conferences. Yet, she was the number one on the list of Neptune members who shouldn't do interviews. It seemed I was worried for nothing as it looked like she left a favorable impression on the reporters. We received quite a few interview requests after the conferences. The production company and distribution company set up a booth in the film market located in the basement of the Paletta festivals and jumped into making sales. We kept on top of all the interviews. Everyone's faces showed signs of chronic fatigue after working to death for the past two days. The only one who still seemed too energetic was Lee Sangha yet. Appa, what's after this interview? Another interview. And after that? An interview. Damn it. Her energy was quickly being depleted from the never-ending relay of events. While we were doing this, articles about the Cannes Film Festival were being published every day back home. There were even articles that considered the actors who went to Cannes as national representatives. City Jungle's official schedule was picked up by the press too. What foreign reporters asked at City Jungle's press conference. Whether the mood was good or not. What people's reactions were like in the film market. They even published details about how much it cost for a night in the Hotel Lee Sangha and Nam Joy Eun were staying at and what their amenities were. While the interest back home was growing more heated, the gazes we received here in Cannes was still lukewarm. While we continuously received interview requests, the treatment between us and stars from films nominated for the competition or global stars was as different as heaven and earth. That gap continued to grow. The more good articles about us before the screening, the better. It was lunch. The now pale and thin project producer, who we met at the City Jungle booth, said. Rumors are important around here. Worst scenario, the theater will be empty. If that happens, it's like we just came for ourselves and left. Right, there is an even worse scenario than that. Last time I came here, the audience left in the middle were swearing, so the actors were bawling their eyes out. Our rating in Cannes was the worst, so the press was abuzz. I handed him a glass of water and said. We have two screenings. One with the press. And an official screening. City Jungle's press conference was 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. And its official screening was 11.30 p.m. tomorrow. The press screening was too early, and the screening was too late. It was natural for the project producer to be worried about the mood in the theater tomorrow. Since the film is so good, once word gets out after the press screening, the official screening will be smooth sailing. The project producer licked his dry lips. That's possible. If our film, City Jungle, is able to come through to this crowd. Isn't it good enough to get our hopes up for? Especially considering it was nominated for Best Rookie Director. Then, Team Leader Young, do you also think we have a chance at receiving the award? A chance at receiving the award? Maybe it was because we were invited to the Cannes Film Festival after I spoke positively on our chances of getting invited to the staff, but there were a few who seemed to be getting their hopes up on receiving an award. I made the same reply. Of course, I have my hopes up. Though I wasn't certain this time as well. I had recalled the words you made a box office hit with your debut movie, a non-mainstream with a noir feel, and won rookie director and screenplay awards. You even attended Cannes. From my future vision several times. I couldn't be certain whether they received an award at Cannes or if they received it in Korea then went to Cannes. Even if that wasn't the case, the current city jungle was different in many parts compared to the version I saw in my vision, so I had no idea how much the present had changed. However, despite this, I had high hopes. I hoped that the future I changed proceeded in a better direction. An interview tonight was delayed, so we had a short break. Because we had a lot of stuff to prepare for tomorrow, even though I said break, it was only for an hour or two. The Boulevard de la Croisette, which was splendid during the day, was heating up with competition screenings and red carpet events. It was a festival. Seeing this made people's hearts heat up and surge. Stylists and artists went over to luxury brand stores in case there were better dresses here, and Lee Kuan Wu rushed over to the beach to chase a romantic mood. And I knocked on a hotel door. Who is it? Me. The door immediately opened. 
Li Songda said in a resigned voice. Another interview? No. We have one or two hours of free time, so I was thinking we could go out together if you weren't too tired. I'm not tired. The door slammed shut. Even while she was adjusting to this new environment, she would repeatedly ask me when we would get some free time. I was a little worried when she became dispirited after being rejected eight times. She rushed out, full of energy, thirty minutes later. Let's go. Why is your handbag so stuffed? We only have two hours, so you should leave the guidebook behind. Don't worry and just believe me. We can spend the two hours like it was twenty. That was worrying. Leaving Lee Sangha, whose lips were curved so high up I thought they would split, I knocked on the door next to hers. Nam Joyun opened the door. At the same time, Lee Sangha, who looked like she was dying to brag, barely managed to contain herself and say. We'll be out for a while. We have some important business to attend to. He's coming with us though. Where? To attend some important business with us. The moment I said this, Lee Song has face turned into a murderer's. Kim Hyun Sup pushed Nam Joyun's back as he came out of his room. Don't dawdle. Let's go. We don't have time to waste. Lee Song kept glancing at me as we made our way down on the elevator. Various emotions, such as sadness and disappointment, flashed across her face as she seemed to be inwardly cursing about how terrible the world was and how nothing went her way. She looked like she was about to say something, but all she did was open and close her lips. It's not like an opportunity like this comes every day. I don't know when we'll get an opportunity like this again. I read her lips and couldn't help but laugh. Was this a bad habit? By the time we walked out through the hotel entrance, Li Song his face had turned from a murderer's to a slaughterer's. It was to the point where the paparazzi and spectators, who came out to see stars going out to enjoy parties, slowly backed away from Li Songa. Then when we left the hotel vicinity. Then, call me if you run into any problems. Yeah, let's meet later. Nam Joyun and Kim Hyun Sup waved their hands as they crossed the street. I waved at them as well before continuing to walk down the street. Dazedly following me, Li Song has gaze alternated between me and Nam Joyun. Then she became excited. I thought we were going out in a group in case we get caught by Korean reporters. Why would there be an issue when a manager and his celebrity are going around together in a foreign country? It was the best alibi. No issue. None at all. Lee Sangha smiled brightly, revealing her white teeth. I took a half step closer to her and added. Let's stick closer together just in case. See can we? How close? Hmm, I don't know. They say there are a lot of pickpockets around here. Then we need to be careful. I saw a warning in the guidebook as well. Let's stick really close together. Lee Song has steps became more cheerful. I followed her lead. Then we entered the streets of the city bustling with nightlife and no one to recognize us. Chapter, 219 Chinese Japanese Korean do you have thoughts on becoming an actor? She already is one. And she has an agent. How many times has it been? The bearded agent gave me a dirty look. He seemed to have decided that any further discussion was unnecessary and simply handed Lee Songa his business card. If we can just discuss details alone. We can't. Where are you staying? Please give me your number. I don't want to. Business card. Then just take my business card at least. Do you know Angela Mayweather? She worked with me in the past. If you want a shot at the red carpet, don't waste your time with that small fish agent over there and call me. Get lost. Lee Sangha cut him off and dragged me over. We only had a brief moment of silence after finally managing to brush off that leech-like agent. Do you have any plans tonight? Do you want me to take you to Matt Buckhart's private party? I have invitations to the last dance gala screening, do you want to come with me? How about we go on a drive? I thought we could strut about with no one paying attention to us, but there was a miscalculation. While there wasn't anyone who recognized Lee Sangha, there were plenty of people who recognized a beauty. In just an hour of going around, 
I was able to confirm that Li Song has beauty was universal. All kinds of flies stuck around. Agents, guys trying to pick up girls, guys trying to pick up girls, and guys trying to pick up girls. What kind of damn city was this? I felt like the entire street could be called one big club. A man driving a red Lamborghini looked our way and waved. He was a tick that had been following us for a while now. It didn't matter if he was just looking or not, I couldn't take it anymore. I grabbed Lee Song his shoulder and pulled her into a narrow alleyway between two buildings. Let's go out after a little break. I didn't get a reply. Instead, I heard her breathing quicken. I glanced down. Because of the narrow space, Li Song has eyelashes were looking down at my chin. They would touch if we moved. When I leaned against the broken stone wall, Li Song has head followed like a magnet. The tip of her tongue lightly licked her coral lips. Do you have any other place you want to see? Here. Li Songa shoved her guidebook in her handbag. Let's look around this place. This dark, secluded alley, I think it's nice. What are you going to see in this dark, secluded alley? I didn't receive a reply. Li Songa was staring up at me. Intently. My mouth went dry. This time, I licked my lips. Maybe it was because we were in a different country, but the face in front of me looked especially unfamiliar to me. Ah. She had full makeup on for an interview during the day, so her makeup must have run a little while trying to pass through the crowds. Maybe that was why she gave off a more decadent aura, unlike her normal self. This was why all those flies hovered around her. It wasn't like we could erase her makeup here. Should I get her to wear her sunglasses? While I was thinking about it, I felt a gaze following me. What are you looking at? Im sightseeing. Lee Song has eyes came up to my nose and curved. At some point, what was full was surging. Like it would fall over at any moment. We went into the narrow alleyways rather than the streets. While it wasn't as fancy as the streets, I liked the more leisurely, lively atmosphere. Above all, no flies hovered around us anymore. We stopped at an open-air cafe. Two coffees and the assorted desserts Lee Sangha ordered filled our table. There was an overwhelming smell of butter and chocolate. When I checked my phone, it seemed that Nam Joyeun and Kim Hyunsup were really going all out in sightseeing. They kept posting pictures in our group chat. Most were pictures they wanted to show Nam Joyeun's parents. Lee Sangha stared at those photos. I glanced at the corner of the guidebook that stuck out from her handbag and said. Do you want to look around a few more places before we go back to the hotel? Maybe the beach? Thinking about it, I think I've seen a ton of these in California. Ah, you mentioned you stayed there for a while. She wasn't the type to bring up her past. I thought she would change the subject soon, but Lee Sangha continued. My aunt and uncle live in California. Our family wasn't in a great situation when I was young, and my aunt said that she would take care of one of us for a few years. So you're the only one who went in your family? Lee Sangha nodded. My oldest sister wanted to go study abroad, but my aunt and uncle took me instead. They said it was because I was the prettiest. I abruptly stopped drinking my coffee. I suddenly recalled Lee Song his family. And the mood that didn't give you a familial sense. Lee Sangha seemed fine after saying such disturbing words as she took a bit of the croissant. Then she looked happy because of how tasty it was. I shoved the questions that were surging up my throat back down. I felt like I would break that peaceful mood if I said anything. I simply laughed with her. I want to see the last dance screening. We've come all the way to Cannes. Give up. I bet the line waiting to buy tickets is huge. Let's take a picture with the poster. Take one so Mason Tucker's face shows up really well. The street of films. I heard tourists taking pictures amongst the posters lined up like trees lining the street. Lee Sangha and I looked at a familiar poster amidst the crowds. Jungle City. 1. In the poster meant for the overseas market didn't have Lee Sangha or Nam Joyun's face on it. Only their names were printed at the bottom. Maybe it was because Lee Sangha was wearing sunglasses, but it was quiet now that there wasn't anyone intently looking our way. 
though there was the occasional person who looked with interest. Jungle City. This is screening tomorrow. Let's go watch this. I'm not really feeling it. Still, don't you think we'll be able to buy tickets for this one? We need to commemorate coming here by going inside a theater once. We don't know when we'll have another chance. So it was like that. Mason. It's Mason. Megan. Screams and shouts erupted somewhere. Of course, it wasn't that Mason Tucker and Megan Shanner leisurely arrived at La Croissette. Spectators gathered around an enormous screen on one side of the street. It was a live video of the red carpet event going on at the Paleta festivals. The screen had been showing the entrances of various VIP and celebrities from different industries, but now the central figures of today, Hollywood top stars, had arrived and were waving their hands. The actual place must be so full of spectators and reporters, who arrived early, to the point that there was no room to actually walk, which was why people were probably watching the live feed here. People's reactions on screen were heated, and the reactions here were fanatical. What? What? They are shaking hands. They're even giving out autographs. I should have waited for a few hours there. Various languages could be heard from the commotion in front of the screen. Although I could somewhat understand English and Chinese, what they were all talking about was obvious. Half the words were the names of actors. The screen continued to show the leads of Last Dance. The actors, who wore a tuxedo and dress, made cheerful and bold poses on the red carpet. The screams of fans asking them to look their way, background music from Last Dance, and the shutter sounds of hundreds of photographers going off simultaneously blasted out the speakers. I calmly stared at the screen. When we first received invitations to the film festival, when we arrived at Nice Airport and looked at Lee Sangha and Nam Joyun's hotel rooms, and when we held interviews with foreign reporters. Each time I thought that we were getting closer to that world. I was a bit excited, thinking that the tips of our toes finally touched it, but that wasn't the case. We were still so far away. I abruptly looked beside me. Lee Sangha, who had been chattering on, was quiet. Lee Sangha had taken her sunglasses off and was staring at the screen while standing rigidly. At the world overflowing with red carpet, cheers, and camera flashes. Appa, I want to go there once. The Paleta festivals filled with people was completely different from when it was empty. It was exactly that. It was a palace of dreams. Glittering lights shined down, and loud sounds felt like they were squeezing my heart. A 30-meter-long red carpet flowed down the tall stairs. The actors walking up the stairs grew distant. Lee Sangha stumbled towards the screen before she was pushed by a loud spectator. Sangha, are you okay? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. She nodded before getting on her tippy toes and stretching her neck up. The distant red carpet, the cheering fans, the photographers wearing tuxedos and shooting pictures. She looked at the sight, a blend of all these elements. She had a strange look on her face. It seemed similar to when she was staring at a new snack that she had never eaten before. And something. I looked at Lee Sangha, who was trying to get a good look, before going towards the control line. While everyone related to the film was excited, Lee Sangha, the lead, was strangely different. It was to the point where she seemed more interested in the sightseeing than attending the film festival, interviews, or the possibility of receiving an award. To be honest, she was like this from the beginning. Lee Sangha had a tough time in Neptune due to her relatively weaker talent in singing and dancing, but when she found her talent in acting, she rejoiced and clung on to it. Like someone who found a foundation to stand on. Then she did her best in every drama and film she appeared in. However, something felt lukewarm. This was true even when I compared her to Nam Joyeun and other actors I had encountered. Although I couldn't perfectly describe it, Lee Song has sights were not set beyond her limit and rather settled in at a lukewarm distance. This bothered me like a bone in my throat. But she seemed a little different right now. She seemed different. If I could light a fire in Lee Song has heart right here. I handed Lee Song has actor ID card to the event personnel, who was busy blocking the swarming spectators. I pointed to Lee Sangha, whose gaze was fixed at one place, as I said. We have some business inside. Could we go in for a second? 
It's not for the red carpet. You can't enter this place with a t-shirt and running shoes. The event personnel waved me away in annoyance after glancing at the ID card. This damn dress code. We should have gone around in a dress and suit if I knew this would happen. Lee Sangha seemed to have heard the event personnel as she turned her head towards me. I clicked my tongue and backed away from the line. Let's endure for a bit longer. Since she'll be standing on that red carpet tomorrow morning. Lee Sangha and Nam Joyun wore the dress and suit the stylists had picked out for them and ascended the red carpet stairs. They were as charming as the actors last night, no, to my biased eyes, they were more charming than anyone. Spectators cheered and photographers pressed their shutter buttons. Lee Sangha was almost hugging director Oh Hyun Kyung as she made a pose for the camera. I saw Mason Tucker and Megan Shanner's red carpet event yesterday. I guess this is what they call on a different level. It's a little deflating. The staff from the production company mumbled as they waited to enter the theater. I pulled on my tight bow tie and looked at the site in front of me. I saw the spectators who came over before leaving after losing interest. The photographers who took pictures as a formality before looking for other famous people. Lee Sangha made her best smile at the last remaining photographer. Nam Joyun and director Oh Hyun Kyung were slightly taken aback before smiling and waving as well. I stared at this. I wanted to light a fire in Lee Sangha's heart with this opportunity. But a fire lit in my heart before I could. Korean press reporters who had ID cards hung around their necks were sitting at one side of the theater. Fortunately, most of the seats are taken. I was worried this red carpet event would look sparse. This is the case for red carpet events that don't have famous people. Let's not write articles that it was shabby or whatever and try to write them in a positive light. Then the mood at the press conference will be good. Something like the theater was packed with international reporters and buyers. The thousand or so seats were slowly being filled. It was empty compared to films that had 3,000 seats and had people standing to watch from the sides, but it was still a full house. Make sure to check how many times they clap or cheer during the screening. Also, get some feedback on the film from international reporters later too. And time how long they clapped after the official screening and publish headlines like heated applause for five minutes or something. They applaud out of manners though. We're probably the only country that times the applause and writes articles about it. A middle-aged reporter clicked his tongue at the sudden complaint. If we don't have that, then there's nothing to write about. Also, our citizens are curious about it. Do you think they'll have a chance at winning the award? Someone cautiously asked. People murmured. People seem to think their chances are nil considering how top-notch their competitors are. How did people react to City Jungle's internal screening? Was the film any good? From what I picked up, it seemed to be decent. The scenario is good. Considering they were invited to Cannes, the film must be quite polished as well. Well, there are films that have been bashed for degrading the quality of the film festival. There are also a lot of people who leave in the middle of the screening. Around 50 to 60 people just got up and left last time. The mood was utter crap. In the end, an article about it exploded and made the film flop back home. The middle-aged man licked his lips and said. Anyways, we have to write that they have a chance of winning the reward until the award ceremony, so I hope the audience likes it. Our general manager had a fit about how we needed to get tons of newsworthy content because City Jungle is the most topical back home out of the films that were invited. ITLL be great if they receive an award though. It's been a long time since we've last received an award. For our film industry. Don't try to fool us. Isn't it because you invested in City Jungle through their crowdfunding event? Shoo, it looks like they're starting now. The audience's chatter gradually died down. The international reporters and buys, who didn't seem particularly interested, turned their gazes towards the screen. 8.30 a.m. In the Debussy Theater next to the main theater, Grand Theater Lumiere, City Jungle's press screening began. It was a very quiet start. 